part of our tradition. Listen, we're not being... <laughs> hit start what already. What are you laughing about? Why hit so start happy? already. I I'm not going to tell you when I hit start. You'll never know when the stream actually starts. Hit me. start. You'll never know. <laughs> you know what I heard? I heard that the harmonica is the most racist of all instruments. Okay. Who would say that? Who? Uh, I it was Who? the guy it was the guy with the white hair on MSNBC Who? from last week. Who? Oh, that guy? The guy that you thought <laughs> that, was a girl? That piece of Hold on, have we started yet? I don't want to curse. I'm trying to be good now. Yeah! <laughs> it's your boy PSA Sitch here on a Sunday Sunday live stream with everyone's favorite harmonica enthusiast and Paul Blart Mall lawyer lover. Adam Friended. Hey everybody, how you doing today? Are what you guys ready? On? Are you guys ready? Are you guys ready for some epic salt mining? <laughs> some epic. Ep We're digging deep, 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 deep the into earth. the yes. earth. You know, everyone hated mm -hmm. last week's show so <laughs> Everyone you was like, everyone Sitch. loved it. I'm the only one that hated it. What are you they're talking like, about? They're like, Sitch, why would you drag us to hell? I saw that movie, Drag Me to Hell. Why would you drag us through hell? Mm -hmm. Sitch, the pain, <laughs> the torment. It was too much. And I was like, you know what? Since everyone hated it so much, we got to do it again. <laughs> That's right. Well, it it's is. It's going to be week two, <laughs> mofos. No, We're going this... back to hell. No, no. This time, <laughs> this time, the media's reaction to Kyle Rittenhouse being non guilty, all charges dropped, innocent mofos. Not one, not two, not three, not four, but five. <laughs> Count them five, not guilty. Yeah, that's right. No, not last, guilty on all charges. Yeah, Man. last week, last week was a way different thing, though, because last week. I mean, I got to admit, I was getting a little black pilled. Things were getting dark. Yes. Things were getting dark and gloomy. They'd been you know, out. Uh, they'd been out like for mm -hmm. for how long? How long have they been out for? Uh, it was like twenty four hours total, but it was it was the whole week. Yeah. 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 And so we were or no it was Tuesday were... to Friday, right? Because they had closing on Monday. Right. I, yeah. So Tuesday the, to Friday. The yeah, verdict came back on Monday, correct? The verdict came out on Friday. Oh, it came out on Friday. I'm what do you mean? Like, I'm losing Today's it. Sunday. I don't know if you know what day I'm it is. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Last <laughs> last week though, we did we we did not know if uh, we would get a conviction or not. So it was a way right. different. This week is all like God, America is back. <laughs> we're back. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, that's a fair point. Last week people were worried. You're seeing yes. all the terrible news. You're like, oh my God, is Kyle gonna get free or not? But now you know he's free. Yes. And they're just crying the tears. Let the let the salt flow. Yes, yes. yes. This this week is much more celebratory. But That's we true. are gonna hold some people to account here that are just uh blatantly putting lies out into the world. Like somehow they didn't get the message. Did you see any of the the coverage of CNN that was actually decent? Like they just were coming out laying out the facts as we see it, as I did people actually. should see it. I did. It's like, yeah. where were you before the verdict <laughs> came down? CNN is like, oh my God, we already lost one <laughs> one headquarters. They're gonna burn mm -hmm. down another one if we don't come clean. Right. We better make a clean a clean break right now with the, all of this propaganda. Mm -hmm. Actually, we'll talk about that at some point because I have some CNN clips. So we'll, we'll go over the the difference between CNN's reaction and MSNBC's reaction is very interesting. Cool. Well, I'm, I, I'm, I like, I like the new. Of, oh, I keep I'm kind out. of curious if there's, if there was like a lawsuit or something being threatened to one, and one of them's kind of like trying to be nice, and the other is like, "Fuck you, <laughs> we're gonna dig the, we're gonna dig the ditch deeper." So, yeah, there's a lot of talk of Kyle Rittenhouse, uh, basically suing a lot of these organizations for defamation, yes. and famously Nick Sandman. Mr. Covington himself from the Covington situation, Covington Catholic High School, I think it is, who rumor has it, even though there's like a non-disclosure agreement, everyone throws around this number, $200 million that he got out of CNN. And he's officially reached out to Kyle Rittenhouse and he said, let's call me up, bro. I've been through it. I know what it's like. 
I don't want to get money out of these people. Yes. Yeah. So. Yeah. So yes. Yeah, so hopefully he can sue, especially MSNBC, who I think's been disgustingly biased in this case. Mm -hmm. I want Anna Kasparian sued. Lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they care enough to go. I mean, they should. They'll go after well, everyone. Hopefully. Oh my God! It would be great that just would, for I mean, fun. Be... Seuss Anna Kasparian. <laughs> but um, it's unfortunate. The only thing that's unfortunate is that uh, Sandman they sued Elizabeth Warren because she tweeted out something like, I don't know, like, oh, we have to support the Native American guy and his struggle against hate and ignorance. Blah 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 blah. blah. Like. And they sued her and she refused to because she refused to take down the tweet. They said either take down your tweet and offer retraction or we'll sue you. She refused to do that. They sued her. But then she claimed that she was protected because she had immunity being government representative and that the tweet had something to do with her position. In wow. Government. And the argument was basically like, oh, her constituents, you know, have a right to know her opinion on current events or something like that. Crazy. And. But it actually worked for the court. The court actually dismissed the lawsuit against her on those grounds. And so I'm worried that some of the Congress people, like Cori Bush and the squad, who are calling the judge a white supremacist, who are calling Kyle a white supremacist, I'm worried they will not be able to get sued under that same protection, which I think is disgusting. I don't, I don't care about the Congress people. I want them to sue the Young Turks. I want them to include their... <laughs> their you know gold play button in the settlement agreement or something they, should, something they, got, like they that. gotta sue all of them what do you mean <laughs> like calling and i think the and i don't think the judge will but i think the judge should sue these people that are calling him racist and whites well actually i don't even know can you sue someone for calling you racist no, you or is can't. it just like no, your you opinion can't. nick salmon i watched an interview with nick salmon mm -hmm. and he said unfortunately calling someone a white supremacist is protected by the first amendment he was very clear about that so I don't even know if, if Rittenhouse can sue Biden because Biden called him a white supremacist. So evidently that's open to interpretation. Right. Yeah. And CRT well, he, he him gives a, you an out for all this. He called him a white supremacist incidentally too. It wasn't even a direct. Yeah. Like if it was more direct, yeah. But but see, I don't I don't agree with that. I think if you call someone a white supremacist, which is a little bit different than calling someone racist. If you call someone a white supremacist, it has a very clear... No, it doesn't. Meaning? Not with CRT. Yeah, but it does to the. But it would be based on what the average person thinks. And yeah. then the average person, you say, okay, this is white supremacist means a person who thinks that white people are a superior race or something. To I fact. would love a lawsuit to come down and clarify what it means to call someone a white supremacist. Right. Like as soon as some case law is on the books for that, you can guarantee these news organizations are going to be a lot more careful. When they're throwing around the term white supremacist, like something like that might just put the whole CRT thing uh, out of business. Maybe. They like I to mean, call everyone white supremacist. Right. I just I, t to me, it seems preposterous that people can just throw this charge of white supremacy of racism, which is a which is something that gets you fired and blacklisted and has real world repercussions that people can just throw this around with no evidence whatsoever. And then say, oh, well, it's not defamatory because it's my opinion. Like, I that's agree. preposterous. I agree. Preposterous. I totally agree. Preposterous. So, so we're doing a different thing here. It was different last week, and it, people really liked it. That show was super popular. We got, I think, 3,600 live viewers and just a, a ton of views on the replay. So Sitch here is kind of, he's like a, like a bartender of cringe now. <laughs> it's kind of cool. He's, got, he's like scouring the internet. He's like, here's, you know, he's checked the bouquet on this cringe, Adam. Mm -hmm. This is a little, a little mainstream MSNBC, uh, you know, uh, daytime anchor cringe for you, <laughs> Adam. What do you think? That's right. You have to have all flavors of cringe available for your, for your discerning palate. Yes. I know. Well, don't worry. That first clip, I decided, you know, I was thinking about how we we're going to order this again like <laughs> Look last this. week. He's like a DJ. He's like, we got to get them. We got to start the mood off right here. Yeah, you got to get the play. So I figured, well, you know, we'll ease into it. You don't want to just jump into like the deep end right off the bat. You got to ease into it a little bit. So the first one, you know, at first you're like, oh, this isn't so bad. And then it kind of gets a little worse, you know, so you're, it's preparing yourself. Oh, my God. People were jubilant when the when the thing came out, when the. 
when the not guilty verdict came out. Yes, it was As they great. Should be. As it was they should great. Be. Yeah. Kyle Rittenhouse collapsed at the table. Yes, it was fantastic. Which you would. Yeah. Oh my God, right. the fear on his face. Oh. Well, it's funny because we were we were both watching it live, and we're both just like staring at the computer screen, like, "Oh my God!" Like, yeah. <laughs> like the tension is palpable as the judge is coming back in, and he's looking over the charges. We're like, "Say it, say it." Yeah, yeah. Uh, Kubo Kubomi for twenty dollars says, "I'm at work in downtown SLC, and there's an anti-racist protest outside right now with banners saying the people's verdict is guilty." Oh my God. All of this is based on fake news. Yes. Oh, what's Salt Lake City? Oh, okay. There actually, my mom uh, told me about this. She said there was some news program she was watching, and there are people there that had a, a banner that said the people's verdict is guilty. And at the bottom of the banner, it said something like, you know, Socialist of America. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay. Anyway, let's jump into the video. Finally, First up we got Maya Wiley. Really, I guess same question to you. In, in your view, legally, on what did this um, acquittal turn? Look at how dour she is. She's like, oh, <laughs> we are not going to get to see him fry. How disappointed are we? <laughs> God, the the bloodlust in these people is so ridiculous to me. Oh. All based on fake news. Yep. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but that's just some <laughs> premium salt there. You, this is <laughs> we're starting off great here. What are you talking about? Look at this. Look at the disappointment in her eyes. Wow. Look at you. Look at all these judgment. These snap judgments. This person could be very non-biased and neutral. You don't know. Look you at that know. wrinkled brow. A Adam, look at you that. Don't look at those. <laughs> look at this that person downturn could be frown. the biggest Kyle Rittenhouse supporter in the entire <sighs> continental she U.S. She sighed okay. before she even opened her mouth. Sitch, what are you talking about? <laughs> well, she sighed because she has to be on a panel with Reverend Al Sharpton. She oh. knows that he's going to oh be. Oh my God, we have Al so. Sharpton on this panel too. <laughs> yes. Oh, this is crazy. This is crazy. You know, I don't think there's much question that obviously the jury bought the self-defense claim. Uh, this was one that included witnesses in addition to what Shaq said. That said, for instance, Mr. McGinnis from the Daily Caller, who said, uh, Mr. Notice how she throws in the Daily Caller just to throw McGinnis on yeah. the bus. Yeah. Well, she, yeah. she also said they bought the defense's claim. Oh, that's a good, yeah, good yeah. catch right there. So, uh, yeah, obviously biased right off the bat. Rosenbaum lunged for the rifle as Rittenhouse testified. And you had the medical examiner that the prosecution put on who said, yeah, it could have been. It's possible that there was a lunge. Um, those are the kinds of things that helps the defense create reasonable doubt. But I do want to say at the end of the day. I mean, we did also see him lunge on the video. So, yeah. Like, there is a video yeah, she, of it. She's left the whole video part of it out of it, huh? Yeah. 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 I really think this turned on the judge. We have a judge that in addition, <laughs> oh it's not God. just that he said you can't call the people who have been killed or injured victims. It's that he allowed. Dude, I just, I want to see, I want them to show this judge using that with a black defendant and them completely changing their <laughs> tune on it. I totally I do. You know, they would. I know. Like, how do you, how, 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 how do you not see that this is good for all well, defendants? I don't remember if it was, if I have it lined up or if I didn't, if I didn't include it, there's a clip of some commentator on MSNBC saying that this judge has a history of being pro-defendant, which you generally would prefer, right? You prefer yes. your judges are more, uh, bias towards defendants because that's the way the country that's the way the law is supposed to be yeah so yeah no it's it's hilarious because then yeah as long if it was a, a black defendant or a, you know being accused of some crime then yeah they wouldn't they wouldn't complain about this whatsoever that's another interesting thing and i looked up i watched i think pretty much all the richardson's interview richardson's was kyle rittenhouse's defense attorney and the interviews he put together were were great he they this judge <laughs> This judge is a mixed bag because while he is pro-defendant during the trial, 
he is a hang em high judge. Like as Once soon you as you lose convicted, your case, yes. yeah, yeah, you're going to jail for life. <laughs> so they basically <laughs> told Rittenhouse, like this guy will give us a fair trial, but if he sentences you, you're going away forever. Like you're not coming home well, ever again. And I don't even think it's fair to say that the judge was biased in favor of Kyle because a, a lot of his rulings, especially towards the end, were very favorable to the prosecution. I agree. Like, he didn't allow any of um, he didn't allow any of Rosenbaum's background in, which I think is very relevant. The fact yeah, that, he, that Rosenbaum tried to kill himself, I think, is entirely relevant. The fact that he was just released from the hospital after being in a coma for killing himself that night is very relevant. And then the whole thing with him allowing the blurry picture in in the first place, him allowing the blurry zoomed in picture in the first place and allowing the provocation jury instructions. These are all gigantic wins for the state that yeah. uh, that all these people leave out of their quote unquote analysis. Rosenbaum is a five time pedophile. We don't know. He could have been lunging for his weenie, <laughs> not the gun. We don't know this. We need the background to be able to tell where he was lunging. <laughs> It's just important uh, information for the trial. Right. Rosenbaum died as he lives, chasing minors. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Demonstrators to be labeled hitters. And at even one instance, Drew Hernandez, who is uh, ideological uh, and has a very formed biased opinion, who gets to be on the stand as a fact witness and use the word Antifa even when the Department of Homeland Security has said white supremacy is a significant danger in this country uh, and not Antifa. Um, so what that tells us, though, is... Who, who, what, what? Yeah, what does that mean? Well, okay, but listen to how dishonest the frame is. She's like, they allowed Drew Hernandez to come on the stand and, and use the word Antifa to describe Antifa people, which he did during his testimony when he said, you know, that he'd been going around the country covering riots uh by antifa people and blm protest and then so her her so what she says doesn't actually make doesn't it's like completely irrelevant it's like a non sequitur because she's complaining that he's allowed to use the word antifa on the stand and then says but the fbi says that you know white terrorism is more of a threat than antifa it's like okay yeah. what does that have to do with anything well to her that doesn't mean he can't use the word antifa to describe antifa <laughs> In in her mind, though, Kyle Rittenhouse is a secret white supremacist. Right. So right. that's basically the inference that she's making. It's so bizarre because that really is the perspective that they have looking at all this. Like, oh, he got away. We saw him make the OK hand sign. We know the truth here. Yep. No, yeah. you're 100% right. It sucks. It totally it sucks. Does. They're living yeah. in, they're fucking delusional they're in a dangerous delusional. way. Yep. It's the inability of the prosecution to actually cross-examine on the bias of that witness and then throwing out the misdemeanor gun charge, really? He threw it out, reading the statutes, not clear to me how that stands, but what it's- Is, is she an attorney? Because, I mean, this uh, yeah. this art, this pot-spoken artist from <laughs> California figured it out. I mean, it did take my friend to, to help me walk me through it. I did have to hold your hand <laughs> and lead you. To, to hand do. hold my way through it, but it, right. it seems pretty clear once you, uh, once yeah, someone it gives it clear. to you. Yeah. Yes, it's very clear. That's why the, this. it's ridiculous that they're talking about the, the judge throwing it out because, I mean, it didn't really, it wasn't really applicable. No, it was completely not applicable. Yeah. They should never should charge in the first place. They make it sound like he threw it out just because, oh, I don't really like this one here. Yeah. Tossed out. No, it was well, not. The judge is obviously racist. I mean, did you see his tissue box? <laughs> yeah, no. It had an American flag on it. So, you know. It's terrible. As to the jury, essentially the jury knows an illegal weapons charge and they know the judge took it away. These are very clear signals to a jury what the judge thinks about the case. And we have so many examples in this, and that's- That's the state's fault, okay? If the state charges Kyle with a charge he shouldn't be charged with, and the judge dismisses it, that's not the judge's fault for following the law. That's the state's fault for how they charged him in the first place. Yeah, for overcharging. Come on, come on, lady. That's a deep- problem for the belief that the justice system works and i do feel like we're in more danger today than we were yesterday <laughs> my uh... 
we're more danger today than we are yesterday oh, because Cowan House is free right now. He's roaming the streets of wherever he lives, somewhere across the state lines of Kenosha with that AR-15, looking for black for innocent white and black people to just mow down. Yes, it's so it's so ridiculous because I I mean this. Uh, they they had an opportunity here to make common cause with conservatives over justice reform. So many conservatives were watching this and being completely red pilled about the overreach of prosecutors, like prosecutorial yes. overreach. Right. And a lot of people obviously don't feel Kyle Rittenhouse. I mean, he got off, but a lot of people feel he didn't really get a fair trial because of the way the trial was conducted. And, and Richardson even talked about this in some of his interviews, putting the, the brothers on the stand when they were obviously lying their fucking asses off. The, the car dealership owners uh, was r ridiculous. Like why, why, uh, why did he do that? Did, yeah. Could he not tell that they were lying? Well, well, first of all, well, first of all, his name's Mark Richards, not Richardson, mm. but. Oh, okay. Mark um, Richards. Sorry. About yeah. That. Sorry. But, <laughs> Hey, thank you. No, I can't do the voice. I can't do the Ricada voice. But um, so it was interesting because Richard said that the police interviewed the brothers and they said to the state and they said the binger that they thought the brothers were lying. And so there yes. is and there is a huge ethical question. And I wonder if 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 binger will be sanctioned or censured or whatever the process is for this, um, because. If you're the state attorney and you put witnesses on the stand that you believe are lying, you're not allowed to do that. Yeah. And and if the police are saying this guy is lying and you look at all the evidence and it seems like the brothers were just lying off their ass, I I don't know how Binger defends himself against that charge. Yeah, I think Richard said he was a prosecutor once and that was, yes, there were things yeah. that he saw Binger do that he would never dream of doing. Binger was right. not searching for truth. Binger was searching for a win and, you know, in a in a super egomaniacal type way that I think a lot of people saw and would have some sympathy if, you know, these MSNBC commentators were talking about justice reform, but they just they can't do it because tribalism has kicked in and right. They they are not even looking at this case objectively. It's it's nope. funny that so many of them are literally arguing, f you know, for a, basically for an unfair trial when that is that is part of the problem. That is one of the reasons why people are in favor of things like criminal justice reform, because they feel like, you know, they don't want to be the ones that are being prosecuted by Binger. And if you are not, you know, Kyle Rittenhouse, who has a crowdfunded defense team, you're going to jail. You're going yeah. to jail for life. You're not right. going to win that case. Well, it's weird because our favorite uh, mall lawyer, Paul Blart, mm -hmm. oh, mall yeah. lawyer, he actually, he wrote an, an article in the Washington Post that's mm -hmm. about that very topic where he's complaining that Kyle Rittenhouse had a $2 million defense team uh, lined up and it's weird because on one hand he's like complaining as if Kyle Rittenhouse shouldn't have had this but then he's also complaining that other people like other people especially black people don't have access to this kind of defense and it's like okay but so shouldn't your argument be that everyone should have a good defense not that Kyle should have a bad defense like everyone else yeah exactly oh <laughs> it's such a strange argument to make so so true and the reason you know I they will say that the reason Kyle had a such a, a stunning defense team that was, you know, crowdfunded for millions of dollars is because he's white. That's exactly yes. what they're going to say. But I don't I don't believe that. I think I think people crowd were willing to contribute to this case because it felt like so much injustice was being served out just by the fact that they were bringing a case against him. Right. That he should, like, with so much video evidence, it should have clearly been a self-defense thing. Well, I think it was two things. I think it was, you know, all last summer, if you, if you guys recall last summer, you'd see all these videos of rioting and looting and arson. And everyone's like, why isn't anyone doing anything about this? Why isn't anyone doing anything about this? And so you have someone on trial who actually tried to protect a business from being burnt down. So that was kind of like 
people were like, oh, someone, the guy who finally went out there and did something is now on trial. Yeah. That's so that was the first point. element. And then the second element is that, and then on top of that, we all saw the videos like the next day or a couple of days afterwards. And it was just so, so incredibly clear to anyone who was not just biased against uh, Kyle that he was innocent in the videos. He was running away from these people and he was being attacked. Yeah. It was just so clear from the videos. Yeah. With you, these are some of the headlines that the judge um, earned during the trial. Um, judge says he let Rittenhouse randomly select jurors out of a tumbler so he would feel in control. Rittenhouse judge in spotlight. That's so. That's such a nothing burger. That's such a nothing the, burger. There were so many people that pointed this out as like the judge being racist, and I'm like, I don't understand. So because Kyle gets to randomly choose the people that will be on the final jury, like how is this race? I don't understand. Yeah, he, he's he, and he's picking them at random. Richards said that the first three that he pulled, just they were tearing their hair out because they were keeping track of all the jurors and they were their three of their most solid, uh, not guilty people. The first three that he pulled out. Wait, the first three he pulled were the jurors they wanted or jurors they didn't jurors want? they wanted. The first oh, three he were, pulled out. Yeah, he pulled out names who would not serve. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. It's the inverse. So he's yes. not pulling people. Okay. Gotcha. So there's, I, I think he pulled out six total that were taken off of the jury. So right. the ones that he's pulling out are taken off of the jury. He pulls them out and he opens the name. And the first three were ones that Richards. So they have a score tally going of everyone on the jury. Uh, who's pro Kyle, who they feel is pro Kyle. Obviously right. they're not talking to the people. But yes, so he pulls them out of the tumbler, opens them up, and the names, the first three names were people that scored the highest for <laughs> uh, not guilty verdicts for Kyle. And just Richards was just like head and hands going. And oh, then no. he said in, in one of the interviews, they asked him, you know, how do you feel about how long it took? And he just said, it was hell. <laughs> it was fucking yeah. hell. Right. <laughs> like total hell. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't anticipate it to go that long. Yeah. Um, but. yes yeah so imagine that yeah, that's why this whole thing oh he got to select the first three that came out it it wasn't like he got to oh this one's a good one here let's throw that back in <laughs> well, <laughs> let's no. grab again Listen, obviously you know they had like the one lone black juror he wrote his name on like a different piece of paper that kyle could tell <laughs> by feeling it so kyle's i like, root around there like let me f you know i gotta pull out that black guy right <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> All this stuff is, just, it's so weird. It's so weird. What's going on with these well, people? This is, this is the perfect example of what ideological possession looks like. I know. It doesn't matter what's happening. It doesn't matter how innocuous something is. The brain contorts it into, oh, this is wrong. This is evil. This is despicable. Yeah. Moral, the moral intuition is, oh, he shouldn't have any say. If right. he was black, he would never get to choose his own. What? The judge does it for everyone. Right. Right. They have no, this is another, I saw another person complaining about the Tumblr thing. And the, the big thing that she said was, I've never seen that done before. It's like, okay. So what does that mean? <laughs> well, they're also mad too, because when the judge explained why he did the, he does this where the defendant can oh, choose? I know. He, he said it had to do with a story of like a black guy. Uh -huh. And he said like a black or something. I don't know. The phraseology was not quite exactly the most politically correct way. Right. And they got that, it. He, that he used to say to say a black person. And so they got very upset by that, too. They lost their shit. They're losing their shit over it. They're just looking for things to get mad about. Yeah. Yep. After disallowing the word victims in the courtroom, judge in Kyle Rittenhouse trial faces backlash from Asian food joke. Definitely not OK. Um, what I mean, I think the president's statement speaks to this and he puts himself in the camp of Americans who feel angry and concerned. What are we left to feel about the administration of justice? Look how fucking dour these people. My God, I know. So I know. All the signaling. Because she's ready to cry here. She's going to fucking cry herself to sleep over this. An innocent 17 year old will go free, motherfuckers. I know. Oh, it's a shame we couldn't Be get happy. this one. Yes. It's a shame we couldn't get this one into the electric chair. Next time, next one we'll get. 
it's like what they're the they're fuck? hanging the lynching rope for Kyle, and then Justice. I came know. And said, nope, not today. I know. I just I so sad. I don't get it. It's like they don't want. They really don't want criminal justice reform. The thing that they've they've been well, no, harping it, on and on and on and on about forever. They don't want these people are so ideological ideologically possessed that they actually have hallucinated themselves into thinking that Kyle Rittenhouse is a white nationalist who gunned down innocent BLM protesters. Right. So that's they actually. Yeah, think you're right. That. You're right. They yeah. Actually, think that yeah. happens. So that's why they're so down. Yeah, if that was the case, we wouldn't be having this stream right now. We would no, be... we'd be like, "What the fuck? This is <laughs> a travesty!" Yeah, yeah. They see Kyle Rittenhouse as you know, a, a joined a militia when he was twelve years old. <laughs> His mom drove him there. <laughs> like... He handed him the gun and said, "Now, honey, shoot, shoot all them BLM protesters like a good boy." <laughs> exactly. His. Uh... His mom ironed his swastika laden uniform before <laughs> she sent him out into the world. Oh, don't forget your gun. Don't forget your body armor in the truck. Right. And then he then he opened fire into a crowd, killing three black lives matter protesters. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. uh yeah, and the rest is history. Right. It's so bizarre. It's so bizarre. I w this is the thing, because no one's gonna ask him this stuff, but I want her to ask. I want her to ask like basic questions like that. Like, yep. what do you, I want these people interrogated, but they're all just. What do you think actually happened? Yes. Yes. That's another thing Richard said. Richard said, all of these stories come back to non factual claims about the case, things right. that are just provably untrue. All right. of these beliefs. Yes. Well, things that are either provably untrue or irrelevant. They gave his phone to the fucking FBI, okay? Know, if they found anything related to white... The, Facebook searched his his user history and whatnot. Facebook tracks you every single place you go on the internet. Adam, his name was Four Doors More Whores, okay? <laughs> well, that's actually that's cool, but... <laughs> all you need to know. Non, no racial component, one bit <laughs> at all. Well, I think one of the things that this Oh my god, you hit play and there was like a <laughs> like a three second silence there. Oh the bitterness. Trial yeah. has shown many people who had the opportunity to see inside a courtroom is what black people in this country have been experiencing for hundreds of years, which is the system doesn't necessarily work fairly for everyone. Because see see, this is what just is ass backwards to me. Because Every conservatives did see how unfair the system is. And this is the perfect opportunity for you to say, you see how unfair the prosecution was with Kyle Rittenhouse. That's mm -hmm. how unfair black people get it every single time. And they don't have the $2 million defense fund and they're going, their innocent people are going to jail. This is your right. perfect opportunity to say, Hey, look, this kid was clearly innocent and he almost went to jail. Right. But, but that would be, uh, a strategy towards trying to build the bridges as opposed to trying to be more divisive. But this is the problem, Sitch. Like, people should be terrified of the criminal justice system after sure. w after witnessing this. Yeah, definitely. My Look, my, my dad used to always say, he used to always talk about the self-defense cases where, you know, somebody breaks in your home and you shoot them and then you're on trial for murder. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And I used to think that that can't be the case. It just seems like impossible to me. And then I see this case and I think dad was right. <laughs> Holy shit. Someone could break into your house. You could shoot him dead. And then you're serving a lifetime sentence for it because you get some uh, Thomas Binger on the prosecution. And he's going to he's going to put you in jail for mm -hmm. life just so he can get another notch on his belt. Well, though, usually if someone breaks into your house, you're usually pretty well covered mm -hmm. with castle doctrine. It's, it, it just gets a little stickier when you're not in your house. Right. That's when things get a little... Right. You hope. you yeah. Like Binger? Binger doesn't care if you were in your house. What are you talking about? That's you true. You provoked him when you were driving home. <laughs> we have video evidence. Look at this ink blot test we got here. You had an American flag sticker on the back of your truck. Okay. Obviously, you provoked this attack. But 
this is this is I just I don't understand the art this is where my brain kind of skips here because the argument she's making makes total sense if you look at it like Kyle Rittenhouse almost got an innocent man almost got put in jail well, but that's okay so but the it way makes she's, no sense the way she's saying it Kyle Rittenhouse getting off the way she's looking at it is that since she is looking at this through the critical race theory everything's about race lens she's saying oh She's not she's ignoring the fact that the prosecution in the state was completely corrupt uh, towards Kyle. And she's just saying, oh, well, Kyle got off because the justice system is designed to get white people off and to go free. And then is also but it was designed to convict black men. Mm -hmm. So that's the only way she's looking at it. She's not looking at it to through you through the way that you're saying and, and saying, oh, you know, let me use this as a good example to show people on the right that the criminal justice system is can be very corrupt against uh, defendants who are innocent and that this is why we need criminal justice reform. Do, how does it make sense? She, she's saying this is the justice system blacks face every day. That makes because sense if she's talking about overzealous prosecutors that she, don't care about okay. the truth. But it she, doesn't she said, make sense in the context of Kyle Rittenhouse should have been thrown in jail. She's implying as if this was a case from like 100 years ago where, or not even 100 years ago, but from like 50 years ago or 60 years ago, where in the South, some crowd of people lynched a black man and then they went to trial and the judge is like, well, you're a bunch of good old boys, innocent. Like that's oh, how okay. she's perceiving That's this. the way she's seeing okay. it. Right. 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 So she's she's saying this is the justice system we've always faced. Like if Kyle Rittenhouse was black, he'd be put in jail. Yes. Or yeah. Well if, people, if Kyle Rittenhouse people, was black have, I don't mm -hmm. I don't know that charges would have been brought against him. So, no, not yeah. uh, no. And I don't I mean I a bunch of people I, I mean I, I don't think people would care if there was this much video evidence and it was a black guy. I mean, it would be like, yeah, he's nope. innocent. <laughs> like, yeah, are you no. kidding? Everyone would say he was innocent. The left and the right would both say he's innocent and that would be it. Yeah. And no charges would be called. Yeah. Yeah. Biases and they bring them into the courtroom while the system sometimes works. I don't want to say it never works, but in this case it's very hard to look at this and say it did. Certainly, uh, and I, I want to say this about the jury, um, the jury clearly worked hard and there was someone or some group of people on that jury who were probably fighting about the evidence. And that's one of the reasons it was three and a half days. Uh, but as I said, you can't have the neutral arbiter, the judge, uh, putting his hand on the scales and call it justice. And that is a problem that we've had in the system unfortunately in many cases not in all of them but it's certainly the case that you don't get pieces of choice pieces of choice at all but justice is a requirement for that choice and that's the problem she i just i completely Wait, what is, disagree what yeah is she, she her, saying her, her ending kind of fell apart there she's like we're gonna fucking ride is basically what she's saying yeah because she is that what she was saying because that's how i interpreted it yeah we can we can back it up my my i just i completely disagree i think the prosecutor was the one putting a thumb on the scale and the judge of was course. like trying to pull that thumb off of the scale yes it's totally. completely ridiculous the way that she's looking at it and i just i it's so it's so egregious to me that the people in favor of criminal justice reform have this gigantic opportunity to come out with a law saying we shouldn't be calling, you know, if the if the trial is designed to determine whether or not someone is a victim, we shouldn't be calling them victims ahead of time. Like I, I'm discovering a right. lot of our criminal justice system is not designed with what we've learned about human psychology in the last 50 years. Like it's even the not guilty thing is weird because you're literally calling them guilty. <laughs> like your mind hears the guilty, not the not part. Well, yeah, sure. Yeah. Sure. So, I mean, e even a, a more neutral word than not guilty would be better than that. I mean, that seems like that's like pie in the sky dreaming, but it seems like there's a debate in various courtrooms over this victim thing. And it should just be a law. It should be categorical. 
You can't come in and with a bunch of paperwork that already calls them victims. The system calls them victims. Everyone's calling them victim, victim, victim. You're completely, uh, you know, polluting the jury pool when you're doing yep. that shit. And, I agree. Yeah. And the people who are going to be most hurt by that are the people who are spend the most time in the criminal justice system, which a lot of people would say you marginalized people, right? Those are the people right. who are... Who are in the criminal justice system? So I, just, I, th they're missing just this gigantic opportunity here, and it's so sad. It's so sad over this tribal politics nonsense. Like they can't even see this right. clearly. I, well, I, w I went, I went back because I want to hear. Yeah, how do these, said, how yeah. do these people not, how do these people not get that? How do these people not understand that? Like the case that you don't get pieces of choice. Peace is a choice. See, she stops mid sentence there. It's really weird. Peace like, is a choice. Yeah. Peace is a choice. Peace is yeah, a me, choice. Let me go back to you. Neutral sure arbiter, the, the judge, uh, putting his hand on the scales mm -hmm. and call it justice. And that is a problem that we've had in the system, unfortunately, in many cases, not in all of them. But it's certainly the case that you don't get peace is a choice. <laughs> peace is a choice, Nicole. But justice is a requirement for that choice. And that's okay. Yeah. So she's talking about how she thinks the judge is biased and through the trial in Kyle's favor. And then she leads that into saying peace is a choice and that, but justice is a requirement for peace. So it sounds like to me that this lady, who I think they said was a lawyer, is advocating for people to go out and riot. She is. That's what yeah. it sounds like to me. Yeah, it's clear as day. Yeah. <laughs> what the? That's disgusting. What's wrong with this person? What's this wrong is, with MSNBC? Like having this person on TV saying, "Yeah, go riot." This is one of this is one of the five memes they can fit in their tiny little brains. Is the no justice, no peace. That's their that's their mantra. Right. No justice, right. no peace. But God. what they really mean is. You know, we want our way, or we're gonna, or we're gonna burn right. things down. They're not talking yeah, it, about justice. Justice was no. was served here. Yeah, against what I say, against so many odds, justice was served correctly. Yes. If if we would, if we accepted their set of facts, mm -hmm. justice would not have been served. We would right. totally agree. If if right. Kyle Rittenhouse was a white supremacist who went shooting randomly into a crowd and killed three people or killed two people, injured one, unprovoked, no, this would be a travesty of justice. But you have to of accept course. those crazy, bizarro facts that don't exist. Right. It's fortunately, so weird. <laughs> fortunately, we have eyeballs that allow us to see truth. And we're not blinded by our political ideology at this, this moment. Is a, this is just... This is why I love the the woke racism book by John McWhorter because this these people this is a fucking religion, dude. Look into yes. her eyes. She believes with all her heart that this is that the the truth of what we're talking about here. She thinks right. those are the facts, and right. she this is like an attorney. <laughs> I know this is scary. So, this is scary. This is totally scary. Rev, the the victims are Anthony Huber and Joseph. Okay, the trial with, that we had determined that they were assailants, <laughs> attackers, okay? Attackers. Victims, yeah. Adam, they're yeah. victims. You don't call the loser in a quick draw competition a victim, okay? <laughs> he got into the fucking play stupid games, win stupid prizes. That's, a, that's another thing that's infuriating here is that they're, I mean, they kind of want to circumvent the law of karma here. It's like if you... If you, if you, these people need to take responsibility for their part in this nonsense. Rosenbaum, and I want to read a statement from Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers. He says this, quote. You see, it says the victims at the top. Yeah, because they want to the... make sure. Yeah, they want to make sure they're like, oh, you don't like right. our propaganda? <laughs> Here, no, put it in your face. The victims a point of view, Ed. Verdict will ever be able to bring back the lives of Anthony Huber and Joseph Rosenbaum or heal Gage Grossgrotz injuries. Just God, I hope. What the fuck? This is the governor this of is, Wisconsin? This is crazy. Oh, my God. I wonder when Anthony Huber's victims are going to or when Joseph Rosenbaum's victims are going to actually do interviews. I know. What the hell? Yeah. The real victims. 
Oh, Jesus. No verdict can heal the wounds or trauma experienced by Jacob Blake and his family. No ruling today changes our reality in Wisconsin that we have work to do toward equity, accountability, and justice that communities across our state are demanding and deserve. Your thoughts? I think that... Uh Get that guy out of office. I hope that guy fucking gets demolished in the next election. That's a yeah, disgusting that. statement. Jeez. Uh, the governor's statement is correct. And I think the broader context of this verdict today, it is, is most disturbing, which is why I think the president and the governor has to speak to this. And there needs to be clearer federal legislation. We can argue about the case in particular. But when you look at the broad message that came out of this, is they have said now that vigilantes can go to protests and kill people and say that they were defending themselves, which puts all Americans, particularly those that want to protest for whatever issue, in danger. The precedent that it set. I, this is so disgusting. It's because, so first dishonest. Of all, it's so dishonest. The people that were vigilantes that night were Huber and Gage. Yes. Okay. Those were the vigilantes. You have Kyle Renhouse running towards the police, very visible. He even tells Gage he's going towards the police. And they're the ones that decide to run in and attack him and try to stop him and quote unquote capture him or murder him or beat him up or whatever they were trying to do. Okay. Those were the vigilantes that night, not Kyle. Yes. Kyle was a security guard. Yes, he defending defending the building is uh, termed as vigilantes. Don't go fucking security guard. Okay, vigilantes right. are about exacting punishment on people who have it coming. And the, the way they frame this is so disgusting because it's like, are people not allowed to def to to stop people from burning down buildings and rioting and looting? Because that's what they're suggesting that you can't. Because they, get, they always leave that out of their fucking quote unquote analysis. They never say, well, you know, they're just, you know, they're standing in front of the property. They're, they're, they're not attacking the protesters. They're just preventing people from burning the property down or yeah. from going Se in there and stealing That's called a security stuff. guard. Right. That's all they're doing. They're not going around. This is so disgusting because they, they frame it like, oh, these guys with guns are walking around trying to intimidate protesters. They're just there. They're literally there like, look, you can do whatever you want. You could go protest. Just don't attack this property don't try to burn it down don't try to break in here okay yeah it and they always so dishonestly leave that out whenever they talk about this i looked up vigilante vigilante someone who punishes perceived lawbreakers themselves rather than relying on the authorities oh huber you mean like gage, and <laughs> gage. Anthony huber yeah yes perceived lawbreakers he shot him he killed him he's a murderer get him yeah, exactly. I another it, thing too. I I remembered because they go over the active shooter training, and it's mm -hmm. uh, it's run, hide, fight, but fight yes. only as a last resort. Right? They right. forgot fucking run and hide. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But they thought he was an active shooter. I wish the prosecution would have brought that up on on cross examination, but they didn't want to. They didn't want to. They didn't want to give any credence to the active shooter thing. I love right. how so many people in the media are like, but they thought he was an active shooter. Doesn't cares that make any thought. difference? <laughs> I know, exactly. For the fucking mo so they're morons. That allows right. him to go kill somebody? Well, and the thing is, they didn't. that's all bullshit, too. Because what, what was really happening was you had a mob forming. Uh, it, yes. Like, you know, it's like an old Western where someone's like, hey, my horse is stolen. And they're like, that guy's a stranger in town. He must be a thief. Let's get him and lynch him. That's yes. basically what happened. They had... A bunch, a mob of people, and this is what never gets talked about. The the that night, uh, mob justice was trying to beat or kill Kyle Rittenhouse. Yes, and you had a mob form. They didn't know any of the facts. They didn't know anything that happened, and they decided they were going to take the law in their own hands. So for all their whining and crying about vigilantism, the vigilantes in this case were the the BLM protesters. Yes, they were, and and it's just, it's so disgusting because they're they're coming out right here saying they're against vigilantes when they're patently not against vigilantes. They're uh, lionizing these vigilantes. Right. That you can have a judge sit there and people can be killed, but you can't call them victims. But you can call the other side what you want, that I can let a tumbler 
sit in front of a man charged with murder and let him choose his own jury. So I think that many of us are far... They're just, they're leaving out the part that it's like random selection. Yeah. Somebody said they would rather have it done by computer, and I thought, did you not see the last election, you stupid motherfucker? <laughs> Do you I would, what? I would rather it be Tumblr, but I'd rather... The inver- I'd rather be that the, the names I choose serve, not the inverse. I don't like that, you know, choosing the <laughs> names throughout. You're like, Judge, can I please select the jurors? I <laughs> Yeah, I look, I want to do, I want to like do positive uh, intentions of the universe. Okay, I want to pull the names I want. Not, I want to uh, pull the names I don't want. No. It is the way it is. <laughs> That's why Kyle got fucked pulling the three names they <laughs> oh, wanted I originally. Oh, I know. Yep. He was like doing the positive affirmations thing. That's right. At, that's right, right. right before. But, oh, please let me select the best jurors. Please, please, please. <laughs> and then he reaches in and Richards is like, you know, you're selecting the ones that are coming off, right? And he's like, ah! Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. I've been praying all morning. <laughs> what are you doing to me, Richards? What are you doing? I'm dying here. Oh, man. All concerned. Can you concern? Did you, did you hear the story with the the judge saying that someone else, like the bailiff, used to do it, and yeah, he got in trouble. Like it, it, it just it didn't. It seemed fair if the person selected it themselves. Yes. It's their their lives on the line, right? And he did it because the person whose life was on the line was black. Yeah, it was a it was in a a quote unquote marginalized oppressed minority. So, yeah, okay. how did how is none of this like <laughs> reaching them? Yeah. This judge is so incredibly fair. I know. It's preposterous. But the broad message this verdict gives, arguing what the legal experts ought to argue. I got to back it up and skip a little bit. That I can let a Tumblr sit in front of a man charged with murder and let him choose his own jury. So I think that many of us are far more concerned about what the broad message this verdict gives than to arguing what the legal experts ought to argue, and rightfully so, about the particulars of the case. The message coming out of here, don't forget the two people in Michigan that went on their front stoop bandishing guns when there were people marching by on police reform. They visited the trial to support uh, uh, Kyle Rittenhouse. So you have Nicole in one block of time. That was psychotic, too, the charging of the McCloskeys. Oh, hell yeah. Like oh. totally chumped up charges. Well, it's so fucked up because you have Kyle, you have McCloskey's, and you have the guy whose name I can't remember who was at a, one of these uh, protests, and he people were attacking him or threatening to attack, and then he pulls a gun out, and he and he doesn't fire at anyone. He just pulls a gun out, and they keep aggressing on him until he points the gun at them, and then he and he's backing up the whole time trying to leave the situation, and they go after this guy. For Isn't that assault. the guy? I think that guy committed suicide, which is even fucking did worse. He, did he? Oh, my God. Yeah. And it's, One, it's so, just... Someone in that situation, yeah, they brought him up on legal charges and he committed suicide. I don't know if we're talking about the same guy, but I was I just like fucking, be. I was just like, think of that. Think of that. That's what happens when you don't have the $2 million crowdfunded defense. Like you, these these public, def- you, you're in court with a public defender and you know, like immediately, I'm going to jail. Mm-hmm. Like they're mm-hmm. throwing... They're throwing plea bargains at you that are like 10 years. <laughs> You're going, my God, what the fuck? I'm going right. to serve 10 years in prison? I'm it's, going to serve it, 10 years in prison because I pointed a gun at someone telling them to get the fuck away from me? It's just insane that... It's just insane that... They're, it's like they're trying to make self-defense illegal you know, in these situations. Like... Like, oh, if there are people rioting and causing problems, you just have to sit there and just fucking take it on the chin. And you're not allowed to do anything about it. Yeah. Well, and all these so fucking, fucked up. all these, all these pundits, all of these fucking politicians all live in their fucking gated communities. They all, they're, they have, they take zero risk in any of this. It's so, it's so hypocritical. Mm-hmm. It's insane. It's totally insane. That's why Kyle Rittenhouse got a $2 million crowdfunded defense. 
because right, right. we're we're trending in the wrong direction here. Like I was, we did last week, and I was like, man, this is going to be sad next week if fucking he's, if Kyle Rittenhouse is in a orange jumpsuit. We're not. This is not going to be pretty. I know. So many people were going to be completely black pilled if yes. Kyle was not guilty. It was. It was going to be crazy. So I mean, that's why I'm ha- I'm so happy that that you know justice prevailed, and that this is this is part of what's interesting too is that. So many people on MSNBC, their heads are so far up their own ass. They're living in this constructed far left bubble of misinformation and narratives that they just don't understand what's going on outside of that. So that when you have a group of people who are on a jury who are not part of that bubble, who just look at the facts, they say, oh, OK, this kid's you know not guilty. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully. Man, I I hope I really hope that Kyle Rittenhouse does push the defamation cases because we got to clear up some of these facts here. We really do. We got to hold the right. media accountable well, for this. No, you're right, and and I want and the, the real reason I want him to to win to sue these people and to win his defamation case is not for revenge, but just to either Incentives. a yeah to get these people to be incentivized to not be fucking liars and to be to shake up the country and say, look, look at this nonsense. Look at this bullshit. Look at what's going on here. Yeah. Stop listening to these liars. Yeah. Yeah. We got to get our act together. People that are pro gun people that can support house to see him acquitted. But when black ministers go sit with a mother in, in uh, Brunswick, Georgia, who had a young man with no gun, with no allegation, we are called all kinds of names and told that we ought to be barred from the courtroom in the same news cycle. That is the problem that we're facing in this country today. And it took a tremendous blow with this verdict. He's talking about these black ministers went to sit in the uh, Arbery. Arbery case. Yeah. Right. Which, I mean, the, the judge, I think, asked him not to come just because he didn't want to make a spectacle of it. But, I mean, the guys in the Aubrey case, they're going to jail, man. They're totally going to jail and should yeah, go to are. jail. Yeah. yeah. Though, the, the thing with the, the, the Black Pastures, it's funny because, well, it's not funny, but the I don't know whose lawyer he is. He, I don't think he's the main guy's lawyer, the guy who actually shot Aubrey. Mm-hmm. But one of the guy's lawyers is like a moron. And... He just says these things in the most horrible, inflammatory way possible, because I would agree conceptually that, you know, if you've seen in the Arbery courtroom, it's a very t- first of all, it's a tiny courtroom. It's nothing like the Rittenhouse courtroom. Right. So there's very limited seating. But also, I would agree that if you have a bunch of famous, uh, you know, black pastors sitting in the very limited seats, you know, staring at the jury, that I would say that that is pretty it's prejudicial. Buy some. Yeah. Yeah. So I would agree with that, but the way he fra- but the way this idiot lawyer phrased it, he's like, "We do we got enough of these black pastors in the jury in the in the witness stands, not the or the in the gallery." He said like, that. What, what he a, said it in like what the, an the idiot. worst way possible. I was like, "Why would you say it like this?" Like God, he's so unprofessional. What an idiot! I know. What an idiot. Rev, you inspire a million. They want to ask you right now, but I, I, I'll, I'll stick. To- yeah, why are you a fucking liar? That's the number one question. <laughs> <inspires. Okay. laughs> Jesus, a million questions. Yeah, why are you a liar? Is good. That's number one. That's number one. To it, where I know your focus is. Um, how is the family of Jacob Blake doing? Oh my God! I can't. Let's ask the, let's I just who, can't fucking self-appointed. You know. Uh, victim chaser, Reverend Al Sharpton. I can't even believe this shit. Yep. Half the people on Twitter think Jacob Blake is dead. <laughs> they don't realize, yeah, yeah, they right, don't they think realize he's, he's still alive. Th- they think he's dead, and they think that the shooting wasn't 100% justified, which it was. 100% justified. justified, and I think he got like a $10 million settlement or some crazy. He did get a lot of money. Some too, crazy yeah, amount of bizarre, money. But Remember, Sharpton was one of the big ones who came out defending... Uh, the or not attacking Duke during the Duke lacrosse thing. Remember, there was oh yeah uh, a a young black I believe she was a stripper who accused the Duke lacrosse team of sexually assaulting and raping her. Turned out during, to all be lies. Yeah, during a party that they had hired her to perform, and he was one of the first people to jump out and say, "Oh, look at you know these white you know elite 
college protecting these students, blah, 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 blah. And everyone threw these kids under the bus. And it turned out it was literally all bullshit. She made the whole thing up. It was completely lied. Yeah. Yep. In, in touch with his father. In fact, he'll be on podcast with me tomorrow afternoon. He's outraged because to think that these people came uh, to his city and then and, and and killed people that were there protesting for his son who was shot on videotape, Jacob Jr., on videotape seven times in the back, and the policeman was never prosecuted. And here are people, whites... The, the policeman was never prosecuted because they didn't have a fucking case. Yeah, for, for those that are not familiar, you have Jacob Blake sexually assaults his girlfriend. When her child... He, he like comes into... The, I'm not going to get into the, the, the gory details, but he sexually assaults his girlfriend with his fingers while her child is in the room accuses her of sleeping with another man uh this gets she gets a restraining order or tries to get a restraining order against him he has a warrant out for his arrest for doing this uh he then ap appears at her house again later she calls the police they know that he has a warrant out for his arrest he takes the keys to her car he starts putting the children that he doesn't have custody into the car and he's going to drive away with the children the police show up and there's this woman there frantically screaming, he has my kids, he has my kids, okay? Mm -hmm. so the police know that this is a guy, they know it's a domestic disturbance, they know it's a guy who doesn't have custody of the children, a guy has a restraining order, they don't know what the fuck's going, you know, they don't know what he's going to do with these kids in the car. And so then, so the cops try to stop him with verbal commands, he ignores all of them, they try to stop him by holding him, He, they cannot stop him by holding him, they chase this guy twice, yeah. and it doesn't He work. pulls the taser out. <laughs> He's like yeah, fucking the first, Superman. The first time they shoot him with the taser that shoots out, he pulls the prongs out. And the second time they hit him with the one where you just like hold it to their neck and it just doesn't work for whatever reason. Um, and then he has a knife on it. He has a knife in his hand and he's going, he's getting into the car with the children who he doesn't have custody of. He's going to, who knows what he's going to do with them. And this woman's screaming that he's like kidnapping her kids. So of course the police are going to shoot this guy. It's a hundred percent justified case. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's just, and then they keep interviewing the family members about this. Like, fuck, fuck interviewing these people. Your son, your family member deserved to be shot. He was a fucking crazy person and very, and was a criminal. Yeah. Resisting you know, and actually, arrest. I, I looked it up. Endangering lives. I was curious if they ever did a toxicology report to see if maybe he was on something, which is why he could mm -hmm. take all those tasers and not PCP? be PCP? But uh, I couldn't find. I don't think they ever did a toxicology. Really? Wow! If they, it wasn't in the police report, the final police report. They probably took it out with the settlement. I don't know. Maybe. By the way, who was standing up for his son, and they were killed, and now they're being told that their lives were meaningless. That the mm -hmm. court of law does not protect the fact that they were killed is is an outrage to him, <laughs> and I think it's an outrage to all of us. And it is a threat to all of us, to all of us that are that are known activists. We've got to be concerned what message this sends to anybody out. You know, just don't lunge for anyone's gun, Sharpton. You'll be good. You'll be okay. Right. Yeah, <laughs> right? Don't don't uh, assault your girlfriend and then try to steal her kids. Yeah. I mean, it's very. Well, no, I mean, he's talking about the protesters. Being, right. Right. Yeah. Well, then, I, just, I don't even... understand. Like, you know, these people were obviously they were going for his gun. Why? Right. <laughs> like, don't go. For, well, don't go for the guy's AR, and you'll be fine. And and it's even crazier too. Is they keep calling Rosenbaum a protester. First of all, Ro Rosenbaum. There's no indication that Rosenbaum was protesting or gave a fuck about yeah. Jacob Blake. Rosenbaum was in a drug-induced coma when the Jacob Blake stuff was happening. He didn't even know about the story. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's so sad. Yeah, they think they can get away with harming any of us and anyone else that stands up in protest and say it was all self-defense and see that this it's just, that is so infuriating that is such yeah. a grave mischaracterization of yes. any of this stuff that's what that's the the rhetoric they're saying this is going to embolden people to just shoot protesters now yeah that's such bullshit yep. don't call them a victim even though they were killed by ar-15 while young man that should have never had it in his hand 
Shaq, we've been describing Kenosha as on edge. I know the governor has, has spoken out. The president has spoken out. I know there are preparations. National Guard has been deployed. But can you just tell me, you know, sort of what's on the minds of the people that you've run into since the verdict was made public? Yeah, Nicole, you know, one common thread that I've been hearing from people on both sides uh, all across the city is how tired they are of this situation, the tension that they've been feeling. I mean, they keep saying it's been a tough 15 months for the people here in Kenosha. I had one uh, small business owner tell me that he was uh, frustrated, that he can't, he couldn't wait for the moment when people stopped talking about Kenosha, and he was waiting and anticipating the verdict for that reason. And I th Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now just lean over and go, that's right, Al Sharpton. Get the fuck out of our town. Get out of our town, yeah. We're yeah. sick of your shit. Get out yeah. of here, you race grifter. Kenosha wants to go back to sleep. Yep. That is something that you're hearing from people who wanted to see the conviction of Kyle Rittenhouse and those who were uh, calling for the acquittal of Kyle Rittenhouse. There's this understanding that they under they, they is understanding that they've been through a lot over the past year and a half, and they want the media presence to go. They want the protests to go. They want <laughs> yes. to resume that normal life again. And I, I think one thing that you uh, I've seen a couple <laughs> of these interviews with this guy, and this guy seems like pretty upstanding so well yeah uh brewster because he i mean i don't i've never seen him give his opinion generally whenever they go to him he's just the guy on the ground who explains just what's going explaining on explaining yeah. what the facts are what people are saying so yeah he's been pretty impartial from what but I'm he saying. has got the facts inside the courtroom right as well so yes. i mean he's yes. not coming out and going oh my god did you hear the asian food joke he made <laughs> Like so many well, yeah, people are. even even it's interesting because there's like this very clear divide between the on the ground reporting people and then the opinion people because yeah. on uh, even on the most biased of msnbc shows you know they'll have generally the it's him or i forget the other guy's name that they that they usually turn to to do this something with a g and the two of them they just are like oh this is just the facts they just explain it completely neutrally and i'm like why can't that just be the fucking news the guy just explaining the facts to you they don't want people coming to burn their town down i mean i feel like kenosha is the real victim here because i i feel like a lot of these people are just you know they're they're activist tourists they're going in there to protest right they don't live yeah. there they don't care they don't gauge care if drove car source. an hour to get there <laughs> yeah exactly exactly yeah <laughs> no, one compl no one complained about him crossing state lines he drove an hour to get there far yeah. longer than kyle but somehow you know he had a, a more of a right to be there and yeah. to carry a gun which he had which was illegal for him to actually carry yeah, it's ridiculous. It's, and, man, that's imagine people coming in from out of town to protest something that happened in your community and burning your community down. I, I can't think of anything more unfair than that. Yep. Yeah, that's what inspired Kyle Rittenhouse. Yep. We saw throughout the deliberations, which, again, we, were, we entered day four of the deliberations, you saw that tension just continue to grow. Schools going virtual, for example. You saw businesses that had uh, boards down off their windows for the past year since uh, what happened last August. They decided to board up again. That tension uh, was growing and people... That fucking ain't cheap as a business owner, man. That mm -hmm. ain't cheap. We saw it all over Los Angeles. Board up your whole store. It's ridiculous are deep are breathing a sigh of relief right now and they hope that the calm that you're seeing right now throughout the city they're hoping that continues through the night after this acquittal guy on his bike just going by what's that <laughs> just i like that there's like just a guy on his bike just like going by <laughs> it's like woohoo no more riots pandemic's well, over for, fortunately uh, to my knowledge it seems like there wasn't really much of any problems in no. Kenosha after the verdict i thought there was going to be a big riot or something but no it was, i they, don't know if it's because it was too cold to protest or just because most maybe most of these protesters were from out of town and they just couldn't bother be bothered to show up but. i watched this morning and the news is trying to super play up what little protests there were like portland yeah. there was they keep showing one shot of Portland protesters like backing up a SWAT team like into some garage or yeah, something. Yeah, that's in Portland though. Yeah. yeah, I know. It's like Portland. They do that right. all the time. Yeah. So Right. That's yeah, that's that's just a normal Saturday afternoon in Portland. But, yeah. Yeah, in Kenosha, it seems like fortunately everything's been quiet. People don't really give a crap. They're like, Yeah, we're just as he said, they just want to get on with their lives. Maybe this 
maybe this bubble that they're living in will actually keep them off the streets. Maybe the protesters will be like, oh, if they can just shoot at me indiscriminately, I'm not going to protest anymore. Are you kidding me? I don't want to get Kyle Rittenhouse. Well, and it, or it could also just be because, like, you know, it's a white guy. It's a white kid that shot, you know, three white people. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Oh, <laughs> Maybe the protesters don't really care. They know the story. Well, they know enough that they're like, oh, you know, it wasn't a black guy that was killed. So why are we going to bother protesting? Speaking of speaking of winter, I need to go mm -hmm. turn the AC on. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy living in sunny California. He's I like, do. I need it's getting hot in here. Hold oh, on. it's I'll so be... hot in here, guys. Oh, oh, yeah. Listen, where I am, it's like 77 degrees outside. <laughs> <I know>. okay. <laughs> we both. Yeah. God, I feel bad for you guys. You guys who actually endure cold, we feel for you. We do. Yes. I'll be yes. right back. Uh, Brian Townsend for $20 says, happy Sunday, everyone. Fun fact, I got in trouble trying to watch the Rittenhouse verdict in the break room at work. I was, a, I was accused of promoting a hostile work environment. Whatever's right. S-Class is the best class. Ah, thanks, Brian. That's insane. That's, well, I guess I would say when they accuse you of, of watching, the, of creating a hostile work environment, maybe, I understand, maybe they're saying they don't want anything remotely political in the workplace because they know that if the trial if the verdict comes in and it's not guilty and bryant's over here like yes that the person next time is going to be like what do you mean he's totally guilty and then a fight's going to break out so uh, look maybe i understand that but uh guardian fortress for 20 dollars says wow i hate i hate the shield of it's quote my opinion by cowards and it poisons the well of others who really use it as their opinion the few ruin the many Yes, we true. are. Are we going to watch any of that? Because uh, there was a there was a watch, heated debate between David Pakman and oh Destiny God. that was pretty, pretty fucking cool. I, I just I loved I loved we have to watch. I don't know what we're going to do. We probably won't have time today. And right. I don't know if anyone will care by next Sunday. Yeah. So maybe we'll watch it on Tuesday or Thursday or something. But there's a debate between David Pakman and Destiny that's it's insane yes. about this topic. It's yes. just it will blow your mind. It's insane that we have to watch at some point. The real the thing that's awesome about it is Destiny really holds Pacman's feet to the fire on spreading yes. fake news. Fake, Destiny, I mean, fake fucking news. And Pac-Man just tries to weasel out of this in like such a disingenuous way. I've never seen anything like but, this from Pac-Man before. It's crazy. He he uses a, a variant of the comedy show defense, <laughs> it, <Yeah>. which, is, <laughs> which is fucking yeah. insane to me. Like, David Pacman said it's David Pacman used our defense. He said he's doing a comedy show. He says it's this is he says destiny. This is just entertainment. And I'm like David and, Pacman. <laughs> when does he do a comedy show? What's happening? Listen, and how David? How do you call that show entertaining? Okay, you you I pitch know. yourself as a fucking news show. Okay, you're supposed to be sp spreading real information. And not only that, I Sitch and I, well, we do call ourselves a comedy show. We're not spreading fake fucking news. Like we can make jokes without spreading lies and deception. Right. Like what mm -hmm. the fuck? What the yep. oh, it's uh, the only reason I'm saying this is cuz you brought up the opinion thing and that's what he was doing. He's like but this is just my opinion. What? <laughs> what? Oh yeah, we'll, we'll we'll definitely we'll make sure we're going to cover it. Don't yeah. worry. We probably we're not going to do it today, but we will do it in the future. Oh God! I lost all respect for David Pakman over the Kyle Rittenhouse yeah. story. I lost uh, all respect. Uh, Samaro Samareo for fifty dollars says, "Been watching replays and the Clips channel for a few months now, but today I'm tuning in for a live mixed cringe cocktail on the rock. Serve it up, bartender." <laughs> P.S. S class is the best class. Well, welcome, Thank you, Samaro. Welcome, Thank you. welcome. Yeah, for anyone who's uh, new here, uh, we will read fifty or we'll read twenty dollars super chats and anything above while you know while we're watching and then we'll generally read the the rest on tuesday yes okay. that's uh that's our rhythm yeah. yeah uh mr dolphin for 20 dollars says white pill the left wing has become extremely triggered and performative this weekend but i do think that the good majority of progressives would come to not guilty if they were one of the jurors the evidence was too clear <laughs> i tend to agree with that because i think so much of 
the you know the rhetoric on Twitter is just people who are either completely performative or people who just don't know anything about the case whatsoever. Yeah. So I agree with that, Dolphin. All all just bought the lies, basically. Yeah. Uh Diogenes or Ly- Lyonese, as I said last week. Uh A team, also known as the National Centrist. Uh, C. Kyle walking out of the kangaroo court free as fuck, and S. Class calls us anti signs for some reason. <laughs> for some unknown reason. There you go. There's Lyonese. There he is. Uh, an actual American flag. I'm saluting for $20. Says the cope has been so weird. Either one, Kyle's guilty because a black man would have been guilty, so he must be. Yeah, I know, right? Or two, that makes we always no knew. Sense. I know, it's crazy. Or two, we always knew he'd be innocent. Yeah. Or three, the exaltation of Rosenbaum and Huber by by big names oh. is all so tiresome. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. Yeah. They just, I can't believe the people tweeting about, oh, Rosenbaum and Rosenbaum, St. Rosenbaum, St. Huber. There was, a, there's a person, I, I don't, I think I have a clip lined up, who was protesting outside the courtroom and they have a, a sign and they have Rosenbaum, Huber, and, and Gage's head on like Superman bodies. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. And they're like, they're like, Kyle is evil. I'm like, oh my God. She's got a, a five time convicted pedophile guy. It's like Superman. <laughs> the it's fuck? A, it's so weird. It's <laughs> so weird. All oh my the God. politics. We have a celebrity in the chat, everyone. In case you didn't see this, we have Kenosha's DA Thomas Binger in the chat. What? That's right. The Thomas Binger is here, and he's so generously donated twenty dollars to us after have, having such a hard week. And he says, "Look, I've had a rough couple of weeks. I need a vacation. Adam, do you think you can help your brother out and let me stay with you for a few days?" <laughs> oh, fuck you, fuck you. In case you guys didn't know, D. A. Thomas Binger is actually Adam's brother. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> It's you just not said yes. True. You said yes. I said fuck no. <laughs> I might if you if you want me if you need a if you need a vacation, Binger, yeah. listen. Mm-hmm. Our vague resemblance, I might be able to pull you off if you want me to take over your job for a couple weeks. But I'm telling you, mm-hmm. I have a let him go heart, so I might some people might be going free. Yeah. Yes, Gary and I read your super chat. I can go back. <laughs> you didn't miss. It. Um, uh, I'm not going to read all twenty dollars right now, but I will read the fifteen hundred, and then we'll go to another, the next clip. Uh, Mark Ellison for fifty dollars. Thank you so much, Mark. Says so sad. The left is conflating self defense and anti riot support with white supremacy. Uh, true. Derek Chauvin and the guys in the Arbery shooting are in or likely going to jail. Respectfully. Well, Chauvin is obviously going to jail. Uh, this is evidence that this is not a race issue. Go team truth. Yeah, totally. You're going to see the Arbery guys are definitely going to go to jail because uh, they didn't have probable cause under the law. And but you're going to see it, it's going to they're not going to look at it like like, you know, Sharpton's making these proclamations like, oh, you know, this is a nationwide problem, blah, blah, blah. Everything happens. Everything happens on a nationwide scale. But the second he gets a verdict he likes he'll act like, oh, this is just a microcosm. This is just a local phenomenon. Yeah. So he'll say, oh, it's a, just a local phenomenon that Arbery went to jail. It's just a local phenomenon, or that the person that killed Arbery went to jail. But it's just a local phenomenon that Chauvin went to jail, but Kyle Rittenhouse is somehow indicative of a nation, a complete nationwide uh, trend of white supremacy and racism. Yeah, it's all cherry picking, it really it's is. All they ignore anything that doesn't support their narrative and the Aubrey case obviously doesn't support their narrative any way shape or form uh J Mac daddy J Mac for a hundred dollars thank you so much says uh leaving Las Vegas with four and a half hour drive so glad that you guys will be keeping me company while we're glad cool, to provide cool. Jay. yeah I hope you enjoyed your Vegas yeah hope Vegas you played, is always hope fun you played some craps fast <laughs> line best deal best <laughs> Did you deal play some house. craps Jay yeah did you let us know, Jay? Did you cover uh, the hard ways? All the hard ways. Ho- hopefully, hopefully, any, hopefully that super chat was paid for by Las Vegas. Yeah, Williams. exactly. Yes. Anyway, today, so right now we'll be getting into Ari Melber. Yes, we had a fun with Ari. Oh, Melber Ari, this guy. Yes. Oh, yeah. Good old Ari. The breaking news: After over twenty-four hours of cumulative deliberations, the jury 
finding Rittenhouse not guilty. It's a controversial ruling in a closely watched case that was testing the limits of lethal and deadly vigilantism. Fuck you. <laughs> God, what a what disingenuous assholes. Vigilantism. Testing the limitations of vigilantism. Yeah. It's it's so bizarre. It's bizarro world because there I were know. literally two vigilantes in the case. One of them died, one of them took the stand. Yep, yep. Ugh. I can tell you as a legal matter, this case was also about more than murder. The prosecutors made the specific case that Rittenhouse was a murderer. They also gave the jury evidence of other lesser crimes. Wait, no, they... Oh, he's the prosecution. Okay. Meaning the jury had the option to find a kind of a middle ground. They had the option to rule, for example, that there may have not been a first-degree murder, but there were crimes of, say, endangering the public by bringing that illegally obtained gun to the rally. This is wrong, such, wrong. This is, this is so weird and stupid. He's like, the jury should have gone for a like a compromise verdict. Like, no, they should go with a verdict that makes sense legally. What the fuck are you talking about? Well, he lied about the lesser included because he's saying that the, yes. the lesser charge is because he just brought the gun to the rally. No, the, the lesser was endangering other people's lives by shooting at the protesters. The... the Wait a minute, let's go back. So, I'm sorry. Rule, for example, that there may have not been a first degree murder, but there were crimes of, say, endangering the public by bringing that illegally obtained gun to the rally. Yeah, you're right. You're to right. Fucking He's saying lie. that just Bold having face the lie. gun present is, is the charge. No, that's insane. Bold he was charged specifically lie. endangering uh, McGinnis, the reporter. And the. Because and one the of the bullets uh, jump went kicked through. Man. Yeah, that one of the bullets went through Rosenbaum and passed by, we think. No, I don't know if they ever found direct evidence um, of this, but they think one of the bullets passed by McGinnis and then also for shooting at Jump Kick Man. Mm -hmm. So, which I, if, these are ridiculous charges. McGinnis is, is chasing after, he's running into danger. He's running after a person, running after someone with a gun that he knows has a gun. So that's his choice. Yeah. And, and the bullet went, and it's also the bullet went through Rosenbaum. It's not like, you know, he shot wildly into the, the sky or something. Right. And then the other guy is kicking him in the face. Yeah. How is that reckless endangerment? Fuck that guy. Literally had a boot on his face. Yeah. Literally had the sole of his heel across the side of his face. As he's, as he's trying to shoot him. Yeah, right. Insane. Totally insane. Did you see, wait, did you see the, the, the Chiron here? Jury finds killer at BLM <laughs> rally is not killer. What a fucking killer. What the a BLM rally killer. What a dick. Kyle what a fucking killer. dick. The Kenosha killer. Dun, dun, dun. Jury finds killer at BLM rally <gasps> is not guilty. What a fucking dick. Who put that? Who typed that in? MSNBC and shooting three people. Ridiculous. I know. And killing two of them. So here's what this means legally as you digest this news tonight. The jury actually weighed five total charges. That includes... That's right, not one, not two, not three. <laughs> first degree murder, what they call homicide, and that's... And options on other violence and charges about reckless endangerment of safety. So the jury could have found guilty for some and not for others. But as you see in this news, this jury cleared the defendant of everything. Yeah. It's so weird. It's like, well, how how do you think he deserves any of these? Maybe we should just throw a couple of these in for good measure. It's that's like, what, the, what the fuck, Ari? That's that's what Ari's arguing. First of all, I just pause it. Look at that. Look at he's got the crazy eyes. He does <laughs> definitely. <laughs> it's insane. He's he's doing the he's doing the it's aliens thing too. It's perfect. I love how they but, have um, justified in in air in air quotes. <laughs> Jury clears written house, finds both killings. <laughs> justified we know what, yes. we, we know what justified means right yes it's just it is hilarious he's just arguing he's like why couldn't they have at least compromised why couldn't they have at least hit him with something lesser all of them not guilty it's not fair <laughs> it's so weird like do these guys understand they're all attorneys i don't know why they don't understand how the law i don't works. think i don't think ari's an attorney but yeah he should know better this is yeah ridiculous unanimously finding not guilty on all five so keep that legal context in mind as you hear 
the necessarily lengthy jury verdict from today. It took this I take long it back. because there were so many. I Google him and the thing that pops up under his name is American Attorney. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking? They. This is why they give him these. They, oh, they, no. They assume that an attorney has some level of intelligence. I oh, beg to no. differ now. I'm, I'm starting to wonder. This so is so bad. People. His, his Wikipedia says, uh, Ari Melber is an American attorney and journalist who is the chief legal correspondent for MSNBC. <laughs> like, you know, Are you losing all know faith in humanity now? He, he should really, well, I, you know, if anyone had any faith in MSNBC, but, he, you know, Do he you, should really know better. Have you done any research into the, uh, Scott Adams says that MSNBC is like run by the CIA. Is there any truth to that? I, when I see these, I kind of think maybe there is. Why would the CIA be doing this? Doesn't make any sense. Because they want to. I don't know. Who knows? The, why CIA, the CIA wants does. to provoke a race war. No, that's prepos- No, that's stupid. That's yeah, stupid. So you think Scott Adams is just full of shit? I like Scott, Scott Adams is right about a lot of things, but he's like very into he gets like stuck in the weird like um uh deep state conspiracy shit that msnbc I, that he, is but he, and he just pulls these out because this is what I, I don't like usually scott's very good about <laughs> waiting till he has facts and evidence uh-huh. but when it comes to the deep state shit he's just pulling this out of his ass i don't know he's just like he's just like oh he's listening to jack basabic or or barnes kind of make like you know the wild claims that they make often and he just buys it how do you i mean this seems like CIA propaganda to me, though. I mean, it's, it's there is a definite <laughs> argument. Look, look, hold on. This guy's uh, probably been to an Ivy League school. He's an attorney. He's a uh, MSNB. He's a legal correspondent for a national news. Television. Why would the CIA want this? Well, that's the big question. That, but that's, that is that's the question. No, okay. Let, let's. What makes more sense that there's some sort, sort of secret CIA propaganda? that wants to spark a race war for some unknown reason or some very confusing reason. Or, more likely, they have a bunch of fucking assholes who are stuck in a left-wing elitist bubble and are promoting a bunch of left-wing bullshit nonsense because either A, they actually fucking believe it because they've tricked themselves into it via tribalism or and also B, because you know they were, they were afraid of getting sued so they had to double down and they really wanted Kyle to be found guilty. I don't know. Not, none of this makes any sense. None of this makes any sense. It makes, I don't know. It makes perfect sense. This is just Ari the way. Knows, Ari knows he's lying though. Ari I don't think he, I don't know. Is, I don't think he does. These are old face lies. I don't think he does. These are lies. He, someone right. wrote these lies. He knows it. Well, it's interesting because I found, if you remember last week, we watched uh, Zelinda, the woke witch. <laughs> yeah. Zelinda. Uh, I know. Yeah. Well, you know, like Galinda, the good witch, we have Zelinda, the woke witch. And she sits in for the last word for Lawrence O'Donnell. No so way. She does his show. No way. No and way. Then, but wait. And then some other lady That's I've never insane. seen does Zelinda's show. Mm-hmm. And it's weird because the lady they had to do Zelinda's show is completely neutral on Kyle Rittenhouse. Really? How she describes it. And it, yeah, like the first 10 minutes of it, she's just, it's all neutral. She has that guy on uh, uh, Brewster who just talks about the case neutrally. And you're like, oh, wow, this is very interesting. And then she has the white haired guy on who says oh, all yeah. the crazy oh, shit. Yeah. But even while he's saying the crazy, crazy shit, she's just kind of like plain face. She's not like adding anything to the conversation. Wow. So because it may because we were questioning last week, how much of this is the news anchors and how much is it their producers? Yeah. And that made me think maybe it is more the news anchors because here she is sitting on the show that has the same producer you know, as, as the most crazy woke bullshit that we saw last week. And she wasn't really saying anything woke whatsoever. Hmm. You know, she wasn't even lying about the case. She was just kind of being neutral. So I thought that was very fascinating. Anyway, Zelina, Zelina was being neutral. No, no. The woman sitting in for Zelina. Right. So her, her sub was being neutral. Yes. Her sub was being neutral. So we were questioning whether or not it was just something put in the teleprompter by the producers. Versus well, well, yeah, something well, the pundit is bringing in. How much is the host bringing in, and how much is it just the the producers of the show? Right. So this makes me think that the host maybe have a lot more sway than I originally anticipated. Yeah. So many crimes charged and found not guilty. State of Wisconsin versus Kyle Rittenhouse. Do you want to watch him cry again, or 
Should we skip? Well, we haven't done it once. Uh, maybe okay. we'll, we'll watch it once. Come on. You don't want, I'm going to cry here. <laughs> this okay. Is so, there you go. This is so heart wrenching. So, Sitch, where were you when you were watching this live? Uh, I was sitting in these chairs. I'm sitting in right now, staring at the screen, watching Ricardo Law Street. <laughs> you you sent me a DM. Yes. And I I mean I was in and out working in the yard, and uh, I'm so glad that I caught it. Like I caught your DM like f maybe five ten minutes after you sent it. Well, if you it's funny because if you hadn't caught if you hadn't responded to my DM, I was like, okay, if he doesn't respond in ten minutes, I'm you gonna text. call him and tell yeah. him. <laughs> my phone was in the house. I, my phone okay. goes like unanswered for days. Right. At time, yeah. So. Right. Uh, so I might have missed this whole thing, but I did catch it. I have I pulled it up and I. The news feed I had was not I met I put together a split screen like this for myself. Like I found a news feed that had the camera on him and the other one had the camera on her. So I actually saw this kind of same composition here. Interesting. Yeah, I, yeah, I only saw the the on him because that was what the Rakeda feed yeah. was watching. But you saw him later because I'm sure you looked it up. No, no, the Rakeda feed only had on Kyle. Okay, so you were watching it on Rakeda. I pulled it up yes. on a different stream. I paused well, I Rakeda. Wanted to, I wanted to participate yeah. in either the jubilation or horror with like a group. I didn't, they, wanna, I know. I didn't want to feel it alone. I know. They. I muted. I paused them because I was going to go back and hear their reaction, but I brought yes. it up and I was like, I knew instinctively someone's got to have a camera on this kid. What the fuck? What am I watching her? Re I'm like, I don't want to see this. I want to see what's going on with Kyle. Right. Yeah. It was it's pretty crazy because this face, oh God. We've all been there. We've all faced wow. this kind of horror. I well, don't know if we've all necessarily yeah, been I, here. Yeah, I don't wanna yeah, okay, obviously. We haven't all been there right. there. I mean, but right. we've all had just things that we're terrified sure, of. Sure. Yeah. Not to this level, obviously. I don't wanna yeah, you're right. right. This is just right. a level of terror that is right. Hope many of us hope we will never have to experience in our lives, yep. but you could see every you could you can see like his life is before his eyes right here. Yep. Um, read the jury find the defendant Kyle House not guilty. As to the second count of the information, Richard McGinnis, we the jury find the defendant Kyle H. Rittenhouse not guilty. Look at his sister back here. His did you notice the sister in the back there? As to the third count of the information, unknown male, we the jury find the defendant, Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. As to the fourth count of the information, Anthony Huber, we the jury find the defendant, Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. As to the fifth count of the information, Gage Grosskreutz, we the jury find the defendant, Kyle H. Ritt Kyle H. Rittenhouse, not guilty. Members of the jury, are these your unanimous verdicts? Is there anyone who does not agree with the verdicts as read? No. Would you wish the jury pulled? The 18-year-old Rittenhouse there seen collapsing uh, in apparent emotion amidst the verdict. Apparent emotion. What a fucking dick. What a dick. What a fucking dick. <laughs> I can't believe this shit. The man who killed two BLM protesters injured a third. The man who brought an illegally obtained rifle to the protest. The news and the legal outcome. Did Sitch, I hate you. I fucking hate Why you. Why do you hate me? Why do you hate me? I fucking hate you. Why? What did I do? You found the biggest goddamn motherfucker on <laughs> television. How is this Ari guy sleep at night? Uh-huh. He said apparent emotion. <laughs> apparent emotion what a fucking prick you know when i said we weren't going to just jump into it i kind of lied i know <laughs> this motherfucker i know what an this asshole. is apparent emotion mm -hmm. apparent emotion yeah a, guy, a kid is like has life imprisonment versus freedom and of course he's gonna break down and he's like apparent i emotion. know He's acting I like, know. oh, I know, you know, we got the white supremacist judge we wanted. I just do a big <laughs> show for everyone. Just right, he knew just the pretend. fix was in. Yeah, the, just the pretend. judge. The judge took Kyle aside. And he's like, "Listen, kid, 
we got the whole situation rigged. All right. We got a bunch of Klansmen on the jury. They're going to see you through. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Just cry when we get the verdict. And, you know, <laughs> Just, fool everyone to thinking, you know, that it was, uh, that you were actually worried. Just cry real big for us. Okay. That asshole Ari <laughs> Melbourne is going to be on MSNBC. Okay. You got to make it look good. Otherwise he's not going to believe it. <laughs> Also, come on, MSNBC. You didn't have the person disable the resample rate on your video. What I know. are you doing? Come Think on. A bunch of bunch of noobs over there. He, he, is. Hour. he walks. Now, no one knows at this hour exactly what the jury discussed in those private deliberations. We do know the evidence they saw. We know they saw emotional testimony by Rittenhouse taking the stand, which is a legal rarity and apparently didn't hurt him, may have helped him because he got off. Was he doing the crazy eyes last week? I don't remember him doing that. Is he? He keeps, he keeps, he keeps opening his eyes. You know, he's doing the AOC. Like, he's opening his eyes super wide. Oh, yeah. Like, that's a that's a huge tell for, like, cognitive dissonance. Oh, really? Is that? Yes. Oh. <laughs> I think it is. Did you get that from Scott Adams? Uh, he he has mentioned stuff like that. But it's weird. It's, it's weird when you see people do that. And I don't remember him doing that last week. They tell him to do that at CIA training. <laughs> That's a, it's a huge tell for CIA operatives. You didn't know that. All the CIA yeah, yeah. operatives do the crazy oh. eyes. Yeah, you're right. So the CIA, see the CIA operative, operatives. That's how they like, signal. Okay. The CIA operatives are like, all right, Ari, we want you to go out there and to look like the, the craziest weirdo possible. All right. So make sure your eyes are. You know, maybe you're right. Maybe this is a CIA uh, does tell MSNBC what to do, but it's really a false flag. Okay, it's Maybe. really an inverse. Okay, they they want to make sure that there's some crazy, super far left uh, media organization out there that everyone ridicules. Why? Is Maybe it, that's the that's the plan. Why is Ari such a motherfucker? <laughs> Tell me that. Who 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 beat him up when he was a kid? Like what happened know. here? How did he get to be this evil? I'm curious. It's it is interesting. So they <laughs> saw the video evidence, the killing on tape. They were presented with the evidence that Rittenhouse essentially lied about pretending to be an EMT at that rally that night. They saw his... <laughs> Obviously, that was the key part of the uh, the trial right there. Did he... I mean, there was some clip going around, and I noticed that he yelled EMS, which is emergency medical service. It's not He technician. told McGinnis he was a certified EMT, didn't he, in the interview? Oh, I don't know. I think he did, yeah. Oh, okay statements claiming did, did he say he was certified i'm not sure he said he was certified I, but i think he did at some point okay because i remember banger asking about this and he admitted that he but who i mean who gives a fuck I mean, it's, it's irrelevant yeah <laughs> who cares yes totally he needed the gun for protection and then saying under oath he didn't think he would have to protect himself when you decided to bring your ar-15 loaded with 30 rounds down to the 63rd Street source, car source location. What did you think you needed protection against? I didn't really think I was going to have to protect myself. You told us just now you brought it along for protection. I did, but I didn't think I was going to need to protect myself. You brought it along for protection, but you didn't think you needed protection? That was an inconsistency there, but it clearly did not move the jury towards any guilt. First of all, it's not an inconsistency. This is the most like obviously dishonest line of questioning. Everyone understands what he's saying. He's saying yeah. you want to have a gun there to, and maybe Kyle should have spelled this out deterrence, a little better. But yeah. yeah, he wanted to have the gun there as a deterrent. Doesn't right. mean that he thinks he's going to have to kill someone. People, there's lots of people that walk around with either you know a concealed weapon or whatever, and they have a gun for just in case but they're not thinking like every day that they carry their gun oh i'm gonna have to kill someone today like that's not the thought that's not yeah. anyone's thought process yes you think you bring the gun and i'm less likely to need the gun but it turns right. out he did need the gun so right. better to have it not need it than need it not have it exactly exactly the verdicts the protests where rittenhouse killed two were a response to a different controversial shooting when wisconsin police shot jacob blake in the back objection your honor irrelevant <laughs> totally irrelevant yep today his uncle reacted to this verdict did that in his view the judge seemed to side often with the prosecution when you have the, the guy who's presiding over the whole thing puts his hands on the scale 
and allows this young man literally to walk out. And he gave him a pass. He didn't allow evidence in. If somebody's in uh, before that shows the Proud Boy sign, then goes into a bar at 17 and throws it up again, you know his ideology. There was no self-defense. Self-defense is when you're protecting your home, you're protecting your family. He, in a very bastardly and dastardly way, used the law that worked for him. There was absolutely no self-defense. They keep showing this his fucking uncle mm-hmm. who's fuck first of all, fuck Jacob Blake. Mm-hmm. He's a fucking criminal, deserved to be shot. And fuck his family members that are spinning this fucking bullshit yeah. uh tale of lies about the case. And what is how is anything that his uncle's saying relevant or newsworthy in regards to this case? He's just some more he's just some family member who doesn't know shit about anything. Yeah. The most biased person in the entire world. Right. Let's interview him. Right. Like, I understand interviewing the family members of, or the girlfriend of Huber, or the family members of mm. the, the people that died. Like, okay, so there's some relevancy here. But what, this uncle has nothing to do with anything. These rioters were at my protest for me. Oh, not for <laughs> me. For my brother. Well, his, his nephew, I guess. Well, but, my nephew. Yeah. <laughs> my nephew's protest. They were burning down the car source for me. Yeah, exactly. It's how dare you stop them? Why would yeah? And also, that's a good point. Why would, why would anyone from Blake's family member want to take responsibility for the protest that ended with, you know, two point five million dollars or yeah, more exactly. of damage? Some people light a candle in vigil here in <laughs> Kenosha. Here in Kenosha, we light a car on fire. We light a hundred cars on fire. We had a hundred and thirty-seven car vigil for my brother, for my nephew. There you go. There How you go. dare Kyle Rittenhouse snuff that Durango <laughs> flame out in protest? How dare! Uh, How dare he let the let the Durango burn? <laughs> that's what he. That's what he's thinking. Yeah. That's what he said. He's like, the more property damage, the better. We'll fuck this whole town up. Mm -hmm. It's total. It's like the complete Joker ideology here. I know. But this is weird because Ari's like in with it. He's like, yeah, I like Joker, man. That movie was great. Let's (laughs) shoot some motherfuckers in the face. Let's get, let's get real here. Yeah. Yeah. It's just so, uh, man. Endorsing mob justice is just not a, really a path you want to go down. But th- these people are playing with fire for ratings, I guess. I don't yep. know. Yep. Think they're desperate to keep their jobs? Is that what's going on here? They're like, God damn it, we need a riot. What's What do we have on the docket here? Mm-hmm. Well, actually, when we get to the CNN stuff, I want to talk about that. Because I think there's some interesting things happening. Really? Behind the scenes. Oh, yeah. shit. Oh, shit. His view, no self-defense there, and I should clarify, his concern was that the judge was against the prosecution, and we've shown in our reporting some of the flare-ups in the trial. Blake's family basically arguing there that this defendant had a view of self-defense that's now been endorsed by the jury that can be treated as a license to murder. Now, the verdict tonight across America is very controversial. It is also the law, and under the rule of law, Juries are respected not based on whether you agree with the individual outcome, but based on a process being fair and valid. As a journalist and a lawyer, I'm not here to undermine the legitimacy of the civic and, by the way, nonviolent jury process that we use to deal with these kind of disputes. Then why are you lying like a little (laughs) bitch? I know, right? What a a fucking lie. What a lie. If you're not here to undermine the process, why the fuck are you? Why'd you show up in your fancy suit? You're totally undermining the process. It's ridiculous. Well, I don't know what the fancy suit has to do with it. You're paid to under... It gives him him a credibility that is undeserved. Like, he's a paid liar. Everything that Ari has said about this case and everything he's saying now is completely... To undermine justice and to undermine yes. the verdict. Yes. Completely. Yes. He he framed the case as, as uh, you know, he he was guilty of provocation just by showing up with the gun. White fucking, vigilante right. militia kid shows up to a Black Lives Matter right. protest to gun down some innocent protesters just engaging in their First Amendment rights. 
for from his framing of this, you would yes. think that like carrying an AR in public is mm -hmm. endangering the public. That's what was endangering the public. Yes. <laughs> and but he yet, should have been charged for that and sent to, I don't know, it was like 10 years just for that charge. It's interesting because they're so triggered emotionally. And here's your, here's your elephant, your Jonathan Hyde elephant. They're so triggered emotionally by open carry and, and by the AR-15 that I almost think if Kyle had a concealed pistol mm -hmm. and he just pulled it out and shot Rosenbaum at the last second, even they would have had a less problem with that, I think. Right. Even though it doesn't logically make sense, just because they're so emotionally triggered by open carry and AR-15s. We got this in our debate with Lance, and I did a really good job of pointing it out on the fly. I didn't really think about it before that, but you can notice when you're debating people on this topic that they do try to always make sure the blame is on the other party. And since you can't really place blame on Kyle Rittenhouse with the actual facts, they want to back it up to the provocation was bringing the weapon in the first place. And it's right. bizarre that Binger even basically tried to make this argument in court. He was saying, you know, uh, it's, you can't claim self-defense if you're the one that shows up with the gun. What? Fuck you. Of course I can. It's because you were stupid enough. Listen, Adam. To rush me Rosenbaum, with AR. Lo Rosenbaum was unarmed and he was only 5'3". Okay, Kyle right. just got beaten up. You, we all take a beating sometimes. Did you hear? Okay. Did you hear that Kyle Rittenhouse described Rosenbaum as six foot in the, in his, when he turned himself into police? Did you hear that? Yeah. Part? Well, yeah, right. Because obviously, sure. Well, no, I don't think he was lying. I think that was his perception. It wasn't to the police. It was. Uh, Richard says the first time Kyle explained what happened to Richards, he said it oh. was like he thought he was like six feet, two hundred pounds. He's like, yeah, of course he's. A kid who's running away from a crazy person. <laughs> yeah. He's not going to be like, hmm, this guy's 5'3", you know, 5'3". He's not perceiving reality exactly yeah. you know, the way it is. Rosenbaum he's scared. looks insane. I, I would not want to go. I would not want to be in an elevator with well, fucking Rosenbaum. I would be curious to ask people like Ari and Joy Reid and all these other assholes. Say, okay, you put a picture up of Kyle Rittenhouse. You put a picture up of, of Rosenbaum. You say, which one of these people, if they're walking towards you at night, would you be more afraid of? <laughs> They'd be like, look at a scary gun. Oh, I'm so afraid. I mean, I would be less if, if Kyle Rittenhouse was open carrying an AR-15 and he walked up to me at night, I'd be less afraid of him than an unarmed Rosenbaum. Rosenbaum's got the fucking crazy face. He going does. On. He does. He's the guy who looks like he just wants to beat someone to death just because. Like, like you bump on the street and he's like, what the fuck? And he just freaks out on you. As if he wasn't scary enough clothes. He takes his shirt off and wraps it around his head like a yeah, exactly. headdress. I'm like, oh my God, it's even crazier. Right, right. He's trying to look like a madman. It was He was on a suicidal mission that night. It seemed pretty obvious to me. Well, or maybe, I mean, the idea is that he probably was trying to hide his identity too. Oh, when he did the thing? Face. No, yeah, I mean, I mean by rushing for the gun. I didn't even well, notice. Didn't he say, you're not going to do shit? So I think he just thought, um, well, he thought he was going to take Kyle the gun was... away, and it was going right. to be like a Kyle big a feather in his cap. Yeah. yeah, he right. there, and I did. I, I guess I didn't notice this in the original. I didn't notice this in the original angle that everyone got. But Kyle does turn around, and there is a split second where he puts his hands up and is kind of like, "Is he going to really?" And then he's like, "Oh, he's not going to shoot me. It's like game on." Yeah, it's when um, yeah. Zeminski fires the gun in the air. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he turns. And he points his gun at Rosenbaum. Rosenbaum almost stops running and starts to put his hands up. Mm -hmm. And then Kyle continues running away. And then uh, right. Rosenbaum continues. Yeah. Yeah. Um, though, is controversial for a reason. Let's be clear and honest about it here. The reason is the evidence. The reason is the facts. And the reason is the wider context of racism in America. This That's why you do this to me. <laughs> why you do this to me. Because the people demand it, Adam. They so... love to watch you squirm and be in pain. Oh my God, why? Why? Adam. The greater context is like, oh my God. Well, listen, don't don't think of it that way. Think of it as like, look at this, look at this sniveling worm here. Okay. He's 
Kyle is now free and he's shouting up from like the ground like, no, he's racist, racist. And we're just laughing at him. The like, greater context of racism in America. No, I no. mean, I if if they were walking in the uh, if they walk in the Aubrey case, maybe Aubrey's got a point, but I I don't see that happening not in a million years. Making giant strides, giant strides that nobody wants to admit. Right. It ain't perfect, obviously, but we're getting closer. Trial is another chapter in a much longer. And I can't go back to the beginning. What are you doing? The reason is the wider context of racism in America. Sorry. This trial up. is another chapter in a much longer book. And I can't go back to the beginning right now with you in the middle of a newscast. But I will go back a few more chapters to the summer of 2020 when you had police killing George Floyd on tape which the jury process ultimately ruled was a murder. But before that jury process, it led to waves of largely nonviolent protests trying to call out and stop police brutality and violence. And those were met, let's remember, in many different parts of the country. The calls to stop police brutality were met with more... This is, uh, this is just <laughs> lie and Ari. Fucking lie and Ari. Wait, I, you like how he's framing this? He's like, look... Like, in order to understand Kyle Rittenhouse, let's not look at the facts. Let's look at all this other stuff. Yeah, totally. I just, it's so ridiculous, too, because if if this was framed as stopping police brutality, fuck, so many people would be on board. This was framed as stopping racist police. Right. That's how it was right. framed. That's true. And, and That's there was true. no, like, they didn't even argue in the Derek Chauvin case that, that, the George Floyd thing was racially driven. Yeah, they didn't because they had there's no evidence that it was yeah. racially driven at all. So yeah, listen, if they were everyone has said this a million times, if if the George Floyd stuff sparked unity over police brutality, so it would have been a completely different thing. But you guys, Lion Ari here, used it to frame this as a race issue when it's when it clearly yeah it's a police brutality issue. We we. We said that at the time. We said, you know, this should be a case about police reform. It shouldn't be a case about racism. You know, try to unify it. Because when, when the George Floyd video first came out, everyone was pretty unified about it until yes. you know, the drugs. Yes, horrific. Came out. That but shouldn't yeah. happen to anyone, right. any, so, any color, any creed. Right. And so everyone was unified. It would have been the perfect time to be like, we need police reform for everyone. But no, the immediately went to the race issue, immediately went to this, you know, we because they're trying to politicize this they're trying to win elections off the back of racism yeah you talk about msnbc being the secret mouthpiece for cia no it's the secret the msnbc is the not so secret mouthpiece <laughs> of the <laughs> dnc okay yeah <laughs> like let's be real okay. but i and love they're how... just trying they're just trying to win elections under this every calling you know the country racist but i love how we got lion ari here going to revisionist history about the george floyd thing now he's right. framing it as, oh, it was all about police brutality. Right. No. Police brutality on tape against did not look violent. It didn't look like justified country. The calls to stop police brutality met with more police brutality on tape against people who did not look violent. It didn't look like justified use of force. We covered those stories at the time. If you want to keep track, if you care about it that way, it was against young and old, against black and white. It was against anyone who stood up for black lives. This is footage in Philadelphia of an officer striking a protester. In New York City, officers in a police car were documented plowing towards groups of protesters. This was such... I, I, hate, I hate all these videos last summer because it was always like they would always show... The police attacking someone they would never show what led up to the police attacking the people right and when you'd go back you'd see usually there was either provocation police are telling people to disperse because someone was doing something they weren't supposed to do and the protesters either wouldn't disperse or they were at start attacking the police or throwing shit at the police or whatever and they would always cut that off yeah and in this one this is hilarious because watch you know watch in the new car york footage. city officers in a police you know, these people directly put themselves in front of the car and try to push like the car back like they're yeah. strong enough to push the car okay we're documented plowing tour see look the car stops mm -hmm. groups and of they protesters. all just go they all run at the car just get I out of the way age because 
Oh, it's your favorite. It's the guy with the bleedy ear. <laughs> Remember this? Well, no, guy? that guy. Yeah, that guy. You know, that was the, the guy. That guy's fault. But but he pushed him over. It's like he was tissue paper, though. I like, know. This, I know. How can they guy. call this police brutality? I know. He's well, like, back up, sir, and he like falls. Back. I know. But he was some like. I mean, here's the thing: if you're Watch that this. old and you're that, if you're that old and you're that fragile, you shouldn't be going to. Protest. Yeah. What are you doing? Stay home. Right. Take your Metamucil. Officers sometimes make the argument that a certain young people might pose a larger threat. Well, two officers were caught pushing a 75-year-old man to the ground. <laughs> Ari wants you to see this clip five know, times. times. <laughs> well, this one looked extra bad, too, because... The blood see that, from that, the ear, yeah. That, well, yeah. People are saying that the guy intentionally pratfalled. I think that's absurd. <laughs> like an 80, like a 70, 80 year old man's like, oh, let me fake a fall and get myself brain damage. <laughs> like, okay, I don't think that's the idea. But it looks extra bad, too, because even though not only is he bleeding from the ear, but you see that one cop tries to help him, and then the other cop tells him not to help. Him. Yeah, just leave him all. He'll do, let him die there. <laughs> Christ. Other brutality incidents occurred as well it- that were separate from just protests. The Jacob Blake shooting is reported that sparked the protest. These fucking liars, too. They never cover the people that got killed during Black Lives Matter protesters. They never oh, talk yeah. about David Dorn or any of these other people that were killed by rioters and litters. Never talk about it. Yeah, it's so sad against this kind of violence that is the recent historical context because when there are protests which is people exercising their constitutional rights they're also met with violence like these two that were gunned down in kenosha killed so today's acquittal they were not peacefully protesting rosenbaum had threatened to kill kyle and was chasing him down completely unprovoked you fucking liar yeah ambushed him Ooh, he was just protest. Rosenbaum is just standing there with a sign that says "Shoot me, N word." You know, he's just peacefully, <laughs> peacefully protesting. And Kyle's like, "Oh, he's, the sign says to shoot him, so I'm going to shoot him." You know, poor Ari. He, look at this. He's got to rewrite all of this history. It's just him and history rewriting. Who, who's the racist? Is it Kyle Rittenhouse, the kid who's helping defend the property of a first generation immigrant to America from India? Or is it the guy who's saying who's using the N word with a hard R at a BLM protest? Yeah, I don't know. You tell me. They're just using these people. They don't care. Right? They don't I care don't. about these people. He, yeah. Would appear to many to co-sign that use of force or violence. Two people dead from Rittenhouse's rifle. Killed by Kyle Rittenhouse, Anthony Huber, twenty-six years old, dun, 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 dun. Joseph Rosenbaum, thirty-six year old. Why don't they have any? Why don't they have their rap sheets there? Yeah, they're not coming back. The very victims' families are speaking out today. They are upset with the verdict. Oh no, Sitch! Are they going? Are we going to hear from the families now? Of course. Oh, oh, pain. And it's a new test tonight. Going forward, with this ruling that allows this kind of vigilantism and these two killings. He said it again, Sitch. He said he the said word. It. Yeah, they, they've moved from crossing state lines to being the buzzword to vigilantism is the right. buzzword. He had just put two vigilantes on the screen. Yeah, I know. Well, I know Rosemont was a vigilante. He was just a criminal. Oh, you're right. Hu- yeah. Huber, is a, Huber engaged with the vigilante. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Just one vigilante. The courts are one place that these dilemmas are tested. By juries of our peers... We're told, and there's a legal process to try to ensure that, and we respect juries' decisions and the rule of law. They're not the only place to test this. Wait. We have been living through yeah, well, a reassessment of recent history, with some people saying it's always been this way and it's time to change, other people saying it's okay, there's nothing wrong, and a kind of a middle group that we saw through data and other indications during at least the BLM summer protests. Who, who is saying it's okay and there's nothing wrong? I don't, like both sides seem to be disgusted with the criminal justice system over this. So Yeah, but one side saying it's racism and one side saying it's not racism. Yeah, but That's neither, what, he's only focusing on the racism. Neither side is saying it's okay and everything's, I mean. Well, no, I mean, there are people, there, there are people, I don't think the majority, who are saying there's zero racism left in the country oh yeah on the race I mean, generally the, but he the, was the, talking the, in the context of the criminal justice right. system generally the the more mainstream argument is we don't live in a systemically racist country which i agree with completely mm-hmm. depending on how you define that well how a sane person describes okay. defines it. 
<laughs> saying, oh, maybe it's what we thought, or look at the facts, or it's time for listening and learning. But listening and learning only takes us so far. People are living through these consequences at a time where extremism and political violence and racism is very much more out in the open. Always been here, but way more out in the open. The jury verdict is respected under the law. The rest of us, though, have a lot of work to do. What is that joint? What do you mean? Racism? I mean, the racism I see out in the open is racist against, like, you can only be racist against white people. Let's well, just be that frank. is completely true. Yeah. Yeah. And he's not acknowledging that. But I can't tell if he's advocating for, for violence or not. <laughs> because mm -hmm. he's, he said, we have to respect, he said, you should respect the jury verdict, but we have a lot of work to do. Mm -hmm. I don't, what is that? I don't understand what that means. Well, he also said there are other ways, but didn't really elaborate on what the right, other ways Right, exactly. Were. It's like, the what the fuck? What are you talking about? The be yeah, the beginning of this segment, mm -hmm. or not the segment, the beginning of his, his sentence or his paragraph there was, there are other ways be beyond the court system. Right. And that's, I don't know. He seems like Military he's Military tribunal? The line. Yeah, what, what is he talking about here? Yeah. It sounds pretty bad. It sounds, sounds very CIA to me. I don't, it's, it's, I don't <laughs> know how you're not seeing it. Like, you have to get off the CIA, but. We have other ways of yeah. frightening the populace. Yeah. I don't By the, two experts who know the field, uh, Rutgers professor. Oh, oh, my God. Sis, it's your favorite. You're fucking killing me. <laughs> It's that lady from last week. Doesn't she look straight out of like the 1960s? Fucking just she does. like I'm she does. fucking. She, I'm ready for her to pull a gun out, and fucking <laughs> shoot someone. At. Look at this. Oh my god, she looks so angry. I know. I know. <laughs> oh my god, this. Uh, the one on the far right was on. Um, she was on Zero, Zelinda, right? the woke Zelinda. Witch. Yes. yes. Okay. She was on with Zelinda. Yes. Brittany Cooper and Brittany Packnett Cunningham, an activist and former member of President Obama's police task force. President Obama's police task force. Remember? Yeah, because remember, we're like, how the fuck is this crazy idiot part of the police task force? I looked at it. Yeah. I don't know what. I couldn't figure out what that police task force was for, but. It was one of those things uh, where they're like, we need to do something. And Obama's like, oh, I put a task force on it, which means I'm going to do fuck all of that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How about this? I'm going to give you $50,000 to be on my police task force. Wait, the, whenever you hear American a politician government writes a check and you just, you be on the task force. It, it's the perfect thing. You have a bunch of activists complaining about a problem and then the politician's like, oh, you guys seem pretty knowledgeable about the, about the problem. You guys form a task force. Mm -hmm. You figure out what the problem is, and then you give me your notes, and I'll definitely, totally not throw them in the trash and look <laughs> exactly. at them and exactly. do something about it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Wow. To Ms. Pagna Cunningham first, uh, your thoughts on what it means for a jury to co-sign this uh, and the point I raise about what the rest of us have left to do. No, Ari, you're bad journalist, bad fucking journalist. Ask them key things about the case first. We have to no, know he, no, if no, they no. even understand no. what's going on. We have to no, know the context. No, I don't here. know. He wants to. He's saying, "Here's the microphone. Say some crazy shit." No, about this is not America. good journalism. Okay. This is not fine, upstanding journalism. This is here. fantastic journalism for promoting race wars and getting good ratings from race baiting assholes. This is CIA propaganda <laughs> level reporting here. Listen. Oh my God! Stop I'm surprised it. Ari didn't come out and say CIA operative. Stop saying the CIA is so stupid. There is no way this woman on the right is oh not God. in the fucking CIA. Look at her; <laughs> she looks badass. She looks like a fucking CIA agent. Oh my God! Look, if you if this if she was discovered as a CIA agent, you would not think twice about That's that. That's not You'd true. Be like, she was, she's a moron. I'd be very, I'd be very shocked by this. Acting. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. It's all, it's all the role. Okay. Do you know how much fun it would be to be a CIA agent? That, and pretend to be a to fucking be, woke To moron? pretend to be a woke moron all the time. What do you mean? Time? This would be soul crushing. Are you kidding me? You're right. It would be soul yes, crushing. Geez. 
you'd be like, I can't believe these people believe this shit. Yep. I mean, it's basically my life in Southern California. I mean, I can't say anything. Adam, I don't know if you knew this, but all of Southern California is actually a vast CIA operative. Really? Right? Every woke person. I knew you, it. Adam, every woke person you know in California is actually an undercover CIA. I knew agent it. I knew <laughs> it. Trying to, trying to gaslight the country. They're, I don't know fucking, you they're fucking with me. They're I everywhere. Knew it. They're everywhere, Adam. I knew it. See, in a, in a week from now, Adam's going to be like that girl making the videos about how everyone's following him. And they're all C. <laughs> gang stalking. Yes. I thought about making some gang stalking videos. <laughs> I think there are people that are keeping tabs on me. I believe it. <sighs> <laughs> God, I love the song. We, sh we just need, we just <sighs> need a compilation. It'll be about. It'll be about 75 minutes long of all the just size, all the heavy <laughs> size after the Kyle written out. It'll, it, to, we need uh, to get the, to, uh, co to compile them, them all. <laughs> it's going to take about 75 minutes, I think. Yeah. An, an hour 15 in order to do it. Yep. Goodness. I mean, where to begin, to be honest. Um, the co-signing of the idea that this was self-defense uh, is really by design, right? We watched the judge really set this up from the very... Here, I'll co-sign. Where's the paper? Give it over. I'll sign it. It's, it's really gross to call a jury jury verdict co-signing. I know. I wasn't on the jury, but you need me to co-sign? Yeah. I'll put my John Hancock on that. <laughs> I will. Definitely beginning and of course that argument of self to both to protect Kyle Rittenhouse but it was also to give his supporters and people who think like him a lot of cover. I've been seeing today a lot of people using that cover to say well self-defense is not white supremacy. You're right self-defense on its face is not white supremacy but traveling across state lines with an AR-15 <laughs> to intimidate people is absolutely white supremacy. We know it's so fucking so, oh, great screen grab, by the only, way. Only bonkers look. Listen, I don't know if you knew this, Adam. Only white supremacists cross state lines. Okay. There is, there's an interesting thing being said here. All like, these actually, people coming in from Mexico that are crossing country lines. Oh, white yeah. White supremacists. Oh, yeah, yeah. Coming over here to intimidate us. <laughs> That's a, that is the thing. I mean, you... It, it's like the most honest thing she said. I mean, you could make an argument that Kyle Rittenhouse did intend to intimidate people who were going to burn down the fucking building, right? Right, right. I mean, get away from the building. Yeah, you do need to intimidate people and not burning down cities. I'm sorry, but that's yep. the whole idea behind policing. What this is. That that's their problem. They want they want to be able to burn things down indiscriminately. They don't want to be intimidated. To yep. Is it skipping for you? I'm like, you can go back. Go ahead. We traveled to a place where black people and our allies were protesting for the dignity of black life. And because he took issue with that, he decided to grab an assault rifle. And now two people are dead and one is permanently disabled. <laughs> See, this is this is the great example of the safetyism that Jonathan Haidt talks about and also John McWhorter talks about the woke racism. This is like, they think of this as he went into our hallowed place of worship where we were protesting about black lives and they, 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 they conceive of this whole situation as something completely different. Well, and also, I don't know if you caught that, her and all the people talking about this, they do the the what I call the underpants gnomes technique. Okay, mm -hmm. she's like Kyle House. He cro step one, he crossed state lines. Mm -hmm. Step two, he had an AR fifteen. Step three, he went there that night. Step mm -hmm. four, step five, he <laughs> shot two people. It's like wait a minute, what happened in between there, lady? There's some key context you're leaving out. Oh yeah, step five. Protesters attacked him and tried to kill him. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're, we're kind of leaving out the most uh, pertinent information here. Yeah, big time. Let's be clear, that's not property damage. That's death and dismemberment. 
Black people and anybody who knows American history in this country know what white domestic terrorism looks like. Oh its function is to intimidate. When Ku Klux Klaners burned crosses, it wasn't to keep warm. It was to intimidate everyone who saw the flames from miles away. When white armed men went and marched in Charlottesville, it was not a family reunion. It was to strike fear in the hearts of anybody who would not bend to their dominance. So make no mistake about what Kyle Rittenhouse was doing there. He was the aggressor. Make no mistake about what the officers who let Jobs, him. I can't take it, Sitch. This is so Fuck infuriating. Fuck you, you racist piece of shit. Exactly. Wow. Exactly. She's such a racist bigot. She's I like, know. oh, this kid is white. Therefore, he's a white supremacist. Therefore, he's evil. There you to know, intimidate he, people. He was the least intimidating person there. Standing outside property telling don't burn this property down is not intimidation. Yes. It's just so this woman it's called I protecting your She's shit. so awful. It's She's called so protecting disgusting. your shit. Yes. Did you uh did you read the Chiron? Oh my god. Uh no. Not guilty. Jury sides with man who killed unarmed BLM <laughs> protesters. Ari, you're a piece of shit. Okay. <laughs> Ari, you're a fucking piece of shit. <sighs> <laughs> who listen who writes these fucking clickbait chirons this thing is this is you're doing too... a great job i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> this is... i know is this is some great a chiron <laughs> writing right? this... these we, we take note we need some of these for our for our clips next week <laughs> these are too these are too juicy to pass up these are must click that's right. We need to we need to hire whoever writes the chirons to write the the names for videos and streams on our channel. How insane! Do they get someone who's just in the bubble, or is this this person? I, we must meet the chiron writer. Yes. <sighs> Walk by with that AR fifteen visible. And I love the fact that it's just like just because it optically looked similar to, you know, things from slavery times. They're like, yeah, it's. Yeah. Well, Good just, enough. I'm you, it's just it's just oh, just having someone walk by with a gun is provocation to attack them, which is insane yeah. because it's literally the opposite of reality. Okay? Yes. If you see a guy walking by with an AR-15, are you going to think, "Let me fuck with this guy," or are you going to think, "Let me get away from this guy"? Yeah, let me stay ba stay back. Yes. To communicate right. to the rest of us and make no mistake about what this co-signing of self-defense means make no mistake about what this judge was saying when he thumbed his nose at any sense of fairness or lack of bias in that courtroom this is about gotta say fuck you yeah. <laughs> fuck you well this is a problem i don't know if this is reaching the point that she can and ari can be sued for or not i feel like it should be but i'm not sure it's there by the legally. judge bias yeah, I mean, by it's, the judge her, and by it's just her opinion, though. Yeah. It's her opinion. I don't know if she's comparing him to the KKK, which is a criminal organization, right? So uh, maybe that maybe that strays. The the standard is is um, misstatement of fact. Right. So it has to be something factual that is incorrect and i think with defamation it has to even be done maliciously like if the person's just a moron and they just don't know what they're doing it's either i'm pretty sure it's either maliciousness or extreme negligence okay extreme negligence we're getting right. into extreme negligence here we're talking this is whole, sure. all this whole diatribe I, is riddled with I, extreme negligence i really th i mean i really think this needs to be re looked at this because calling someone racist and a white supremacist is so powerful in our society. It should 100% calling someone those names should be qualify as defamation if there's zero evidence to base that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Look, the Chiron, we caught the Chiron mid change. It says outrage as jury clears murder defendant despite kill that white supremacy maintain on tape. its cover to terrorize <laughs> you bastard i was gonna make this is guess. disgusting if you hadn't seen the video Despite and you just read that chiron killings on tape yeah this if is, you just read you that think chiron that the evidence was totally against kyle exactly you think there'd be a video of kyle like walking over to rosenbaum cowering saying hasta la vista baby and then just unloading like a million times into him as he's like no right don't. 
exactly. And then the jury's like, well, that looks okay to me. Not guilty. <laughs> they think the they think the tape is like Rosenbaum on his knees. Please, please don't kill me, Kyle. Please lick my boot, asshole. No, I <laughs> I'm won't only do five it. three, Kyle. I just got out of hospital. I just want to live. <laughs> please, Kyle, don't kill me. Kyle's like, I'll, I won't kill you as long as you say MAGA. No, anything but that, Kyle. No. And he's like, then you die. <laughs> he blows a bullet. Yeah. That's the tape that she thinks they have. Yeah, exactly. Outrage as jurors Claire murder defended despite killings on tape. Oh, the outrage of it. Intimidate the rest of us. Look, Ari speechless. Ari's like, oh, okay. That worked. That went well. Again, yeah. it's so it's so great that our producers ask the pundits what kind of uh, medication that they're on before they actually invite them on. <laughs> it's, it's good to know right. how many antidepressants our our pundits take before we invite them on to speak. Um, the depths of my rage today are almost unbelievable. I don't know how much. <laughs> brazen hypocrisy we are supposed to take in the name of the law. We live in a country that said that slavery was legal, that said that lynching was legal, that said that segregation was legal. And today we are being asked to say that it is legal and to respect the rule of law because a white boy deputized himself and went out and terrorized people who were actually, rec you know, using their constitutional right to protest. But there's another thing to this is so that's so Listen, ridiculous. Rosenbaum was using his constitutional right to chase little boys. It's like <laughs> <laughs> this is so ridiculous. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. A, a five time convicted pedophile was using his constitutional right to chase after underage minors. This is why <laughs> just I want them. You can't have pundits on your channel like this without going over the videotape with them. These I people know. have no idea what the fuck they're talking about. I know they haven't seen any of this stuff say about this. This is also white reckoning with which version of whiteness is it going to choose? Is it what? going to choose to be in the legacy of the Confederacy that is about oppressing people? Or is, is it going to choose the whiteness that is in the legacy of the union, which is about saying that there are principles greater than the idea that we get? Fuck you, you yeah. fucking racist piece of shit. Yeah. Oh. Kyle Rittenhouse and his defenders are hearkening back to the fucking days of slavery. Fuck off. Yeah. yeah. Fuck you. You are a scumbag. You yeah. are a piece of shit. Yes. Race disgusting. grifter. I know this race grifting is so disgusting to subjugate people. And so when folks say this can't be. It's so it's the just the thing that's so triggering about it is we're here talking about how there's this giant opportunity to make huge leaps forward in in criminal justice reform that would benefit black black people right that they are completely squandering because they're motherfucking racist because they're big fucking huge racists right well yeah well they, like i wouldn't be surprised you know both these people are leftist and socialist who don't believe the system can be reformed, who thinks it needs to be overthrown and there needs to be a revolution. We're getting so closer. They're not in every favor day. of that. Listen, they're 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 tarring and feathering this judge who's working towards getting the 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 parts of the criminal justice system that are not tailored to human psychology in the way that they should be fixed. They're going after a guy who's actually trying to fix it, which right. is just a, a part of the insanity here. These, right. these these people are the ones that are that are working for the Confederates. These people are working for the the side of you know the side continued, of, continued yeah. injustice from here right. for for eternity. Like they're creating more racists just by just by all, all framing this the way they are. They're the ones that are advocating for the modern day lynching, but they want yep. the lynching of Kyle Rittenhouse is basically what they want. Yeah. For yep. for for the sins of the past is yep. what they want. Yeah, it's evil. It's complete. It's fucking unadulterated evil. Got racism. And you got Ari right there, CIA operative, just nodding <laughs> along. Talking, yeah, that's right. I, why does the CIA? I mean, maybe the CIA wants oh us. Oh my god, you need to well, stop. I'm just like just, just, just theorizing here. Okay, we come on. We're paid to theorize. People like this. <laughs> I mean, maybe the CIA wants it so it's close election, so they have more more say in the election. 
if the elections are closer. I mean, this shouldn't be a close case at all. Well, but this is the op- this is having the opposite effect because that's why I said if, if, if it is the CAA, you know, this is the brilliant false flag because mm-hmm. all the polling is showing because this turn to racializing everything by the Democratic Party mm-hmm. was a move after they saw uh, Obama's victory and was moved to say, okay, this is how we're going to win elections now. We're going to appeal mm-hmm. the minorities. And then the woke shit comes along and it says, oh, this is how you appeal to minorities. It's by, it's by mm-hmm. making everything about race. And they go, oh, okay, let's go with this. And <laughs> so they've tried this. They're all racist. We right. need to appeal to the racist vote. Right. So, the, so this is a strategy they're going with. But all the polling is showing and they're going to get the democrats are going to get destroyed during the midterms most likely hell yeah um all the polling is showing that they're just hemorrhaging votes because of wokeness because of the overemphasis of race not just from white people but from non-white people too yeah you know and this is what a lot of the the liberal elites are going to have a bad wake-up call in 2022 is that most minorities are social are more socially conservative than these fucking coastal white you know uh, liberal types. Yeah. And they want and they to get along like with their sh- neighbors. They're not huge right. fucking racist. Yeah. And they're not going to, they don't like this shit either. Yeah. They don't like the race grifters. They don't like the people who are making money off of racism because they're the ones that have to suffer and live with that fucking racism. Right. It's easier to get along with your neighbors than to be a big fucking racist piece of shit. Yep. But not these people. Their full time job is being big racist pieces well, of I shit. I mean, yeah, that's literally, that is actually their job. Yeah. <laughs> that is literally yeah. their job. To create racism. It's yeah. awful. Yeah. Because the victims are white. No, there have always been white victims of white supremacy. White ally, Viola Luizzo, right? Andrew Goodman, uh, you know, uh, Cheney, Schwerner, and Goodman. Michael Cheney was a black man, but the other two men were white. They were killed in the 1960s as allies against this white supremacist assault on black life. And so this is a way to discipline white allies and to say that as... This, I just, the whole premise of this is so offensive. It's like, because you hired a security guard to protect your business after it already been burned down two nights in a row... Mm-hmm. That's somehow uh, against Black Lives Matter. Fuck you. Fuck you. How is that against Black Lives Matter? I just, it's so insidious. It's like, you, in order to be pro Black Lives Matter, you have to sit around and let your whole town get burned to the ground? That doesn't seem pro Black Life to me. No. And is she, is she, was that the guy? The norm, the the famous Norman Rockwell painting of like, is that was it? What's which movie is that? Where like the two white guys and the burning? black guy is that Mississippi Burning? Where you get where shot like the, at the very beginning? Yeah, where the the two white guys and the yeah, black guy activists. get killed by the racist. Yeah, that movie. Oh God, I is thought... that who she's comparing to in this situation? Yeah, Rosenbaum is the guy who drove. <laughs> He's the driver. <laughs> Rosenbaum is the nice young driver and. The guy in the passenger seat is Anthony Huber. Yeah, Cheney. Yeah, she. This is yeah, loosely based on the 1964 murder investigation of Cheney, Goodman, and, and Shermer. Yeah, she, it's ridiculous. Yeah. It's totally yeah. ridiculous. Yeah, she's comparing Kyron House to the the racist as fuck mm-hmm. people that killed those guys in Mississippi, burning. Yes, and hid their and tried to hide their bodies and get away with it. Yeah, the fucking KKK people. Yes. Yeah. Do you comparing this to Rosenbaum, convicted pedophile, uh, wife or girlfriend beater? Mm-hmm. You know, Porta potty after tipper, you know, arsonist, arsonist, I mean, crazy person. Binger said if Rosenbaum lived, he'd be charging him for arson at the moment. <laughs> it's like, come on. Do you remember in Mississippi Burning when the white ally in the beginning of the movie said, shoot me N word with a hard R to the KKK guy? <laughs> yeah. I must have missed that part. Yeah, this is delusional. This is so, such levels of delusion. It's crazy. Yep. The right and as the folks that they're allowing to deputize themselves in the streets brazenly flout anything that appears to look like justice, uh, you know, run amok that we will kill anybody who gets in our way. And in that way, race doesn't matter. If you are on the side of they, that mob pretty much looked like I would they would kill anyone that got in their way. I don't what this is why Ari has to ask. Did you guys watch the videos? Like what's going on here? <laughs> These people are, they, they, they're not in the know. They don't know, they don't have the no. facts. No. Black 
life on the side of people of color, on the side of a narrative of American progress and more inclusive democracy, then your life is expendable. And we should be very concerned as a country because our legal system right now is, is being asked in all of these cases, in the Ahmaud Arbery trial, in this trial, right, uh, in the Ahmaud Arbery, the trial of his killers, in this case, Right in the case of Julius Jones, we are in a national reckoning and we need to pay attention to what we are being asked to decide. And today, what we were told was that white self-defense trumps everybody else's sense of safety and protection in, <laughs> in the streets, even when white folks are the folks carrying the gun and they are under no threat at all. As Kyle Rittenhouse admitted himself, he was not threatened. He didn't think there was a threat. He came there to liar someone's getting hit with a defamation lawsuit bam oh, now there you go that that it. is that is a false statement of fact right yes. there because his testimony was he felt his life was threatened yes yeah. of course that is a false statement of fact that she just made and opened oh. herself up to a defamation suit i thought the crazy guy chasing it's, me after his friend right. pointed a gun at me and told him to kill me i wasn't threatened by that i also wasn't threatened by the guy jump kicking me in the face or smashing me in the head of the mm -hmm. skateboard or the guy who pointed a fucking pistol at my head. None of these acts were, I found very threatening. So false statement of fact, but can I, the 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 news network is where the money is though. Obviously, yeah, she, right. suing her would just be fun, but right. I don't know. They well, probably have indemnity everyone. clauses. It's like no, they can't, can't necessarily the, go for the the network. network's not going to be liable. Yeah. But you got to sue. You got to sue everyone just so that. You know, and you do this, you do what they did with the Covington kids. You say offer retraction. And yeah. if they don't, they don't publicly retract their statement and apologize. And you, you slam them with the, slam them with the hundred million dollar lawsuit. God, I would love to get a retraction of her. So she'd be <laughs> so chapped. I know. Allowed to do so. And, and let me say this last thing, Ari. And then all of us are treated to his sense of relief. As the verdict mm. is being read. I know. And it's the so rest wonderful. of us get no relief, right? She's it's so, so painful. Salty. <laughs> she's so angry oh let me drink your tears mm -hmm. <laughs> do you not understand we had the rope hanging from the tree and we feel <laughs> no vindication here they'll be yeah it's like the, they have the rope on the tree and they're, they're bringing Kyle up and then like what? the sheriff comes you know the uh, the yeah. marshal comes in town and he shoots the rope down he says there'll be no mob justice today they're like how dare you marshal take away our mob justice how dare I know it's so evil. It's all they wanted. It's retribution that they're after. They're not after justice. They're not after justice. They're after oh. retribution. Yep. It's too bad that all the people they want to get even well, with died a hundred years and it, ago. And it's 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 false. It's completely displaced retribution too. I know. False that's that's what I Kyle's mean. Kyle's not a cop. Kyle's not a racist. Kyle shot a crazy person who was not even a Black Lives Matter supporter who didn't even know about jacob blake because he was in a fucking drug-induced coma while jacob blake was shot yeah no, it's ridiculous they want retribution from innocent people that's why it's in complete well, injustice it's just it's just the person who's mad at their life so they they beat up their wife and they kick the dog that's what you're seeing right now yeah it's this just is... oh i'm just angry it's it's literally this is the punditry form of rioting because rioting is I'm angry about something, so let me take out my anger on a bunch of innocent people. And this is just that in pundit form. Yeah. Yeah. It's sad. How dare you stop our rioters <laughs> that we inspired? The rest of us tonight, our souls feel heavy on, you know, heightened alert about our own protection and safety. Because you're a fucking racist, you got yeah. listen, listen. Be mad. Listen. You mad, bro? Be listen. Mad. Listen. You gotta let that racism go, baby. You, it's it's clouding your judgment here. You mad? You mad, bro? Yeah, you mad. Look she's mad she she's angry. She's angry. Look how, look how mad they are. Oh, oh, <laughs> anger. Their rage fuels me. I just noticed. Yes. I just yes. noticed. I just noticed the far right. Yeah, oh. you notice her face. Oh, yeah. look at that. Good, good. Yes, be angry. This is racism is evil, man. Racism, this is 100% race, racist yep. fueled hate right here. I love when racists are, are impotent or are yelling in an impotent rage. I love when racists are just. They're on fucking TV. Cute, They're on cute. national television. This is scary. <laughs> this is scary. That's true. The way that's that true. they talk, they talk like David Duke has a fucking television show on Fox News. It's crazy. I know. I know.
the 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 Republicans don't even want to let anyone who has the vaguest, like who can be called a racist in the vaguest of senses into CPAC. But MSNBC, it's like, oh, you're racist as fuck here. Let me give you a show, Joy Reid. <laughs> what you want prime time? What's what's a good time for you? Yeah, true. Very it's true. crazy. Yeah, it it's is cra- it, we, li- it is. we live in interesting times. Remember the racist Southern strategy where the Republican Party was going to court Southern racists as part yeah, of their coalition? Yeah, we have coalition? The, the racist elite coastal strategy, I guess. This so that is. Was, we that's it? exactly what it is. It yes. is. They're like, the scary thing about this is I, I never considered this. Like, I don't know how many black people are racist. I don't know whether it's like an open thing. They They mm-hmm. seem to believe that like 99% of white people are racist. I know like I, I there's like two people I can think of in my life that I've, you know, interacted with on a regular mm-hmm. basis that were openly racist. Like I would say that guy is a fucking racist. Adam, I told you that in confidence. <laughs> it, you will be happy to know it wasn't <laughs> sitch. <laughs> but so I just like I'm I've interacted with a lot of people over my life. They like people generally are not racist. They're not mm-hmm. like racist pieces of shit. But I'm wondering now, do you think like how many of this girl's friends are all fucking huge giant racists who just like on the weekend they talk about white people this, white people that? Sure. That's scary. That's fucking I know. sad. I That's know. sad for them. I'm sad it for is. them. It is. That's a terrible, that's a terrible downer to live in. Yep. Look, Ari probably does that all the time. (laughs) But the law says that white relief thing that we should take away from this. So he gets to go home and sleep in his. See, you know, they do. All of her friends are racist. (laughs) Adam, we gotta get through this video. We gotta get through this video, Adam. Adam, we gotta get through it. You know the racist stuff bugs the oh, shit out of me. Here. We have like twenty more videos. Twenty videos? Really? No, not twenty, but we have a lot. We gotta get through. Them. I'm excited. Here, let me back it up a little. <laughs> and like, you know, heightened alert about our own protection and safety. But the law says that white relief is the thing that we should take away from this. So he gets to go home and sleep in his bed tonight, and the rest of us get to think about whether it's safe for us to go out and exercise our right to peacefully. No, you can't do it. You're not safe. I want you to stay home yeah. forever. You're you're protest. not you know what yeah you're you're safe to peacefully protest you're not safe to go out and burn down a car lot yeah you feel exactly like okay yeah play yeah. stupid games win stupid prizes yep and the two people who oh. lost their lives oh. do go rest yeah yeah because they play well, a stupid game true. and they want a stupid that's prize. not true at all they get to rest forever <laughs> said, oh my god <laughs> I'm just saying it was a very poor choice of words there that's right. Yeah, go ahead, Miss Packner Cunningham. Go ahead. I mean, I just think <laughs> he's like, yeah, I don't want to get involved in this rant. You guys rant. Yeah. I work for the CIA. Okay, I'm here. <laughs> I get paid either way. <laughs> what Dr. Cooper is saying is so critically important because all are being subjugated. Dr. Cooper, come on, Sitch. <laughs> How is this possible? What's listen? Happening? She's a doctor of like fucking woke bullshit studies. Dr. Probably. Cooper. Dr. Cooper. Just subjugated to the defense of white supremacy and Kyle Rittenhouse's feelings. We've talked about his tears ad nauseum. We will talk about the tears that he displayed today even more. Why? Because this country is much more concerned with the feelings of a white man who went out with an AR-15 than they are the rest of us who were meant to be intimidated, not only by that direct action, but by the people who continuously defend him, who fund him, and uh, apparently Matt Gates, who may even want to hire him. So I think that it's, I think that the point that Dr. Cooper may, is making cannot be understated. And I will say, frankly, that I'm deeply disappointed in the commentary of the president today. For him to stand... Ooh, shit. <laughs> Going after Biden. Ouch. How dare Biden not call Kyle oh. an evil racist and say that we should riot? <laughs> How oh, dare he shit. say that we have to respect the jury? Oh, shit. Going after Biden. In this moment. Fail to read the room. And then the jury system works. Fail to read the room. <laughs> don't, you, don't you know, Biden? This is your racist coastal strategy. You got to placate well, these racists, Biden. That's a that's such a very interesting critique. And I heard multiple people say this. 
failed to read the room because you know what that means that means don't tell me what you think tell me what you want the mo- what, tell me what you think the mob wants to hear uh, yeah okay that's Scary. what that means and it's it's interesting that morons can say that you failed to read the room without understanding the implication of what they're saying yeah it's they're basically want mob justice that's all they want so guess what uh she got her doctorate in oh my god uh afro pessimism maybe so she got her doctorate in something called american studies Mm -hmm. which includes things like african-american studies Mm -hmm. women's studies (laughs) you know like all the fucking you knew it had to be a grievance so all the grievances apparently exist under this thing called american Mm -hmm. studies so there you go god and she teaches uh it says she teaches a gender and race class. Oh, yeah, I imagine. Tenure professor of women and gender studies. There you go. Yeah, I'm for the for the first time thinking, mm-hmm. t- like rethinking the whole idea of tenure. <laughs> tenure, I think, may be too much power. Well, no, the, you, you realize that they're using tenure to, to shoehorn critical race theory into schools. No, it's stuff. true. And yeah. The original point of tenure was supposed to be to protect college professors from contra- from being able to say controversial things or do controversial things. But the problem is, when the when the whole academia agrees with them, it's not controversial at all. Yeah, it's just uh, shielding people that are pushing some insane ideological bias that they all agree with. Yeah. My question is, Mr. President, for whom? There are mountains upon mountains of research that have shown us just how disproportionately Black, Indigenous, and other people of color are convicted in these courtrooms. How much more we are sent to death. See, see this is where it's just, if, if it's full-on fucking clown world here. Yeah. It's full-on clown world. Yeah. Like, the, the, this is the judge that you want in those situations to make things fair. She's like, well, but they don't see it that way. They see it as this judge is only acting this way because Kyle is white, and that if Kyle was black, the judge would be, oh, you know, yeah. biased right. against him. You're That's right. how they perceive it. They're they're seeing it as he the victims saying, oh, oh, we got a black defendant today. Oh, yeah, you want to call them victims? Yeah, have at it. Do you Ju- want to call the like, <laughs> defendant a rioter or right. murderer or whatever? Go for it. They think Judge Schroeder is sitting there, and the bailiff is like, okay, today's case is the black defendant, and he's like, oh, let me put my angry face on. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, today's defendant is, is the white kid. He's like, oh, let me put my happy face on. Right, yeah. What an evil way to throw. Bro, hello, Julius Jones. How much more we are convicted of of the same crime. They, they keep bringing up Julius Jones, but, I mean, Julius Jones was guilty, right? I mean, they're just granting him clemency. Right. Which means mercy. When white people are able to walk free. So this does prove American exceptionalism when the evidence is to the to the contrary is staring us right in the face. It is going to be the literal and moral death of us. It is going to also be a great challenge to the Democratic Party because I will tell you what my text messages look like today. For all of those friends who had to be convinced to vote because they didn't necessarily believe in this system and I understand why, they're saying, why did I show up? Why should I do this again? Yeah, don't do it again. Never vote again. <laughs> That'd be great. To answer those texts for us. Uh, yeah. yeah. Please. There you go. Please. This desire to appease but, white... Wait, wait, also, how fucking... Okay, if, if... Even if I was this lady, okay, mm-hmm. and I was this dumb racist, and I had a friend say, why did I vote if Karen House is going to go free? It's like, w- vote for who? <laughs> yeah. Do you vote in your national election? You're asking me why this... This local case in Wisconsin turned out the way it did for the jury system. I, what are you asking me? You think Joe Biden should have helicoptered in from like the rooftops and been like, no, I deem Kyle guilty and then shot him in the head himself? Like, what, what do these people think happened? This, this, is, this is Joe Biden's America. You need to oh, wake up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, this, is, this is Joe Biden's America. I see. There's your good meme. Kyle goes free. This is Joe Biden's America. Yeah. Thanks, Biden. Thanks, Biden. <laughs> You saw him use the okay hand sign, okay? <laughs> That's true. That's true. I saw it. 
parts of the population that haven't voted for the Democrats for decades at the expense of supporting and speaking to the pain of the black folks who put you in office. It's frankly insulting and it's going to do serious damage to the Democratic Party's uh, political desires. Oh, well, this this had a nice turn to it. I like it. This is becoming yeah. a happy ending. Here. Well, and, you, you know, for, for the 10 people that she's referencing that are like, oh, you're only going to vote for the Democrats if they become ultra woke. They're going to lose. They lose like a thousand. Yeah, totally. It's preposterous. All the people, this is the weird thing, because Richards sounds like he's a fucking Democrat. Like he watches MSM. This Richards is, is Richards is a fucking Democrat. Yeah. And the Kenosha County went, I think it went for uh it went for Trump. Yeah, but it went for uh Hillary, Hillary Clinton the before. First time, yeah. yeah. Well, that's what was interesting. See, and this is what they ne they never learned. Kenosha County voted for Hillary Clinton. And then after the riots, they voted for they Trump. voted for Donald yeah. Trump. Yes. Yeah, they were like defund the police. How about you fucking get out of our town? How about we re? Yeah. How about we triple the fund of the police? Yeah. Yeah. How about we make America great again? <laughs> and, I, and I don't mean to get political, but I do think that it's important that the lead that we recognize. It's just fucking bold face lies. I don't mean to get political here, but yeah. well, you know, she's fuck? like she's like Vosh when Vosh says like, "Oh, I'm gonna be in good faith here." <laughs> Immediately proceeds to be like <laughs> totally. the most bad faith possible. Totally. The leader of that party said something today that was deeply insulting and added insult to the injury that Dr. Cooper so clearly spoke to. Well, hold on. What was the insult? I, I need to know this insult. <laughs> We need to be able fuck, to do it. Yeah, no. I appreciate uh, both of your points. And for viewers, you know, I always underscore context. Uh, Ms. Packnett Cunningham is speaking as someone who's also worked on the inside because you worked in the Obama-Biden administration. Um, but oh, you're great. criticizing President Biden substantively based on the, the values that you have and, and what he said. I'm going to just read off two things uh, in the context. I mentioned the families. The Chiron says Biden not guilty verdict for Rittenhouse upsetting, but we accept the jury process. <laughs> upsetting, huh? Oh, upsetting. He said, oh. I'm trying to remember what he, the exact wording in the statement was. What a jackass! What a fucking jackass! Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, the Professor Cooper talked about history there from you know Goldman being uh, killed in the Freedom Summer along with uh, black and white activists. Uh, and this pattern here and the Huber family reacting today saying, quote, we can put this up. We're heartbroken and angry that Rittenhouse was acquitted in the criminal trial for the murder of our son, Anthony Huber. There was no justice today for Anthony or for Mr. Rittenhouse's other victims, Joseph Rosenbaum and Gage Grosskreutz. This is what I'm talking about, subverting the law of karma here, because mm -hmm. Huber, I mean, it's fucking karma, dude. You're going to go attack a guy with an ar-15 with a skateboard not smart yeah yeah that's not called smart. it's called karma dude just... and you see the face there uh of a, of a young man um who was exercising <laughs> constitutional rights as mentioned who was exercising constitutional rights to hit a guy in the face with a skateboard no it's your constitutional, your right, constitutional Adam, to hit right people in the side of the head with skateboards as they're running towards the police it's not your constitutional right to interpret uh, any random citizen as an active shooter and try and apprehend them that right. turns you into a vigilante and your constitutional right is not to be a vigilante mm -hmm. showing up at a blm rally that's what he was doing uh, to biden uh, so folks know, uh, it's, it's such fucking detestable lies here. He's just showing up at a BLM rally. That's it. <laughs> Nothing else. Nothing else to see here. Goyles yep. Yep. man, um, who was exercising constitutional rights as mentioned, who was showing up at a BLM rally. That's what he was doing, uh, with regard to Biden. Uh, so folks know, um, he said, quote, I stand by what the jury's concluded. The jury system works. We have to abide by it while saying many are angry. Uh, and he is among them. Um, this is an important conversation. Uh, we have two guests here that we've had on before. I appreciated you uh, leading off our coverage tonight, uh, Brittany and Brittany, in this case. Thanks to both of you. This is who we are. Brittany and Brittany. Propagandist pieces yeah, exactly. of crap. I don't, I don't know if MSNBC can get bigger racists on. I think that might be, yeah. they might have outdone themselves. Though they still, listen, at least they still got Danny, though. Danny shows up in a couple of days, still being impartial and awesome. Danny? <laughs> yeah, like remember? He, he's like, the, the, fools. Yeah, he's like, you guys are people. idiots. You guys are fucking morons. 
Yeah. Maybe we're looking at this all wrong. Maybe all right, everyone I'm... knows this is just fiction. Oh, no. Maybe. Cuomo. Well, before your mind explodes with Cuomo, let me read some super chats. <laughs> Cuomo did one of the interviews with Richards, and this he, is the segment before the interview. Okay. Oh, it is. Are you? We gonna yes. do? Are we gonna listen to that interview? Uh, no, I didn't think the interview was that Cuom interesting. Cuomo but. does drop some lies right in front of Richards, and you kind of see Richards go, like, "Do I really want to waste my time <laughs> correcting?" That does he? I don't remember that gargantuan lie, or do I? Should I just pretend like it didn't happen? And I don't remember him saying anything that egregious in front of Richards. The, the only thing that was egregious was Richards says something like, uh, "Rosenbaum thought Kyle didn't have the guts to shoot him," mm -hmm. and then Cuomo was like, "Oh, it's not courageous or something, but mm. to shoot an unarmed man." Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the figure 13 for 20 Aussie bucks. Thank you so much. Says, I saw a CNN segment that was them laying out the facts. It essentially said, quote, please don't sue us. We're telling the truth. We swear. <laughs> uh, also, because my name is also Adam, obligatory superior A team post. There you go. Nice. Got some nepotism for you. Sweet. I like it. I'll take it. Uh, Simulomaniac for 200 Donkey Kong dollars. Uh, $30 first super chat for you. Oh, awesome. That's what that translates into. Uh, boys, boys and Sargon squad for life. MSM is reaching new heights of delusion. Do you believe, do they believe their own lies now? Seems so. Some of them, definitely. Some of them are just, they're too committed. They're too committed to the lie. Is that a, is that a Benjamin boys fan? It is Benjamin yeah. boys, boy, boys, boys and, and Sargon squad. So there you go. Sweet, sweet. Yeah. We're, uh, Benjamin boys and I are, are, trying to put together a stream with the uh, the four of us uh boyce me sitch and and james <laughs> Lindsay and to mm -hmm. review a vosh video so, that'd be funny <laughs> it'd be a lot of fun i so. wonder if we should go back and review his his video of uh james Lindsay's prager you video uh oh oh yes because oh, even though we've done great. it maybe we've never done it with james Lindsay, so that'd be interesting i i don't know maybe yeah if we've already done it I mean, we yeah, could but we never did it with James Lindsay. But James Lindsay's like the critical race theory expert. We could do right. any video on critical race theory. Right, right. And there's a good chance Vosh will show up in the chat begging to come on, which will be a lot of and fun. And we will not let him on. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, you, you don't want to come talk to us, and now you want to star fuck off of James Lindsay? I think not. The whole, the whole idea behind this is just Vosh is so fucking thirsty to debate James Lindsay. Oh, my God. I know. Someone just sent me a clip from like two days ago. He's talking about james Lindsay and how oh james Lindsay's too afraid to debate me i'm <laughs> i'm too intellectually superior to the Bosch guy gone, who's read like everything foucault has ever written i know it's like Bosch should have gone to that that conference that james Lindsay debated jangles on he <laughs> should have gone there if you wanted to debate him that's true that's true jangles uh sat right next to james Lindsay. i yep. still haven't watched the debate yet have you watched it i have watched it what's uh what's uh what's the word um that's it's a not, little that doesn't sound good well that's... okay so i uh, Lindsay didn't do the best performance mm -hmm. because he got too angry and triggered like, really right off the bat. yes really it's, a, it's oh. unfortunate because since i'm like since i know a lot of what he's talking about a lot of the things that like most of what he's saying you're like oh is totally true he's actually if you're following the argument he's actually eviscerating jangles on the facts mm -hmm. but it doesn't come off that way necessarily to people that aren't as knowledgeable because he's just so angry and he's constantly cutting off jangles and now i like, want now yeah. i have to watch it i didn't know that no it's definitely like worth watching controversy worth watching yeah. yeah yeah that's cool uh derek drummond for 20 dollars says our own vice president the arbiter of justice herself tweeted out on her official government account that the verdict shows we have a quote lot more work to do in regards to criminal justice reform for all the wrong reasons, I'm assuming. Yes, yeah, I would imagine too. Yeah, God, can you imagine? This is the thing that just kills me. It's like the victims thing. Like it would have been biased if he chose the other way. I know he chose the unbiased way. You morons. I know. Uh, Mithram six for two hundred. Kazark Kazark says, Adam, you asked why they don't get that Kyle's trial is best for the criminal justice reform system. Well, they don't care about neutral justice for individuals. Kyle represents a quote system. Uh, they're against. It's all they care about. That is true. That is very yeah. true. That's sad. They don't want to fix uh, a system. They just want, they want to be in charge of the, the tilted system. Right. 
They just want to tilt it in their direction. Yeah. Uh, Kelsey for 20 euros says something that has been pointed out to me is that leftists always point to the message the verdict sends disregarding the pursuit of justice. That's that's a good point. They do do that all the time. Like they don't yeah. care about the individual. It's all about the group, which I guess makes sense from a leftist perspective. And the message is always their skewed perception of it. It's not sure, like the message sure. that was even sent or intended. Do you right. think the judge intended to send a message that white supremacy runs this nation? Come I think on. they tended to send a message of self-defense. If crazy people are chasing after you, you're allowed to defend yourself. Yeah. Okay. Yes. I think that's the message that was being sent today. They were or sharing with, on Twitter. I don't know if you saw it, but some other black guy who uh, I guess his house was invaded by a SWAT team shot and killed one of the invading officers in self-defense and got off on a self-defense. Yeah, yeah, I saw that, yeah. Yeah. I didn't see, I don't know the facts of that case, but that gets ignored. That, yeah. Everything that goes against the narrative gets shunted into the trash bin to be ignored forever. Yeah, which is fucking lame. Uh, Simon O'Leary for 25 New Zealand New Zealanders says the quote, if he was black, people clearly didn't see Andrew Coffey, the fifth, oh, this is who you're talking about, get acquitted on the exact same day. But that would go against the all-important narrative. A team wears different colored socks and crosses state lines. <laughs> S-class is the best class. I've been known to wear different color socks on occasion. So you know what? I guilty. have to admit I have to admit something. What's I that? actually wear different colored socks on purpose every day. Do you really? I do. Because you're too lazy to match them? No, it's because I wanted to wear like cool looking colorful socks. And when mm. I bought a bunch of packages of them it'd be like half the package would be like uh it'd be like black or white and then teal or orange mm -hmm. and then the other half of the socks would all be white and gray or black and gray mm -hmm. and i was like that's boring so i'm just gonna mix and match yeah no i'm with you it's still the same before everyone freaks out it's the same style okay so it's like i have like a white and teal sock and a white and gray sock. Lame. Exact same style. It's just the colors. Lame. It you looks get, cool. You gotta have like one super knee high tube sock. No, and that's one, disgusting. And oh, they're also yeah. No, they're no ankle I, I footy. No, they're they're the no CM socks. I don't wear those fucking giant. You gotta have a. That. That you gotta have shit. a a SpongeBob no. SquarePants ankle footy. And uh, and a and a roller team. We have to, listen, we have to be so. reason. We have to be reasonable. No, come on. Uh, Crack Rock Steady for twenty dollars. Our favorite Ninja Turtle supervillain, Crack Rock Steady, says we have to be glad that Kyle got not guilty on all charges on the most obvious self defense case ever. Hope he sues for defamation. I watch the Brooks debate. I'm very disappointed in you, Adam. S class <laughs> is best class. Come on, everyone right. can have a bad day. Come we, on, we. We learned from the uh, Brooks no bullshit debate that I am in fact uh, anti white racist. So there you go. True. Yeah. Yeah. And that um, and that Brooks is Jew passing. <laughs> <laughs> a little known a little known fact. To Did come he out say of that? that? I forgot he said that. <laughs> it's, uh, I forgot he said that. Yeah. You got to admit that's a little funny. Okay. It's pretty. I mean, he's got the he's got the Jew fro going on. So I guess that makes <laughs> yeah. sense. Uh, Lancelot652 for $20 says, I think that was a guy defending his shop during the riots when they broke in and shot someone. They put murder charges on him, and I believe he committed suicide. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Yeah, fucking that sucks. There was another guy, too, in Kenosha that was defending his own store, and they clobbered him and sent him to the Jesus hospital. Christ. Yeah. Uh, Kubomi for $20 says, update on the Salt Lake Rittenhouse protest. I went out and looked more closely at their guilty banner. And at the, bar and at the bottom, it says, quote, party for socialism and liberation. And many are wearing red shirts with their party logo. See, I guess that was what my mom was talking about. That's the same thing. There you go. That's hilarious. Yeah. That's hilarious. Go with uh, socialism. Uh, and abortion. <laughs> on abortion? And abortion. <laughs> oh, was that that was pre the stream that's right that's weird someone like read our minds and knew we were talking about abortion and abortion and abortion oh uh for five pounds says i'm not an american but i thought a judge was meant to be judgmental not partial but partial to the letter of the law true very true yeah that's very true um yeah gabriel uh, evans for 20 dollars says how long until we go back to the quote not all protesters are rioters i said this before the show but i'm so tired of the back and forth and I agree with the statement. However, the constant defense of the rioters push people. 
Yes. Yeah, they did. I I was in the the chat before the show began, and yeah, they did. They did try to make that distinction during the summer of 2020, where you know the, it's the rioters that are giving the peaceful protesters a bad name. We aren't those rioters. These the the BLM protests are peaceful, and the rioters are just rabble rousers, not affiliated mm -hmm. with BLM. But here they don't care at all. They're like, yeah. Uh, Mr. Tickle Trunk for 20 Canadians says, no security guard is safe. Crazy how many people are for the purge. I'm sorry, but quote, peaceful protesting. If you're protesting, you are allowed to do anything you want until the purge. I mean, quote, protest has concluded. Yeah, totally bad shit. Great. Well, it's all just political. Because if this, I mean, obviously, if this was a, you know, if this was a pro-Trump or some right-wing cause, then it'd be, all oh, these people are rioters and looters and terrorists, blah, 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 blah. It's just all political. I How dare it. you interrupt our lynching? You don't care know. about black lives. It's like, uh, what? Uh, contrast for five Aussie bucks says, attention, it is my birthday. Sitch, you know what I want? Thanks. Relieved of the verdict, even though I'm from a non-existent country. That's true. Contrast is from the non-existent country. The fantasy land of australia just oh, yeah. like atlantis australia down under there you go happy birthday contrast everyone yeah. chat wish contrast a happy birthday happy even birthday. though he's a disgusting degenerate who likes the uh, watchman movie ending better in the comic still happy birthday maybe but he'll grow out birthday. of that i know what you want and you're not gonna get it a wrench <laughs> Don't we all the, get want, no, birthday he wants, he, wrenches? He wants he wants the, me to finish my Watchmen video. Anyway, let's get into Cuomo. Are you ready to have your mind blown, Adam? No. Are you ready I to don't just know if totally... You don't think you can take it? No, I okay. saw Cuomo. He's a piece of shit. I saw there him in go. the Richards interview. All right, prepare yourself. I'm ready. Here it is. Cuomo, and welcome to primetime. The jury in Kenosha, Wisconsin spoke. Don't you know how to... Screen capture, Sitch. What's going on? Give me, okay, give me a fucking break. The case is over. I had to do, okay, Story. Listen, listen. Okay. Nobody wants to hear about your shitty screen no, capture. No, you're going to shut up. You brought this up. Let's you're continue. Listen, okay. I had to do all the all the videos that were not on uh, YouTube. I had to capture yesterday because they didn't put them up till fucking yesterday because they were all from Friday oh. that I was capturing. Okay. Oh. So uh, a lot of them is rushed and you people are just going to have to deal with my rushed, choppy screen capture. No, I love it. Deal with it. I love it is not hold on i miss what jackass was saying all right i'm chris cuomo and welcome to prime time the jury in kenosha wisconsin spoke the case is over the story is not and let's be clear there's plenty to be upset about it is too easy to kill in this society and our laws make it so and yet there are too many tonight offering a jaundiced view of this case so let's take a clear eyed look at the realities of the law and the facts in this case, and you will see why this happened and you will see where your problems are. Oh, I like, I like this so far. I mean, he's going to, we're a, a clear eyed look yeah. at the case. Yeah. Yeah. That would be good. That Do would be great. you believe that? Do you believe that's going to be a clear eyed look at the case? That would be, that would be good. I mean, mm -hmm. this is what America needs. I'm on board. I'm, I'm right, with you 100% yeah. okay. Cuomo. Hold on. I looked up jaundice. Dis distort <laughs> adversely. <laughs> what? There you go. There what you do you go. just now? I now I'm questioning whether or not it's going to be so clear eyed. <laughs> what? I have jaundice over this case. No, yes. I watched the video. Yes. And there are no questions here tonight that this outcome is prob problematic. It is. What? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we're fucking 39 seconds in and he's already talking. He's already using the P word. It's already using case. the P word. Yeah. Problematic. What? Yep. Right now, there are no protests. That's a good thing. Protesting is a right, of course. But it's probably for the best that this situation isn't generating outrage on the streets. I don't know how that would help. These calls that I'm hearing and you're hearing that this jury should have found some way to punish this guy. They're troubling because they ignore the laws at play. The this is giving me whiplash here. Did you see that coming, no. Adam? This is Did I'm you see that coming? He seems to be, I mean, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm a All little right. impressed here. Very surprised. Very surprised. Yeah. The president says he stands by the jury. 
and its conclusion. But many of his supporters are saying this is an injustice because too many other kids get in trouble for way less. Are we about the law or are we about revenge? Mm-hmm. What's happening, Adam? I know. Oh, my God. I'm waiting for the shoe to drop. Shocking. When's the jaundice kick in? Why are we watching this? <laughs> Saying he was not allowed to have the gun is not true. Read the Wisconsin law. You could not like the law, but he was within the rights that the state affords. Yeah, this he um, he went over with Richards. He Cuomo even said he was surprised that the judge ever let it in in the first place. Yeah, yeah. Cuomo must be a good attorney. <laughs> What's going on here? He can read. How is it that Cuomo on CNN mm-hmm. can have a mostly mostly completely correct opinion on this Mm -hmm. and everyone at msnbc is like totally still batshit insane well ari melbourne works for the cia obviously (laughs) and cuomo does it it's this it's a cia line Uh uh-huh you don't think the cia controls cnn it's got a c in the in the name already they don't control cuomo okay you can criticize the law you should violate it It's a more relevant question to ask, and I know you're not going to like this, but if you want to talk about the law, have you heard anybody ask why the third person he shot, the man with the gun who was chasing him and pointed it at him and came at him, why he escaped all police police scrutiny? Yeah, goddamn vigilante. Arrest that motherfucker. Throw him in jail. Gage Grossroots. We know where he lives. Go get him. Get his phone. There's a search warrant for it. Come on. Let's get. Let's figure out what other <laughs> trouble he's in. Let's go on a fishing up expedition with. None of the people who are angry about this being curious about that situation. I keep skipping. Came at him. Why he escaped all police scrutiny. None of the people who are angry about this verdict see anything curious about that situation. Justice is blind, right? So it should be blind to politics as well, right? Again, I'm not happy. There's God bless America. Look, I don't know what Cuomo's What's happening takes, here? I don't know what Cuomo's takes were about Rittenhouse leading up to this. I hadn't seen them at all. But this is pretty based. God I'm gonna say, bless America. On Saturday, when I was when I was like on CNN quote, like <laughs> What did fucking Cuomo say about this? You're I right. did not expect this. Yeah, this I did is, not expect such a base take. Is this shock and awe? This is shock and I, awe here. I'm fucking I shocked just, and in awe. I'm totally shocked by this. There's got to well, be, figured, there's gotta I, be I figured, a turn. The scene's going to turn, right? I figured after Cuomo you were takes so, the mask off and he's like, Wah! <laughs> you were you were so upset by by Ari Melber. I figured you needed a, a Oh, reprieve. this is my... Look at this. this. Your, Look at this. this the, the cringe bartender. He's he's so good. He's so good. He's like, Adam, we can't kill Adam in the first hour well, here. We need to know, give him a little. We need to give him a chaser. Here, let me yeah, give you some nice soda water. It's like, it's like, yeah, you're, you know, you're doing the sampling and then I have to bring out like the sorbet <laughs> to yeah. like cleanse your palate. This is good. This I is know. Good. This is so shocking. We don't want to be part of the problem. Here. You got to, right. you got to have a. You know, a varied news diet. You got to see that it's not all total insanity. Yes. There's something out well, there that may red pill your parents. This is what's interesting. So on MSNBC, all the coverage was either completely neutral or completely biased against Kyle. Mm-hmm. Okay. There was no one that was like pro Kyle or or doing what he's doing right now, where he's chastising the anti Kyle side. Yeah. The no media. one on MSNBC did that. And so. I was. I just thought it was so interesting that that he was coming out so hard, and I'm wondering, is this just the way Cuomo personally feels about this, or is CNN like really afraid of getting sued? So now they're like backtracking. Yeah. Like, he, what's happening here? I'm very, very curious about this. Did you? I have a feeling it went something like this. Morning meeting takes place. Mm-hmm. Hey, did anybody see the interview with Nick Sandman on (laughs) Hannity last night where they were talking about uh, reaching out to Kyle Rittenhouse? Look, you could be it could be literally that the suits at CNN said you're going to have to backtrack on everything. 
They're they're that like could be possible. I don't know. Here I have in my pocket a canceled check to Nick Sandman <laughs> for two hundred and fifty million million dollars. Now what 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 the, the CEO of CNN said is he pulled out the check to Nick Sandman for two hundred million dollars and he crossed it, his name out and he put in he put in Kyle Rittenhouse and he said, "Look at this, you fucking piece of shit. Do you want this to be real?" You go out there and you fucking be, you fucking completely walk back everything you said. I want all of you out there. Where's that brown nose for Cuomo? Get Cuomo in here. I need him to fucking turn the ship around. Yeah. And then Cuomo but hey, listen, comes out. I'll take it. Whatever the reason is, I'll fucking take it. I don't care. We're don't here care. to save America. Okay. <laughs> we don't care it. what it takes. I'm going to be happy about here. Today's verdict of not guilty doesn't mean the actions on August 25th were innocent. They weren't innocent by all indications. Come on, Cuomo. You're Joseph this. Rosenberg. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> we spoke too soon. Well, um, You'll see. He, no, he's constructing an out for the, mm. the cognitive dissonance on the left, you'll see. The cognitive dissonance people? Yes. Huber, they're dead. Their lives cut short, their families ruined. Dying because you went to protest a police shooting it's not what this country's about. It's also not what happened. Oh, fuck. Hello, fucking Luya. I know. The fucking NPCs are like, what? Oh, my God. <laughs> what I know. Almost, hey? Oh, my God. I wish. I wish you could play this to, like, someone on MSNBC and watch the reaction to this. What? Just, just see what it was, yeah. I know we need the. T- Where's Brittany and Brittany? I want. Brittany I know we Brittany need Brittany and Brittany. We yes. do. It wasn't protesting that got them killed. It was after a guy with a loaded weapon. And it is the laws of Wisconsin that allowed that 17-year-old to carry a weapon that night. And it is the law of Wisconsin that creates a ridiculously low bar to defend yourself with deadly force. Gage Grosskreutz. His right arm is wrecked. But again, he had a gun that he drew and went at Rittenhouse. It's a different situation. The person who did the killing, Kyle Rittenhouse, when he heard this verdict, he reacted like the teenager he is. The defendant will rise and face the jury and hearken to its verdicts. State of Wisconsin versus Kyle Rittenhouse. That's the first count of the information, Joseph Rosenbaum. They're really milking these. They're like, uh, I gotta make sure I got that clip in my segment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you can scrap through. Kyle A. Are these your unanimous verdicts? Is there anyone who does not agree with the verdicts as read? Brittany and Brittany, they be the fucking <laughs> Me, Judge, you fucking you racist trying? piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, would you wish the jury pulled? Okay, Uh, okay, folks, your uh, job is done. I really think it's a time for people to do a check of head and heart. Two things can be true at once. Again, the law as drafted in Wisconsin is a huge factor in this ruling. That law gave the shooter a right to do what he did. But it can also be true that Kyle Rittenhouse didn't do the right thing. Legally justified, but still wrong. Might this encourage vigilantes, this verdict? Sure. Uh, but know this. Yeah, calling him a vigilante is fucking bullshit. Might this encourage... I just, right. Do words no longer have meaning? I mean, right. vigilante for what? If you're one of them, If you think you can go to a situation looking for trouble, you better not start any. Or even this recklessly forgiving law in Wisconsin will not save you. Now, be clear. If you step away from justice for a second, of course none of it feels right because it was all wrong. By all indications, it was gross judgment that took this guy to Kenosha. The decision to take an AR-15 to a situation like... See, here's where you're completely losing me, Cuomo. Like, fuck (laughs) you. 
Fuck well, he's you. doing. We've talked about this, or you've talked about this before. When someone is fucking wrong, so insanely wrong, you have to give them an out. Mm-hmm. You can't yeah, just because right. they're not going to just change their mind. You're right. You have yeah. to give them some kind of weaselly out. Right. And to me, maybe he really feels this way. But to me, this feels like a very calculated weaselly little out. Kind of like here's your out. It's the law that's the problem. You know. Yeah. It's, it's you, you well, know Kyle shouldn't the... have been there in the first place, but you know that's mm-hmm. no one should have been there in the first place. Which look, I'm you know it's not a hundred percent. I would like for everyone to have my opinion about everything, obviously, because mm-hmm. I'm an egomaniacal asshole, but mm-hmm. I'll take what I can get. Okay. Yeah. If it comes to waking up the NPCs on Kyle and House, they need a little weaselly out. Yeah. I'm fine with it. Give them their little, their little taste the of sugar out. with their yes. fucking medicine. Because they can't take it. They can't take it like a real man. Yep. With exactly. a bunch of white would be protectors. Cuomo, why? You I know. Gotta, why you gotta I know. make it about race? He's got to go there. Why? It's in his contract. Hat. Why? Kenosha's eighty-seven percent white. I mean, geez, what do you want? I know. To be ignored by the police, to engage with angry protesters, and to see deadly force with that weapon is his only way to deal with pursuers. They are all bad choices. But it is only the last. What he did when chased that mattered. All those who saying, what about the lesser charges? What about all those pages of charges? The charges are secondary to the primary analysis of whether he was justified in using self-defense. If the jury found him to be justified, the charges are irrelevant because all criminality for the killing was removed by the justification of self-defense. So it wasn't okay, self defense, but you're guilty of it. No, either they is this guy is, is this Cuomo a lawyer too? Probably, I'm telling you, they're um, all lawyers. Let me see. He doesn't know the definition of vigilante, but he's a lawyer. He is a licensed attorney. Yeah, right. of course he is. Well, because I'm saying he knows the law like a thousand times better than Ari Melber fucking did. Because mm-hmm. remember, Ari Melber was like, "Why didn't they compromise on the charges?" Cuomo was like, "Well, sit on my lap, Ari. Let me explain to you how the law works." Okay. Yeah, yeah. They're just catering to the mob. Yeah. To do this, or they don't. Only after they say no self-defense, then you get into the charges. So all that talk is meaningless. Oh, they could have dot dot dot. This charge, no. <laughs> If you are justified in using deadly force and self-defense, you are guilty of none of the homicide charges. Not in this case. That is the correct verdict once they decided he was justified under this law. The jury found he was just... What about the state lines charge, Cuomo? (laughs) He did cross state lines, though. We know that for a fact. (laughs) Mm -hmm. ...mainly because they believe two things. One the specific altercation with the men who were pursuing him. And he had a reasonable fear of imminent serious injury or death. This prosecution did not prove the defendant provoked this specific situation with these three men. It didn't. And therefore, under this law, Rittenhouse had no duty to retreat, which is huge. When you take that out of self-defense, you are creating an incredibly low bar and making it way too easy to kill. No duty to retreat. And by the way, to be fair to the facts here, he did retreat. He was running away, okay? He had no duty to exhaust all non-lethal means. No duty to fight them off, to kick, to try anything else. He had no duty under the law to do that. If the jury thought it was reasonable for him. And- Fucking Cuomo is making a better closing argument than Richard just did for Kyle's defense. Yeah. But you don't think Richard Another- made a good closing argument? Yeah, I don't know. It was, some parts of it were good. Some parts of it I thought were not so good. But yeah, he is. I this guess is it doesn't good, matter now. because This is a good closing good. argument. Right. Back to the law that you haven't been told enough about. It's not what they would. If only you had a show when you could have actually told people about the law or something, right? Right. These well, to be fair, I didn't. Law you haven't been told enough about. I don't know what his coverage was during the trial at all. I didn't watch any of. Oh yeah. Any of uh, Cuomo's coverage? Probably go back and look. Do. 
It's not what the reasonable person would. This law requires respect to the law that you haven't been told enough about. It's not what they would do. It's not what the reasonable person would do. This law requires them to think, was it reasonable for the defendant? An overwhelmed 17-year-old. And that's how he obviously came off on the stand. This law is a shooter's dream. The jury can't ask what a reasonable person would do or what they would do. This is a part. I don't, I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. This part is crazy. Because mm. if you look at the self-defense law in Wisconsin, I mean, it's, it's – and someone even – there's another legal analysis on one of the other shows that it's basically in line with almost every other self-defense law. Yeah, it's a state, reasonable person country. standard. Yeah. Yeah. You have to be in his shoes. Even if they and this this isn't actually true. It's mm -hmm. he's he, which is weird because he got the other legal stuff correct. It's not just what they think. So, for example, like if a crazy person who's schizophrenic is hallucinating and thinks someone is attacking them, yeah, they could shoot everyone and be yeah, off that's yeah, that's not. So it's not yes, it's what you know what a reasonable person would do in that yeah. situation. He lost. Is it reasonable? Here. It's supposed to be. Is it if a reasonable person was in Kyle's situation? Would they have feared for their life mm -hmm. or a great bodily harm? Yes. Think he's a chump? They were about to really hurt him or try to kill him or try to kill him. The law justifies it. And that kid on that stand painted the right picture for that jury. The law also says that the prosecutor has to disprove the defendant's need for self-defense beyond a reasonable doubt. That's a higher burden, it's the highest we have, and much higher than other state statutes. This law saved Rittenhouse as much or more as his weapon did. The jury is not the bad guy. <laughs> oh, Race is not the bad guy. He totally admits that the weapon saved his life. <laughs> oh, yeah, hilarious. no, he, he, he I, I think he thinks Kyle is completely justified in this. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm not fucking around. Fuck you. Politics is not the bad guy. This statute is. And there are many like it. A growing number, actually. It's right akin to stand your ground. This, I, I just, this whole line of reasoning is ridiculous because mm -hmm. if Kyle Rittenhouse didn't, you know, if this story didn't go viral, if it wasn't filmed the way that it was, Kyle Rittenhouse would be serving a life in prison. So who's yep. going to take, he, he's, they're they're making an argument on the left that you know people are going to be emboldened to to take the Kyle Rittenhouse path because it's so easy to get off. Like Kyle Rittenhouse, so came so close to being charged and and convicted. I know, I know. Yeah, nobody's. This is not emboldening anyone. This is scaring the shit out of people who legitimately want to defend themselves. Well, that's a great point because. The average person says, okay, if this kid who so clearly was acting in self-defense in all these videos had the most one-sided case in like fucking human history for self-defense, and it's all recorded, and still they had nothing but media lies and slander against him. Half the country was against him, and he still had charges brought up against him and had you know three and a half days of jury deliberation. That's not fucking that's not uh, emboldening, emboldening yeah. anyone. Yeah. Okay. That's doing exactly the opposite. <laughs> yes. Yeah, of emboldening yes. anyone. That's saying maybe I don't uh, go to the protest. Today. Yeah. Right. It's absolutely too easy to kill. And it came too easily to Kyle Rittenhouse. He put himself in a bad situation for bad reason with bad people. He was wearing a very short skirt. And he knew all of those guys there were drunken lechers. I hate, I fucking hate this How argument. How dare you defend property during yeah. a riot? How dare? I know. I just, How this dare. is like, this is so victim blaming. How dare he? I know. And he made bad choices. He killed and people. she made bad choices. It hurt. She I'm made bad choices in her previous relationship. She had it coming. Yeah. Well, to be fair, Considering how shitty the owners were to Kyle and all those people, mm -hmm. I guess he did make a bad decision. I'd be like, <laughs> fuck those people. I shouldn't have fucking stuck my neck out for these pieces of shit. Yeah, yeah. no doubt. People. He's no hero.
where the politics here. Depending on what team you're on these days, he's either a vigilante killer or he's Captain America. Which is he? Who cares? We care, motherfucker. <laughs> what are you talking about? This is America. Yeah. Who cares? Well, I mean, listen, at, least he, at least he's acknowledging the tribalism here. Fuck no. Go back to Canada, asshole. <laughs> is he Fuck Canadian? You. I don't know. Okay. Deport his ass. I don't care if he's born here. Mm. That's so un-American. Of course we... Who cares? What do you mean, who cares? We just saw the kid almost lose his entire freedom for his entire life. No, no, no. He's, that's not what he's saying. Oh, he's which saying one who, he is? Yeah. The right question. The law isn't about his character or his, or his animus. Not in this case. It's about his actions and his intentions and what the facts justified or not under the law. You want a different outcome and you may change the standard. Tonight, we have the person who made the most important and risky call in this trial. Second to the law at play, the second biggest factor was Rittenhouse taking the stand in his own defense. Counselor Mark Richards, attorney for Kyle Rittenhouse, helped make that call. Counselor, appreciate you taking the opportunity. Okay. So there yeah. is a lot of bad mixing with the good, but I this is the best coverage you'll see. Yeah. From oh, anyone wow. on the left about it. And the beginning was very harsh against the anti Kyle side. Cuomo takes the takes the prize. So but why do you why do you think that is? Do you think that this was CNN afraid of being sued? Do you think he was afraid of being sued? Yeah. It's because he was being he, he knew he was interviewing Richards right afterwards. Ooh, it's probably a combination. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He knows he's interviewing Richards. I, I do. Th so go ahead. I'm going to say it was interesting. I just checked Cuomo's Twitter right now. Um, so my original thought looking at this clip was that CNN was afraid of getting sued. And so they, they told Cuomo to do the, the walk to do the moonwalk here. <laughs> but here's what's interesting. I just found this out. I just checked out his Twitter. He retweeted Bill Maher's last new rule really holy where he shit. shits all over he shits all over the democrats for being too woke holy shit so now i'm wondering they're fucking running interference for for the midterms well is that it or i'm wondering did chris cuomo get somewhat red pilled about kyle rittenhouse because maybe he you know bought all the bulls i haven't been following him so i don't know what his coverage was but maybe he bought all the bullshit originally and then he watched the trial and said, what the fuck? These people have just been feeding me lies. Is Maybe. that, is it possible? I don't know. He's just, no, it isn't his, his brother is Andrew Cuomo, right? Right. Yes. Did Andrew Cuomo say something about, oh, maybe it was Bill de Blasio. No, that was Bill de Blasio. Yeah. Yeah. I don't okay. know. If, I don't think Andrew Cuomo said anything about it. Andrew Cuomo knows to keep his mouth shut. <laughs> he's like, he's in timeout. Can't keep his hands shut. Oh, I know. Do, 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 yeah. do, 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 do. I can't believe you didn't put any Richards interview in here. Why? It wasn't that interesting, I didn't think. Richards is great. Richards. Oh, no, Andrew Cuomo did. Oh, he needs to yell at his brother. Oh, my God. Are you on his Twitter? What did he say? Oh, no. You need to yell at your brother, Cuomo. You need to slap him around. He's trying. Andrew to. Cuomo said, today's verdict is a stain on the soul of America. Mm -hmm. and sends a dangerous message about who and what values our justice system was designed to protect. Mm -hmm. We must stand unified in rejecting supremacist vigilantism and with one and with one voice say this is not who we are. Right. He's like I'm a lecturer who who tries to put my hand up my secretary's skirt but don't pay attention to me get him Kyle Rittenhouse over there. <laughs> He's like He's trying to throw him off his scent. I'm going to tweet. I'm going to tweet his brother and say, Chris, I saw your uh, CNN coverage. I saw your your segment on Friday. You need to have a conversation with your brother. <laughs> That's the thing to do. Uh, so. So anyway, I thought that'd be an, normally I was going to say this for a little bit later, but mm -hmm. I, I could feel your pain. Yeah. yeah. Brittany and Brittany did me in. They gave me the. Yes. So I felt Punching like before we really dipped into the, the burning depths of hell. How deep does this insanity go? Well, 
Good evening, everyone. Oh, oh no! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, fuck you. I saw this. I actually it's saw. all the worst people on the same screen. <laughs> oh my god, it is. We got we got Joy Reed. We got uh, Don King lookalike. We got Paul Butler. Yep. And Al Sharpton. Al Sharpton. But the guy in the middle is is horrible too. I don't know. His he name. is. I had to forget his name. Yeah. yeah. He's sitting in for for Joy today. Oh my god, look at this. Yep. Look, look at it's that. like a full clan meeting here. <laughs> It's like a full, a full KKK. <laughs> it's a full black KKK meeting. Right, right. Are you ready? No. <laughs> are you ready, Adam? You, you, how ready can you be are for you, something? Are like you this? ready for this? Look at that look. That's the look I have right now in my heart. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, how am I gonna? Oh God, no! <laughs> that is the look of my soul right now. The guys. readout. The readout. No. Oh, the knockout. That's what this is. <laughs> the fucking knockout. Sure. I wish your dad would have pulled out. Oh, Why da, da, this... ba, da, ba, da, ba, da. the pullout. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Why is this even? Why does this happen on MS? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm Jason Johnson in for Joy Reid, who will be joining us in just a few minutes. We begin the readout tonight with yet another judicial gut punch. 18-year-old Kyle Rittenhouse, a militiaman wannabe who crossed state lines and killed two human beings at a Black Lives Matter rally, was found not guilty on all five counts. State of Wisconsin versus Kyle Rittenhouse. That's the first count of the information, Joseph Rosenbaum. I love how they milk the clip. How they totally milk the clip still. Red, one of his... Oh, he's really crying. Rittenhouse, who faced life in prison. <laughs> Did he say now he's really crying? Yes. What a, what a <laughs> fucking bastard. He said, oh, now he's really crying. <laughs> Jason Johnson. Broke down in court after the verdict was read. Attorneys later said that Rittenhouse would like to get on with his life. He added that the judge, who was heavily criticized for his seeming bias towards the defense, was fair. He then dismissed the larger implications of the verdict. When you want to talk about implications and precedent and things like that, is it ever going to happen again? You know, is there ever going to be just a total unrest in Kenosha or some other city and that's going to happen? You know, I just don't see that. Um, it was a case about self-defense, the right to protect oneself. God, I, I love this Richards guy, I really do. Like go America, he's like <laughs> this is. He's like it's a fucking. It was a pandemic. It was a crazy year. Yep. It was fucking yep. once in a lifetime thing. This isn't gonna happen again. You, I know all the communists all over America want this to be like every summer. No, <laughs> go back to your commie party. President Biden told reporters that we have to respect the jury's decision, and the parents of Anthony Huber, Rittenhouse's second victim release this statement, quote, today's verdict means there is no accountability for the person who murdered our son. It sends the unacceptable message that armed civilians can show up in any town, incite violence, and then use the danger they have created to justify shooting people in the street. Make no mistake, our fight to hold those responsible for Anthony's death accountable continues in full force. The lawyers for- This is such gaslighting because it's like, listen, Yep. Yep. If fucking two people don't get into a a fight and one person takes zero responsibility here. Listen, the guy who through unprovokedly started a fight has no responsibility for what happens during the fight, Adam. I don't know if you knew that. Yeah. As long as he's on the right side of politics. Insane. Okay. Insane. What did Anthony Huber's parents teach him? I'm wondering, you know? If someone starts a fight with you, you better finish it. I yeah, mean, if I'm on the right side of history, then the rules don't apply to me. Okay. I don't know. It seems like most parents teach if someone starts a fight with you, you better finish it. That's exactly what Kyle Rittenhouse did. So, I mean, fuck you, Anthony Huber. The other two victims, Gage, Gage Ghostkurtz and Joseph Rosenbaum said, while today's verdict may mean justice delayed, it will not mean justice denied. We're committed to uncovering the truth of that night 
and holding those responsible to account. People outside the courthouse had a range of reactions to the verdict. That's the law. That day, the verdict, they, that's what they chose. We accept it. That's how it goes. I feel like they made the right choice. You know, it was it was simple self-defense. That kid was attacked out here. This argument that he killed he them yeah, because them. of what they what they did and it's okay. Don't don't give them no energy. No, it's not right. <laughs> I like the sensible people better. Yes. This is Kenosha, man. They attacked him. He shot him. Fucking <laughs> common sense. Jeez, what the fuck? Get out of my face. Why are you guys even here? This is stupid. Yep, yep. And then the one person that they could find was like she couldn't even put a coherent sentence together. You know, he just, you know, just, just, um, you know, it's just ain't right. <laughs> okay, thanks. So wait, is it, wait, let me go back a second. Uncom Is it the lady the sign? Verdict, hey, that's what What's that? Oh, Chose. On. We accept it. What are you doing? Press play. That guy was great. That's how it goes. I feel like they made the right choice. You know, self-defense. That kid was attacked out here. This argument that he killed them yeah, yeah, because them. of what they what they did and it's okay. Don't, don't give him no, no energy. No, it's not right. <laughs> I guess it was a, kind of a sentence. Yeah. Demonstration at the heart of the trial were in response to the police shooting of Jacob Blake. Who was Jacob, why do they always want to, like, the, the fact that it's Jacob Blake makes all the difference in the world to them. It's like, listen, these people were allowed to burn down the city three days in a row. Like, those business owners need to fuck off, okay? Jacob Blake, Jacob Blake, Jacob Blake. It's mm -hmm. insane. It's yeah. totally insane. What the fuck does Car Source have? Why are they responsible for Jacob Blake? Okay. Jeez. Uh, seven times by a white Kenosha and was paralyzed from the waist down. His uncle, Justin Blake, was unsparing in his criticism of the verdict. Because he got a huge Christmas present when Jacob Blake got his fucking $10 million. I'm certain of it. <laughs> Look up the settlement for Jacob Blake. I know. If it's like huge. Say Jacob. Yeah, it was really huge. I'm, I'm sure all the taxpayers of Kenosha are loving the fact that their property taxes went to Jacob Blake. Oh, no, 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 my friends. You are peddling fake news. Oh, I am? Jacob Blake has received no settlements. Really? Yes. Really? That's what it says. Oh, I guess I am. I, I thought so news. too, but no. I get me were confusing it with Floyd, who got his family got like a bajillion dollars. Oh, they did. Maybe yes. I am. Yeah. What? Um, uh, Jacob. His counsel denies fifty thousand dollar damage claim for injuries in Blake's uh, shooting. Federal suit against Shesky continues. Really? Without comment or deliberation, the Kenosha City Council has denied a claim for damages from Jacob Blake. Well, I'm glad we looked it up. Seventeen to zero. I guess I'm glad we looked it up then. Boom! I am glad we looked it up. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Okay. Yeah. Nice. You get shit. So if they, yeah, they didn't have a. Uh, we are thinking it's the Floyd thing because the Floyd thing, they had a conviction against Derek Chauvin. But even before that, because remember that's part before the conviction, they said the city settled and gave them some astronomical amount of money. Right. Oh yeah. They were saying that would prejudice yes. the jury. Yeah. Yes. That's that's what we're thinking about. Right. We're totally right. conflating those two stories. Okay, good. I'm yep. glad we looked it up. All yep. right. That also explains why they're so fucking angry. <laughs> A lot of anger. <laughs> This is no self-defense. Self-defense is when you're protecting your home, you're protecting your family. Your body, your yeah, life. Your, yeah, your body is the most important thing, okay? Fuck the house. <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck the house. Fuck the car. I you know. know. Fuck all that shit, man. Protect yourself. In a very bastardly and dastardly way, use the law that worked for him. There was absolutely no self-defense. While it is shocking that Rittenhouse was not found guilty, it's not surprising at all. In fact, it's a return to normal for America after the conviction of former Minnesota police officer Derek Chauvin for the- What a racist piece of shit you are. Oh. Totally. After the conviction of Chauvin, 
We're now returning to normal, the normal racist white supremacist America where Kyle Rittenhouse, the kid who shot three white people, <laughs> is let off for obvious self-defense charges. Yeah. Oh, return to normal. Terrible. Of George Floyd. Joy Reid, the host of this show. Reverend Al Sharpton, host of MSNBC's Politics Nation and president of the National Action Network. Paul Butler, former federal prosecutor and George Law professor. And Ellie <laughs> Mastow, justice correspondent for The Nation, join us now. Um, I cannot imagine a better panel of people that I would rather be talking to or texting with tonight. Joy, since it's your show and I'm blessed to be sitting here, just start us <laughs> off. What was your first thought when you heard the verdict that Rittenhouse was going to get free? Well, I want to first thank you, uh, Jason, for, for for holding down the fort tonight. I was actually on a flight because, as you know, I took today off. I was on a plane. I was watching it uh, on the flight. I was not at all surprised. Um, we've talked about this. I mean, this is what we expected to happen because I think we have to keep in mind when we're watching the criminal justice system at work that it was designed to do exactly what it did today. <laughs> Gun laws. White people free, black people in jail, right? The law was designed to let white racists like Kyle Rittenhouse be free. Can you, why are we spending all this money on attorneys and I jury know. duty? Like why? I, if the criminal justice system is that simple. How, I mean, how is, <laughs> how does, is not as Binger, the state prosecutor, how is he not part of the system? Oh, it totally is. How yeah. is the super corrupt state prosecutor not part of the system, Joy? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Fuck. S system working as function. I know. You think God. Binger lies as much when there's a black defendant on the stand? Probably lies even more. He's probably even more racist. Yeah. Probably so. Helped to enhance the design to allow this verdict to happen today. This country was built on the idea of, of, that white men had a, a, a particular... <laughs> Look at this suck up here. Fucking Jason Johnson. I know. Like, oh, yeah. He's, he's like, mirroring her hand motions. He's I totally know. emoting for her. I know. Look at this. Another kind of freedom in a particular. He's like her familiar. <laughs> 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 he, he totally is. She summoned him. It's like, yeah. Yeah. she's like, she's like, I'm going to go on vacation. I need a golem to appear before exactly. me and take over my show. Exactly. Kind of citizenship that only they have, you know, from the slave catchers on the right to inflict violence um, in the name of protecting property. That's like the foundational creation of the United States. So it would have uh, the foundational creation of the United States is slave catchers protecting property mm -hmm. and that's Kyle Rittenhouse. Mm -hmm. Kyle Rittenhouse was standing out there acting as a slave catcher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. I didn't realize that the gas station or that the car lot was a sentient creature that was being enslaved by first generation Indian immigrants and that Kyle Rittenhouse was enacting slavery by protecting it. I didn't realize this. Do you think that's why she's so offended by property rights i mean i'm assuming joy reed probably owns some property maybe no some you're right maybe property. maybe we're looking at this all wrong joy reed might be just an insane person who thinks property is is alive and sentient and therefore should not be owned by a person <laughs> this whole time see now now her opinion suddenly makes sense she's like the property should be free that car lot should be free to roam the streets of kenosha how dare kyle keep it down in chains what is that called when do you when you believe anthropomorphize, yeah, that's a that's a variant of it. But there's a, it's oh. a certain kind of religious sect where you just believe like the lamp has a soul and the curtains have a spirit. I don't know about that. The I know spirit there's... of the bedspread. Oh my god! So we were talking about them last stream. There's that look at all the these sect that objects like they don't want to hurt or. or kill any animal, even insects. Oh yeah, but they don't. But they don't think that inanimate objects are alive. So look at all these objects that. Joy Reid is enslaving. She's basically a slaveholder here. She's Look got at that lamp, lamp and, that she's yeah. enslaved behind her, forcing her to light to poorly light up the shot that she's. In. Do you think that light wants to light up that shot? No, otherwise Joy, it would be doing a better, better job of it. Yeah, Joy, did you ask that light before you turned yeah. it on, or did you just assert your dominance and turn it on? Did okay. are you oppressing that that 
those earrings that you're wearing right now? <laughs> did you force them to come along with you on this trip? Did you ask which? Will? Did you when you opened your jewelry box that mm -hmm. contained a thousand pieces of expensive jewelry in it? Did yeah. you say, hey, who wants to come on vacation with me? Or did yeah. you just grab whichever ones you fancied? Yeah. Force it into a box. Did you ask your camera? You said, hey, camera, do you want to take an image of me saying the craziest shit ever for national television? Maybe your camera didn't want to do that. Maybe your camera wanted to capture cute kittens bounding through the fields. I would want to capture that if I yeah. was a camera. Who wants this shit, Joy? Yeah. Who wants this racist God. shit? Joy it's the terrible. slave owner right here. I know. Property is slavery. Shocking. The <laughs> shocking. The real as I'm glad you mentioned the Derek Chauvin verdict. Surprising verdict. This should have been unsurprising. But what I do think we have to think about oh my God. is not only the families of the two men who died and the family of Mr. Grosskroy. And so because you know they are you know, they should the, be in our because they suffer. And there have been a the lot of white sit. people hey, who have once, you know, you only hit it once, black okay? Life. You only hit the button once. You need to stop hitting the button. Okay. We have to think of the family, Sitch. No. The family. The family. Why do you think Huber's parents weren't in the courtroom? I'm I don't know. Why I they, am curious were, about didn't that. Didn't he not even live with his parents? Huber's dad was in several of the hearings. Like, I remember Huber's dad mean, in the first yes, yeah, hearing. Right, right. My boy's a hero. My mm -hmm. boy's a hero. Let right. me out that written house. Do you think he finally saw the video and he was like, that dumb kid, I told I don't him. Think he, I don't think he <laughs> Well, I, you but, probably can't. I, I would be, as if I was, if that was my kid, I'd be hesitant to watch the video. I don't want to watch my kid like murdered. Yeah, of course. Of course. But then when you see it, you're like, oh, oh such stupidity. Didn't he not? Didn't he live with his grandma or something? Yeah, I don't see. I don't know the situation. He had some weird situation going on. I thought, yeah. but for all I know, like the parent, or the guy who was in court was like a deadbeat dad that felt bad. Yeah, you know, know, finally he's like never had the opportunity to make amends to his son, and now his son's dead. So he's just fucking sour grapes, making up for lost time. Maybe. I know nothing about the. I know nothing yep. about their. So let's just situation. speculate wildly. Yes. <laughs> Well, no, I'm just, I'm, I, my question is why wasn't he in the courtroom? Like he right. obviously released that statement. He's all been out of shape, but why wasn't he there when the verdict was read? Well, we don't, do we know for a fact that he wasn't there? Yeah. I know for a fact that he was not there in the courtroom. Oh, okay. They did cameras the camera on would... the other Huber members. Oh, it is? Oh, yeah. okay. I didn't realize. Yeah. They're his behind. Aunt, his They're... aunt was there and Huber's oh, girlfriend only, was there. The only people I noticed in the. Did you know sitting that in Huber's... the jury was uh, Rittenhouse's family? I didn't notice the other people were there. Did you notice that? Well, you weren't. I watched a lot of coverage. Did you notice that Ritt, that well, Huber's girlfriend like... slipped Rittenhouse her phone number? Did you know that? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Uh, that, that that line she said, I can guarantee you that that thing that she said that everyone's uh, harping on was a hundred percent taken out of context. Because I saw a video of her immediately after talking about how like this is a travesty of justice. Because he didn't so, call her. That's what that was the travesty I don't think of that's justice. What she was talking about the that. travesty of justice was like he didn't call me. So I don't think. Fuck well, that guy. Well, Kyle, I would I would caution. I'd caution against jumping into that. Caution She's against a, it, Kyle. Yeah. We're t we're team Kyle here, but fucking you're off the team if you call that girl up. <laughs> if you call her up, we. we you're disowned. We got nothing to do yes, with you. Yes. And the family of Mr. Grosskreutz, they are, you know, they should be in our minds right now because they suffered. And there have been a lot of white people who have. They're still suffering. You know, defended black lives and paid for it with their lives. That goes all throughout our history, going back to John Brown and go through the civil rights movement. See, that's a little slip up there. She's conceptualizing this as defending black lives come on stop yeah. it already going to a blm protest and screaming the n-word with a hard r is obviously how you defend black no lives. kyle <laughs> rittenhouse was not black he wasn't defending his black ass okay no one was right. defending black no no lives. she meant she meant rosenbaum and oh yeah and yeah yeah uber were defending black lives yeah no they weren't right. no. What, I, what i am concerned about is the precedent this sets 
for what people will believe that they can do under law when Black Lives Matter protests happen in the future. You think there are going to be a lot of Black Lives Matter protests in the future? Uh, hope, I mean, unless there's another crazy George Floyd-like situation, probably not. Yeah, I don't. And even so then, either. I think a lot of that was sparked because everyone was in lockdown and they just didn't want to be in lockdown. Yeah, <laughs> so totally. I think that was like sixty to seventy percent of of the fuel for that was entirely lockdown related. The uh, the Aubrey case is going to go. In the right direction i mean i guess they're just gonna try to dig up another story another kyle rittenhouse story and completely mischaracterize it mm -hmm. maybe they can do that i don't know seems like a lot of people are waking up to how jaded the media is so it might not I, even be are. possible i actually know a lot mm -hmm. of people not a lot of people i know some people who mm -hmm. were pretty besides my family who were pretty in the liberal bubble that were pretty red-pilled about the Over Kyle Rittenhouse House coverage. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're going to be like, I'm going to go out and protest for this? Fuck you. They're like, why is there? Yeah, no, well, just they're just seeing how dishonest MSNBC is being about the coverage yeah. here. Yeah. And that people may use this as an excuse to start out of state and doing what this teenager did, mm. believing that they'll get away with it, and in some cases, getting away with it. I, 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 I want to keep on that point, Joy. Paul, that's the first thing that occurred to me. Uh, the, the, the first thing that occurred to me after this ruling is, oh, well, okay, now it's just open season. Like, if, if I'm walking around and, and I'm a white nationalist, you know, coward little kid with an AR-15, and I see somebody drive by... It, well, he didn't actually use Kyle Rittenhouse's name, but... That's pretty close! Yeah. Oh, my God! Say, that's a false statement of fact, white Well, that's actually true. Calling someone a white nationalist is would be a statement of fact, right? Yeah, totally. Well, see, but I think calling someone a white supremacist would be a statement of fact, too. I think so, too, but you need to get some case law on it. Yeah. Somebody with some money needs to throw, like... A lot of money into winning one case to get case law established you know there are people that do this that completely file cases all the time to try to get case law changed yeah i know that's what test cases are yeah that was the uh, characters that was the uh the the cake yeah like the gay wedding cake test that uh, was a test case yeah mm-hmm the black lives not, matter they were shopping that, for that it. One was they were bad, looking though. yeah that one that was, yeah that was bad. bad but they were intentionally looking to try to spark a lawsuit which is pretty gross in that instance i think you'd do some good in the world if you could make the word white supremacy or white nationalists or all these words that are just really intended just to destroy people's reputations um a false statement of fact and defamation because they should be it, defamation if they are, yeah. Yeah. Right. Bumper sticker. Most people think white nationalist is worse than pedophile, but pedophile is a statement of fact. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I feel threatened. I can open fire. If I go by a youth group standing outside the local Target and they're chanting Black Lives Matter and I feel threatened, mm -hmm. I, I can open fire. <laughs> so, so, can you imagine that? Can you imagine some like school shooter type situation? Just go open seat. Oh, I felt threatened. Sorry. Oh yeah, yeah, all those Black Lives Matter protesters, like Rosenbaum, who was trying to start fires. That was just, they were just he was just standing there singing a a church hymn. Okay, he was part of a youth choir. So he was just singing, you know, praying to the angels that Jacob Blake would survive and walk again. And then Kyle Rittenhouse just said, "Fuck you, I hate black people." Pop, 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 pop. Here's and a shot him in the back four times. Here's a situation. And then the jury you. said he's white, innocent. Here's a situation for you. We've all seen the viral video of the Black Lives Matter protesters that come up on the two ladies, you know, drinking coffee at the coffee house. Mm -hmm. And they tell them, you got to put up your fist, put up your fist. And she's like, I'm not going to put up my fist. And the crowd gets completely incensed and they start getting up in her face. Yeah. She, she pulls out her 357 Magnum and starts blowing people away. <laughs> okay. Does she get off on self-defense? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It depends she, how aggressive they're I saw that it. video and I was like intimidated. I was yeah, like, I sure. would not want to be in that situation. She pro she might have gotten self-defense for that. Yeah. Yeah. You think so? I don't know. I don't know.
Maybe. Interesting case. Would you pull your 357 Magnum out no, in that situation? I would not, unless no. someone actually started attacking me. What, you would just leave? No, what no, if no you I would just order. I'm saying food hadn't come. No, 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 no. I wouldn't leave. I'm saying I wouldn't pull out my gun unless someone was actually like either looking like they're about to attack me or attacking me. These protesters going up and bothering people while they're eating. I just, I know it's fucking disgusting. It's they evil. should all be charged with assault. It's, they should. Yeah, they should yeah. charge them with assault. Give them a criminal record. Right. Oh, is the ruling today really a precedent or? Is this the kind of thing that was always going to end up happening and we shouldn't see this as a real watershed moment? It's not a formal legal precedent, Jason, but make no mistake, Rittenhouse will be the poster child for reactionary white men who want to take the law in their own hands, who want to bring assault weapons to Black Lives Matter's protests, and who think that violence is a legitimate form of political discourse. What the fuck? Upside down world here. What I know. Fuck? I was fucking living in backwards Alice in Wonderland world. Yeah. Yeah. Rosenbaum, Huber, and Grosskreutz are the ones that see. Well, and right. everyone on this panel sees violence as a political, right. as a legitimate form of political discourse. As what long as it's on the on? side of the BLM rioters or yeah. the Antifa people. Yeah. yeah. Fucking bizarro world. In the eyes of the law, Rittenhouse is now a victim of the three men who he shot. Even though the evidence suggests that Rittenhouse went to Kenosha spoiling for a fight. That's why he brought that semi-assault gun, the right. bulletproof vest, and the full metal bullets. The verdict doesn't mean that. <laughs> See, now that's those are incorrect statements of fact. the full metal He's, bullets, yeah. Yeah. Well, no. The beyond, full metal bullets. The full metal bullets, yes. As opposed to, you know, the normally the silicon rubber bullets that you, know, you have. But um, he was trying to say full metal jacket. But. Those are those are incorrect statements of facts because first of all, he he said the evidence showed Kyle went there looking for a fight. Completely mm -hmm. not fucking true. He went there the night before with no intention of going to defend this car lot whatsoever. Mm -hmm. He had no intention when he went there. And again, he he said he went there. He oh, brought the right. gun. You're he right. He brought the gun. So he spent uh he spent the night at Jacob's house. His Jacob Dominic's Black's. house. Uh, he spent the night at Dominic Black's house. Yeah. Yeah. He hadn't been home for a day. Yeah. The false statements of fact are uh, the thing that I'm wondering about. And I guess we got to kind of look into this because in the Nick Salmon situation, they got money out of CNN, but did, was it because of the what the pundits said or was it the CNN employees? Like technically, Joy Reid is the only employee of CNN here. Well, no, the, uh, no, the, the top three are. Oh, yeah. Sharpton has a show on CNN. He's on sub. MSNBC. Right. But Paul Butler can come on and well, say whatever lies he wants. Actually, he I don't know. Paul I'm Butler, assuming but... they, I mean, they pay Paul Butler and, and, and Ellie. They mm -hmm. pay all these people. Yeah, I right? don't know. They, part of the payment might be the independent contractors and not liable if they're sued for defamation or something. Mm -hmm, maybe. Know. Usually they cover their asses that way. Right. Then right. they bring the pundits in and they're like, oh, yeah, you can lie to high heaven. Who cares? Not well, on with, us. With CNN, though. I'd be curious. We'd have to go back and see what exactly mm -hmm. um, the, they said that they were getting sued for. I know. I'm going to look. And then because they settled, case. they didn't know this went to the thing. So the thing is, so MS, if they sue MSNBC, they could just settle for some giant check because they don't want to deal with the hassle of it. Yeah, that's the point. Got to get them to settle. I, I kind of hope they don't. I hope it becomes a huge, long, drawn out thing and they get into like specific evidence and, you know, eventual hearings and that we really dig deep into this. If, and anyone's, that they lose. if anyone's going to take it to jury trial, it's Rittenhouse. Because <laughs> Rittenhouse is like, <laughs> you fucking almost just, like, this oh was so much God. more than Sandman. Please, like, gods of the memes, how great would it be if MSNBC doesn't settle? They go to court and we get to see like Joy Reid and Joe Scarborough oh fucking God. testify oh about the God. bullshit they spewed on the witness oh stand. God. Could you imagine those streams? This would be a gold mine. Oh, everyone pray that this happens, please. Joy Reid on the witness stand I being cross-examined. Uh, Joy Reid, is it true that on uh, November 19th of 2021 that you likened Kyle Rittenhouse to a slave catcher? <laughs> 
Now, do uh, you no, know what uh, a slave uh, catcher is? What is your definition of a slave uh, no, catcher? No, sir, I didn't do that. Actually, what happened was somebody hacked MSNBC <laughs> and they uh, digitally edited those words. I never actually said that. It's all it's a, it's a, it's a deep fake. They, that's right. That's why I look you know a little different in this shot. I was deep fake. That's not actually me. No way. They're gonna go the Alex Jones defense. It's just a it's just a comedy it's show. It's just a comedy show. That didn't work for Alex Jones. It's just a it's just a piece of entertainment. Actually, okay? I think it did see, work for Alex Jones, didn't it? No, he lost his lawsuit. Really? Yeah. So that would actually be interesting. Did it work for Rachel Maddow? Because she said the same thing. Um, I don't remember, I don't or I don't know if that's ever. I don't know, but that would be interesting if if the legal precedent by the Alex Jones case ends up fucking over MSNBC. How ironic would that be? Oh, really? I'm just saying, if if, it's, if it happens, that'd be great. Oh, because Alex Jones lost his case. Because Alex, yeah, if Alex Jones lost his case. Oh, that was over the Sandy Hook thing. It was about the Sandy Hook yeah, stuff. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. And then that ends up becoming precedent that screws mm. over. Oh, uh, that would be great. That would be so MSNBC. Good. That'd be super interesting. These media figures need to clean up their act. Yep. The jurors bought this Boy Scout image of Rittenhouse that the defense presented. It just means that they had reasonable doubt that they weren't 95% certain. But Jason, I can't imagine they're happy about an immature and reckless 17 year old bringing a semi assault rifle to patrol their streets. And Hell yeah, we're happy. He, it wasn't an assault a rifle, it was a semi assault rifle. <laughs> I know, Paul Butler. Come on, it's late in the day. Let's give Paul Butler. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he, all we're saying he needs a Snickers, all right? He's running on fumes here. I, I got after, full metal bullets and semi assault rifles. All after, right? after the Paul Butler Texas speech comedy <laughs> bit last week, I just, I'm like, <laughs> I got to admit, you don't know what's real and what's the Texas speech. I just, I can't, like, it's just Paul Butler is funny to me. I can't, <laughs> I can't go super hard on people that make me laugh. He's in. It's like he's endearing. He's like a. Dumb, he, I know. Like he's, a dumb dog, you know. He, like it's like a stupid face. It's Chauncey Gardner all the way. It's <laughs> like he's Chauncey Gardnering his way into my heart here. We have the dumbest man on television. I agree with Joy. I think we should all be that other people who want to take the law into their own wow. hands may, might view this verdict as an invitation. Rev, so earlier this year, uh, you know, I, I saw you on the air and, and you talked about, hey, part of why Derek Chauvin was convicted is because you had just massive nationwide global multicultural protests about George Floyd. The issue that I think a lot of people have, especially my, my, my students and young people, people I know who aren't actively involved in politics, is they're like, well, well darn, it took a year. This guy teaches classes. Oh, my God. That's yeah, disturbing. It's scary. And I, I mean, I, this, the argument that he's making here is disturbing too. He's, he's saying, listen, it wasn't that Derek Chauvin was guilty. We all know he was innocent, but the protest, that's what's <laughs> really, that's what's well, really saying, tipped no, him no, over no. the edge. What he's saying is the system is so racist that it requires wide scale global riots in order to get Chauvin convicted. And because we didn't have global riots about Kyle Rittenhouse, that's why he's free. That's what oh. he's saying. Yeah. A year's worth of protest to get one cop convicted, but now we're right back to what we had before, whether it's Ahmaud Arbery being killed by three random white men or Kyle Rittenhouse. What is the activist what? response? Yeah, we gotta get his Aubrey coverage. They, but the verdict's not even in. I know. But and it, it looks like it looks like they're totally gonna fucking nail him too. Yeah. That's why I'm curious what he'll say yeah. after Aubrey. They'll say, well though I don't know. They'll say like, oh, you know, this is just it's gotta be so blatant for a white man to get charged with killing a black person. Unlike Kyle Rittenhouse, who killed two white people. <laughs> a lot of people think that jury shouldn't have convicted Derek Chauvin and they think mm -hmm. that it's gonna be overturned on appeal because like he didn't I'm trying I don't remember the chart I, I didn't agree with the charge they gave him mm -hmm. I, I didn't watch it... any of that trial so zip zero zip oh okay because yeah. I followed it somewhat closely mm -hmm. 
I'm trying to remember though, this because it was a while ago. There was what the charge because they gave him the most extreme charge, which I thought didn't make sense. Um, because it the most extreme charge had a maliciousness of intention. Yeah. Yeah, malice, which I didn't think Chauvin did. I thought he was just extreme fucking incompetence. I just yeah. yeah, I saw extreme negligence. And I there was a lesser charge that was still like you know 10, 20 years in prison or something that that was based around just being that had you know extreme negligence into it and that one made more sense to me but we'll see what happens if he gets if it's overturned on appeal i, I don't i don't think it'll be overturned. people are gonna rage no one's raging about kyle rittenhouse because i think there might have been there might have been people in the street if he was convicted i don't know yeah maybe when there's a ruling like this, because I can't here, I want you to press play because I think it skip. It's I think it skips when I press play. But I a lot of people don't feel despondent about years worth of protests about this kind of violence and people still getting off for essentially murder. What you must also factor in is that even when the George Floyd murder happened, it has now come out that some of the violence in Minneapolis was done by right wingers who mm -hmm. pretended to be burning down places in minneapolis that they were part of the movie it's just is there, i love is there, it is there any oh. evidence for that i love the oh. expression that uh what is it johnson makes J jason johnson he's like yep we yeah. know it <laughs> yep the totally bullshit i love it it's like oh they were it's, it's just like you know there were secret FBI, CAA, Antifa protesters at January 6th that really caused all the problems. Well, there was also secret right wingers at the George Floyd protests, and they were the ones doing the real violence. It wasn't our side. No, it was a secret false flag by the Republicans. Not our innocent little side. Oh. We would never do anything bad. People, no. People who agree with my politics are all total angels, and they've never done anything anything wrong in their entire life our people are good peaceful protesters mob psychology only works with my political opposition not yeah. with my side crazy we're not which means that now we can see people baiting violence to have a reaction to justify doing what uh rittenhouse got away with today this is a very very serious problem for activism because right. now we're being told that someone can cross <laughs> oh state lines gosh. with a semi-automatic rifle and kill people and say it's self-defense and they have this case to cite as saying that I'm like Rittenhouse. Let's remember Rittenhouse is now being offered internships by members of Congress like he's some hero. So in the frame of one week, <laughs> ministers go to so every head on the panels like no. I know they all oh, got yeah. so true. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. I mean what can Rittenhouse I mean Rittenhouse has security risks now. <laughs> Let's just face yeah, it. Yeah, I know he's really and he's probably gonna endure his entire life. Right. Yeah. Right? He's he's gonna hope that when he he's gonna like totally change his appearance so he looks completely different. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's gonna crazy. grow like a big mustache and beard, That'd dye a blonde. You know? That'd be funny, the bearded. Yeah, I think. House. I think the real threat here, uh, Rev Reverend, is uh, the fucking lies and misinformation that you are participating and peddling. Okay, yeah. I think that's the real threat. I think the real threat is the constant race grifting, this constant um, flaming the furnaces of racial tension in this country trying to cause people to hate each other trying to cause people to riot that you and everyone on this panel is engaged in doing i think that's the real problem not kyle rittenhouse defending himself are these people old enough to have to have witnessed that from racist whites like back in the 60s well maybe obviously, Alex, Sharpton, obviously yeah. yeah so he might just be getting a little revenge for himself then he might be mm -hmm. like this is the kind of racist stuff I heard on the TV when I was a kid. And right. It drove me insane. Now I'm going to come up here and make the same kind of racist arguments. Yep. It's all oh, uh, so uh, much. So much of it's like just tit for tat. To Brunswick, Georgia, to with Bibles in their hand, and we're condemned. And he goes with an automatic weapon, and he's given office of congressional internship. This is where America is tonight. It is startling, not surprising, but startling. And it brings a real threat 
to those white and black that want to stand up against systemic racism in this country. We use the word. And I think I tell my students yep. that, you know, the key to an internship is being a good person, a moral citizen. Apparently, you just have to go out and murder people who you disagree with. Um, Ellie, <laughs> part of the Who are beating you? Who are chasing you down, you fucking liar? I know. But see, that, is that defamation? He murdered people who disagreed with him. Yeah. These are not statements. These are incorrect statements of fact. Yeah. I think I think there's very clearly a just, defamation suit want, here. Just... Just this one broadcast has like 75 yeah. of them that they can cite. We need to make a retraction for all of these. I know. I Dude, that would be so cool. Like the the attorney notice shows up and it's got like every single one of the statements. Like, are, are, that? are we going to see like the Joy Reid and Jason hostage video where they're both like I want sitting it. in front of the camera? You, they get, it seems like there's a gun off screen and they're reading like we apologize for incorrectly stating these things <laughs> i want it i want it oh joy reed would lose all credibility with her fan base she there's no way she'd give away half her no, half her wouldn't. fortune to avoid that this is miss miss i was hacked my blog posts were hacked in 2008 and i didn't actually say the homophobic things i said mm -hmm. she didn't lose her fan base over that i don't you think, think she's using the deep fake she's going to use the deep fake defense that she only will. works once. She can't do that again. Come on. She'll try it again. I'm it. telling you. No one fell for it the first time. Come on. Nobody fell for that plausible shit. Plausible deniability. That's Nobody all your fans need. Nobody fell for need. any of that All shit. your fans need is plausible deniability. And they'll well, that's true. Eat yeah. it right up. That's true. We've seen that ourselves. Listen, I mean, I mean yeah, we've seen that. <laughs> You've been tweeting about this sort of consistently. I, I sometimes feel like you were at a courtroom. Part of what the national story is from Kenosha is... The degree of empathy that African Americans had for these victims, I think, in contrast to how many white Americans are sometimes ambivalent or trying to explain what happened to George Floyd or what happened to Walter Scott. Why do you think that is? Why do you think this case, even though the victims were white, why do you think it resonates so much with African Americans and why so many people are so passionate and disturbed by this ruling? Because you're telling them to yeah because you're gaslighting them because <laughs> you're gaslighting them yes yeah. that's a great question and my answer is because black people don't care about race they care about justice <laughs> we we want justice what? to be what? done <laughs> We got what? five people on this panel who are the most racist motherfuckers who can only perceive this case through a racialized lens and he has the gall he's the gall to say oh i don't care about race Black people, not he says categorically. Now you've black got people. Ellie. He's speaking for all of black people. There black you go. People don't care about race. Did so you know, tell didn't, that didn't to Joy? See, didn't you see last month when they held the black people spokesman uh, ceremony that they oh, awarded he Ellie won. here spokesman yeah. of all black people? I didn't. I I forgot. I tivoed it back in two thousand and three, but uh, I've just found it again and watched it. Black people don't care about race. This person came outside of his community, armed himself with a legal weapon, and shot two people in the street, people during a protest for police brutality. Yes, right. we care. It doesn't matter that Wait. armed himself with a legal weapon and shot two people in the street. That's people a fault. Oh, during good, a good catch. Good shot, catch. Well, first, the gun, he armed himself with an illegal weapon. Not, not, not a false yeah. statement of fact right there. Yeah. Ellie. He shot them in the street, Ellie. Adam. Ellie, yeah. Listen, that's a false statement of fact. The first person he shot was in a car lot, not the street. <laughs> ah, that's true also. Good catch. Good catch. Oh, man. Oh, drafting this. Whatever attorney gets to draft this letter, it's going to be so much fun. It's like, no, you said he did it in the car, Listen. in the street. No, it was a car lot. Yeah. We want you to correct that record. If you're the attorney for Calvin House's defamation case, make sure you download this video off of YouTube because they will probably get rid of it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. They're going to memory hold this shit. How hilarious would it be if there is a defamation suit for this and MSNBC scrubs all the footage? So some poor. Uh, Has to go to our show. <laughs> some yes! poor intern for the lawyer. Okay. Has to go to our stream and cut out all of us talking and just get the <laughs> clips of this of the stream. How yes. basic? Wait a minute. Is is our? Yeah. Please don't don't get us. 
Sorry, Jacob Blake. We okay, thought wait. you got money. <laughs> no, I, okay, Adam. Here's what you gotta do. You gotta put the Sitchin Adam uh <laughs> the watermark On over the, the video so that if th- so if this is playing in court, we'll know that they got it from our stream. <laughs> okay. So put the little put the little Sitchin Look at Adam, this. Uh, Here watermark you in the bottom right. Yeah. Just so we know. I, just, I just feel like case. it shouldn't be that close to the MSNBC, though. That'll give us a bad name. Here, I'll oh. put it right over here, right over Joy Reed's face. <laughs> how about that? Oh, how about over the readout? <laughs> Where do you want it here? Where do no, you no, want it's got to be like it's over be the subtle. Chiron. It's got to be a subtle. A <laughs> subtle? What are you talking about? Yeah. So, so much as this, imagine the jury having to watch <laughs> our stream, our entire stream. <laughs> he goes right next to Paul Butler uh, now. Your, your honor, I'd like to put into evidence a 12 hour live stream. No! <laughs> Do we get called to the stand to verify that we did the stream? Uh, we we, we had verified. They just put up a little laptop with my avatar on it. It's technically our property, right? Right. <laughs> That's hilarious. It's going to be a laptop with such yep. a. I'll go. For I'll testify. I don't care. Yes, right. we care. It doesn't matter that the victims were white, not to not to black people. It doesn't matter that the victims were white. It matters that justice was not done. And that. What about pedophiles? How do you how do black people feel about pedophiles? Yeah, right, right. I'm curious, since you've uh, elected yourself the spokesperson <laughs> for all of black people. Uh, yes. <laughs> please no, let no, us put, know. Put put the Sitchin logo like over the the bottom right corner. You don't put like it, it over there? the you know. Over the MSNBC? Yeah, fuck MSNBC. Look, I want Paul. Look, Cover Paul Butler's looking at it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you can what have you it think? so that like the Sitchin part's covering up the MSNBC part. Here, I have an idea. Here, yeah. Tell me what you think of this. Okay. I think it works. Okay. Tell me. I can't, I mean, it's gonna take me like ten minutes to see. I, here, we'll know. just just press play. I okay. think you'll like it. Okay something that that uh, that honestly i stand why so many white people can't see that it's like they're telling on themselves right it's the the whole point here is that and this is where you know i'm gonna bring up oh i think there's a theory about it that asks you to critically think about how systems work. <laughs> sis are you not even watching did you leave sis, I think... no it it literally took this long to catch up no way yeah it did it, t- it takes like 20 seconds to catch back up so. <laughs> Even when it went on the close up to the guy's yep. face. There you go. You have the giant sitch. <laughs> it was like covering the whole thing. Adam, you're not quite understanding. Adam's not quite understanding the uh, like the whole thing I was trying to say. Do you want to like, let me ruin it? <laughs> Do you want let me bigger? ruin Kyle Rittenhouse's defamation case by just utterly destroying the footage they need for the trial. Okay. We might need to back it up because I think that's <laughs> this guy's the most insane. I wasn't yes. even listening to what he was saying. We will back it up. Just put it did you fix it <laughs> you want it small is that what you're saying just put it put it over the just put it small over the msnbc logo okay over the msm and the yes. youtube logo you can you can have it so just the sitch and adam part is over the msnbc and the triangles like in that little bottom right you know, <laughs> space. oh my god I can't, this is so funny i can't believe you're <laughs> We're doing graphic design. During if this the- gets in the court, I want to fucking know about it. All right. And I want you fucking it up, Adam. We've already been on Tucker Carlson, man. That's it right. We've get already any been on Tucker than Carlson. That. It's not done. And that is something that, that honestly, I do not understand why Perfect. so many white people can't see that. It's like they're telling on themselves, right? It's the, the whole point here is that, and this is where, mm. you know, I'm going to bring up oh, I think there's a theory about it that asks you to critically think mm. about how systems work <laughs> in this country. Right? There you oh go. Oh, my God. It, we that. need CRT, guys. That's If we had CRT, then everyone would be racist like us, and Kyle would have been found guilty. Look, Jason's the only one who's in on the joke. Paul, <laughs> Al, Paul's in on it. Yeah. and Reed are like, what the fuck is he talking? Critical what? Well, what no, she he? she knows. She said, remember last oh, week, yeah, she she's said, got look, she's got a little smirk on her face. She said, oh, Karen House case shows why we need critical race theory in America. Joy said that? Yeah, she said that last week. Really? Yeah. You must oh. have blocked it out of your memory. <laughs> I guess so. Look at this. I can't believe he's going to the critical race theory. Yeah. Well, that, of course ti- that tired old well. Like there is a there is a pall of permissiveness towards white violence. 
and black people, regardless of the victim of any one instance of white violence, black people know that overall, white people armed with guns patrolling the streets, being allowed to shoot whoever they want to, doesn't work out so well for us, right? No. So there is a concern about <laughs> yeah. justice. There's a concern yeah. about fairness. There is some self. There, there is some 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 self preservation. There is that I know that that doesn't work out for me uh, very much, but. My God, what the fuck? It just what ends. a weird, what a weird way, like what a weird place to cut it, right? That's their clip. That's their clip. <laughs> They're like, Holy I mean, shit. I He's... found the rest because I am amazing. <laughs> but, uh, that's their clip, yeah. No way, no that's, way. Yeah. That's your fucking. Oh, Sitch, you're amazing. I know. You're that's amazing. True. Joy Reid won. Look at that. I... They tried to cut. This is why Sitch went crazy about the logo. He's like. That's right. They cut him off in the middle of a defamation. Oh yeah, you. you know, I have, I have, I have two Joy Reid clips. Uh, this one and then the continuation that were not on the internet. No way. So no that's way. what I'm saying. This is going to be used to evidence <laughs> oh, in the trial. Okay. I feel like the Sitch and Adam logo should be a little bigger. What do you say? Can we go <laughs> no, just no. a little bigger? Come no, on. Because no, no. you don't want them. You don't want them to crop it out for the trial. Just a little bigger. In fact, you should. Yeah. No. No. Bigger. <laughs> Gotta be even like a little slightly like phased out hidden so they don't notice so that when they admit it to evidence we get to say look look at the logo i don't know how to do that okay, whatever. Don't <laughs> i don't think it. it fades in obs oh that's right because you upload yeah okay. well i can do i might be able to figure out don't worry capacity. just don't don't worry about it just, it's fine it's also that we understand the system. And the last point I'll say is just that, you know, the, the people who kind of can't see that, who can't see the bigger picture, they're like people who are, who are, who are chewing on rosemary, like a cow, and like, man, this rosemary tastes bitter. <laughs> and it's like, shut up, you uncouth idiot. It's supposed to go in the soup. There's right. a <laughs> what? We just... <laughs> What are we talking about here? Now you know why they cut him off mid-sentence. They're like, they're oh, like, he's going to bring is... up the rosemary bit. This rosemary? What it, What does this have to do with anything? I don't know. Listen, there's, there's cows running around chewing on rosemary. They don't know. Cows don't know about soup, Adam. Obviously. Come on. Have you not this heard like this thing? metaphor before? Rosemary, cows, yeah. chewing. <laughs> What's that? I'm just some, I'm baffled. <laughs> Fact sheet: oh, Poisonous here. plants all... for cattle. There you go. It's a well-known fact. Are rosemary cows, plants so... safe for pets? Huh. Bad plants for cattle. Okay. Who knew? Huh. Okay. Knew. The wrong oh, herbs for your herbivore <laughs> when plants attack. And if you only pull out one bit or another bit, like you might miss the whole the whole meal here. And black people care about the whole. Oh wait, this is important. Mm -hmm. Listen closely to what he's saying. I will not. This is the comedy portion of the show. I'm not going to listen closely. <laughs> listen. I don't care. Listen. No, I will not listen. listen closely. You're an uncouth idiot, Adam. You're an uncouth idiot. All I want is some rosemary, okay? Oh, God. Look what you did. Look what, what did you I did do? to watch together. Now we have yeah. this circle of doom. This is because you wouldn't take this seriously. Okay. Here is... Here is do I need to refresh this page? Are you seeing yes. anything on your end? Refresh. It's fine for me. So you're going to have to reload really? it. Yeah. Okay. If you, I forgot if you pause it too many, like but too quickly. Also that we it up. Go, don't go crazy. Okay. okay well, you need to chill out. You need to listen. You need to listen. I'm not. Is even, it working? Is yeah, it fine? It looks for you? great. Oh, okay. Chewing on rosemary like a cow. This rosemary tastes bitter. And it's like, <laughs> shut up, you uncouth Shut idiot. up, you it's uncouth. It's supposed to go in the soup. It's supposed to go There's in the soup. There's a whole soup here. There's a whole soup of racism. And if you only pull out one bit or another racism. bit, like you might miss the whole the whole meal. Okay, so what he's saying is he's- a whole soup of racism. He's using the same argument that Lance used. He's using the laundry list argument. Oh, he is. Okay, yeah. he's saying there's a soup of racism. And if you pull out each individual ingredient of the soup, it does not appear to be racist. Mm -hmm. But if you take all these not racist appearing things and you put them together in a soup, mm -hmm. suddenly racism magically appears. Mm -hmm. for you. Okay. So this is wow. the bullshit laundry list of, let me construct a laundry list of things that don't prove my case, but somehow if I shove them all together, it proves my case. This is awful. I don't like it. Is this person no. a college professor? I sure hope not. Probably. Oh no, it's doing the thing again. Oh. Why you pause so much? Oh my God. 
Oh, watch together is really big. Ant of yes, we bitch lately, but yeah. Well, they they changed the uh, website. It seems like you're having problems with it ever since. Yeah, uh, we're gonna have to find a new watch together, I guess. Or just use a different use a different browser. We talked about that. whole soup of racism, and if you only pull out one bit or another bit, like you might miss the whole the whole meal here. And black people care about the whole meal. Black people care. I, I about... like your chant of yes, we care. Uh, because that that is that is a that is a key part of this. Um, I, as much as this is a black political cliche, I literally watched the ruling in the barbershop this afternoon. Not a person in the room was at all surprised. No one was. Can, can you do some can you do some light graphic design here for a second? Sure. What do you got? Can, can you zoom in on the Jason? Can you just make him like gigantic zoom in right there? Sure. Yeah, I yeah. can do that. Let me, let me know when you when you've. Fully zoomed in on Jace. I, you know, zooming mm -hmm. is actually one of my favorite things to do. Last time really? I zoomed in on the show, though, I got in big fucking you trouble did. for it. You Somebody did, just was, someone was just a little fucking yeah. bitch. Of, Why you gotta zoom in? I, Are you zoomed in? Are you is it, is it zoomed in? Maximum, Jason. Well, not maximum. How big do you oh, want? Okay, it? just just the size of the screen. Why are you, is this going to be good? What's going to happen? Okay. Is it, just tell me. Is it zoomed in? What's You're not happening? Answering question. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm zooming. Listen, I'm listen how like, difficult my co-host is. <laughs> what are you talking about? Do you want him to cover? You want him to like cover me? Up? Just this, just the size of the watch together. Okay. Just the size of the watch. Doesn't together? Go. Yes. But you said like the whole frame. Now you're okay. Well, oh my God! Listen to this diva. <laughs> You've destroyed. This is like it's supposed to be like a ten second bit, and Adam has literally <laughs> ruined my bit because he can't fucking zoom in. Do you hold on? Oh my hold on. God. Do you want the zoom? Do you want the oh zoom watermark? Oh my fucking god! Adam. <laughs> Do you want the zoom watermarked or not? Okay, whatever it is now is fine. Okay. All right, here it is. Okay, let me go back one second. Are you sure? Yeah. Part of this, um, I as much as this is a black political day, I literally watched the ruling in the barber shop this afternoon. Not a person in the room <laughs> was at all surprised. No one. Okay. What's it, up? Do, you have, do you have a problem with this statement? Looking at this man, what he just said. <laughs> this bald motherfucker said he was in a barber shop. Fuck you. <laughs> no, you fucking weren't. This bald motherfucker with the tiniest shit, like hint of a beard. This guy wasn't anywhere near him. Was he, he's just randomly wandering into barber shops that he has no need of their services. It says, hey, black people, how do you feel about Kyle Rittenhouse? You can obviously tell Sitch is not bald because uh, <laughs> bald people have to shave their head like every day, no, every other day. Fuck like, uh, no, this guy is bald. As he probably fuck. shops by the no. bar, barber Bullshit. shop in the morning to fucking get his bald ass motherfucker. Don't need no barber no, shop. No, no, okay? he could be. He could easily be <laughs> no, at the barber no, shop. No, no, no. Bullshit. <laughs> I call bull this is one of those. <laughs> my my <laughs> child stood up to cut someone racist on a subway station and everyone clapped story. Okay. Fuck really? you. <laughs> Fuck you, Jason. I don't buy it. Ellie's the one that needs to go to the fucking barber shop. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, you can you can change it back to deep. No, I like his expressions. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. You gotta see all the other people laughing and nodding along. Ellie's completely laughing yeah, yeah no one was surprised in fact everyone said we're surprised to give him a gold star and a medal when he was done um speaking <laughs> of which paul i want to go back to you one of the most galling things about this entire experience and there's not a person on this panel who didn't think the rittenhouse was going to get off but what did shock a lot of people is the behavior of judge of just the judge I want to play you a clip of just some of his greatest hits and get your thoughts on the other side oh, as God. to what this does to our legal system when you see somebody behave like this in a trial that's so important. Okay, the greatest hits is uh, the Asian food comment, mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. the black comment, mm -hmm. and uh, the called the victims rioters comment. Yes, okay. That's Did your, I get them all? Your... We'll see. Three we'll for see. three, let's go. Here we'll we go, see. guys. Play along in the chat. You guys put your guesses in. Here we go. Yep. You hit play. Okay. Are you sure? I felt like it was better when you were doing it. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> 15 seconds later. What the <laughs> fuck, guys? What the fuck? I'm wild to queue it up. The word victim is a loaded. Oh, there's one. I will tell you this. 
Uh, I'm going to think long and hard about uh, live television betrayal again next uh, time. You missed that I one. I, I, I've always been a firm believer in it because I think the people should be able to see what's going on. But when I see what's being done, it's really quite frightening. I, I was a, astonished when oh, you I didn't began get this your one examination either. by commenting nope. on the defendant's post-arrest silence. That's basic law. It's been basic law in this country. For 40 years, 50 years, you get I him, have judge. no idea why you would do something like that. There you go. You totally <laughs> you know, got Paul, him all wrong. I saw that. There, I, and, and I want to make this clear to anyone out there, you know, legal Twitter or legal commentary. There is not a prosecutor on the planet. OK, Johnny Cochran mixed with McCoy from Law and Order couldn't win a case when you have a judge behaving in this particular way. So... What sue the this fuck? fucking judge! Sue him! Sue him! What judge the, Schroeder, yeah. sue this fucking guy! Yeah, what the fuck? Disgusting. Do any? Of the, does he even know the context of that? No. Yeah. No. This is the context. He's defending Kyle, a white nationalist militia shooter. No, That's the context. No prosecutor, no, no lying, <laughs> cheating prosecutor could ever win a case against this judge when the judge doesn't let him openly lie and cheat. What the fuck? When the judge doesn't openly, yeah, openly allow the prosecutor to sneak in evidence he said would not be allowed in the trial and question the defendant's Fifth Amendment rights. Yes. Dude, these, these people are like, they have no brain. This is so discouraging. Adam, it's so simple. Adam, the judge is racist. Why would he not allow Binger to violate the U.S. Constitution? Yeah, what is he, a I racist? guess so. I guess so. What is he? Well, I, I just, mean, what kind of racist doesn't let you violate the U.S. Constitution? I just don't. I don't understand how these people don't have the competency to realize that today this judge has a black defendant on the fucking stand. <laughs> right. Right. And Binger is right there, still trying to lie, still trying to cheat, still trying to plan evidence, still working with the fucking investigators. Oh, did you plant the bag of cocaine in the trunk <laughs> like I asked you to? Like, fucking think about this shit. Yeah, I actually that would you know that would be interesting for if one of these uh, supposed cares of race to go look into Binger's uh, I know. core history, see Jeez. how many black people he's put away. Jeez. Oh, before I'm they go so... throwing him a ticker tape parade. I'm just, I'm curious. I'm curious, like the, the racial makeup of the prosecution of the, the prosecute, uh, the, I don't, what do you call them? The, the perpetrators that yes. Binger bring, brings charges against. Right, right. Like Kenosha is eighty-seven percent white. Like, how? Like, how much of that? How how much of the charges that Binger brings up are against uh, marginalized right. people, guys? Yep. This is when oh, you want the oh, judge oh to actually be fair. I mean, come on. Right. Think ahead. For you, this is this is like the long game, guys. Remember, remember, <laughs> remember thinking ahead. You, you push it. You push the button. You think it's going to be good for me? We'll see. Why is Watch Together being a little bitch? I don't know. Being a little fucking bitch with us. The is, what does this do to, to people who are just observing this case? I mean, is this judge that common? And if he is that common, what hope is there for any future cases that have to do with black lives? You are a moron, okay? <laughs> yes, we are watching the case. We are watching the judge. And I got to tell you, I'm really disgusted by your behavior here. Yeah. You lying sack of shit. Yeah. It's, uh, for someone who wants, legitimately, wants people to get a fair trial, regardless of something as superficial as the fucking color of their skin, okay? I think, uh, I think what the judge is doing is trying to give yeah. defendants a fair shake. Right. Yeah. Listen, Jason... Being fat, stupid, and lazy is no way to get through life. Yeah, fucking do do some do some heavy soul searching after this. <laughs> Hopefully, after Kyle Rittenhouse drops a gigantic defamation case on you, you'll think about your actions in the future. Yeah. Oh no. Matter to have to do with. I did the circle what? for a second. With criminal oh. justice, if you've got guys like this planted throughout the country who are able to basically completely put their thumb on the scale of justice when it comes to a case.
Unfortunately, Jason. You fucking lying sack of shit. <laughs> it's just, it's like he's not putting his thumb on the scale of justice. He's working on making, he's working on balancing the scales of justice. Yeah. yeah. There are many judges in this country tip the scales of justice in favor of the cause or side that they like. And when there's a verdict of not guilty, those concerns don't go away, but they're not resolved in any legal form because when a defendant is found not guilty, the verdict is final. The prosecution cannot appeal. Uh, I want to say, though, that the defense gets a lot of the credit or the lo a lot of the blame. Mr. Rittenhouse had the best defense money can buy. His $2 million legal defense fund enabled his lawyers to use O.J. Simpson's jury consultant. And before the trial, they held two practice jury trials. That paid off well with Mr. Rittenhouse's well worn but, You know, Barnes was shit-talking that lady. <laughs> was, was he? Because I was curious about this. That's... After I after I was... heard Richard's mm -hmm. talk, I, I thought... Was it Richards that Barnes clashed with? Oh, yeah, of course it was. Because Richards, so Richards. Oh, no. Said, he would, so Richards uh, numerous times talks about two unnamed lawyers. Mm -hmm. He's not talking about Barnes. He's talking about John Pierce and Linwood. And Linwood. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, but John, uh, but he does talk about how Linwood and John Pierce were both they wanted to turn Kyle Rittenhouse into a cause, which he was yes. against, which I'm against. I mean, right. like fucking, I don't think turning, I don't think turning this into like a political firestorm is really good for anyone. I mean, it became that. And now I wonder became, how much of it was really Linwood stoking. Well, it's interesting. In one of the interviews with Richards, we find out that John Pierce set up that meeting with the Proud Boys. And that's yeah. actually what got John Pierce kicked off the case. Right. So, yeah, I mean, he's not doing his clan any fucking favors there. And but I can understand. Lynn Wood from... had him do an interview with like Washington Post or something, which was fucking, I don't even remember that. I don't either. But I mean, I can understand Richards being hesitant if, you know, the people that want to politicize his case are Lynn Wood, who's a fucking insane person who stole millions of dollars, presumably, from Kyle. And John Pierce, who's so fucking dumb, he's setting up meetings with the Proud Boys. And, and so yeah, I can understand his hesitancy to be like, this is what you mean when you want to fucking, you know, politicize Kyle. Yeah. But uh, so, no, what Barnes was criticizing the the OJ jury lady saying that, you know, she's been skating on that the OJ oh, okay. uh, jury selection for the last 20 years and that every case she or most cases she's done afterwards, she's totally fucked up and screwed over. So right. I think it's funny that all the people are saying that this is like a sign of quality when Barnes is saying this is a sign of shittiness. Okay, well, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. that's interesting. Sometimes so, people do that. They skate on right. their laurels for a long time and right. don't really improve. Though it is a little interesting that uh, Paul Blart here didn't, didn't seem like he was too comfortable towing the judge's racist line. Because he said, if you notice, he said judges are biased for whichever side they like, and then he pivoted away to... Um, oh, Calvin yeah. House had a lot of money. So he yeah. didn't seem to be quite on board with that extreme of a rhetoric, at right. least in this instance. He's like, I don't want to tangle with a judge. I may end up in private practice again. <laughs> Holy shit. Well, I think a lot of lawyers, too, they just, a lot of practicing lawyers, and we saw this last week, the pundits would say like, oh, this is so crazy. Why did the judge yell at them? And then all the lawyers would be like, well, you know, it's pretty common, actually. <laughs> like, Oh, yeah, yeah. They get so. yelled at a lot. You start. You, you think. do. Well, you hang testimony up first. when he took the stand. Most criminal defendants don't have those kinds of resources. Rittenhouse wouldn't either, but for people like Donald Trump and Matt Gaetz <laughs> acting as cheerleaders for a man who gunned down three people. Whenever we have a case like this, it, it, nice. it has a larger nice. sort of political resonance. I want to play Vice President Harris's comments after this. Enjoy. I want your thoughts on the other side. What tone does she hit? And is it the right tone after this kind of ruling? Oh, no. I the verdict that. really speaks for itself. As many of you know, I've spent a majority of my career working to make the criminal justice system more equitable, and clearly there's a lot more work to do. A nice non-answer. That left me a little cold. Joy, what was your <laughs> thought when you heard that from the vice president? 
They're mad. <laughs> They're mad. Right. I mean, I, I listen. She is a former prosecutor, and so you know, you know, as somebody who worked in the criminal justice system herself, she has a, a, a sort of foundational respect for the system. So you know, I, I wasn't expecting her to necessarily come out and emote about this case. Barack Obama didn't do it when he was president. Joe Biden isn't going to do it. But I think one thing that is important to remember: this is also a woman who, as a senator, tried to get an anti-lynching law enacted. And we have not been able to have an anti-lynching law enacted in this country, which has had more lynchings than any, I don't know of any other country that's done it the way we've done it here in this country. We can't get an anti-lynching law here because people don't want it. They don't. You tried to lynch power in the house, you fucker. What are you talking about anti-lynching? You wanted the lynching. Yeah. Nobody, well, there's, there's not a lot of lynchings going on. So they're like, we got other shit to do. And it's interesting because... I was curious as to whether she would attack Kamala or play defense for her. She's a hundred percent played defense for her. She's like, Oh, yeah. well, you know, she's a prosecutor. She has faith in the system. Well, don't ask, you know, yeah, her answer sucked, but wait, let's move on. Uh, look, look what else she's is good. She's trying to get anti-lynching laws. Look, ignore your question. Look at what she's doing over here. Joy Reid so here gunning for uh, a position as secretary of state in the Kamala Harris administration. So yeah, she's <laughs> definitely playing nice, nice with the administration. I'm so glad you made me blow up Jason because I've been using his, <laughs> been making, he does, he's, he's, he's totally exaggerated head nods that are pretty cool. Yeah. He's, he's like a, he's a fucking Twitch streamer. He is. He's the, <laughs> doing he's all the, the exaggerated familiar. listening. This one, it sounds he's the familiar. Yeah. He's Joy right. Reid's familiar. Right. I want to legislate in that area. She tried to do things to push criminal justice reform, police reform. She was behind that. She and Cory Booker strongly supported it. That is dead. And I want to also remind you, we talked about this judge. He is elected. He is a politician. He is an elected official in the state of Wisconsin. He wasn't appointed there. So a lot of this has to do with the other piece that she is attempting to work on, which is the vote. Is can people get access to the means by which you could replace this man? And also, do you bother? He was right. he ran unopposed the last time that he was put in that office. And the last thing I'll say is that we need to really zoom out. I hope he runs again and just utterly annihilates whoever they get to run against him. Are they gonna run someone against him? Oh, I mean, oh you know that. You know someone's gonna fucking you know bankroll somebody. Yeah, you know it's gonna happen. Jacob Blake, he's gonna run against him. <laughs> <laughs> he Jacob Blake's Jacob Blake's uncle is gonna run against him, okay? Who knows? We want Kamala Harris to be all things to all people, right? It's her, she has to represent everything black. But she's not the only person responsible to do that. This right. system is not on her shoulder. She didn't create it. Look at she's this as much a victim defense. of it and lives under it just like we do on it's this panel. Apologia. It's not her job to fix it. And she's this a is vice a president. white America has to do, and they need to look inward. And don't look for a... <laughs> it's not the job of the literal <laughs> vice president. And the president to do the work for America. I don't know, Joy. I kind of think it fucking oh is. I kind of think that's the whole oh point. Oh my god! It's what a, did it say? Fucking what? She, this is the this is the double bond right here because look, she just said this is the job for white America. White America <laughs> needs to look inward, right? And Kamala's like, as soon even as though we she's step in a position up, of power, she's not white. So as soon as white America steps up and says, "Okay, we're gonna do this." Look, the white savior complex coming out. It's like, what? You can't win. This is like this is like Vosh levels of cope. Like, oh, you know, Hassan should not have to live his principles. Oh, the vice oh, president totally. shouldn't be president and vice president shouldn't be responsible for changing the country. What are we talking about? This is one of the things the left attacked her on in the last election because su supposedly she's like supposedly she's like a banger. She's just locking people up right and left with all kinds of crazy oh, come on. tricks. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. She's Binger all the way. Oh yeah, definitely. But you know, Binger wants to be vice president one day. <laughs> I don't know about that, but what? Of course he does. Do, yeah, I think he's shot any chances of that. He's like, it's these small towns. Kenosha just rings of like small town. Have you lived in a small town? You ever live in a? No, I really have not. You've only lived in the big city. Only lived in the city, boy. Really? Yeah. Small towns are great. You gotta live in a small town sometime. Okay. Sometime soon. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should move. Soon. We'll pick a small town just in like, in like hmm, South Carolina. I think would be good for you. 
What do you hmm. think? It's got to be away from the coast, though. Where did this Aubrey thing take place? It's got to be, it's gotta be as far inland as possible. How about New Orleans? <laughs> that is the literally worst place I would ever move. No. Have you ever drank a hurricane? Have you ever had a drink <laughs> called a hurricane? The drink of New Orleans is called the hurricane. You know I why? Think I'll pass. I think I'm you know why pass they, on that one. You know why they call it the hurt? You know I, I, I can I can think why. I can guess. A lot of guess. fucking hurricanes. <laughs> they come like crazy. Sitch, you guys don't know this, but Sitch is sick of the fucking hurricanes and. In, oh, they uh, know what I've I've said. Florida. I'm fucking. I'm moving. I'm. Yeah. I'm moving out of. We're here. I'm. Th- I'm tired of the hurricanes. Let me think. In Los Angeles, the last time we had a hurricane here. Hmm. I don't, yeah. Never you do have hurricanes. They're just called fire burning your house down. Canes. Nah. Okay. Those fires are nothing. Scott All Adams right. is a big pussy. Oh, okay. You just wear a gas mask. Jeez. <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? He needs to nut up. Black lady oh. to come zooming in and, and on her on her white horse to fix it <laughs> and to fix your feelings about it. Because the problem is, there's an L.A. Times reporter that talked about the fact that all the far right groups from the Proud Boys on were just absolutely licking their chops today. They were acting. How many fucking Proud Boys are there? Like, what is the membership is like of the a, Proud Boys? There's at least 12 of them. Adam. I know. <laughs> Jeez. Look, I'm looking it up. I, I got to know. The, they talk about the Proud Boys like it's as big as the NRA. Well, she, she's totally projecting here because, you know, the team race grift was like, licking their chops like yes this is further proof that we live in a racist society good excellent yes because if they got everything they wanted they'd be out of a job yeah of course they would they because their job is complaining about racism if there's no racism they don't have a job proud boys there are <laughs> 119 active proud boys chapters across 46 mm-hmm. states this is ADL, so it may be obviously totally bullshit. <laughs> yeah. So you know they're cooking the books. Okay. Oh, I love how on their fucking page, on their Proud Boys page, the guy that they, they have the Calvin House picture. No, they have the the guy who's he looks black. I don't know. Is he black? Is he is he uh, Latino? I don't know. I think he's Latino. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> this is pretty crazy. The Proud Boys are a right-wing extremist Just group Los Angeles. with a violent agenda. They are primarily misogynistic, Islamophobic, transphobic, and anti-immigration. Some members espout white supremacists and anti-Semitic ideologies and or engage with white supremacist groups. Membership. There are 119 active Proud, Boy cha- Proud Boys chapters across 46 states uh, recognized by the National Proud Boys organization so is that i mean how many per chapter if there's i don't know yeah so maybe a thousand members i mean are there 10 members per chapter or? a thousand mem- in our entire country adam that's too many a thousand it's a thousand that's like the, that's like the entire south right there here I'm they're all proud boys yeah how many people have triple a <laughs> <laughs> Have a a a. Let's see. Well, I'm curious to look up actually. Sixty one was... million members have the American Automobile Association. Why did my phone just go off? I, I don't worried. know. Went off with the Arbery trial. Maybe you got a phone call. <laughs> with the, and my my I can only sent my ring to the Arbery trial testimony. Established in 1902 by nine motor clubs with fewer than okay, okay, 1500 okay. members today triple a provides look up, more than okay. 61 look up, million members with automotive travel insurance and financial services okay. look up actually what i would be curious as to what was the largest uh the kkk ever got to be okay largest kkk membership yeah yeah we've got to we need to know the we real have to have numbers. perspective here right yeah, yeah. Let's see. Im- immigration in America. <clears throat> oh, Ku Klux Klan membership, 19, 1840 to 1940. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. States with the largest Ku Klux Klan membership, 1915 to 1944. Uh, states, number of persons initiated into state clan. Indiana. Take a guess. I don't know. I don't know if you're saying it's a lot or not. One state. Take a guess. 
uh, I don't know, a thousand people. Or no, wait, what year are we talking about? Uh, 1915 to 1944. Okay, you just tell me. 240,000. Oh, oh, this is over 100 years? Right, yeah. Jeez, that's still a fuck time. There you yeah. go, but see, look. How Florida, many Trump boys? Florida, many... Florida. Mm -hmm. Notice California is not on this list, by the way. I want of to course. point that out. Florida. 60,000 clan members. How yeah, compare dare. compare this. How dare 60, you? 60,000, 200,000 to Sitch, I, the I'm Proud starting Boys. to rethink our right. relationship here. I didn't realize you're in such a racist <laughs> state. I had I'm no so idea. Sorry. I'm so sorry, Adam. I had no idea. Oh, I guess it is the Deep South, basically. So, yep. yeah. Yep. Let's see. But, saying, we... but, but just show the perspective of where we were versus where we are now and how out of the hut, like these people think that we're living in those times right now yeah that's what they think los angeles times are quarter of a million because people jesus yeah that's crazy. crazy look they have the occupational distribution of the clansmen in chicago illinois we have did you know that <laughs> no did, how many there was a lot of lawyers a lot of racist kkk lawyers Five percent of lawyers. Wow. Members of the fucking Jesus. Class class. And one of those lawyers' name was Judge Schroeder. <laughs> Hilarious. There you go. We have Bye. nothing in place culturally or socially to stop the next group of white nationalists, proud boys, oh MAGA people, whoever they want, to take from this verdict what they want and to use it as permission to attack Black Lives Matter. And Black Lives Matter ain't just black people, as we just saw. Mr. Huber and Mr. Rosenbaum are- Oh, I'm glad you're taking the pedophile as a Black Lives Matter member. How many pedophiles are in Black Lives Matter? We want Yeah, you know. can have them. Yeah. He's all yours. <laughs> all yours. Right, they're Jewish. They are also victims and easily made victims. So, as anyone who's- I'm a little triggered that she said that. What? I what, actually tried to find this out. What did you get triggered by? If Rosenbaum was Jewish or not. Really? Oh, my God. Holy shit. I couldn't shit. actually find the answer to that question. Holy shit. That's which, definitely a false statement of fact right there. Well, I don't know. I, I couldn't find the answer, which leads me to believe he's not Jewish. Because mm -hmm. I assume if he was, that they would have been like, look, Kyle Rittenhouse killed a Jew. You know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, and it's interesting because actually I thought about it. Because, you know, Rosenbaum is a stereotypically Jewish name. And I realized something. Mm -hmm. Well... Well, here's something people might not know. When people think of, quote, Jewish names, what they're actually thinking is, what they're hearing is German names. Like the stereotypical Jewish names are actually German names. Mm -hmm. And then I realized something. All four people involved in this case all have German last names. Mm -hmm. Rosenbaum, Huber, Huber's definitely Roskurtz, German. and oh, Rittenhouse. Yeah. They all have German names. Oh, they yeah. are. And then I, so I was like, wait, that's so weird. I looked it up and actually it's because Apparently, the majority of white immigrants to Wisconsin were German. So there you go, bunch of Ger bunch of Krauts mm -hmm. running around shooting each other. All of them, yeah, yep. Can't trust them. Germans, you know those damn Krauts. Damn. Black Lives Matter should be very afraid tonight. She was only present for a couple of hours today. We can't expect her to fix everything. Joy Reid, thank you so much for letting me sit in the seat tonight. Paul Butler, Ellie Mistal, and Reverend Al Sharpton, thank you for joining us and starting off the show as well. Oh, Fuck wait a all of you. Wait a minute. What happened? Uh, Paul Butler just sent me an email. Oh, no. <laughs> no shit. Paul Butler just sent me an email. He said in this, okay, so Paul Butler, just he sent me an email that says, uh, uh, hey, guys, just want to let you guys know mm -hmm. that my original segment about how I thought the judge was biased, uh, MSNBC cut because they thought, you know, it was too it had too much truth in it. And so he sent us an audio file of his original <laughs> answer to the question of, of is the judge biased? So <laughs> let's, let's hear it. it. Let's hear it. It's true. The judge was completely biased and very mean. One time I had a case before Judge Schroeder and Binger was my co-counsel. <laughs> During the trial, Binger pulled down his pants and pooped on the judge's desk. 
<laughs> right the little judge's hammer goes down on the table when he says order, order. <laughs> No the way. judge tried to bang his gavel <laughs> after Mr. Binger poop to bring back order to the court, but it just made the poop fly everywhere. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe how mean and angry the judge was towards Mr. Binger after that. <laughs> it was so uncalled for and completely biased. <laughs> That's also why the judge never used his gavel during this trial. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Can you believe? Wow. Holy shit. I, Did, can't, I can't believe Paul Butler had a case with, with Binger. I can't. And Binger pooped on the judge's <laughs> desk. I can't Jeez. believe how biased of him to get angry about that. I know. Just because a lawyer shits on your desk, does that really merit, you know, yelling at them so rudely well they're Come not on. really breaking the constitution or anything i mean it doesn't say anything about whether or not you can poop on the judge's desk <laughs> you know what that's i'm glad you said that that's a great point nowhere in the constitution does it say you can't poop on a judge's desk i'm assuming at one point in our in our nation's <laughs> storied history pooping on the judge's <laughs> desk was like a common custom oh my god <laughs> That, how does that that thing sound so much like fucking Paul Butler? Because it is Paul You've Butler. Got I don't the know why you don't understand. You have the cadence perfectly. That's Paul Butler. What do you? What don't you understand? Rittenhouse, if you need any, if you need us to 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 uh, work on any evidence for you for the defamation case against Paul Butler, you know we have some time. We could maybe. You know, do some uh, some audio engineering on some of these clips here. There's no, you know. Okay, I, people people in the chat and Adam are confused. Okay, that was not an edited clip. That is Paul <laughs> Butler's actual. That was him. He messaged me. He's a fan of the show, and he wanted us to know what he actually said and how I'm MSNBC not confused. Cut it up. Paul Butler loves us. He messages yeah. Sitch all the time. Okay. Yeah. Listen, most of the, the messages guy. are <laughs> most of the messages are Sitch, why are you such a racist? Why are you a racist piece of shit? Why do you think Kyle Rittenhouse is a hero, Sitch? You know that he shot black protesters. Wow, I can't I didn't know he just entered the call for a second. <laughs> yeah, this is they're they're friends. Sitch and Paul Butler go round and around. Well, no, to be clear, though, last week, Paul Butler did call in and say that he was 18. So, oh, my God. Bullshit. Remember, he said he was A-Train. Yeah, you don't remember? Paul Butler said S-Class is no, best class. No, he said A-Train. I'll pull up the clip. Oh, you're have. right. He did. He even said choo-choo. <laughs> he said A-Train, choo-choo. We have that on a clip. My God. We do. Oh, no, yep. We do. Don't pull it up. Yep. Don't worry. We have more joy. <laughs> oh, shit. We just, I, I finally looked, I finally found it. I want to just, for mm -hmm. those of you, these are the kind of strides we made. Two, uh, 240,000 Klan members in one state, Indiana. Nationwide, there are still an estimated 3,000 Klan members and unaffiliated people who identify with Klan ideology. Look, they have to even throw in, to make it 3,000, they have to throw in <laughs> members of unaffiliated people who right. identify with Klan ideology, according to the ADL. Membership, uh, though, remains spread across dozens of groups. The largest Klan reportedly don't have more than 50 to 100 active members, and most have fewer than 25. There was an article I remember not long ago. It was kind of funny about how the KKK was so hard up for membership. I know. They I were thinking that. about letting in not white people. I remember that. <laughs> It's like, wow, that's hilarious. So Joy Reid, I mean, come on. They're living in a fantasy world. Yep. It's just not fucking, this shit is not cool. Being a racist is not cool. I mean, I don't know how they're getting away with it. These racist motherfuckers. Right. Well, listen, I hope that for Kyle's defamation lawsuit, they use the Paul Butler audio as, oh, yeah, as yeah, proof. Yeah. As proof. Put that, in, put that into evidence, please. He pooped on the game. Did you? Oh, I, I guess I should ask you off stream. Did I'm, I what? I'm curious who wrote that brilliant 
That Paul Butler didn't write. I that. didn't write anything. This is Paul Butler's work. Why do That's you amazing. have so much difficulty with this? Okay. I'm just curious. I mean, that was Paul fucking but- good. That, that was comedy that is gold. Paul Butler's Paul Butler is a comedic genius. I don't know what to tell you. That's some, that's good. I loved his it. His first job was in stand up comedy. He had me on my fuck. He had me on the edge of my seat. You had Baker's oh, ass hanging over two. the judges. <laughs> you had him on the edge of his seat yep. too. On the edge <laughs> of his <laughs> edge of his desk. Brings a whole new meaning Eight to men. judges' chambers. That's the single most important thing to <laughs> understand. To understand about today's ruling. By allow- Wait, we gotta go back. I know what's going on here. Kyle Rittenhouse. Kyle Rittenhouse. Kyle Rittenhouse. What are you doing? Is it- I'm not doing anything. Kyle Rittenhouse killed two white men protesting on behalf of Black Lives and got away with it. That's the single <laughs> most important thing to understand about today's ruling. Wow. By allowing him racist. to go free and potentially commit other crimes, this jury sent the final and loudest warning to white America about the dangerous rise of white nationalist terror in this country. This is such such bullshit. Isn't this disgusting? Gu- you can guarantee Kyle Rittenhouse is not going to fucking jaywalk for the rest of his life. Like, he's not right. going to fucking cheat on his taxes. He's not going to do anything to risk having any kind of run-in with the law ever again. Right, and, and I think your point earlier was a completely a great point, completely just shits on this point, like Banger, um, that this doesn't, <laughs> this doesn't, this is not a signal to the white nationalists to go shoot Black Lives Matter protesters because they look at this and they say, okay, you had the most obvious self defense case in all of human history that was caught on camera. Yeah, every piece of evidence was his favor, and still. They Still, he got dragged through days. the mud by the yeah. media. Still, had a corrupt prosecutor do everything he could to get him arrested, and it still took the jury four day, or three and a half days of deliberation to yep. say not guilty for yep. the most obvious yep. fucking thing on the planet. Okay. Yeah, everyone's this walking is, away with the opposite right. fucking message. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Again, they have it completely backwards. Yeah, that's what's so insane about this. Shit. I know. I know. They they really want you to be afraid of the white supremacist boogeyman though. That's a whole yes. that's a whole MSNBC thing. Listen, you yes. gotta show listen. We're gonna get slaughtered in the midterms unless you guys are terrified. <laughs> it's so evil. It is so I know. evil. It the is. gaslighting to get people to show up and vote is just bad news. It's despicable. It is. People need to fucking chill out. They need to chill out. This guy needs to hang out. At the barber shop a little more, you know, <laughs> six o'clock rolls this is around. This fucking no barber shop yesterday. <laughs> fuck you. Come on, come on, this guy just he need like bald ass motherfucker fu- did not go anywhere near stop a barber shop. Fucking going in the morning with your old tie all fucking you to turn the barber shop no, sign you, around six p.m. You know, I'll tell you what happened. Okay, he got the fucking the New York Times text alert on his phone that said. Jury is coming back in with a Kyle Rittenhouse verdict. And he went, oh, fuck. And he ran down to whatever. He took a cab to the closest <laughs> barbershop he knew where black people existed in the vicinity of. No, and he jumped and no, he said, guys, no. turn on the TV. The verdict's coming. No, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. They get they get the guys with bald heads. They shave like every day, every other day. No, 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 Starts no, looking no. scrappy. They have to no. take care of business. No. He, he needs to stick around, you know? He needs to chill out. That's what I'm saying. You know, okay. In the evening, you know, the barber shop is where you go to hang out with Smokey. Come on. Mm-hmm. He needs to chill. Okay, okay. You you press the button. You press the button. What I suspect will be ignored by most thought leaders, Paul, and the press. Kyle Rittenhouse was able to kill Joseph Rosenbaum and Anthony Huber and face no consequences because those no consequences. That's no what, consequences. That's what you call. Like uh, four, like fourteen months. That's what you call three months in jail. You know, uh, two thousand or two million dollars worth of legal fees. A mil, a million dollars worth of bail. You call that no consequence? And now, like, afraid for the rest of his life that someone's going to assassinate him. Yeah, that's what you call no consequences. Come right. on, please, please. We were race traitors, white men who had what? the Wait, protest that police shot Jacob Blake. A black man in the back seven times in his own car. They stood back. against the core conceit of white men. Who... Kyle Rittenhouse was able to kill Joseph Rosenbaum and Anthony Huber 
and face no consequences because those men were race traitors. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. You salty motherfucker. He's cry. He's so he literally his brain is so high on CRT nonsense. He's like, this only makes sense to me if they're race traders. Who I have not heard aside from this guy. Yes. I've not heard anyone call either of these guys a race trader. Nobody. Well, you, no, no. Listen, <laughs> there was a secret camera in the jury room and it was caught on record of them saying, you know, it's OK that he killed Huber and Rosenbaum because they are race traders. OK, how dare these white people really participate in a BLM protest? Did they actually they actually there's a video of this. I saw it and they actually decided within five minutes that Kyle was not was not guilty of anything. But they thought that that would look too suspicious. So right, they just sat around right. for three and a half days playing on their laptops and phones. They're so. like, we don't want anyone to accuse us of being race traders. Right. We have to like make this look good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. White man who had the audacity to protest that police shot Jacob Blake, a black man in the back, seven times. This this is the, another thing from the earlier Super Chat. Like, they're just fully embracing these guys as if they weren't full-on rioters. I don't get I it. It's like, I, I thought know. you wanted to make that distinction. Nope. Now it's almost like, oh, we really need to get the riots back again. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> Our ratings are tanking here. We really need to get some of those riots going. Yep. Maybe we can trick people into rioting again. In his own car. They stood against the core conceit of supremacy that straight white men have dominion over everything, especially black bodies. And when you stand against that position, you can be subjected to the same violence used against Trayvon Martin, Sandra Bland, Breonna Taylor, Freddie Gray, Walter Scott, and yes, George Floyd. The Rittenhouse ruling isn't so much a warning to black America. Black folks have known the impact of white terrorism since we were first told that we were technically free-ish. It's a warning to every mm. white suburbanite with a Black Lives Matter poster in their window. Every white church youth leader chanting oh about George God. Floyd in front of the local Walmart. What a piece of shit. Yeah, He's like, every white person that has the BLM poster, every white person who talks about George Floyd, this this jury verdict is a threat to them. It's a wings of intimidation to tell them that we, the straight white males, can come and shoot you. Yeah. Like, fuck you, you racist scumbag. What yeah. Scumbag this guy is. Yeah, it makes you feel like you're actually going to get in some kind of trouble if you do a black lives. You're really risking your your I safety. It's so ridiculous. It's like, insane. Every white dad from Lorraine, Ohio, to Lubbock, who dares have a BLM sticker on their car. Those people now know that they, too, can be shot by a white 17-year-old with an AR-15 if he feels threatened by their desire to see America live up to its potential. So dishonest, man. What a piece this of is, shit this, this guy is. This is like top-tier dishonesty. Oh, I know. He's worse than Joy. He's like on a whole other level. <laughs> he's trying to take over for Joy. He's like, ah, when Joy is right. Secretary of State for Kamala, I'm moving into this gig. He's like, now's my chance to out-racist the racist. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. I, oh. Actually, here's an interesting thing. Could a jury member sue for defamation? Because he's in, he's implying, oh yeah, that the jury members were, I guess, intentionally trying to signal to white America that they can't be pro BLM. They can't. I mean, that's what that. he's saying with, he with his screed nah. here. You have to show damages, and the jury is anonymous. They don't. They're Do not you damaged. You think they're going to remain <coughs> anonymous? One of them's working on a book, right? Well, probably. So that's what I'm saying. If some of the jury members come out and they do have some problems getting a job or something mm -hmm. or they acquire some damages. I don't know. I feel like they could, I think they could sue for this too. Cause he's straight defaming the jury right here. Kenosha verdict sends chilling message on extremism. I see. Look at this poor lady holding the black lives matter banner. She has to mask her face just so they don't follow her at home, home and, <laughs> and terrorize her. That must be Can it. you imagine if you, I listen, if you took two people and one had a Black Lives Matter placard and one had a Black Lives Matter placard with a like circle and cross through it and they both go out and stand on the street corner. Who do you think is going to get in trouble? Who's going to get hit first? Tell me. Yeah. 
I know. This is who's going to get total, assaulted first? This is total topsy turvy <laughs> clown world backwards nonsense. Yeah, yeah, it's garbage. Garbage to your take here. Too many Americans think they have the complexion for protection against the same forces. <laughs> it rhymes, so I mean, it's got to be true, right? It's like every t- you you think he said the worst thing, and then he just keeps one upping himself. Terrible racist shit. The complexion for protection. Yeah. What does that mean? Does he saying like white privilege is? He's saying that white people think their white skin will protect them, but it won't. Yeah, tell that to Kyle Rittenhouse, you moron. I know. I know. <laughs> Where was the white privilege there, buddy? Yep. Didn't exist. Yeah. Like, if the state was so, if the system is so racist against Kyle, why did it give him a two million dollar fucking bail? Yeah, yeah. Why Explain did, that one. Why did a bunch of why did the first attorneys approach him as a fucking ATM machine? Right. Why did the state prosecutor go out of his way to lie and be as corrupt as humanly possible? Yeah. Behind Charlotte's desire got the to see America for live up to its potential. Too many Americans think they have the complexion for protection against the same forces behind Charlottesville and the insurrection. But Kyle Rittenhouse. <laughs> the insurrection. Sorry. <laughs> Is this a laugh line? Here? Didn't quite rhyme. He was trying to go for it, but, you know, he kind of fucked up there. Charlottesville and the insurrection. <laughs> the insurrection. We, re- we rejection the insurrection. <laughs> Judge Schrader had just blown a hole in that belief. Time will tell if enough of the same forces behind Charlottesville and the insurrection. But Kyle Rittenhouse and Judge Schrader have just blown a hole in that belief. Only time will tell if enough Americans heed the warning shot that was just fired off. See, mm. he's perfect. So here's where I think the defamation too, because he's naming the judge and Kyle specifically saying they are doing this thing they are warning white americans they can't support blm this feels pretty defamatory feels <laughs> to pretty me. out there yeah oh i still got my blow ups. i'm joined That's now great. by malcolm nance msnbc prism oh and my god no Adam. no Make you don't like stop. malcolm dunce malcolm oh dunce over god. here god this is the guy who was on real time with bill maher <laughs> yep he's always on bill maher who is he? Who is he attacking on real time? Remember, Nance went up against oh You're Ben right. Shapiro. <laughs> ben Shapiro, remember? You're right. I totally this forgot about guy. that. Oh, this shit. is the fucking racist fuck on Ben. This, I forgot. Remember about Ben that. Shapiro? Yes, motherfucker. Yes. <laughs> like Ben this Shapiro. This is the guy. Ben Malcolm Shapiro Dunst. went full Hulk on this guy. Yes. Yes. Oh my God, this guy! Oh God, he's so—he's such a liar. Yeah, this guy is such a liar. <laughs> Look at him; he's ready. He's ready. He's like, okay, he's I'm ready, ready to go. Saddle me up. Who do I got? Where's the racist? Let me find him. <laughs> Let me find him. Here it goes. And Dean Obadiah, host of the Dean Obadiah Show on Sirius XM and an MSNBC columnist. Uh, Malcolm, I, I want to start with you. My primary concern about this ruling is that it is now open season and that white nationalists and domestic terrorists across this country are high-fiving. What kind of impact does a ruling like this have for everybody? You know, for all these pieces of shit saying this, mm-hmm. if, if Kyle had been found guilty, this would be open season to say, go riot, go loot, go set shit on fire, and no one can stop you. Mm-hmm. Okay. No one's. We're, these oh fuckers yeah, aren't that's saying that. Yeah, it'd be if Kai was found guilty, it would be actual open season for rioting, looting, and arsons. Yeah, it would. Yeah, from the Proud Boys to militia groups from from Savannah, South Carolina to Seattle, Oregon, uh, Seattle, Washington. Seattle, well, Oregon, let me huh? confirm for you that they are high fiving, <laughs> and they view this as a major victory. Uh, for some time, you know, the free Kyle. False statement of fact. They're they all live in different <laughs> states. They're like they couldn't high five if they wanted to. Adam, all since we're happy, of them. since we're happy about covering house being found not guilty, obviously 
you know, the two of us in oh, yeah, chat. Yeah, yeah. We must be part of some kind of evil Proud Boys white supremacist group or something. Oh, yeah. only Because only those people were happy about this verdict, apparently. Yeah. That's sad. Uh, T-shirts and Kyle did nothing with T-shirts have been going on for, for you know, uh, have been inside the white supremacy movement. <laughs> Oh my God! Kyle did nothing wrong. Fuckers. Oh my God! Oh my Kyle God! Kyle did nothing wrong. Hashtag Kyle House was a hero. Fuck you. Fuck. Fuck you, Malcolm <laughs> Dunce. Watch out! He's gonna Ben Shapiro. You. <laughs> streamed itself into the Republican Party world, and by doing that, what they've done is that they have steeped Kyle Rittenhouse in the tea of white supremacy iconography whether he wanted to be there or not. But what he did by his very action of going out, going to a protest across state lines, being within a group of armed men, performing what they call the Korean on the rooftop, right? Defending a position. What the, wait, what? That's a little odd. What? Performing the Korean on the rooftop. The Korean on the rooftop. Whether it's a business or other where they were not in and then getting into forming what they call the Korean on the rooftop, right? Defending a position, whether it's a business or other, where they were not invited. Now that is a false statement of fact right there. Oh, it's a double false statement of fact because the Koreans on the rooftop, it was their fucking businesses. They were invited, yeah. Right. But so was Kyle Rittenhouse. And so was Kyle, yeah. yeah. It was, uh, I, yeah. They weren't Korean, though. I mean, they looked Indian to me. I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe Pakistani. I'm not sure. Well, listen, after arguing with Ben Shapiro, he heard he heard Ben Shapiro's uh, commercial for rooftop Koreans. And uh, I know we had a stunning rooftop Korean commercial last show. We yeah. did. We did. We need to clip that out. What uh, you you press plays plays being funny for me now. And then getting into this fight where he killed two men and wounded a third. That is now the template on how... Yeah, and see how he categorized that? Again, it's fucking disgusting. He got into a fight? He got into a fight? He fucking showed up to put out a fire, someone waved a gun at him, and another guy chased him. That's not a fight. Yeah. I don't know what fucking world you're living in, dunce. He tried his hardest to avoid getting in a fight. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. he's like, you know, I don't really have to fight because I have this big old fucking gun. Right. So dumb. Look. So we all gotta take a beating sometimes. Okay. That's no, the only state. only only the state. <laughs> what was that? What was the prosecutor? What was that guy's name? Uh not Binger. Lunchbox. Lunchbox, yeah. Only Lunchbox says that. Only Lunchbox yes. has to take a beating every once in a while. Yeah. Sauerkraut says that. Sauerkraut, that's it, yeah. Yeah. You don't I mean you couldn't even really land any kind of serious damage there. <laughs> I mean, he's surrounded by pillows. That's true. Yeah, Krauss is like the blob. He's just got, he's got so much, he's got this he's layer like, of blubber that's protecting him, yeah. Come on in here and beat me. I do <laughs> sumo wrestling on the weekends. Protest against Antifa, was matter, or any other person that they consider in the white supremacy world, race traitors. You have to understand that for some time, these thoughts have been completely underground. They were not uh, mainstreamed, but now they are. And worse yet, at some point... he's This guy, the white guy's not on the lawn here, so... Oh, yeah, he's a piece of shit, too. I Don't guess worry. he's going to come. I thought Don't he worry. was like the voice of reason here for oh, a second. Oh, fuck no. No, 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 no. You were wrong, no. thinking in the wrong <laughs> space. You racist, Adam. You fucking racist piece of shit. Who's, who talks about race traders? Like, who's calling <laughs> Uber a race trader? This is the first that's I've ever heard this. That's true. That's true. It's insane. Someone is going to weaponize the... And when I say weaponize it, I mean they are going to have a designated Kyle Rittenhouse. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. When you can anticipate or precipitate an attack, whether it's bottles thrown at you, then not only can that person go back and defend himself, others can turn their weapons and carry out a massacre and say it was in defense of another person. Oh my god. This is going to get out of control. What the fucking <laughs> Yeah, you're going to have you're going to have a, a designated Kyle Rittenhouse who's going to somehow magically mind control people and make them chase him for multiple blocks before he finally shoots them once they knock him on the ground. <laughs> yeah. This none of yeah, this okay. happens without you need a designated Rosenbaum to make any of this shit happen. Yeah, like, fucking 
This is insane. This guy is such a piece of shit. And nobody and Rittenhouse wasn't provoking Rosenbaum. Rosenbaum no. was the one provoking everybody else. He didn't even see Rosenbaum when when Rosenbaum attacked him. Rosenbaum was hiding behind a car. Yeah. Car Rittenhouse didn't even know he was there. Yeah. That's what's even crazier too. You can you can't you can't even argue that Kyle was provoking Rosenbaum. Rosenbaum he didn't even see him. He didn't even know he was standing there. Crazy people. Yeah, this is all, you know, for those who remember, this is all basically Bernie Getz, right? You're, you're, you're going looking for trouble, and then you're going to try and claim self-defense. Um, you know, Malcolm talked about this idea of this getting mainstream. Dean, the thing that concerns me is not just the violence, not just what this mm -hmm. says about democracy, but now you've got members of Congress, Republican members of Congress, doing whole tweet threads, offering this kid everything from internships to an opportunity to hang out with them at the House. You literally have members of Congress who are now saying, forget an application. Mm -hmm. You're going to read some. Of these. None <laughs> of these say that the, none of these are inviting Kyle. So they're all just happy that he got acquitted. Oh, yeah. None of these are asking that Kyle hang out with them. So I don't know what he's talking about. But What's this? Kyle Rittenhouse committed no crimes, acquitted on all counts. <laughs> now do BLM. What's that mean? Well, I guess hold BLM accountable for the riots and stuff. I'm assuming that's what he means. Oh. Forget being a candy striper. Who cares about your go out and kill people in the name of white supremacy? And you can get an internship in my office. Unpaid, of course. Is that a false statement? Okay. Kill people in the name of white supremacy. That seems like he just opened himself up for defamation from all the people. He just put it on screen. Because he just said, all these sitting Congress people said, if you go out and shoot people in the name of white supremacy, we'll give you a job. He just said that very directly. Yeah. This guy is, he's going to, this MSNBC, what, did you not put this guy past your lawyers before you put him on air? He is, this, this will be the lone person that gets a defamation lawsuit to get MS, MSNBC. Is this guy right here. It's insane. Dean, Dean what the heck? Oh, you do. Dean, what the heck do we do about that? This is part of the culture we're living in in the GOP. You know, the GOP, this GOP has as mainstream white nationalism. Now they are mainstreaming and celebrating political violence. Look at Jason. Just days ago, those same members of Congress were defending Paul Gozar, who was one of the members of Congress who showed, who put out a video, this fantasy snuff video, where he <laughs> literally... My God, I cannot. This is he's too, putting out the anime. This is fucking too insane. Okay, Gosha put out the anime <coughs> snuff film on AOC. This is ridiculous. This is totally ridiculous. Give the background on what he's talking about because it's, <laughs> it's somebody took so disingenuous. Uh, somebody took the intro. I I don't. Someone was telling me that this was someone on Paul Gosar's staff. I assumed it was not. I assumed it was. A random person did this and he just retweeted it, but I don't know, maybe someone in the chat knows. Mm -hmm. um, but Paul Goser tweeted or retweeted this very stupid meme video where someone took the attack on Titan. Yeah, a clip Titans from an immigrants. animated movie. Yeah, it's an anime. Right. Well, it's like a TV show, so or, yeah. it's a, not a movie. But the, <laughs> and the immigrants, the, the, the giants were replaced with immigrants attacking the wall, and then some of the, gi the giant giants, they put like, you know, AOC's face on the giant. Mm -hmm. And there's literally like a three second like f scene where the main character who's got Paul Gosar's face superimposed on it, you know, does the anime backflip and he hits the giant in the back of the neck and like blood shoots out for three frames and then it yeah. cuts away. And it's funny because I got in an argument with some family members about this video. <clears throat> they're like, oh, it's so, you know, this is, I said, and they, they were like, oh, you know, such there, this is getting violence against AOC. This is getting violence against uh, Congress people, blah, blah, blah. How can you, how can you be defending this? And I'm like, have any of you seen the quote meme in question? And none of them have seen it. <laughs> I know they're describing it as a snuff film. Jeez. Right. And they were, they were saying all the same stuff. They're saying, oh, this is advocating for violence against AOC, blah, blah, blah. And none of them has seen it. And so I pulled out my phone <laughs> and I'm like, here you go. And they're like, where is it? And I'm like, no, 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 you just missed it. You just it. saw it. You, you just saw it. it. They're like, no, no, no. They're like, go back. And they're like, I don't understand what I'm looking at. I'm like, oh, 
Yeah, it's because it's going by so fast. You see this, if I freeze it here, you can see they've superimposed <coughs> AOC face onto this giant. And I'm like, oh, that's supposed to be AOC? I didn't even realize. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, this is the video. This is it. This is the video that we're talking about here that you're freaking out about. Yeah. Ridiculous. The snuff film. <laughs> the snuff film. It's so bad. It's so bad. They've so snowed people with fake news. They're like, no one will ever see the meme. They'll believe it's a snuff film. But it's the same thing with the Kyle Rittenhouse thing. So many people who are saying he's an evil, evil racist have not seen the actual video at all. No. They have not seen the clear self-defense videos. Which, what if if you haven't seen those, what are you doing online, man? That's some fucking these, sick shit. How are these fucking morons that were tweeting out still thought that Kyle Rittenhouse killed three black people. Yeah, I don't know. So obviously they hadn't seen the video because they thought he shot three black people. Still to this day, they don't know what's going on. This is just disingenuous nonsense. AOC and over 200 Republicans <laughs> voted to defend Paul Gozar. This is the party led by Donald Trump, a man who incited the January 6th terrorist attack, which a poll in July from CBS showed 55% of Trump supporters they don't view January 6th as an act of terrorism. They view it as an act of... This is a woman's job here, this thing this guy's doing. <laughs> oh, you sexist. Look at this guy. I mean, this I guy. just... This is so unmasculine to sit here oh and God. like, Oh, my God. Did you see the me? Oh, a snuff <laughs> film. Ah, so, and then they thought January 6th. They don't believe it. Ah. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Don't mm -hmm. you think? Like what yeah. self-respecting man puts himself in wow, this position? Wow, look at this! Like, look at him being so sexist. Well, don't you agree? Okay, maybe, <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe you're right. What uh -huh. self-respecting woman puts themselves in this yeah, position? There to you just go. Fucking See, lie exactly. on television. This is like, right. this is worse. This is like just, I. What do you even call this? Mm -hmm. This sucking mm -hmm. fucking soy-filled rage screed here about. <laughs> how terrible it is oh my god i'm gonna save aoc from the fucking meme uh -huh. i mean it, i'll say it's it's pretty fucking beta <laughs> it is so i did win yeah you agree you wouldn't do this it? right of course not no. oh, i'm sorry i need to go fucking make up some shit about <laughs> beta there it is <laughs> there you go thank you the real peterson thank you peterson <laughs> Jesse Lee Peterson. Jesse Lee's coming in hot. <laughs> freedom. I would submit they probably view what Kyle as an act defending freedom as well. And I'll tell you, Jason, as a lawyer, the criminal justice system is predicated on who would who would make this guy their lawyer? You're gonna fucking lose with this guy. I know. You want this whiner to be your lawyer? Yeah. Yeah. I'll fight for you. <laughs> I'll fight for you. I'll I'll tell him that the meme is. A snuff film. They'll, I'll they'll clutch my it. pearls harder than any lawyer who I'm, ever lawyered. Just for you. I'm waiting for him to fall back on the fainting couch. Oh. Things as an act defending freedom. I would submit they probably would Kyle Rittenhouse did as an act defending freedom as well. And I'll tell yes. you, Jason, as a lawyer, True. our criminal justice system is predicated on two things. Punish and deter. You punish someone for wrongdoing to deter them and others. This is the opposite. This emboldens. It tells people... Hey, if there's a Black Lives Matter movement protest in the next state, get your AR, drive over. If you fear anyone, kill them. Go on the stand, repeat what Kyle did, C cry on cue, <laughs> and you walk. And everyone should be concerned. There's a gathering violent a storm scumbag. the GOP is <laughs> seeding and nurturing. It's right in front of us. Red flags are going off. This is a scary time. I don't believe anything he said. That was the worst performance ever. You think he was just faking it? I mean, it looked Maybe. like it looked like a deleted scene from Mean Girls. I mean, it was <laughs> fucking lame. <laughs> it was lame. It could be. He could be right. He could be on something. He didn't buy any of that shit. He's like, oh my mm. god, I gotta be, go be a news actor. He needs to take Kyle's. Uh, he needs to take the advice and really act it up like he thought Kyle was. Oh yeah, yeah. He needs to get pepper sprayed or something. <laughs> Show some real tears. Welcome, real quick, we only have a couple seconds left. Reuters is just the FBI is, is now we just have a couple seconds left, so let us just chant racist, racist, racist together. What do you guys yes. say? Let's all hold hands. <laughs>
Just racist, 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 racist. racist go away. <laughs> Come back another day. <laughs> exactly. Racist, racist, go away. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's, that's the extent of this content. I know. How is this? How is this fucking? How do people watch this slop? I don't. This will rot your brain, man. I know it's insane. Put on a good anime. <laughs> <laughs> this is saying garbage. That Islamic terror and white domestic terror all threats to the United States right now. Hi. Malcolm, real quick, we only have a couple seconds left. Reuters has just reported that the FBI is, is now Islamic terror and white domestic terror are equal threats to the United States right now. The oh my God. Oh what does that have to do with anything? It says that Islamic terror has fallen so far <laughs> that we don't even have to worry about it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's been... It's been 20 years since 9-11. Islamic terror is just not living up to what it used to. Yeah, right. President, everybody in Congress, whoever is watching right now, Malcolm, what do you think this country needs to do from a national security standpoint? Do you like how it's okay to to be Islamophobic as long as he frames it in the right way? Mm. Oh, I guess you're right. Yeah, this he's, is yeah, totally he's, Islamophobic. He's fear-mongering is like Islamic terrorism. Yeah. That's what he's doing right now. But he's saying, oh, but look, look, white, you know, white terrorism is coming up to the level of Islamic terrorism. We should be really afraid because we all know Islamic terrorism happens all the time in this country. Yeah. Islamic terrorism in the has, face, hasn't happened in forever. I mean, what the Boston bomber, how long ago was that? Fucking 10 years ago, 15 years ago? It wasn't, was it that long ago? I don't know. It was that and there's that the nightclub shooting. I don't remember which one happened. Uh Last. The nightclub. Sh I didn't think the nightclub shooting was Islamic terrorism. Oh, that's it? right. They didn't. They. I don't, there was something weird about that. That it turned out they thought it had nothing to do with his religion. Yeah, I forgot about that. Well, actually, I think it might have been. It had to do with the religion, but it wasn't a gay thing. That was what. The thing oh, was. was that it? It wasn't. It wasn't it was, anti-gay. It, it was just like wasn't anti-gay. Yeah. Oh, okay. They There's found, some weird. The one thing, thing that convinced it. me was. They had his Google searches, and he just looked up like nightclub. To, you're for, right. It was yeah, yeah. You're right. It was Islamic. It just was not directed specifically to gay. Yeah. So bo the Boston bombing was in 2013, and the shooting. Well, that was close to 10 years. The Orlando nightclub shooting was in 2016. Okay, that's not that long ago. Four? No, five. Yeah, no, five yeah. years ago. Yeah this kind of ruling and against this rising white nationalist terror in general well you has there been anything like the, that for white nationalism? no the only Nothing. thing yeah there's only they only have one and it was that the one lady the car that and, died in charlottesville had their yeah. whatever her name was yeah. yeah and that guy got his ass thrown in jail which he should right have. So i know fucking, yeah what do you want to do it's, come on it's ridiculous they're, they're fucking we have we're facing shadow threats that don't exist apparently but did he put any? Did he do any anime memes though of AOC? <laughs> that's, the big, that's the big question people want to know. Adam, I bet Paul Goser hired him in jail to make that meme. Oh my god! Okay. Oh my god! Oh my god! The FBI no. actually did a very good job back in the eighties infiltrating and breaking down these groups. But you know, it's <laughs> back in the day when I was somebody. I used to do. <laughs> I used to infiltrate these groups. Back when they existed. <laughs> well, you know, the FBI actually did a very good job back in the 1980s infiltrating and breaking down these groups. But, you know, it's even though we have this tendency to want to believe that this is law enforcement's job, there are things that can be done within the community. The Ku Klux Klan was completely bankrupted by a little old black lady from North Carolina. Lawsuits bringing those people to court taking away their resources, even though they're handing out millions of dollars to people like Kyle Rittenhouse, civil suits. Uh, my man nuts talking my language He knows, now. yeah, I was about to say, uh, <laughs> Dunks here is so correct. I hope that Kyle That's Rittenhouse right. and Judge Schroeder and the jury, they all sue the fuck out of you. Uh, Kyle, and your I hope you're domestic watching. terrorism, your stochastic terrorism that we're watching right now. Those lawsuits. That's what this is. Little old, little old car written house, just like that little old black lady. I, <laughs> we're gonna bankrupt you, pieces of shit. I hope it's a little old lady on the jury who can sue you for stochastic terrorism. Wouldn't that defamation. be great? That'd be yeah. so awesome. Are also another way of doing this. But you know what? But well, you can't.
cannot concede gra this ground to the people who are extremists. That'll be the wait. You are an extremist, my friend. He's it is danger out that we face if we do that. Thank you so much, Malcolm Obadiah. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. There All you right. go. There's a lot of soy in that latte I know. you fixed for me, Sitch. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that, was a, that was a heavy. I thought you like soy heavy milk. on the soy. I thought you love soy milk. I I like a little bit of soy milk, no, but that okay. was just overkill. That was like I'm way. A way I mean, um, too much let me read some super chats before we get into the next one before we get into let me queue it up just so you can know what we're getting just, we're so, going. I can, just so you can freak me out yeah i'll see you sir oh my god it's your favorite it's don lemon look at this it's your favorite don lemon look how happy they are they're so happy cow they and free are. yeah they're laughing smiling they're joking about it I didn't Cuomo tell him Cuomo from the other thing that Don Lemon is a big racist piece of shit and that he should. Yeah, like, mate, do you, you think Cuomo had to sit down when Don Lemon's like, Don, listen. Yeah. Not being a dumb fuck, okay? You need to relax. Probably not. Uh, Ginger, Bear, Ginger Beard Man, that's mm -hmm. interesting, for $20 says, In my head canon, it was just one juror who knew Kyle was innocent and gave an epic speech about America and changed all the other minds as they tearfully voted not guilty. <laughs> well, that's a funny headcanon. <laughs> Probably not what happened. Oh, my God. Uh, Spencer Har Harmon for $20 says, did you all see that Daddy Wargates is starting to acknowledge the jab isn't preventing the spread of the coronavirus? Daddy Wargates is that? Oh, that's Bill Gates, right? Oh, I I didn't see anything like that. No, the jab is not preventing the spread. I felt like I feel like that's not true though. I, feel like I that thought this. I thought the numbers are way down, but yeah. Well, it's actually I think cases are up than last year. Right, but it's not. But obviously, people. Yeah. people are a lot more out and about, and I think deaths are way down. But I'm not sure. I have to look into that. Hmm. Uh, Guardian Fortress for twenty dollars says, "I'm with Adam. I hate this guy. Sorry, Sitch. I'm switching classes." Oh, good. A team. There you Sweet. go. It's fine because uh, there is no A class. So there you go. Which was uh, which was the guy? I don't remember. This was a while ago. Oh no. Uh, the Dark Conservatarian for twenty dollars says, "Have you guys heard the argument on social media that because Rosenbaum was unarmed, it was illegal for Kyle to have shot him even in self defense?" Just wanted to know your guys' thoughts. Also, S class is best class. Well, I don't agree with that S class is best class, but I have heard that <laughs> argument, and I think it's patently ridiculous. Obviously, it's batshit yeah. insane. It's the dumbest fucking <laughs> argument ever. I think. I hope I have it. I don't know if I have it or I just saw it. There's a clip of of based Manny talking about how that's a stupid argument because if you're unarmed and you attack someone with a gun, you become armed. <laughs> so yeah, totally. Yeah, it's really stupid. That's what uh, they're aiming to do: take the gun. Uh, Bryant Townsend for twenty dollars says, "Damn, Adam, that Southern accent really puts the Kyle in my written house. You should use that voice when you make your ASMR OnlyFans debut. Uh, but for all the flattery, S class <laughs> will forever and always be the best class." Wow, you're getting a lot of I S know. classes here. I feel like S class is a fully well officially taking over or something. People are happy that I'm subjecting them to the terrors of compiling mm -hmm. all this bullshit for oh, them to okay. consume. <laughs> You're getting getting full credit. <laughs> I know. Uh, Alex cares for twenty dollars. Says just out of curiosity, when have either of you heard a progressive say free Tibet or Taiwan exist, or even worse, shutters? Hong Kong should be free. The ideology of kindness, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of people on the left uh, saying Hong Kong should be free during. There were some, but there wasn't a lot. There wasn't some huge outcry about that. That's true. All they care about is race. All they care about is race, and it's, yeah, they uh, look at they look at the Hong Kong situation and say they're all Asian. I don't they're confused. Yeah, about. exactly. They're like they're all Chinese. Mm. It's all the same, right? They're all the same race. They're That's all, all I understand. They're all marginalized, right? I mean, it's all right. marginalized people. I don't know what to d d decide here. It's terrible. Uh, Big Hoff ninety eight for twenty euro says basically vigilantism bad, but also go out and Minecraft Kyle. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, I know, fucking. Awful. Uh, Awful. Uh, Di Diogenes, also known as Lygenes, for $20, says, you dishonor my name, kid, sure. <laughs> What's that? He's mad. Why? Uh, I don't know. I forget what he lied about last stream anyway. But What'd you do? Why'd you do that? I don't remember. 
but that's fine. Lygenes, even though I don't remember what you lied about, I'm going to keep calling you Lygenes because I find it hilarious. Uh, you will face justice for your minded chilling. And in winning this battle of the mind, I will prove the superiority of A team. The most no. important part, of course. What? A team, big peen. There you go. Well, that's true. What, uh, what do you mean? You are shilling for Biden, though. I'll always shilling for Biden. You were? No, you were. Oh, no, I wasn't. He accused you of Biden shilling in that super chat. Yeah, I know, but I wasn't. <laughs> are you sure? People, no, I, this is, oh my God, so super fucking frustrating. Are always correct. People get I mean. so triggered. They're like, Sitch, how could you vote for Biden? And I'm like, okay, let me exploit it. And so that becomes Biden shilling. Me telling people that they should vote for whoever they wanted and me voting for who I wanted is shilling. We didn't, we did no shilling no, during there the election. There was no shilling. Yeah. That, the, but to be clear, that was not what the original lie, lie he was lying about last mm -hmm. stream was. I actually don't remember what it was, but Sitch gave his argument why he was voting for Biden and, and it forever triggers. <clears throat> why well, I, I don't I mean I may be I I you may be winning me over to that argument. I hear more and more people make the mm -hmm. argument that we couldn't have survived four more years with the kind of insanity that Trump drove progressives into. And the kind of things that we're witnessing today over the Kyle Rittenhouse thing, these these people are fucking delusional, man. They're fucking yep. fully delusional. Yep. They're living in a completely different reality from everyone yep. else. Which is is I mean, that's dangerous. It is dangerous. Look at fucking Binger. Binger has power and he lives in that different reality. This is scary. Uh, Matty Ice for twenty dollars says uh, Herbert Marcuse was CIA. Dun, dun, dun. Mm -hmm. uh, Oppenheimer of the Manhattan Project was a card carrying communist. March through the institutions was real. Mm -hmm. What's a more useful inf institution? Don't dismiss it offhand. I am going to dismiss it one hundred percent offhand, Matty. I actually hate that you that you were saying this season is, is a joke because I know people. Some people would take it for real. What's the 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 CIA is controlling MSNBC conspiracy theory? You didn't like me saying that as a I wasn't no. saying it as a joke. I, I oh my god, I got it from Scott Stop Scott it. Adams is your guy. Oh my god, I got it. Scott Adams in. called you a, an idiot. I'm surprised you uh, or he called you irrational. So what? No, he artists me, but that was forever ago. We made up. There you go. You oh, I see. About? I see. I see. Scott Adams is my man now. I told mm -hmm. him to read high. Well, see, get a fucking life. Like like Kyle Rittenhouse, like the Covington kid, like Trump all situations. DeSantis. PSA Sitch needs to see actual evidence of a bold claim, like some sort of crazy CA conspiracy, and not just you reaching deep into your gut and pulling out some bullshit. So that's how Sitch works. Okay. Business insider. Trump <laughs> hates Ron DeSantis because of his popularity. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is a rising star in the Republican circles of former President Donald Trump. And former President Donald Trump is reportedly not happy about it. Oh, my God. Trump is mad because oh he heard God. Scott Adams would vote for DeSantis over Trump. And he's why like, my never, number one fan. Why never Trumpers should bet on DeSantis? Oh, that's the Atlantic. So that's got to be bollocks. I'm only investigating here because for those of you who are new. Mm-hmm. Sitch and I have a five hundred dollar bet. That's yep. right, five, one dollar for every white supremacist left in the <laughs> United States. Uh, we have a five hundred dollar bet on whether or uh -huh. not Trump will run for president in twenty twenty four. Trump has to not only say that he's running, and this is fucked up. This is totally fucked he up. He has to run long enough to actually participate in, a, in at least one primary. Yeah. This is going to, we're going to fight over this because <laughs> like Trump is going to get in and he's going to get on the ballot and he's going to start polling badly and he's going to drop out before the first primary. Yeah, and it's not going to count. And, and I'm going to win. I know, bucks. but that's by on technicality and it's like, no, nope. totally evil. Considering. Are you saying you want to back out of the bet now, Adam? I don't want to back. Are you I don't. chickening listen, out? Listen. What are you? Chicken McFly? Listen. Was that a little baka heard? Did you just. Bark, bark, no, I bark. don't. I'm, fu I'm full Kyle Rittenhouse. I run to danger. Okay. I'm fucking. <laughs> no, no, don't say that. <laughs> Self defense. What are you doing? I'm running. I'm running into danger. When people need help. <laughs> what are you doing? 
Stop promoting the false narrative. Yahoo. Yahoo News. Trump mm -hmm. reportedly effing hates Ron DeSantis. I wouldn't be surprised. DeSantis risks Trump backlash as his star rises. Roger Stone says DeSantis should endorse Trump for 2021. <laughs> He's not good to that. This is heating up. I love, oh God, this politics stuff is so much fun. Trump attacks DeSantis. What? This is what I was well, looking listen. for. This is what I was looking for. If 2024. Trump attacks DeSantis over 2024, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis mm -hmm. is the new focus of Trump's complaining because the mm -hmm. governor hasn't yet decided not to run for president what did he say what did trump say what did trump say uh former president donald trump. oh my god <laughs> my god oh my god you're gonna hate me okay okay it's a young turks clip <laughs> <laughs> oh we might have to watch this clip just so you're so it's probably fucking bullshit just the double saying. insanity this I is know. a fucking clickbait Young Turks headline. Okay, it's a it's clickbait. Bullshit. Young Turks headline, yeah, but the no. Chiron. I clicked on it. The Chiron says Trump attacks DeSantis for not denying he'll run in twenty twenty. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Listen, Jay, you got J.R. Jackson up here. Oh, you got Jank talking about it. If if Ron DeSantis <laughs> is the Republican nominee, when did this? And the Democrats out? nominee is some super woke SJW type. Mm -hmm. I'll either not vote or vote for Ron DeSantis. Wait, I'm, I'm, you're voting for Ron DeSantis? I said, depends who the Democrats put up. <laughs> Name a Democrat that can beat Ron DeSantis. Name well, one that's not, Democrat. That's not the question. I don't think there are many that could beat him. I said, many, if put up some I just person, said, I'm name, not look, vote for them. Sitch, I made this easy on you. I said, just name one. Okay, you but that's like not one. That had nothing to do with my just point. Just one. At all. You're like the hypothetical Democrat that they're going to put up. No, they're going to put position, up Joe Biden. You're not understanding me. Mm -hmm. My position is not on who would win. My mm -hmm. position is on who I would vote for. No, I understand, but I'm okay, saying so what, I don't know you just I'm saying what Democrat, like the Democrat, they're not they don't just make these in a in an oven somewhere. They fucking they are alive right now running for No, you're I don't see I really don't see anyone. <laughs> yes, that's right why now. I'm asking. Yeah. No, I know. Unless unless there's some Someone like Obama comes out of fucking left field. Yeah, out of nowhere. Just swoops in. I don't see anyone. Someone you've right never now. heard of. But even Obama, you heard of at the Republican National. Like he was a thing four years before he ran for president. Was he? I don't remember him being talked about. But... Yeah, he ran for Senate. Yeah. Well, yeah, I know that. But I'm saying there's a lot of senators and reps we don't know. I can't believe that we're not watching this. Oh my God. Well, oh my God. Forget your stupid young tricks. No, no. Oh, hold on. I have to put this up. Just, just. Oh God. I have to put, the, you're not going to be able to see this, but the audience will be, in, be able to see this. Just putting the watch together. <laughs> I guess I could do that. Could I? Uh, the butter anvil Re for $20. Yeah, I'll put it in says, the watch together. The butter anvil says, uh, 137 car vigil is hilarious. That's so good, Adam. I can't stop laughing. During the trial, I would argue with dummies on Twitter. Now that Kyle won, I only respond with <laughs> gifts. They don't deserve my words anymore. There you go. I like that. Of course. You just they put don't. nothing but cope memes and cope pics. pics. They're all insane. You're arguing with insane people. I know. They'll I never, know. They, they didn't, they wouldn't bother to even watch the videos. They don't care about the truth or reality or anything. Uh, Metalhead for $20 says, our second favorite Ninja Turtle supervillain says, Rosenbaum. Quote, I'm a peaceful protester. Kyle, I believe you, but my AR-15 doesn't believe Oh, you. my God. That's awesome. I <laughs> uh, love you guys. Uh, A-Team Brain Supreme. Former president. There you go. There's your A-Team. Okay. Uh, hold on. Okay. what? We're not watching hold this on. whole 13-minute clip, though. You're, hold on. You're going to fucking shit your pants. Am I going to be very... You're going you're gonna, to you're Paul Butler all over the fucking... <laughs> No, you mean Binger. Don't, don't, you, don't you slander Butler, okay? Binger was the one who shit on the desk. You're, Binger was just telling us about it. You're going to Thomas Binger all over your desk. <laughs> okay. After you after you hear this. God, where the fuck is the watch together thing? I can't find it. Okay, I brought Wait. it up. Ready? Look at this. Here you go. Is it up for the look people? At, look at the... Yeah, it's up for them now. But you okay. can see it, right? Yeah. Don't scrub through it yet. I want to fucking surprise anything. you. Are you ready? Nothing. 
Are you yes. ready? I'm ready. Look at this. Trump ready, attacks Coach. DeSantis for not denying he'll run in 2024. Okay. You got J.R. Jackson there, right? Who's? Let's see who's in this video. Let's we'll scrub forward a little bit. Oh, okay. look, they got DeSantis. Was There's DeSantis a, pointing oh, to a baby. We oh, got look, Cenk. you got Jank here. Yeah. Jank's probably saying some outrageous shit, right? Probably. He doesn't, he doesn't Big follow toe head. politics. Oh, oh, no! What the fuck? Oh, my God! Wait, what? When did this happen? Were you, were you ready for that? Were Was this you a new ready video? for Wait, that? when did this video come out? November 12th. Oh, my God. The politics Lance? pundit. Lance is on TYT. What the fuck? <laughs> Did you That's Thomas Bing? Did you oh Thomas Binger God. yourself? That is so funny. I'm bingering all over my desk right now. Look, he's got his bike in the background there, just like he's just look. I just got back he's from just, class, guys. He's got his stream set up and everything. <laughs> oh my God! That, okay, wait. I do want to hear what he says um, about uh, this. You dying? To That's hear? hilarious. Does he know? Does Lance know oh we have a five hundred dollar bet going on this? Maybe Lance is on my side. <laughs> There you go. He really wants to get Adam that that five hundred bucks. Wait, go back to. You want to? Because I know, I know this is bullshit. I know this is clickbait <clears throat> bullshit. There's no fuck. Trump didn't say shit. <laughs> Look at that face. Where's he come in? I he was like. I don't know. You lost it. I did. Oh look, he's in in the very beginning there. Oh wait. You want Trump to play aides him? are starting to feel pressure to pick sides. Trump has made it known that he. Oh. This is just the thing that you already read. Yeah. So it's just a, it's a claim that Trump is mad. He didn't actually where say he introduced anything. DeSantis to other deep pockets. This is getting serious. So in a statement to Playbook, a spokesman, of course, this is the most uh, predictable thing you can ever think of. A spokesman for Trump called this yeah, reporting, see? quote, fake news. So he's a little worried. <laughs> just to say so it. there's actually little... no confirmation for any of this stuff. Of yeah, course. It's, it's an anonymous source, you know, made this claim. This is perfect for Lance. Lance loves you know and oh my god that. stop hold on screen cap somebody how's he move. doing that you're gonna have to take the screen cap because i can't move my i have already moved it so i have to hold my finger down. <laughs> oh my so god you, you have to take the screen cap up, adam look at that the perfect i don't know if i can screen cap with the perfect the thing okay. running and i'll do it she's so useless someone i got it cap. i got it did you really i got it yes how'd you do it oh you i'm just that amazing you hit print okay. screen okay that's smart yes you're okay, there you go. I got Good it. Good job. Look, there's Bron DeSantis reading to a fucking baby for some reason. Okay, here okay, we go. Here he is. At my feet in private, but I need you to do it in public and humiliate yourself the way Lindsey Graham has, Mike Pence What's has, you, everybody up. has. Nikki Haley, right? Did no, she, is, right yeah, place? of course. They all say, oh, yeah, well, Trump is a little problematic when he would threaten to murder his vice president. And then they're like, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no, it's totally fine. Totally fine. Uh, that, look, that's what a real leader does. Including my They're talking about January 6th. I feel like we're looking inside the fishbowl here. I just realized Cenk has elf ears. <clears throat> oh, okay. Pounds. He's like, oh, we had a slight Look disagreement his elf ears. when I was almost... <laughs> uh, but everything's fine now, right? Where was so he? So he's what kind of elf ears. What kind to of kneel this? and grovel. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Either way. He's coming in. Oh, come on, we're okay. ready for Lance's It's right here. It's right here. It's right here. For us, I feel it. Lance. Well, I was also going to bring up, like you're saying that Trump always demands like the fiercest loyalty from like everyone who works for him. And that like, I, I totally agree with you. That's totally true. Uh, but like, I could even joke about this one. I would be more scared of DeSantis than I would of Donald Trump running uh, or at least even winning because Trump for everything is riddled with so many legal problems right now. So much infighting, he's, he's like there's, I know it's it's the Trump brand. That's basically what the Republican party has become. Lance, just let me stop you right there. Fuck you, I got $500 <laughs> on the line here. What are you doing, you moron? <laughs> Thank you, Lance. Thank you. I Fuck you. It. This is Please. pretty boring though. But yeah, let's go back to the other okay, clip. We'll go back. But I that's just, hilarious. I knew, I knew we'd get you. Lance on uh, on yeah. the Young Turks. Look, he's moving up. He's maybe moving up I'll see you, sir. Yeah. Maybe, ah. his, uh, ah. maybe his Gamergate video will get to like 15,000 <laughs> views. Now, now, don't be mean. I'm sorry. Just getting be as mean as possible. I'm like sorry. that, like I'm that sorry. garbage video. I'm sorry. Uh, sir Marhouse for $20 says, in the words of Anna, you know what? Uh, quote, you know what? I'm going to say it. I'm better than you. I'm effing better than you. These people are unironically garbage humans. Also, this is officially a hundred dollars I've sent in. So give me a wrench, please. Oh, wrench club. Nice. I like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
You're not giving the wrench out? What's going eh. on? What are your maybe? Eh. I'll think about it. Okay. <laughs> uh, Duper Dah for $20. Hey, Duper. Says they're so racist, they can't even see white people who agree with them as part of the civil rights movement. They have to call them allies. Like she's a Jim Crow era white man who's friends with a black man. Yeah, you know, it's crazy. Ally is like their safe word. If you say like, I have a black friend, you get in big trouble. So you have to right. say, oh, listen, I'm an ally. <laughs> that's the way to, that's the way to get around it. I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry. We can't be friends. Okay. <laughs> He's just an ally. All right. I know. Now stay over there. <laughs> well, no, it's because ally. See, because it's very interesting. And I did a video on this. Ally confers a specific status of not only you fighting with them in the revolution. Because again, ally is a war term. Okay. Mm -hmm. Someone mm -hmm. is allying themselves to you in this war, but also it confers that you shut the fuck up. Okay. And you just do what they say, basically. Oh yeah. That's a good, that's a good point. That's it's actually, you don't want to be an ally, right? Right. And it's actually academic literature on how being an ally means you shut the fuck up. And see, and that's, what's interesting too, is because under liberalism, we're like, oh, you don't have allies. You have people that are on your team or are on your side or people that agree with you. But since they're racist, you literally can't be on their side if you're white. You yeah. have to be an ally. Who'd want to be friends with a racist anyway? Right. But I'm just saying that's interesting. You can't, you guys, they literally can't categorize white people as being like in the same group as them. They have to be allies. They have to still be right. separate. Because they don't feel this. It's like right. they don't have the same. Because they're so racist. Yeah. Culture. Yeah. You got the white privilege. They don't have the white privilege. So. Uh, Miles Casey for 20 euros says literally had no idea how wise are watching you guys or why I'm so enthralled in an American court case about self-defense. But here's $20 for entertaining me these past few months. Lots of love from Ireland. Oh, it's wow. Two in the, it's 12 o'clock in the morning. Well, thank you so much, Miles. Thank That's you. That's awesome. Yeah, that is awesome. Uh, Mike Hawk for $20 says, hey, guys, I lost a budding relationship over this case because the guy I was seeing that Kyle should have been found guilty. Not really upset though. I see it as dodging the bullet. The NPC test works. That is correct. Wow. This is the perfect. Wow. Yeah, you were, this is a hundred percent correct way to look about this. You do, Mike was like fucking Neo dodging that bullet. You got to look out. This is the perfect test yep. case for any potential relationship. Be like, how do you, what do you feel about Kyle Rittenhouse? And then if, if they give you the bullshit NPC line and then you explain all the facts to them calmly and show them the video, if they haven't changed their mind, Get out. Yeah. Get out scary. Yeah. Uh, Daft Nut for $20 says, in my head canon. Oh, mm -hmm. I read that one. Uh, Big Brain for $20 <laughs> says, Kyle just did an interview with Tucker Carlson and said he supports Black Lives Matter. <laughs> there you go. Really? You were saying, Holy yeah. So he, he repeated I thought it. it was supposed to be on Monday that he had the interview. I guess not. I guess wow. Not. They got him early. Yeah. they. I saw Tucker Carlson was talking about an interview on Monday at 8 mm -hmm. p.m. or something. He was pitching. They also had a a film crew embedded with Kyle Rittenhouse, and I guess they're working on some kind of documentary. So, which is interesting. Yeah, it is very interesting. interesting. Yeah. Uh, Sam Houston for twenty dollars says every single person in this Joy Reid segment is setting themselves up so hard to get sued out the butt. I love yeah. knowing if Kyle does so, Reid may be at the top of the list because of how awful she has been during this. I hope so. Yeah, hope so. it'd be great. Uh, Asian expat for twenty dot five dollars. Thank you so much. Says, by the way, Kyle went on Tucker Carlson and clearly said, quote, I support the Black Lives Matter movement and we need change. These racist people sicken me even more now. Really? He said that? Wow. Yeah. Well, see, wow. they're going to just say he's lying. They're going to say, oh, he's wow. lying. Blah, blah, blah. I but actually, swear he said that on a tape. I just couldn't find the clip. But that won't even make sense because they'll say, oh, he's just lying. And then you'll fire back with, wait a minute. If Kyle Rittenhouse is emboldening white supremacist racist, why would he be feeling compelled to lie about his beliefs on TV about BLM. They don't care. Any, Explain that one. Anything to get rid of the cognitive dissonance. That's all they care about. Right. He's got to be lying. Otherwise, my whole worldview collapses. Please tell me he's lying. Uh, Overseer's Logs for $20 says, the people who want to make laws against firearms don't know anything about them. That is true. MSNBC was always left biased, but, but they have let the mass slip so bad now. Sadly, many boomers will eat their racist nonsense up, up Racist nonsense up S class is best class. <sighs> uh, Kubomi for twenty dollars says apparently an SUV just plowed through a Christmas parade in Waukesha, Wisconsin, which is an hour drive from Kenosha, injuring a bunch of people. 
what the fuck is wrong with Wisconsin? Yeah, geez, what's going mm-hmm. on there? Hmm. That's terrible. That is terrible. I hope it was an accident and not purposeful. Yeah. Uh, Aaron Lovelace for $20 says, I'm so white-pilled right now. The day he was proven innocent, I went out and bought a gun in Kyle's honor. But unfortunately, I went fishing afterwards and lost it in a boating accident. Oh, my God. That's that bad sucks. luck. Jeez, Aaron. That sucks. Wow. Fell off that's the like boat, that, huh? That's like a set. It's like a setup for a punchline or something. I myself have been in one boating accident. Thankfully, oh, really? nobody died. Yeah. Oh, you told us. About I told this. you about. It. You almost crashed the boat because Adam's a moron. My my dad and I crashed into each other on little baby yep. speedboats. It was awesome. <laughs> Adam is like Adam and his dad are playing fucking chicken like morons. I, we were Jeez. playing chicken. We we're just trying to speed at each yeah, other. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Oh, really? Is this like Gage wasn't chasing Kyle? He was just running in the same direction with his gun drawn as he was? The game was <laughs> try to make your wake closer to the, his boat. So Also known as chicken. <laughs> no, chicken is going right at each other oh, okay. and well, turning right. last minute. Yeah. No. Uh, Dax Lucerno says A team is gay team and S class is less class. Well, thank you, Dax. Oh, we always wow. appreciate We always appreciate your negging. Dax is tr- secretly trying to get us to hook up with him. Does it work? No, probably not. I don't, not, not so far, but keep sending us money and insults, Dax, and we'll see if it works. <laughs> it's the only way to test it. Uh, Sam Houston for $20. Thank you so much, Sam. Says, I'm so happy that Texas Texans won and could watch you guys after... What? I'm so happy that Texans won and I could watch you guys after that means I get a front row seat to two utter destructions today. Keep up the good work. Also... S class has buff Sitch Chan and is therefore superior. There you go. Mm-hmm. That is true. That yeah. is true. Tomboy Sitch Chan Abs is Sitch Chan is pretty hot. Wow. Uh, Lucifer, Lucifer the Doberman for 20 Canadian says I moved from a big city to a small town on an island. I have a two acre farm and it cost a top uh, and it cost uh, $500,000. How much can you get with that much in LA? What was the price? For for five hundred thousand dollars, he got two acres, a two acre farm. Five hundred thousand dollars for two acres, yes. yeah. fucking that's an amazing deal. Yeah, or by LA standards, yeah. Considering how much Hassan's three million dollar house wasn't even an acre, wasn't it? Yeah, or was it an acre? I thought yeah, it wasn't. It's a tiny lot. Yeah. And the real cost of a house is the is the land. Yes, yeah. of course. So. No, that's uh, a, that's a good deal. Five hundred thousand for two acres. Holy shit! Uh, Lucifer the Doberman for twenty Canadian for another donut twenty Canadian. Thank you, Lucifer. Says uh, short fatter tacos are treated like second class citizens. MSNBC is the new KKK. There you go. How Dev, Dev and I are going to do a MMT stream. Oh, did that'll you know that? Dev, I didn't know Dev that. wants me to teach him MMT. Interesting. Interesting. Hey, you should come on. You should. Maybe I will. Yeah. That does sound interesting. I'm going to look up. Uh, a, a video, some video explainer, because I'll fuck it up and I'll just play it with him and get get his feedback. Uh, Super Deagle for twenty dollars says a van attack injured twenty people in Wakashin, Wisconsin parade. A van attack? <clears throat> hmm. Well, do they know? Let me see. Yeah, van. Att- I'll look it up. Van attack. Uh, live updates on this. Yeah, to see if it was an accident or was it an attack because remember there was that time period where there was like all these car attacks Mm -hmm. so i'm looking go ahead um (coughs) they see who they know i mean i assume the guy is caught right like i don't think he got away uh are you looking or you look it up Uh, the expert layman for twenty dollars says racism isn't evil it's a manifestation of evil if defeated it will re-emerge in a different form to avoid detection by its slayers like a virus mutating to avoid detection by immune system, good and evil are immortal. Yeah, I th- I agree with that completely. That's a good way of putting it. The racism of yesteryear has morphed and manifested into the to this kind of it's okay to be super racist against white people racism of today. Yeah. Yeah, That's it true. sucks. Racism is evil. Uh, Ivan Petretsku for twenty dollars says, "Thanks, Sitch. I was just swallowing my white pill, and here comes the flood of black pill." It's not that bad. These it's people not as bad. I feel like it's not as bad as last week. These people are losing. They're they completely are. losing. What what you're seeing now is you're seeing the 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 dying gasps of a uh, someone who knows they've lost. Mm-hmm. Okay, the panicking. They're in full and they panic. should. They should lose. 
Oh my God, we have another celebrity in the chat, everybody. It's Gross Skirts' missing bicep. Oh, mm, you know, painful. It, we were wondering why they didn't call Gross Skirts' missing bicep to the stand. Here he is, right here. Thank God you escaped the oppression of being a part of Gross Skirts. That's right. Uh, for 20 Canadian, thank you so much. It says, look, I'm glad Kyle got acquitted, but I'm still stuck here collecting maggots and dirt. I don't want to be trampled by rioters anytime soon. And my owner has fled the state to avoid charges. Can I get some free will, please? Well, there you go. Of course, Gross Skirts is missing bicep. You get 20 free units of free will. Hopefully you can use that to sprout some legs and make a name for yourself on your own. Imagine Binger cross-examining Gross Skirts. You said he vaporized your arm. Did you breathe yet, any of that vaporized bicep in? <laughs> what did it smell like? Uh, Matty Ice for $20 says, I can't believe I'm sending you another super chat after such a rude dismissal. Quote, I need evidence. I gave you evidence. Oh, this was the CAA thing. Anderson Cooper was a CAA employee. Operation Mockingbird. De Declassified American propaganda operation. Well, I'll look into it. I'm going to almost guarantee you that anything I look up about Operation Mockingbird will not say that MSNBC was a CIA. CIA owned, and which, was, again, and Anderson Cooper works on for CNN. CNN. Yeah, I was like, what? So Anderson, that's Operation not a, Mockingbird, Anderson Cooper. Right. So that is interesting. I didn't know that, that Anderson Cooper used to work for the CIA. That's, I knew he was a Vanderbilt, but that's fascinating. A Vanderbilt? Yes. The Vanderbilt oligarchy heir, Anderson Cooper, worked at the CIA. Anderson Cooper had a CIA <clears throat> internship? Huh. Anderson Cooper there on a go. CIA internship. The CIA used to infiltrate the media. Now the CIA there you go. is the media. See, but no, it's actually a double reverse. The CIA controls both CNN and MSNBC, and they're pitting them against each other. You don't understand the, the larger game, Adam. Anderson Cooper, CNN host and ex-CIA agent, deep there state. Go. There you go. Listen, he served two summers as an internship when he was a young lad. Okay, that's all. That's how they get you. Yeah. Uh, stacking damage for twenty dollars says a team rules the stream. Also, high sitch. Thanks for blackpilling me all week. You gave me literal nightmares. Well, you're very, very welcome. Stacking damage. That's why. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. We're in uh, two more, and then we'll get to this Don Lemon <coughs> video. Uh, one Abby done for twenty two dollars and twenty two cents. Thank you so much. Says I was talking to my normal coworker about the trial. I explained the full context to him. All he could do was ask over and over again why Kyle had a gun at all. Also, I'm watching the stream from my VR penthouse. Also, a team. Really? Go. Oh my god! I would be careful god. to watch this on VR. I think I think you'd be too close to the cringe that it would make you die. So I'd just be very careful. That's pretty cool. No, I dig it. That's <laughs> careful, yeah. The VR penthouse. We need to get a VR penthouse. That'd be, do. Cool. That'd be cool. We can hang out. Yeah. But yeah, no, it's if you confront a lot of people on this, they just go into cognitive dissonance repeat mode and they just start repeating things that are irrelevant. Mm -hmm. Like, why was he there in the first place with your gun? Yeah. Uh Asian expat for twenty dollars says this joke might be insensitive, but parentheses screw gross skirts because he immediately lied on ABC's after testimony. Uh gross gross Kurtz has Schrodinger's arm. He's armed but unarmed. <laughs> Yeah, fuck that guy. I'm with you. He's a liar. <laughs> That's pretty. You like that? Gross Kurtz is, uh, Gross Kurtz is throwing your arm. He's unarmed. armed but unarmed. I like it. That's hilarious. It's good. That's good. Uh, a train because he called Kyle a hero. There you go. Yeah, I called uh, Kyle a hero early on. I did it during our, our debate. I just I don't understand how. What debate? During our debate I, with Lance. Lance was like, oh, you, oh, you guys don't think he's a hero, do you? And I'm like, well, I mean, isn't putting your life on the line for other people's yeah, stuff? Kyle kind is of a hero. definition of hero. Kyle is a hero. Yeah. Okay. How do you think Don Lemon's going to be? Don Lemon is going to be a angry, racist piece of shit. <laughs> like, he is every single day of his life. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He, but you, you think Cuomo, Cuomo, you think Cuomo didn't over. have to talk? What, you, don't, you think Cuomo didn't have to sit down with him? No, they're going to have it right here live on television. It's going to be oh, great. Okay. This is this is like Pac-Man versus Destiny right here. Right, right. This is it. I'll He's see you soon. Like, Are we still <laughs> friends? I mean, this is Don Lemon tonight, as we have been saying. The look at that. They look, how, look how happy he is. Look at how friendly they are. 
I know. Look how look how excited he is. Fucking slapping. Why is he so excited about this verdict? They're so high fiving over this. I know. The verdict is in. No. Look at this. He's putting his serious actor face on here. Kyle Rittenhouse acquitted of all charges. Just just listen to this is a very interesting demeanor. (laughs) This is Don Lemon tonight. Did did you see that? (laughs) (laughs) Like he totally did the frat boy yell. Yeah. Don't tell me that wasn't. Look, that I've seen this at Pledge Week. <laughs> <laughs> like, fucking crazy, crazy face. Yep. As we have been saying, the verdict is in. No surprise. Not if you were paying attention. As the first count of the information, Joseph Rosenbaum, we the house now, and the defendant, we the judge, the fourth information. Is there anyone who does not agree? Does not agree with the verdict as read. Mm. 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 A lucky young man. Can you imagine that moment? What is, is this? A Don Lemon show? Fucking just him staring in the camera all night again? <laughs> what is this all about? Listen to what he's about to say. Though. Look at this. Listen. Look at this shit. Look, I know. Mm. 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 Mm-hmm. 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 A lucky young man. Can you imagine that moment? First thing (laughs) I'd be saying about, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Fall on your knees. Lucky. Kyle Rittenhouse, who shot and killed two people, (laughs) wounded another during protests in August of 2020 over the police shooting of Jacob Blake, found not guilty on all counts. You heard him read right there. The bar was this, this totally goes against the narrative that this is going to really embolden white supremacists. Now they know it's open season on Black Lives Matter. Like he just said, it, he got lucky. Isn't this wait, isn't this surprising though? So so far, we have Don Lemon opens the segment laughing, jovial. Yeah. Okay. Then he says the verdict is in, which is and it was obvious if you've been paying attention. Right. And now he's saying. Uh, if I was in Kyle House situation, I'd be thanking Jesus. Right. Thanking my lucky okay. stars. How lucky right. he got. So, yeah. So we're not. So this is this is a very bizarre segment so far. Mm-hmm. Okay. Not the usual Don Lemon. And we saw Don Lemon say dumb shit last week. What would the we usual it. be? Uh, him calling Kyle a racist. Calling Remember, he was. Supremacist? You, you talked about how you turned on Don Lemon. Shortly after the Don Lemon started all of this, yeah, yeah, saying that Kyle was shooting into protesters, yeah, blah 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 blah. blah. Don Lemon's incompetence started right. the whole fucking narrative, yeah, right. Where's that fire? Where's that fire, Don Lemon? Yeah, give it to really me. high for a conviction, though prosecutors had to prove it wasn't self defense beyond a reasonable doubt. Now, you can question what a then 17 year old, right? Where's the wisdom in this? 17 year old's not. That wise, right? Usually, they're young people, young, just young people. No one wiser than your ass, Don Lemon. I fucking, I take Kyle Rittenhouse's wisdom over yours any day. <laughs> Seriously, definitely take him as my hunting partner. That's for sure. There you go. I don't mean just Kyle. Seventeen-year-old with a military-style weapon. What they were doing in the middle of chaos. All that chaos in the streets of Kenosha. Well, we know this, Don. He was protecting a building from getting burned down. They'd already burned down all of the automobiles. Come on, Don. Catch up. (laughs) Catch up already. But as we've been saying, this case was never going to be a slam dunk. The assistant DA, Thomas Binger, putting out a statement saying, while we are disappointed with the verdict, it must be respected. And then the defense attorney that Chris and I were talking about, Mark Richards, telling Chris Cuomo just a few minutes ago this. He didn't want to kill anybody. And he was left with a terrible choice, and he exercised that choice, which was found to be lawful. Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers says that his state has to work to do the right thing in the wake of this verdict, and or has some work to do in the wake of this verdict, and is calling for peace tonight. So why don't we get there now? Seeing in Sarah Seidner, she is live for us in Kenosha. Sarah, good evening to you. I understand that you have some new information. Why'd you pick this clip, Sitch? What's going on here? Don Lemon has 100% backtracked. Look, Fuck this is yeah. crazy. 
He's told, I'm telling you, Don Lemon. I know it's got night and day call. from last week. I know he got the call. He said, Don, you see this $200 million check? You <laughs> know, exactly. Don, look at me. Look into my eyes. You had Tom Cruise from, uh, uh, Fuck, what was that movie where he was the producer? Go ahead, Blake. Oh, Tropic yeah. Thunder. Oh, yeah, yeah, Tom yeah. Cruise from Tropic Thunder called Don Lemon to his office and he said, look into my eyes, Don. You're getting sued right now for sexual harassment because you had to grab some guy's dick in a restaurant. And now you're going to get us $200 million to call right now. You get the fuck, you get your ass out there right now and you take it all back. A week ago, he had a panel of people on it. Don Lemon was basically looking around. They were all, they obviously had seen the videos and were paying somewhat attention to the fucking trial. Yes. And they're, you know, they're making moderate comments and Don Lemon is looking around like, I invited you here to be fucking racist with me. What are you doing? <laughs> right. This kid now, had it coming. <laughs> he's totally we're walked here. it back. I just thought this was so interesting. It is. This is so interesting. It is. He did get what, the call. What they happened? Don't want I, that Sandman money, man. They're like, oh, I know. Still, still hurting. Still Don. Still pain. Reach out to us. I want to know what the, what happened. Yeah, what happened, want, Don? Where's all that fire call. from last week? It's all just gone. Yeah. Well, he did put his serious face on. Like He's like, okay. You know, he was thinking about it. He's like, he's weighing. He's like, really? You know, I feel like being racist tonight on the air. But <laughs> <laughs> I, I did get that talk about the Sandman check earlier. Yep. That's why he was, that, that was a long beats there. He was contemplating life. <laughs> it's like unemployed for a second yes, there. He maybe. was thinking, ah, got to dial it back. Oh, my God. So, no, those long beats, those long beats was Tom Cruise was holding up that check. And he's like, <laughs> no. he's going like, you know, he's, he's doing the little like, uh, Don. <laughs> Got the check right here, fucker. <laughs> He's looking at it through the through the glass, through the window. <laughs> Don Lemon's like, I've been racist the whole they've given me carte blanche to be in as racist as I want to be on this network for the last two years. Don Four Cruz years. is banging on the, the glass. He's holding the check up. He's like, Don, don't look at this. Stop. Look at this fucking check. <laughs> you see this fucking check? Don't fuck this up. Yeah, exactly. He's like, damn it. I hope Trump runs in 2024. That's what he thought. And then he's like, fucking here, let me just walk this Kyle Rittenhouse nonsense yep, back. Yep. Acquitted of all charges. It's time for peace, people. I don't want peace, but fuck. I just think it's interesting that CNN seems like they've caved to some kind of pressure from somewhere. <laughs> and MSNBC is still like full-blown dig-ditching mode. Like, no, fuck you. The hole will be deeper. What's yeah? Because MSNBC didn't wait. MSNBC has Maddo, and I don't. Maybe Maddo's defense worked. Maybe Maddo's. We're maybe just, we're just uh, opinion worked, and CNN is like, we're the most trusted be, name in news. Don, stop. What was she being sued for specifically? Again, I can't remember, but I know that she used the same defense as as Alex Jones. That. It's just an entertainment program. Oh, she was being sued by OAN because she's called them Russian propaganda. Oh, interesting. Interesting. That is a false statement of fact right there. She says, well, no, her, well, yeah, but her argument was it was an obvious exaggeration. Oh, it's hyperbole, her huh? Yes, sir. She gave the old hyperbole argument. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've been known to use a little hyperbole on this show That's from true. time That's to time. <laughs> I should find the clip though. I'd be curious to see what the context Thank was goodness. for saying Nobody's that statement. Yeah. We're hearing from Kyle Rittenhouse tonight. What is he saying? Yeah, it's true. Um, the, he had been doing an interview all along this process um, with the Tucker uh, Carlson show, of Fox News, and here is what he said in one of the clips that is just. Oh my God! You, this is from this is Kyle Rittenhouse clip. Sitch. Huh? Yeah. You, you master. Yeah. Interesting. Oh no, I don't. It doesn't, they don't play the clip. Oh, fuck you. It's been released. Just, he is talking about the verdict. It is right after his red. He's in the car. And he says, look, the jury reached the correct verdict. Self defense is not illegal. This has been a rough ride, but the worst is over. Uh, so we have now heard from Kyle Rittenhouse himself about what he thinks 
about uh, the verdict that was handed down, the not guilty. Uh, I, I actually saw the clip where he said that. I don't yeah, know if yeah, you saw the, it. yeah. I did see it. Yeah. yeah. Just I know if you heard someone was shouting fuck CNN or something in the background. I know that was great. I was going to rewind it just so we could <laughs> savor it a little longer. On all five counts. Um, I should also mention, Don, that there was something very interesting in uh, the verdict sheets. Um, I have them here. Uh, there are, of course, five of them. Okay. So the only reason I put this, well, I put this clip in for three reasons. One, because Adam put Don Lemon's face on the thumbnail, so I felt oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You bastard, really? <laughs> Uh, second, because I did think it was interesting to just see how there was some some pressure that made all the CNN anchors fall in line that apparently did not apply to MSNBC. Are you making this reason, drink on the fly? That's a, that's a interesting. And the uh, the third reason is what she's about to say is actually kind of scary. Okay, mm -hmm. she's reading off uh, the jury sheet, which apparently shows when the jurors figure out out what charges through their deliberation. Okay. What? What do you mean? He'll say it's got their notes and on the back or something. It, no, but it has apparently it has like the dates or times in which they decided to do which verdict. Really? Yes. Oh my goodness. So Holy it's interesting because it so they didn't just decide all the verdicts in the last day. Of course. Right. So, but they were the, haggling. The, right. But listen to this. This is a little scary. Um, I should also mention, Don, that there was something very interesting, uh, the verdict sheets. Um, I have them here. Uh, there are, of course, five of them. Um, and if you look at the sheets, you will notice that the jury made some decisions pretty early on. The second day of deliberations, they decided on two of the cases, including Anthony Huber. They decided not guilty uh, in the shooting and killing of Anthony Huber by Kyle Rittenhouse. And they decided a not guilty verdict on uh, the putting somebody in danger, the man that was called Jump Kick Man, uh, the second day after uh, the deliberation started. And then they decided something on the third day after deliberation started. Um, and they did not get to the Joseph Rosenbaum decision on whether or not he was killed in first degree uh, intentional homicide until today. And so it is clear to a lot of folks looking at this case. Okay. What's wrong with that picture? Well, wasn't it all predicated on Joseph Rosenbaum first? Yes. The yeah. jury did it fucking ass backwards. Yeah. <laughs> the first they so she just said that the jury first acquitted Kyle of killing Huber first for some reason. Mm -hmm. well, and then Huber shooting... hit him with a skateboard. Sure. But right. if but if Kyle Rittenhouse unlawfully killed Rosenbaum, mm -hmm. I think Huber would have been legally justified to hit him with a skateboard. Mm, okay, I see what you're saying. And yeah. so that's what's so crazy about this. The jury did it, even though they came to the right verdict, they did it fucking ass backwards. They didn't yeah. understand that they, the jury, have, they have didn't understand the jury instructions at all. Yeah, right. And the jury instructions talked about this. They didn't understand that you have they had to have started with Rosenbaum to make that determination first, because right. you can't make the other determinations until you figure out about right. Rosenbaum. So, so hmm. I was like, wow, that's pretty fucking shocking to me. Could they have returned because uh, they could have returned a guilty verdict on all on Rosenbaum and then I don't know if they could actually. I think I don't they could have. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't think the, from the jury instructions, it sounded like if they gave guilty for Rosenbaum, they would have to give guilty for everyone else. I don't think so because he, even if he killed someone in cold blood, if people tried to attack him while he's running to the police, they're still there. I don't know. know. Yeah. I don't, I don't know the answer to that. I understand what you're saying. But that's not the way it sounded like when the judge was reading off the instructions. Run, hide, fight. Right. That it was that particular case where there you know, that they had requested to see um, that that made them deliberate for longer. And they finally got to that decision today. And now we know that Kyle Rittenhouse is a free man. He has been found not guilty on all five charges. Sarah Seidner has Don. been covering. Sarah, thank you very much. We appreciate that. We've got a lot more on this, and it comes. As some people are saying that we have two justice systems here in America. Look, oh, I here understand. It comes. Here it comes. You know what they mean by that, what they're trying to say. But the fact is, we actually have one justice system. 
Oh my god, no! <laughs> Holy shit! It's working! Cuomo had the talk! He's uh, like, Don, Cuomo come sit did. on my lap! Let me tell you what's up! Oh my god, Cuomo did have the talk he with him. He had the talk Holy with Don! Holy shit! He's like, listen to me, my little lemon pop, as he stroked the back of his head. <laughs> oh my god, my little lemon pop. <laughs> You're so bad. Fortunately, that justice system is not always. We should respect what they mean by that, what they're trying to say. The fact is, we actually have one justice system. Unfortunately, that justice system is not always fair. We should respect the jury's verdict in Kenosha. As Americans, we have the right to disagree, and we have the right to make the system work for everybody. We have a right to change it, change the laws. Because the laws that are in place, those are the, those are the reasons, the main reasons, that Kyle Rittenhouse was acquitted. It is hard to separate race out of all of these things. But race is there. It may not be exactly the same in every case. It's a difference of degrees, right? But it's always there in all of these cases. They're not the exact same thing, but it is there. <laughs> the Rittenhouse trial was also about whether or not the prosecution was able to prove its case. You just said The jury nothing. found him not guilty. But in a court, there was nothing about race in this case. I know. Fuck you, Don Lemon. I Fuck know. you and your critical race theory. Okay. There's there's a reason why they have the blindfold on Lady Justice. See, this she doesn't give it, a fuck what your race it, is. This makes so much more sense if you're like, oh, he's trying to sometimes like retain some of the bullshit that he was peddling, but also yeah. appear like he's not biased against Kyle. <laughs> so yeah. he's like, race is there. It's different, but it's there. I'm not going to tell you what that means, but uh, let's move on. Yeah, let's move on. He's throwing a bone to the critical race theorists out there. Yes. In Georgia, a very... That was it. Yeah. That six-minute segment <clears throat> was it. After all the bullshit, Don Lemon peddled. That was all he said about it. Really? For show that night, yeah. And he's done with the Kyle Rittenhouse. And he's done with it. I don't know if we'll talk about it on Monday, but that was it. Don Lemon tonight is his big show. You know, I forgot about the thing with Rachel Maddow, and maybe you're right. Maybe the reason CNN's lawyers were like so concerned is like, listen, we you know we got sued by Sandman, and MSNBC is like, fuck it, we got sued by OAN, and we beat those bitches. Mm -hmm. So yeah, maybe they don't care. Different. Yeah, they have a different legal strategy. Or maybe they just CNN maybe has like very cautious legal team and MSNBC's got CNN's like a bunch of woke fucking, crazy people. Listen, CNN's moniker is the most trusted name in news. Right. The I, MSNBC is like lean forward, lies forward. <laughs> it's like it's put your best lies out forward. You got to admit, MSNBC sort of pitches themselves as a as a progressive commentary channel. CNN pitches themselves as fucking straight news. Yeah, but I mean that was lost after Trump, though, right? Wasn't it? Well, no, I think it's a bunch of bullshit. Most people do right. think it's a bunch of bullshit, but I'm just saying, in a court of law, people are going to say, you know, do do people believe CNN is is just straight news? Oh, you bastard! <laughs> what? Chris, What's the problem, Chris Hayes? It's Chris. Columbine Hayes. Oh my God. Yes, of course. Hey, what's his aftermath look like? Salty well, tears. I can guarantee you it's not like Don Lemon's. <laughs> well, he's on MSNBC. He's like, all of this garbage you're listening to, this is all hyperbole. Did MSNBC not get sued by Sandman at all? They probably did. I don't know. Let's see. Covington, Kid case i miss wisconsin jury found <laughs> kyle rittenhouse not guilty on all charges even though there was never a question that rittenhouse shot three people killing two of them during protests in kenosha last summer those protests which came after george floyd's death and after those protests <laughs> oh my god what if what if those protests which came after pearl harbor <laughs> The protests in which some of those on the streets of Kenosha also burned stores, they arose in response to the police shooting of another armed black man named Jacob. Bl Lies. 
Fucking did they, little wait, did you see liar. Jacob Blake was unarmed? He just did, yeah. Fucking wow. Liar. Little liar. Okay. Lies, tell me sweet a knife. little lies. I, I didn't know knives counted as not being on. Lies, lies. Okay, here's a shot. So, I don't know. Oh, wait, this article is from 2019. Hmm, that's a lot. Oh, that's before Rittenhouse happened. So, everything I'm seeing, well, I don't know if they settled. Oh, this is uh, Rachel Maddow. Um, okay, wait, here, here we go. ABC, CBS, and NBC ignore CNN settlement with Covington student. Uh, mm -hmm. CNN decided to settle for some ridiculous amount of money, and none of the other companies did. Mm -hmm. Huh. Because he, he was also suing NBC, but we haven't heard any update about that. Hmm. So how hilarious. Oh, my God. But see, how mad was CNN be if... They settled for two hundred fifty million dollars, and then, and then Salmon lost the other cases against the other co the company. Yeah, they wanted it to go away for <laughs> some other reason. They were probably right. in the middle of like some merger acquisition or something. They were like, "Oh, yeah. we can't just. This is going to look bad on the quarterly meeting. We have to get this thing to go away quick." Or maybe it just maybe it's still stuck in limbo because I don't know. None of the articles are talking about anything but CNN settlement. So, hmm. and oh no, it says last October, uh, ABC, CBS, NBC had a motion to dismiss that was denied. Okay. So oh, really? It's, <laughs> maybe it's still, maybe it's still ongoing. <laughs> yeah. Sandman's like, bitch, I got $200 million to spend on lawyers now. Oh, it said he settled with both Washington Post and CNN out of court. Oh, okay. So Washington Post ponied up some money. That's yeah, all did. Bezos money, right? Uh, yeah, that's right. That's right. I know. I know where Bezos marks his own bills. I'll say Amazon on him. Oh my God! Seven Nicholas Sam, this is hilarious. Nicholas Salmon is suing Joy Reid. <laughs> really? Oh my yes. God! There is a heaven. Oh my God! That's hilarious. Oh no! You know who his lawyer is? Oh no! I forgot no. about this. No. Fucking Linwood. Oh, I know it is Linwood. I oh, knew that. Oh, Jesus. I hope he's not. Oh, no. I, I think he doesn't have Linwood anymore. I, I, I hope he got rid of Linwood. Yeah, I think Linwood is out of the picture now. Hopefully. Hopefully. Anyway, right. I can. Chris can Hayes. It. Here we go. In the back by a police officer. Blake. Two of the men written how shot did not survive. Their names were Anthony Huber and Joseph Rosenbaum. And their families must be mourning them even more intensely today. Another lie. <laughs> His name was Joseph Rosenbaum. His We're, name was. <laughs> I know. All Joseph, all Rosenbaum had was his his girlfriend, who actually had filed a restraining order against him. In court. No, 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 no. She did not. She had a. The police issued a no contact order. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. She Huber's was his parents battered girlfriend. Okay, right. I don't know. She yeah. won't. Okay, so she is yeah. upset. Released a statement saying, quote, today's verdict means there is no way for the person who murdered our son. Families must be mourning them even more intensely. Huber's parents released a statement saying, quote, today's verdict means there is no accountability for the person who murdered our son. It sends the unacceptable message that armed civilians can show up in any town, incite violence, and then use the danger they have created to justify shooting people in the street. That was, outcome was not particularly surprising to those who've been following the case and the trial, but it does present some very unnerving ideas about self-defense. As Eric Levitz writes in New York Magazine, quote, if Rittenhouse had a right to shoot two people in self-defense, the latter had a similarly legitimate basis for shooting Rittenhouse dead. Put differently. Nope. Yeah, once wrong. Rittenhouse fired his first shots, he and his attackers plausibly entered a context in which neither could be held legally liable for killing no nope. wrong wrong you know why you know why because he's retreating Kyle. fucking he's retreating house is running to the police yeah. motherfucker he's retreating he's not he's, engaging he's not an active shooter he's not pointing his gun at anyone he's running to the police yeah so no yeah. you fucking moron liar. you idiot liar nope incorrect sir put differently Other. Verdict also raises what open carry laws will mean for free speech 
and the right to peaceably assemble that many of those people on the streets of Kenosha were attempting to engage in going forward, especially in a world. This is how you know, this is the cognitive dissonance. This is how you know it's all NPC emotional talking point. They keep focusing on the open carry. It's like their brain literally cannot look away from the open carry thing. That had nothing to do with any of this. Yeah. If if Kyle wasn't open carrying, was Rosenbaum not have attacked him? Is that what they're arguing? That Rosenbaum would have been like, oh, well, he's not open carrying. So I'm, you know, I'm not going to attack him now. Yeah. He's only got a fire extinguisher. Right. (laughs) Uh, I don't know. I, if Kyle didn't have a gun, Rosenbaum would have grabbed that fire extinguisher and probably beat his face in it. Oh, definitely. Where someone could bring a gun to a protest, shoot three people, and face no criminal repercussions. That's so Chris funny. Brown is president That's of Brady. That's a fucking lie. You mean like Gage? How, how can you or say Zeminsky? He, <laughs> no, how can you say he faced no criminal repercussions? He was fucking charged with murder. He went to jail for months. You'd think that was a criminal repercussion. You would <laughs> like, think. Right. Well, repercussion is a much lower bar than conviction, right? No, 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 no. He didn't go to jail for... Adam, he shot three people. He didn't go to jail forever. I don't care about what any of the other facts are. All I know is he shot three people. Repro- and he had a scary AR-15. He was open carrying. Meh. And he was white. Meh. Repercussions. A remote or indirect consequence of some action. Pretty sure he faced some repercussions. Yeah, pretty sure. National campaign to prevent gun violence. David Henderson is a former prosecutor and criminal defense attorney, and they both join me now. Um, David, let me start with you as someone who has uh, been a lot of trials on both sides and watched this trial closely. I think the people that were watching it closely, this was essentially the anticipated outcome. Uh, What was your reaction today? What do you think of this verdict? Chris, I'm not surprised. This was what I expected in terms of the verdict. I do think the verdict is unjust and I think it puts public safety at risk. And here's the reason why. It's not just that Rittenhouse won, it's the way that he won. He was able (laughs) to claim self-defense in a circumstance where a man who is five foot three was oh running my God. at him. And his basic <laughs> argument was because of the way he ran at me, I had to kill him. And he went, This is a former prosecutor. What a what fucking a f- moron. A five three three man ran at me in a specific way, so Completely I had to kill him. Irrelevant. What the fuck? Yeah, if a crazy person is chasing you fucking down yeah. and you've not provoked them in any way, yeah, you do have a right to defend yourself, you fucking piece of shit. What are you talking? <laughs> this is so such a dishonest distortion. This is like binger levels of dishonesty. Have you ever seen that movie Chucky? Yes. The doll. There you go. That doll is pretty deadly. <laughs> that's pretty short. That doll is not very tall. I'm yeah. telling you. But there he you murders go. people right and left. I, I didn't know why. They should have brought that in as, as evidence in the trial. Look, this tiny little Chucky doll has killed millions of people. <laughs> Rosenbaum. The, the state was... DA says that 5.3 is not dangerous, but look at this doll. This doll, Your Honor, if I could measure this doll, this doll is only one foot tall, and it has killed at least 20 people. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be honest. I'm glad they didn't put that into evidence. The Chucky doll. Come on, yeah. it would have been. It would have been great. <laughs> I knew that out. what he was gonna do was take my gun, which to his body, and Rosenbaum never physically touched Rittenhouse or his gun. And despite that, he still prevailed with this argument of self-defense. And so to the point that you were making earlier, we were already teetering on the brink because people already take assault rifles out to these protests. But in light of this verdict, I think they're going to feel comfortable firing them as emotions rise. Yeah, that's the problem. It's not the people burning down buildings, looting, rioting. No, no. It's people open carrying their scary AR-15s. That's the the real problem. And no one's going to feel comfortable firing. Everyone's going to be in Kyle Rittenhouse's situation running away as much as possible. Yep. Rise because they won't fear any consequences. Yeah, this is, um, Chris, this is an example of of what, uh, this is not my phrase, but I use it a lot because it's useful. The the Second Amendment eating the first in some ways. Um, (laughs) if, If you can open carry, I mean. You do not have a First Amendment right to chase someone, you fucking liar. I know, totally. 
the First Amendment is about assaulting people now? What, wow. what, what am I missing here, Sitch? Well, you have a First Amendment right to set buildings on fire and to chase down minors and try to steal their guns. That's okay? the arson amendment, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's the arson bill? Yeah. Books that are peaceably assembling under the First Amendment protection to peaceably assemble, to protest, to... Pe Keyword, peaceably. Peace of... That's the problem. Keyword. Cuomo, you need to come... Cuomo needs to come out here and he needs to whip his dick out and slap Chris in the face with it. <laughs> oh, Chris. my God. Chris, listen to me. Bigger Chris. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you what's up. They didn't peacefully assemble. That's the whole fucking point. Dumbass. Yeah. They were rioting. Grievances from their government. It just changes everything if there's someone standing around you open carrying and a weapon like that and then can say they were scared enough to shoot and kill people and be acquitted on that what does that do to society How, I, I, there's just, terrible I can't. things to society chris in every way imaginable obviously based on what i do uh professionally on behalf of victims across this country i'm often out in public in protest it makes me reconsider mm -hmm. um, how I feel. Oh, she's going to stay home now? Thank God. Yeah, okay, good. good. Right. Stay home. You know, often I would also, you know, try to burn car lots down. But now I'm going to have to reconsider that after this cover and house for if these If these people are too fucking stupid to tell the difference yes. between peaceful protesting and violent rioting, then guess what? You should stay home, okay? Right. And you should shut the fuck up and keep your mouth shut. And I said <laughs> this last year. I said, look, if someone goes out to a Black Lives Matter protest and then if with, with all the best intentions, okay, and then that night, to their horror, it devolves into a riot. Yeah, okay. they're under every obligation right. to leave. Well, yeah, okay. If you go back the second night, okay, if once curfew hits and you stay out there as a Black Lives Matter protester after you know that the first night devolved into uh, looting and rioting and arson, I think you're just as fucking culpable. Totally. Because what the fuck, why are you giving cover? <laughs> you're trying to claim that, oh, well, we're not with the rioters, we're not with the looters, we're not with the arsonists. Then go the fuck home. Protest all fucking day and then go home at night so the police can focus on the actual problem. Why the fuck are you still out there? Yeah. If you exactly. don't if you don't support those people. What the yeah. fuck's wrong with you? You're giving cover to them. They yeah. even brought this up in the trial. The first the first witness that the defense or the prosecution called. He saved the fucking dinosaur museum. They're like Oh, that's right. They were lighting the dinosaur museum on fire, and he's like well, I kind of like the dinosaur museum. I have fond memories. Was it a museum? I thought it was like a dinosaur statue that they destroyed or something. I thought it was a, like a little dinosaur museum or something. Yeah. Right. He How let him. He let him burn the fire trucks because he was like, ah, they were the old fire or the old uh, <laughs> garbage collecting trucks. He's like, yeah, we got new trucks, so I let them burn. They brought this up. Uh, the defense attorney brought it up that they actually were still using the garbage trucks that they burned but you know mm -hmm. whatever yeah i agree like if if you're out there giving cover to these people why don't you're why not... don't you chris hayes you fucking pudgy piece of shit you mm -hmm. congealed soy that has magically come to life and put on rachel maddow glasses and somehow landed a job at msnbc mm -hmm. why don't you <laughs> interview like someone who works in the local Kenosha government so that they can say, oh, well, you know, all of the fucking riots cost us these millions of dollars in damages. Oh, yeah. and here's the estimate of damages that private private businesses occurred to. Here's the million dollar estimate. So go fuck yourself before you cry. about oh, this is going to have a chilling effect on the First Amendment. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. He's bringing these people on who like they're they have nothing to do with the Kenosha community. No, they're just fucking talking heads. All so these sick. pundits crossing state lines. I know, exactly. Entering a community that isn't theirs to stir up trouble. Budding in, putting their yep. little noses in where they don't belong. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Out sure. in the public square. As a mother, it makes me reconsider it. And I think the... Yeah, good. Stay home. Like I said, stay home. Larger implications for this. It's like, it's got to be safe out there when I protest, you know? When I riot, it's got to be safe environment for me and my children. <laughs> Fuck it, lady. If 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 there's a riot the night before, what the fuck are you doing? Go home. You crazy? <laughs> yeah, I know. As a exactly. mother of children, I want to be able to participate in a riot without fear of getting shot. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I hate to break it to you. Yeah. 
I hope your business owner isn't in the area. You might have to call Kyle Rittenhouse to this come does, protect this it. Does feel like that scene from Fight Club where they bring home uh, a bitch tit Bob. And oh, like, yeah. I can't believe they shot him. And he's like, you idiots, you're running around out there wearing masks, blowing up buildings. What the fuck did you think was going to happen? <laughs> I know, no shit. As you say, it's an insurrectionist view of the Second oh, Amendment God. that has no limit. That is part of the underpinning, I think, that's very, very upsetting about how the judge proceeded with this trial. Obviously, the verdict, because our change in society that we've been able to achieve Think about the civil rights movement. Think about women's suffrage. Think about anti-war protests has relied on exercise of our First Amendment rights, exercise of our rights to assembly. And part of those rights is premised on the right to live, the right not to be shot. This is just so such Despicable. bullshit. Yeah. Yes. So bullshit. How, what is the second? I mean, what does the Second Amendment have to do with? Because I don't, I don't see the because she's just here. she's lying and acting like Kyle just shot mm -hmm. Rosenbaum and these people because they were protesting and they had some sort of political disagreement. That's yeah. the lie she's peddling okay, right now. Okay, I got you. I she's got just you. lying off her fucking ass about right. everything that happened. So she's saying that we need to take away everyone's guns because then right. we can then we can protest more. Right, so that we can burn down property with impunity. Right. <laughs> And no one will be able to stop us because there will right. be no Kyle Rittenhouses. Right. And yeah. all the it's police despicable. will be busy. Right. When you call 911, they won't be there. God, That's what I don't get. Of, She's talking about how I need to feel safe, but at the same time, I mean, Kyle Rittenhouse was there because they couldn't call 911. The cops were like, yeah, we're protecting our buildings I should, tonight. I should tweet this lady. Have you watched the Kyle Rittenhouse video? I, I, could, I would bet you $100 she has never seen the video. I have a lot. I, you know, I am. <laughs> what'd she say she does? She represents victims or something like that? She, I think she's part of the Brady anti gun uh, advocacy. Oh, group. really? Oh, yeah. Okay. I think that's what it said. Brady Bill. In our society. And a larger implication here is it's as if gun owners have super rights, super constitutional mm. rights. Because here. Yeah, we have the right not to get killed in a fucking riot. That's for sure. Super <laughs> rights. Some might call that a superpower. You know when a communist comes up and pulls his gun and points it at your head? Living. That's and then the you, superpower. And then you shoot him in the bicep? That's a pretty yeah. good superpower, yeah. Living. Living I mean, to fight another day. This is that's the problem, superpower. Okay? Kyle had invested a lot of points in his VATS aiming system so that when he ran out of ability points, uh, he got more ability points for killing Huber so that he could use VATS again to target uh, Rosenbaum's bicep and shoot it off. They showed every like I loved in the when they the when the defense was showing the video, they're like sl like slow motion of Huber. There he is reaching in there for the gun and that yeah. gun pulling away from Kyle. Well, that's the and problem. It's not I, until I mean, it reaches the end of the strap that Kyle pulls the trigger. Rosenbaum wasted points in sneaking. He thought he was going to sneak up on Kyle. It didn't work very well. Yeah, okay, he should have put more points into aim and to ability points for Vats. Friendly, friendly, friendly. <laughs> He's like, oh, wow, I like friendly. Kyle Rittenhouse was the one who decided who lived or died. The two people who are dead? Wrong, good missus. Wrong. Well, two people are dead. What do you mean? Anthony Huber decided who lived or died. He was the one oh. that ran in on a fucking yeah. dude with an AR. That's listen, fair. Listen. That's true. You and I have no delusions about what's who's gonna who's deciding to mm -hmm. live or die if you run in on a guy with an ar listen yep. that's yeah they made their own decision that's that's i think the biggest that's the biggest problem with these these responses is that they, they don't want to give any responsibility to the people who did this shit like mm -hmm. rosenbaum he he decided if he lived or died he did yep. this true no, no, no. You see, you don't understand. If you if you come to a protest unarmed, you no. lose any responsibility <laughs> for bullshit. your actions. You have no free will, and you become like a feral beast. It's such bullshit. It's see, such Kyle bullshit. Kyle Rittenhouse, really, when he open carries, what he's doing is he's granting himself infinite free will. And so he should have understood that these beasts of people that don't have culpability or free will or consciousness, you know, shouldn't be held, you know, to the standard of a human being. 
then they should back the fuck up. He <laughs> should have just sure. he no. You see, like Adam Rosenbaum was five three. Okay, Kyle should have just put his head his hand on his head and just <laughs> held them back because he swung his arms. Okay, fruitlessly because he's so tiny. I want you to look at this face. This is the face of stupidity right here. This is stupidity embodied. <laughs> look at this. Look at this. Look at this righteous indignation here. Yeah, yeah. I want you to soak this in. This is somebody's mother. Right now, <laughs> some kid, probably cool, probably plays Call of Duty, probably, probably knows what he's probably... He's probably a Kyle Rittenhouse fan, okay? Mm -hmm. He's like, my mom right now <laughs> is on that piece of shit. Crit he's probably he's probably he's probably watching the Sitch and Adam show right now. You're right. Listen, if my you're this mom. kid's if if you're if this lady's your mom, let us know. We'd love to interview you. <laughs> interview you. Reach out to us. Yeah. We want to know what it's like to have a batshit crazy mom. Yes, yes. Well, actually, my mom's a little nutty, so. I wow. Mean, I mean, not this crazy, obviously, but. Mm -hmm. like, Sitch, mm -hmm. your mom was just red-pilled over this Kyle Rittenhouse thing. Yeah. What yeah, my mom was red-pilled, okay? Yeah, but she well, was the, nutty previously. No, I've, I've, I've been pretty effectively red-pilling my mom for like the last year. Okay. Yeah. Well, my this, dad was the one that got really red-pilled on this. This right here. It's the face of the blue pill. Morpheus came in and offered her the red pill. And she's like, yes. nah, I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> it says, uh, according to, regarding that car driving through that crowd of people. Oh, you finally figured it out? I looked, but it I It says, uh, they've, the police have recovered the vehicle and a, quote, person of interest. But they are not saying whether mm -hmm. it's the guy mm -hmm. or lady uh, who did this yet. Okay. So, yeah. Fascinating. There you go. They don't get to claim self-defense. Because... <laughs> yeah, because they're the attackers. You dumb lady. You, don't you know how this works? <laughs> and um, they were shot. They don't get to claim self-defense. I mean, yeah, obviously, they also legally wouldn't have self-defense because they like attacked Kyle completely unprovoked. Yeah. But... Not only that, Greg Gates, Gross Groose was on the fucking stand. Dummy. Dummy. Is it true, Gage, that uh, Kyle only shot at you when you aimed your gun at him? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Correct. Oh, wait, I can actually do that. They don't get to. Can you imagine Gage Grosskreutz claiming self-defense? I know. Yeah, you see, as he's running away from me to the police, and I pull my gun out <laughs> right here from the back. You see, that's what I decided. I'm going to defend myself. When this guy was running away in towards the, the police, direction. and he told me that he was running to the police, that's when I decided now was yeah. the moment to become self-defense man. I mean, she's close on what well, they don't get to claim self-defense. Right. Because they attacked him. They weren't defending themselves. They were unarmed, and they're dead. Gage Grosskreutz had a Glock in his fucking pants. Correct. You dumb, dumb. <laughs> Look. Oh, my God. Look how proud. This is what a proud mom looks like. That's right. Yeah, we need see. This is the problem. It's not the proud boys are the problem. The proud moms are the real issue. Okay. <laughs> this. <laughs> She's so proud of herself. I know. Look at this. I know. Here, I, son, aren't you so proud of me gaslighting America on C? <laughs> On Chris Hayes' Mom, MSNBC. Mom, you're embarrassing me on CNN again. Or MSNBC again. They okay. were unarmed. <laughs> except for Grosskreutz, who had a Glock pointed at Kyle Rittenhouse's head. Yeah, except for that little thing. Right. God, Rittenhouse. Well, and please. also Huber smacking with a skateboard is armed. So Please, Rittenhouse. Defamation suit right here. Yeah, False yeah. statement of fact. They were unarmed. <laughs> I know. I want to see this face in the retraction. I really You're right. Do. The only person that was unarmed was Rosenbaum. He was fucking the craziest one. Yeah. Yeah. Skateboard counts as armed. Yep. Look at this. Watch together's mad at me now. I paused too many times. Yep. You're too triggered by this lady. I am. 
that's pending right now about simply a, a, a colossally concerning ruling in terms of the implication, not just for this, but also the Supreme Court case that's pending right now about permitting systems in New York and, and indeed about a quarter of the states across the country where there are systems in place to determine who should carry guns in public. And the Supreme Court is going to determine whether all of those laws should be overturned. David, as someone, again, who practiced in the criminal justice system, which, um, you know, is both the criminal justice system as constituted in the U.S. is inescapable from racial uh, hierarchy in this country. I mean, if you've ever sat foot in the criminal court. This guy's a former prosecutor. Okay, mm -hmm. This guy's a former binger. How many black people do you think he threw in jail? Oh, Kamala Harris was bragging about it. <laughs> I know. Yeah. God. That's like the, the irony. It is irony. Particularly this case as well, given that. Look. Oh, God. He's got a little. Um... The gap. No, no. That he seemed. That was a little. I felt like what? there's a twinge of. Of guilt. guilt. Yeah. yeah a maybe. twinge of black guilt. Maybe. Very different than white guilt. Yes. Yeah. The black guilt. Like, mm -hmm. oh my God, yeah. Listen, Chris, <laughs> there's like a thousand brothers I've sent up the creek. <laughs> like, half of them were even guilty. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> this turned, this took a dark turn for him. It you did. could tell it, did. it was like, and Chris, old Chris Hayes, who's just dumb as a fucking box of rocks here, he doesn't even <laughs> Chris realize it. He's like, he's negging the guy and he doesn't even know. He's like, maybe I'll get a date out of this. <laughs> Chris Hayes is talking and it cuts to like his internal, that guy's internal POV. And he's got like fortunate son is playing. And you see like <laughs> the judge saying guilty. <laughs> like all these people going to jail. Guilty, guilty, yep. guilty, guilty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it, Chris. I get death threats three times a day, man. I'm in the system. Came out of a protest of a black man being shot and a black guy protest and that was the motivation in some ways for Rittenhouse to go there his three victims were all white the two that died and one that survived he was white as well and I wonder what role you saw as race playing in that context well, Chris to say that actually that question he just asked him was disgusting yeah. because he said as a former prosecutor let me ask you a question that has nothing to do with your area of expertise but is based on your skin color <laughs> I know fucking racist <laughs> what he just shit. said Exactly. That's what he just said. Yeah. That's so weird. Why did he but word it notice, that way? Notice how he skirted the whole thing because he, he yeah. didn't he didn't mention nowhere in the question that he says, "Oh, as a black man," <laughs> like, but that's <laughs> a former totally prosecutor. Totally, what he meant. As a, yeah, exactly. As a former prosecutor, I want you to tell me about your skin color. <laughs> that's what I he know. Just said. He basically, yeah. This is so crazy. Jesus, Chris. This is Come so on. crazy. Really. And look, really? now he's gone back to sleep. <laughs> like that. Like that. He, only, he, he wakes up long enough to ask the question and long, then he powers down long 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 enough to ask the most offensive question you could possibly ask now he's tuckered out you know he's going back to sleep yeah yeah that race played no role in this case which some people have argued like saying that race played no role as race playing in that context well, Chris, to say that race played no role in this case, which some people have argued, is like saying that race played no role in the murder of James Reeb and in the court case that resulted from it. Of course it did, because of what's directly connectable to oh. this case. Now, as I say... Yeah, James Reeb, uh, unfortunately, Man. we have to... He's brought in a new player that we have Of all the people no, to choose, he, he yeah. chose some... Random. He chose like George yeah. Floyd or something. I don't know what he's talking about. James Reeb? I don't... It's like... Hmm. I don't know. I do think that influenced the way the prosecutors went about this. And I think, think that the mistakes that they made in the case are so egregious, you have to wonder why their hearts were not in it. For example, they charged Rittenhouse with shooting and killing Rosenbaum, essentially under a manslaughter charge. And yet Kyle Rittenhouse himself confessed to a higher level offense when he took the stand. So how do you explain that hmm. gap but for the fact that the way the prosecutors bought into the defense's narrative is part of the reason why they lost this case mm. the way that they did. It should have been narrowed down to the basic issue of public safety. And the prosecutors should have taken the position here. Look, folks, do we really want 17 year olds running around with assault rifles, yes. killing people, permanently disabling people and putting other people at risk? That <gasps> is what this case. Yeah. If they're. <gasps> attackers and arsonists Ooh. yeah of course that's exactly what we they want. had no culpability responsibility for their own actions yeah. i'm telling you 
if you do not have an open carry AR, apparently, uh, apparently these idiots on MSNBC think free will is stored not in the balls, yeah, but, <laughs> but in, in the, the AR-15. AR-15. <laughs> yes. And that if you don't have an AR-15 trapped your chest, you just do not have free will. Yeah. Did you find out who, who this other guy? Yes, I did. About is? Which was annoying because there was literally like a million people named uh, James Reed who apparently were killed for some reason. Oh, James Reed is a yeah. That's a James pretty, Scott Reed. In February 2019, man. police officers in Texas shot James Scott Reed in his home uh, during a no-knock drug raid. Mm-hmm. Uh, Reed then 41 had been expecting trouble weeks earlier. Someone drove by his one-story duplex. Open fire on his bedroom window. Mm-hmm. So it seems kind of like another, uh, what's her name? That lady that got shot. Brianna Taylor. Seems like a very similar Brianna Taylor situation where he was expecting drug people to come into his house and the police came. Uh, Reed, let's see. After someone fired in his house, Reed bought a gun. Uh, the sun, I guess it was the same day, had not yet risen when there was a bang at Reed's door. Seconds later, his bedroom window was shattered. This wasn't another drive-by. It was a flashbang device thrown into the window by the Killeen Police Department SWAT agents. They obtained a warrant to conduct a no-knock narcotics raid on his home. Uh, Reed likely didn't know the men were off. Likely didn't know the men were officers when the flashbang flew into his bedroom. It's possible he still didn't know they were law enforcement when they fired at least twenty-three bullets at him, including one that pierced his torso. Well, oh. wait. I'm assuming he fired at them, which is why they fired him, right? This article's garbage. Yeah, who knows? Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. In a series of varying and obviously this article's biased. In a series of varying and somewhat contradictory statements, some of the officers claim Reed stuck his gun out of his bedroom window and fired shots at them. But a woman staying with Reed at the time repeatedly told local media investigators that she never saw Reed fire or point his gun at anyone. And said she said Reed was reaching for his dresser when he was shot to death by the police. That doesn't really make any sense, but um, how would they have gotten into the room that quickly? Uh, Bro- and also, Brock why stated, are you doing reaching for your dresser? I mean, that's where you keep your gun, or right? I don't know. Uh, Brock stated this is actually very similar to the case. There's another guy and a girl in a, in a place expecting drug people to come in and shoot them, and it's the police. Brock said the officers only announced they were law enforcement after the gunfire ended. Ballistic evidence also showed that Reed's handgun was jammed and had a full magazine inside when the police recovered it. Uh, according to a family lawsuit, they're claiming that no. Of his point thirty eight cal- uh, caliber cartridges were recovered from the scene. What does huh. this have to do with the Kyle Rittenhouse stuff, though? That's why I'm like, um, well, Kyle Rittenhouse was a, a junior police officer, and he in, <laughs> no. he had it. He uh, engaged in a no knock warrant on Rosenbaum. <laughs> no, uh, f- no, that no, no. Kyle, Rosenbaum listen. engaged in a no knock warrant on him. <laughs> Like, well, no, on, this is what happened. I, I don't know if you know this. The video is kind of deceptive. Okay. This is actually what happened. Before that night, Kyle Renhouse, who was a junior deputy by the junior police department, mm-hmm. uh, they actually gave him a no-knock warrant on Rosenbaum's uh, house or his tent. Mm-hmm. And Rosenbaum uh, bust into his tent and found out that Rosenbaum had, or Rittenhouse busted into Rosenbaum's tent and found out that he had all this kitty porn there what? and so he was going to arrest rosenbaum and then that's why rosenbaum attacked him that night oh okay so that yeah they, I, you guys didn't know that but that's actually the backstory of what he thought he was gonna night. get even so yeah. basically the guy's bringing it up for no reason whatsoever right so listen the, the moral of the story is uh police don't don't let 17 year old boys engage in no knock warrants okay yeah yeah you have professional about that. really wants this case hmm. since when he charged now. rittenhouse with shooting and killing rosenbaum essentially under a manslaughter charge and yet Kyle Rittenhouse himself see that's a that's a false statement of fact Kyle what? Rittenhouse didn't didn't say he murdered anyone on the stand no I no remember. what he's saying is he's crying saying that the that Binger should have brought different charges against Kyle. right but he says Kyle Rittenhouse on the stand admitted to a more heinous charge like well he admitted to murder. shooting him and killing him so direct i mean intentionally so right well no he didn't well he admitted to intentionally shooting him not intentionally he didn't intentionally desire to kill him yes. right yeah right confessed 
to our higher level offense when he took the stand. So how do you explain that hmm. gap but for the fact that the way the prosecutors bought into the defense's narrative is part of the reason why they lost this case mm. the way that they did. It should have been narrowed down to the basic issue of public safety. And the prosecutors should have taken the position here. Look, folks, do we really want 17 year olds running around with assault rifles, yes. killing people, permanently disabling people and putting other people at risk? That is what this case is about. And this case is about facts that are actually not even remotely relevant. To relevant the to the case. Exactly. Yeah. The gun charge. <laughs> Oh, it's it's such a bullshit. This we is... want seven chills running around with guns. I mean, listen, I don't, but I uh, guess what? Kyle was 100% cleared, boy. He was in the, he was right for everything he did, bitches. Imagine hinging your whole case on the gun charge that gets thrown out because he legally carried the gun. Yes. That would be a huge mistake. I, I mean, know, that's crazy. basically what's happened in the Aubrey case. Like, I they. Know. They did their whole fucking case based on a wrong interpretation of the statute. And the judge swings in at the last minute and was like, well, I don't no. really read the statute that way. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually, that's <laughs> shocking. Like, I, I wonder if if what? they're going to have a case of... Um, oh, that attorney's getting sued. That attorney's yeah, totally getting malpractice sued. malpractice or neg yeah. like a horrible negligence because yes. in the Arbery case... They literally admitted to the crime by accident because the lawyer completely read the statue incorrectly. Yeah. And which, and when I read the statute, it, I don't even understand how the lawyer got the fucking. I know out it's so that. obvious. It's, it's so like, obvious. It's like two sentences. It's pretty simple and clear to me. Um, yeah, I don't know if we should talk about it or we should just like, keep going. But uh, I mean, you can give the basic rundown if you can remember it. So. The basic thing in the Arbery was the self, not self-defense, the citizen's arrest statute. The citizen said, arrest, yeah. Yes. It had two sentences. And the first sentence, actually, I can just, I should just bring it up and read it because it's pretty short as the police, uh-oh, the police are coming for me. But Here, I'll finish this video. I'll yeah, you, you it fit up. it. And yeah. the reason here that that's important is because you don't change people's minds in court. You appeal to what they already believe in. And these people who go around carrying these guns supposedly claim that what they're concerned about is, self is safety. As a prosecution, you've got to say, well, then put your money where your mouth is and hold this person accountable for compromise. I'm fully disgusted by this guy. Like, he's basically saying that yep. you don't change people's minds with evidence you appeal to what they already believe in what the fuck are you doing <laughs> i thought we were supposed to be sniffing out truth here this guy's a fucking prosecutor this guy's mm -hmm. part of the problem listen do we don't want th i it's horrifying to think that we're locking people up who are innocent but how is this system not locking people up who are innocent not with this guy's a fucking prosecutor i mean this is I guess I guess I'm not really in favor of the death penalty unless it's o overtly obvious. But I mean, this is so overtly obvious, and they're getting the complete opposite t read on it. Mm -hmm. I think everyone's safety that night, resulting in two. Quickly, Chris here. Uh, we've got several Republican members of Congress falling over themselves to offer internships at Rittenhouse in one of the most despicable spectacles I've seen recently. Oh, it's Ugh. so despicable! It's so Chris. despicable! Yeah. So despicable! How dare! How dare! Uh, uh, Congress people stand up for the fact that Kyle is totally innocent. Yeah. How dare. So despicable, you guys. Yes. More despicable than this show? Hard to imagine. Very hard to imagine. What message does that send in the wake of that? Horrible message. This is really about armed vigilantism in this country, Chris, which we already know is hugely on the rise. And when you have a situation where an individual can murder Two individuals and grievously injured. Do these people live in a fucking dream world? Mm, no. Another false statement of fact right here. Rittenhouse. I mean, it looks like you might be able to get a couple grand out of her. <laughs> I mean, you got a nice bookshelf. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> it doesn't look like she's rolling in the dough, but yeah. you know. Third. Yeah. Uh, with Chris Brown. Is that her name? Chris Brown. Yep. Pres President Brady. Okay, Chris Brown. I got to look into yeah. this. We have she to examine. About, she's on some Brady active. Uh, we have thing. to. We have to look at her Twitter just yep. to see how's in total. Chris Brown. Oh shit! Thing. You're right. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> Come on, Chris Brown. Twitter. No consequences. You are encouraging that across the country, and we see God. murder 
two individuals and grievously a third uh, with no consequences. You are encouraging and inciting that across the country. And we see the linkages with this, with so much happening, the threats against public officials, the January 6th inter insurrection. All Every time. Every, <laughs> this that The January 6th, whenever anyone brings that up, it's another huge MPC test. I know. It is. It's giant. Look, this woman obviously... Like ninety percent of her news diet is in MSNBC. Mm -hmm. it's... These things are linked, and the targets too often, Chris, are individuals uh, of color. The, yeah. the 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 linkage here between white supremacy, guns, and and our fundamental rights being put at risk are huge. Chris Brown and David Henderson, thank you both. Really appreciate it. I sent you. Uh, someone sent me. That was the terrible. Clip. Yeah, I know. I'm very angry now. Someone, that's good. That was the point of this. Uh, someone sent me the clip of Kyle saying that he supports the BLM. If you want to play really, it real quick on yes, Twitter. so yeah, I send it. To, I DM'd it to you. Yes, I knew I saw it. Listen. Yeah. Oh no 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 no! This is the new clip. This isn't the old clip. Oh okay. Damn it! <laughs> I'm so excited. I wanted to brag. Someone also sent me a picture of our old friend Corn Cob Jake. Mm -hmm. Corn Cobb Jake says maintaining order equals being a criminal vigilante illegally trafficking guns across state lines without a gun license at 17 and then firing the weapon at people with intent to kill okay that's the standard lol buy yourselves a gun BLM there you go Do I think this was this was oh, from last year this was his so response funny. So, yeah there you go so okay so I, I found this the uh while you're setting that that up I found I found the statute. Mm -hmm. It says arrest by a private person. Oh, this is uh, Ahmed two... Aubrey. Statute yes, this is in the Aubrey reading case. here. So this is yeah. uh, the in the case. Just to recap, the, the attorneys basically had a different reading of the statute than the judge. And the judge right. stepped in last minute and was like, well, kind of, I don't really read it that way. Here's right. the way I read it. And the, the attorneys are like, what the fuck, judge? <laughs> So, yeah, the, the attorney says, if you interpret this and put this in the jury instructions, you're basically giving a directed verdict against my client. Yeah, we which lose. Which is kind of true. But uh, so this is the this is the, the statute. It's only two sentences. It says, uh, arrest by a private person. A private person may arrest an offender if the offense is committed in his or her presence or within his immediate knowledge. Okay. Mm -hmm. Seems fairly straightforward, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Citizens arrest right in front of me. If it's in, if it's committed in their presence or within their immediate knowledge, right? Okay? I gotta see it, right? I see sentence sitch. two. Yeah, do something. Sentence sentence two. If the offense is a felony, and the offender is escaping or attempting to escape, a private person may arrest him upon reasonable and probable grounds of suspicion. Right. So okay. if it's a felony, I can chase you down. Right. If you steal so what, a candy bar, nah, not so much. So what the defense for Arbery, the Arbery, I can't remember the guy's name, the guy, the defense in the Arbery lawyer was arguing was that, that these sentences have to be taken as separate entities mm -hmm. and that the, the first sentence that says the offender, a private person may arrest an offender if they only if they have committed the offense in their presence or have immediate knowledge. They're trying to say that that only applies to non-felony offenses mm -hmm. and that the felony sentence is a completely different sense and a completely different idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which and, I, I don't mean, know how anyone could read that that way. And the judge, <laughs> the judge is saying, well, you already lost because you didn't see him do it in, in front of you. Well, the judge isn't saying that, but what happened was the defense lawyer argued that they did not see, which they didn't, they did not see him commit the offense or have immediate knowledge of any offense being committed. Yeah. So the lawyer basically argued that they have no defense and they, that he could not legally make a citizen's arrest based on his shitty reading of the law. So yeah. I don't know. That seems baffling to me how, how he could fuck that up. But... All right. I have the Kyle Rittenhouse clip. Okay. Up. I guess we'll have to do a three, two, one. You want to do that? Yeah. It's so much fun. Ready? Three. Two, one.
This case has nothing to do with race. Um, it never had anything to do with race. It had to do with the right to self-defense. Right. Um, I'm not a racist person. I support the BLM movement. I support peacefully demonstrating. And I believe there needs to be change. I believe there's a lot of prosecutorial misconduct, not just in my case, but in other <laughs> cases. And it's just amazing to see how, how much a prosecutor can take advantage of somebody. This case has nothing to do with race. Kyle Rittenhouse, number one advocate for criminal justice reform. This is crazy. <laughs> How hilarious this is, is that? Crazy. Be? Reality is just like splitting in two directions right now. How so amazing far. would that be if Kyle Rittenhouse becomes some like massive criminal justice reform advocate and just like the left's brain just melts on this one? It would be amazing. Yeah. It would. I'm scared. I'm scared of the criminal justice system now. Right. Yeah. Oh my God! If if he gets some sweet defamation money and uses that money to to work on criminal justice reform, he could meet Kim Kardashian for heaven's sakes. So, I looked at Chris Brown's uh, Twitter. Mm-hmm. Chris feed. Brown is there another famous Chris Brown? I'm just there might be there might be <laughs> might be someone who beat someone up named Chris Brown. This is a different. This is the lady we just watched. Everybody, it's a different Chris Brown. She has she has retweeted. A picture, someone else who has a picture of Huber and a picture of Rosenbaum. Mm-hmm. And it says, I'm tired of seeing that murderer's face. Here are the two allies that went out to protest that night in defense of black lives. They never came home, Joseph Rosenbaum and Anthony Huber. <laughs> there you go. Joseph Rosenbaum, big advocate for BLM. Yeah. <laughs> Screaming the N word. <laughs> Jeez. <sighs> oh. These terrible i know anyways well, our next video our this next does say, this does say watch our exclusive interview tomorrow at 8 p.m eastern time it is the, the oh, big okay. kyle so right. house interview is tomorrow right yeah 8 p.m so everyone eastern, was fox news fucking with you i don't have fox news i'm like cableless now so you can watch you don't have oh you don't have cable at all no i mean i don't blame you i got rid of it it was stupid yeah i'm like that's i a never good, watch a... this that's true. I never. I should get rid of mine. I never watch it either. Yeah, cut the cord, man. What are you doing? I should. Although I, I internet, do really. wish, I do wish uh, I could watch this sweet Kyle Rittenhouse interview. But that's the problem. I had the. I did have to use my cable to get some of these juicy, juicy footages. I'm sure so. you did. Yeah. Sure look, you what did. lucky who it is. Yeah. Is it bad that she reminds me of Brian Fellows? Who's that? You don't know Brian Fellows? No. Really? I'm Brian Fellows. Brian up, Fellows. Look up Brian Fellows. Who that? I wonder if it'll... Uh, oh, wait. Brian. This is an SNL sketch? Yeah. Tracy Morgan plays Brian Tracy Fellows. Tracy Morgan is playing like a Safari Planet character? Yeah. Why does she remind you of him? Just the way she moves and stuff. Oh, uh, that's funny. Might be the lip gloss. <laughs> oh, you're right. He's wearing like crazy lip gloss in this clip. Brian Fellows was one of when Saturday Night Live actually used to be funny. I don't think I ever saw this bit. Brian Fellows played like a moron. <laughs> he's he's basically like Crocodile Dundee, but afraid of animals. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. But so, terrified of animals and knows nothing. This about is them. uh Zerlinda. The woke witch. I know. Not Melinda the good witch. Zelinda the woke witch. And she's sitting in for Lawrence O'Donnell on Oh the last my hour. God, no. Yes. Before she was shuttled off to the the, re- the corners of mm-hmm. streaming NBC Peacock, but now mm-hmm. she's allowed on uh, <laughs> prime time. Back to prime time. This is, uh, she's interviewing. This is her famous interview with the president of the NAACP. You mm-hmm. may have seen some clips of this. But let us continue. Mm-hmm. What is your visceral reaction to the verdict today? You know, it's unfortunate for the families of the victim uh, with this outcome. We all witnessed and seen on screen what happened. Uh, but it's a true tale of what we need to do moving forward. Here's a judge that's been elected for the past three days, mostly unopposed. I hope that community take note and recognize that this particular judge 
is not providing justice for that community. In addition to that, the jury pool question is a real question that we must embrace in a way in which we... Do you hear that? What is happening in the background? Someone typing? It's, no, it's not, it sounds like, like he's in a laundromat. Like, what's going on here? It does sound a little bit like that. He just said that the Increase judge increased the number of people run for three days. I yeah, you like, know that this judge has only been a judge for three days. Though. I had no idea. He seemed like he'd been doing it for like thirty years. But... I thought he was the longest serving judge in the state, but apparently he's only been a judge for three days. Yeah, like, that's what they tonight. said. Yeah. yeah, right. Wow. Look, we learn all sorts of things. Okay. I'm learning a lot. Yeah, keep talking. Increase the number of people. I think, he mis I think he misspoke. I think it was just a that was a typo. I'm listening for the laundry mat and willing to serve on juries it was an injustice this oh yeah that's definitely he's got he left some change in his pocket that's just what it, it sounds like it's only still enough change in their pants listen if you're gonna if you're going to wash those suspenders you got to take the buckles off okay <laughs> this was worse than the Emmett Till trial this was worse to so whoa, many whoa, trials whoa, where whoa, 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 whoa. I know I know wow wow what just oh, happened wait. here it's all fucked up for me hold on I gotta reload it this I had is, I woke so hard I broke worse. the watch together. In addition to that, this is worse than the Emmett Till trial. Who, who's, no, what, he didn't just say that, right? Who's, who is who is Emmett Till in this scenario? He, he couldn't have possibly have said that, right? That this particular judge. Is I mean, not, I I'm kind of curious. Is he saying Rittenhouse is Emmett Till? Maybe we're. <laughs> wait, wait. Let's go. Let's let's listen. Let's listen. Mm -hmm. Providing justice for that community. And to that, the jury pool question is a real question that we must embrace in a way in which we increase the number of people who are registered to vote and willing to serve on juries. It was an injustice. This was worse than the Emmett Till trial. This was worse to so many trials where we. <laughs> what the fuck? Did he misspeak? What the hell's wrong with this guy? Emmett Till is How a is famous this? trial where the, like, didn't the town lynch Emmett Till or something and the the people who did it got off because the jury didn't convict them? Emmett Till was yeah. a 14-year-old black kid in yeah. Mississippi in the 50s who was yeah. accused of whist wolf whistling yeah. or offending some kind of white lady. Yeah. And uh, he was brutally murdered and lynched. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and the people who did it, people know, who did it were acquitted. Acquitted. No, they yeah. weren't even acquitted. They, um, they didn't. They uh, what was it called? Mm -hmm. The grand jury declined to indict them in the first place. But who is uh, who is who is Emmett Till in this situation? I'm not. Uh, obviously the, obviously it's. I would imagine what he's saying is that he's comparing Karen House getting uh, acquitted. Mm -hmm. As the same level of injustice as the people who lynched Emmett Till, yeah, uh, not being indicted in the first place. Okay, I got you. Which so is saying, fucking insane. So he's saying Kyle Rittenhouse is basically the lyncher. Yeah, yeah gotcha. Yeah. And, uh, right. Rosenbaum is his Emmett Till. Right. Yeah. The, the guy screaming the N word. Yeah. And uh, beating not... his girlfriend. Convicted pedophile, he is now hearkened to Emmett Till. I know. Yes. There's a lot of sympathy for Emmett Till. I don't know how you could hear the story and not have <laughs> like sympathy for what grave yes. injustice Emmett Till suffered. How, but to how is sully this guy... Emmett Till's name with this whole comparison to fucking Rosenbaum and Anthony Huber is ridiculous. How is he not like immediately fired from the NAACP? On yeah, the I spot? know. Exactly. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? You went on you went on national television and you compared Emmett Till to a five time pedophile. What the <laughs> fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck? This man? is the NAACP. Oh no. You moron. <laughs> Please stop. Stop. What you a know for a dummy. fact individuals committed murder and yet they were not uh brought to justice. It is unfortunate. But this is America. This is America. Do you think that it emboldens other people to pick up guns and go to protests or, you know, uh, communities of color to terrorize folks? I mean, I feel like one of the, the dangerous precedents. Can someone turn off the fucking washing machine? What, the, like, what is going Maybe. on here? I swear to God, it's driving me crazy. I hear like, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. like what is that sound? 
Maybe it's Zarina. Maybe she's doing her laundry. <laughs> They're both on green screen, so they could be in the laundry room. <laughs> That's true. They could be anywhere. We, we don't know yeah. where they are. They're in the laundry room. Oh, okay. Jeez, MSNBC, you can't spring to give uh, Z- Zelinda the woke witch and the president and double ACP, like a room that's not next to the NBC laundry room, please. Okay, they're not, they're at home. They're in their home studios. Oh, Come I on. see. They're both naked from the waist down. We can't <laughs> Probably. tell. I have, my pants are in the dryer right now. <laughs> I, got an, I got another interview in 30 minutes. He spilled coffee on his pants. Yeah. It happens. This sets as people who don't live in a particular community will go to where unrest is at- Mother you mean like Gage? Fucker. Gage Grosskirts? God, I fucking hate this. Just this attitude. Did you not listen to any of the fucking trial? God, <laughs> this is so ridiculous. How dare someone go to a different community where they don't live at them? How dare? Where their dad lives. How dare? Where how they, dare Gage Grosskirts drive an hour? Oh, wait a minute. I mean, how dare Kyle Redhouse drive 20 minutes? Yeah. I'm sorry. How, I missed up my dare, talking points. How dare Rosenbaum walk four hours? How dare this convicted pedophile mm. brain damaged coma patient walk four hours? After a police shooting. We've seen police shootings happen far too often. Well, this is the legacy of the Trump administration. Is it? <laughs> oh my God, Sitch. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, how is he going to shoot no. Trump in here somehow? No, please. Somehow he's going to have to, like, he's under contractual obligation. You have to shoehorn Trump in this somehow. Is- this is where you kind of win me over to the argument about just Trump Donald driving them Trump. fucking Ooh. insane. Like the, the TDS, the TDS is too over. much. The tired written it's house too, case. It's Ooh. too much. It's too much. There's this TDS is too too potent. Okay, it's too potent. It's too like powerful. brain disease. It is. It's brain rot. It's about the otherness and emboldened so many people in Charlottesville. Or- <laughs> Far too often. Well, this is the legacy of the Trump administration. It is, it is about the otherness and emboldened so many people, whether it's in Charlottesville or the synagogue in Pittsburgh or in this, this case, where people feel like it is okay to display their white supremacist behavior <laughs> in the public square, unfortunately for the families of the victims of this murder. Here's a 17-year-old who came across... How is that not worthy of a defamation? I know. He just said. He just now called Kyle. He called out of this. every one of those people white supremacists. Yeah, displaying white and, supremacist behavior. Right. And he co- directly compared them to the Pittsburgh synagogue shooting. I know, who's obviously fucking what racist. What the fuck? Yeah. And Charlottesville, which was, you know, a fucking right. racist riot. Jesus, it's disgusting. Or a rally, rather, not a riot. Yeah. Right. Even when the racists rally, they don't riot. He <laughs> lines with a firearm that he purchased illegally by his mother. To a community that did not invite him, allegedly protecting property that was not his. That is a. Look at all these wrong statements. I know that is. He a crossed false state of lines fact. with an illegal gun, that and he was driven by his mother, and in they a, didn't ask him to protect the property. In a community that didn't invite him, bitch. Dominic Black was his best fucking friend. Okay. Fuck the guys. The the car owners asked them to be there. Totally. Yeah. The car owners drove him. Dominic Black and Kyle to the place. They're like, okay, let's drive you to the place we want you to protect. Yeah, here it okay. is. Here Here's it is. the ladder if you need to get on the roof. <laughs> Property and, and, and uh, by to support law enforcement officers who didn't need support. And so they- lies. <laughs> it's also untrue. They definitely totally need support. Totally untrue. Yeah. yeah. They had no fu- they weren't able to answer 911 calls anywhere in the fucking city. Can you imagine? How, what do you, what kind of emboldening of criminal behavior does it uh, stoke when the p- cops basically say, oh, we can't answer 911 calls tonight? I know, it's terrifying. Yeah. If anyone wants to do any revenge killing, now's the night you know, to do it. <laughs> I want to see that information. Okay. Yes. How many people died or were injured? Because they tried to call 911 on one of those nights in Kenosha and they either had no response or slow response because yes. of the riots. Yes. Because exactly. those people rioting are 100% culpable for that. Yeah. You want to break into your neighbor's apartment? Now's the time to do it. We can't right. come out. 
insane. There is no logical reason for him to be there. The fact that this judge dismissed now he's insulting logic, Sitch. There's no logical reason. He's just look, this guy just has like the talking point buzzword bingo. He got like all the 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 buzzwords from all the MSNBC anchors, and he's just kind of rearranging them as he sees fit. Come on. Come on, premise. Riots (laughs) two days in a row. (laughs) Premise two. Come on, this is totally logical. Arm charges, which should not have, uh, uh, shouldn't have been dismissed. The real question here is: Was there a federal crime committed? Should the Biden administration be bringing federal charges oh in this God. case? Do we have a U.S. attorney that's been appointed in this jurisdiction so that we can look at whether or not this is despicable? It is totally. I'm, wh- I'm Biden. I'm calling on you to use your powers, President, to get the fucking feds involved in this case. I'm just God. waiting for this to totally deteriorate into. And if the Biden administration won't do it, can we get enough people together to go to his house <laughs> with a with a rope and with pitchforks? Yeah. <laughs> and torches and yeah. ropes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know. Can we get a stagecoach and Todd <laughs> feather him up? It's ridiculous. Do we have a rail to tie him on so we can carry him out of the town? Exactly. Uh, this young man should be charged. You and I both Wait, know, had this person been African-American or Lat- uh, a Lat- a Latino, he would be behind bars tonight. And unfortunately, unfortunately... Fake. If the he family- was... If this kid, if Kyle was black, they would never have brought charges in the first place. This is the this is the king argument that triggers nope. me more than anything, Sitch, mm-hmm. because I can't figure out what the fuck they're saying. Because they're basically they're admitting are are they admitting that the criminal justice system is unfair and therefore if he was black the, this unfair criminal justice system, which we've all seen, would that's what they're saying. Him. Yeah. So then they are admitting that Kyle Rittenhouse got an unfair case. If that's the case, they're admitting that the charges against Kyle Rittenhouse were unfair. Listen, don't think about it too much. Adam. <laughs> I mean, okay. that's the thing. It's the, that's the problem here. He that's a complete contradiction. Stop asking questions. Listen. Okay. Is the criminal justice system unfair? And does that unfairness disproportionately affect blacks? If if yes, then then Kyle Rittenhouse should go free. If no, then Kyle Rittenhouse is uh, is convicted. Stop asking so the questions. Will- I just it's just it baffles me here. Not receive justice. We need a back. We need a follow up question, Zarina. Come on, get in there. This. What is the role of civil rights organizations um, in this particular moment? How do you see your role um, with... Well, my role is to go on TV and lie about everything. <laughs> His role is obviously to try to race grift and start a fucking race riot and a race war. My role is By to just lie lying off television. his fucking ass. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> This is so bad. An organization like the NAACP that's connected to this long history. I see this case as a a part of the history that we're all living through. How do you see your place in it? Well, it it is definitely a part of history we're living through. In fact, the reason why the NAACP was created because on average an African-American was being lynched every day when we were created in 1909. And so for our advocacy voice, once we must reform our criminal justice systems too, in terms of the communities that we represent, that we must encourage a a heightened engagement, particularly when you have judges who are elected or... The ghost of the person that started the NAACP is like... Yeah, super bad. Derek... What the fuck are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> You've destroyed the name of my prioritization. This was started because fucking black guys were getting lynched. And now you're crying that we didn't get to lynch a white kid. Who's I not know. White people. No shit. That, How look, far have we fallen? This is the thing. This is exactly yeah. the thing. Like, are yeah. you are you truly in favor of criminal justice reform? Or are you just, do you just want to maintain the crooked system and go out that crooked system to attack white people instead of black people? Talk about the utter failure of our institutions. Yeah. It's, it, this was the same thing as like when the ACLU had their whole long spiel about Kyle. And you're like, this is the ACLU, the people that defended Nazis' rights to protest. And now they're attacking Kyle Rittenhouse and saying that this was an injustice that, that he was let off. 
like what this is what is going on is this idiocracy is this just complete no it's it's not idiocracy what it is is it's 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 socialism it's cultural mm. marxist nonsense has infiltrated really? all of these institutions yeah listen whenever you say that mm -hmm. it sounds totally conspiracy it sounds like talking about <laughs> msnbc being run no. by the cia you think it does it's, it's very simple all it the, does no, all woke left woke activism right now is completely dominated by leftists. Okay, leftists it's and true. socialists. That's yeah. not a conspiracy yeah. theory. Like yeah. fucking admit it. There's literally the video of the person for BLM saying we're all trained Marxists here, right, guys? Wink, wink, wink. Yeah, you know. can't get you can't get a job at like MSNBC or CNN without giving like some sort of diversity and inclusion statement. Right. Like you basically have to bow to the woke mob just to get a job at one of these places conservatives or not they're not hiring conservatives at any of these places anymore well, of course not yeah yeah jury pools that are not as diverse as necessary the sad part of what we're witnessing like right the, this is like he wants to bust. he's like we need to bust in an all-black jury for, like mm -hmm. from chicago <laughs> this is why they wanted to keep the jury in now i know why they wanted to keep the jury in kenosha they wanted a jury of people who lived through the kenosha of shit, like bullshit right now is the potential outcome of the Ahmad Arbery uh, uh, killing that those three individuals actually did. We've seen that on tape. And unfortunately, in that community with 25 percent African-Americans, only one juror, we are unfortunately uh, faced with the same outcome. We cannot have a justice system. Look, he's just he's basically saying that every single person is racist and only. Right votes on a jury based on right. race like the yeah. facts be damned they make no difference whatsoever yeah. well you'll see one when the arbory guys get convicted he'll have amnesia and forget he said this and oh of like, course oh. of course he will you know so that's unjust well nobody's inviting when the arbory case is settled you know to a just conclusion these guys are convicted okay here's my here's my prediction i was actually going to draw a little stick figure comic of this mm -hmm. uh this weekend Mm -hmm. But I didn't have the time because I was doing this. But uh, I'm still gonna do it because I gotta get this out here. Okay, mm -hmm. here's my here's Stitch's prediction. Mm -hmm. Mark my words for Kyle Rittenhouse. What prediction for what here? For for the Arbery reaction. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, next week, the Arbery people will be found guilty mm -hmm. of murder, and all the MSNBC and all the fucking woke shitty people on Twitter are gonna be trying to smugly shove in the Kyle Rittenhouse people faces that the Arbery guys are going to jail for murder. Mm -hmm. And all the Kyle Rittenhouse defenders are going to say, good. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, they should. Yeah, they're going to say good or we don't care. Yeah. We don't really give a shit. And all the people who were trying to use the Arbery uh, killers as props are going to get very triggered by this. And they're all gonna go on their little blog post, and they're all gonna they're gonna tweet and say, "Oh, these Kyle Rittenhouse people are coping in siege, and that the Arbery guys are going <laughs> yeah, to jail." They are. And they're gonna make they? up. Yeah, they're gonna make up a completely fake like narrative oh that all God. the Kyle Rittenhouse people are mad about this. I'm telling. I this is the oh prediction. Oh my God, I'm you're so you. true. This is exactly what they do. This is they're what gonna, they yeah. do every time. They're like, yep. "Oh, copium right there." Yep. Oh. Oh, the cow, Wait, like, because they're going to be like, they're, these people are so, or some of these people are so pathetic and they're so cynical that they literally are seeing this as like a game where they're like, oh, well, the Kyle Rinhouse people won that last week, but we're going to win this week and then we're going to rub it in their faces. And then when, when we don't give a fuck, they're going to just, they're going to be so pissed about it. They're going to be so triggered about it that they're just going to have to make up like we care. They are going to do that though. They do yep. this all the time. This is like academic agent all over again. Oh, you guys are coping like crazy. You guys the are House people are coping. major cope. They're coping seething right now. They're all pretending like they don't care, but they really do. Here, I found a tweet of like some person with like a, like a hundred followers on Twitter. Look how much she's angry about this. Right. Yeah. I'm telling you. Right. I'm, here, that's my prediction. I'm telling you. It's a solid we'll prediction. It. I'm in yeah. with you. I wouldn't bet okay. against that prediction. That's going to be all over Twitter. I can't wait. We have a legal system that's void of justice for Americans and Latinos outcome. We cannot have a justice.
a system that's unjust. We have a legal system that's void of justice for African Americans and Latinos across the country, and in many cases, poor whites as well. In many cases, for poor whites as well. Yeah, we go. saw that with Kyle Rittenhouse. That's what, many such cases. Yeah, yes. we saw that with Kyle Rittenhouse. Yeah, what the fuck? Fortunately, your boy Sitch mm -hmm. came in strong to get the rest of the the Zalinda. Uh, oh, they cut it off because that was all that was available oh on YouTube. God. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my God. Congressman Gwen Moore of Wisconsin. She is a member of the CBC and the House Ways. She's a congressman for Wisconsin. I'm sure she has a completely reasonable, nuanced, fact based opinion about the Coward House case. It's congresswoman? <laughs> or they say congressmen. Congresswoman. And means committee. Congresswoman, Congress thank person. you so much for being here on this historic night. Oh my goodness, I'm this what a way to end the day with you, Zerlina. Good evening. <laughs> she, uh, she you remind pretty, me of my granddaughter. She you want seems, some hot candy? She seems pretty stoked about this Kyle Rittenhouse case. Oh, okay. So the context let me explain because I didn't I cut it out. The big so the beginning was they're talking about, you know, the house passed the uh infrastructure reform. Right. So that's why she's to happy. She's not happy better. about Kyle. Passed, She's not happy about Kyle Rittenhouse. We passed the Build Back Better. We're gonna build back better, Zulina. I'm actually, actually, I wonder if she's pissed because, like, she probably came on to be like, "Oh, let me talk, talk about this about, oh legislation God, no. that I'm so happy we passed." And then she's like, "Oh, I'm sorry, Grandma. You want to be happy? Fuck you. We're talking about Kyle Rittenhouse. <laughs> Bye. Sneak attack. Yeah. Sneak attack. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if that's wow. what happened. Is she in? Kyle Rittenhouse took place in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. And she's yeah. a congresswoman in Wisconsin. Yep. Right. So her constituents probably have family in Kenosha if she's right. not the Kenosha. Well, maybe, I don't, she's probably not uh, that county. But Thank you so much. It was a historic day, like I said, full of ups and downs. 85 minutes of Kamala Harris being the president, build back better, passing through. The first woman president. <laughs> It doesn't count. Amazing. That does not count. What? No, it does. No, give me a break. Kamala Harris. Give me president, president. Kamala Harris was the first female president. Let that sink in, Hillary there you Clinton. Go. House, but also the Kyle Rittenhouse verdict. And that's what I want to start with. Look at the, oh, she's like, oh, shit. <laughs> You're totally <laughs> right. You're totally right. That big grin. It's not looking so big anymore. Shrinking away. Says what a reaction. To the verdict. What does what say? Uh, Kenosha falls under Wisconsin's first congressional district. The representative is Brian Steele. Mm -hmm. There you go. Let's see. Brian, Brian Steele. Steele. S T E I L. Mm -hmm. There you go. Brian yeah. Steele. Let's we'll have cool, to man. see. Um, Brian Steele, Kenosha. We'll have to see. Um, We'll have to watch his race, see if this Kenosha stuff hurt him. Well, just let me start out by saying, by recalling something that it, a, a defense, a late defense attorney, a good friend of mine once told me that not guilty is not the same thing as innocent. Um, and I think that that's what we have here. I absolutely was not surprised by the verdict. And, uh, you know, as soon as I realized that this judge was going to throw out the two very minor misdemeanor counts uh, of his violating curfew as a 17 year old being out uh, and then carrying a weapon uh, as an underage person that completely uh, took the pathway, I think, to the conviction of anything further. Uh, uh, than that. And then he protected uh, this defendant's character. The jury never heard anything about Ridden's house state, state of mind, um, uh, you know, shortly after and during this event, you know, when he walked around with a t-shirt saying free as F and, uh, uh, and hanging out with uh, white supremacist groups and, and, and so yeah, they have, they have no facts. They have to rely on all this emotional bullshit. Yeah. He had a shirt that said free as F. He hung out with the Proud Boys. Doesn't, and I, 
you know, it was so interesting to me to find out that uh, Richard's, I don't know if it was Richard's decision or Kyle's decision, but that, that Kyle's lawyer was fired over that photo op. They're saying, oh, he's this evil white nationalist. And yet after that came out, they, that's what got his lawyer fired, his mm-hmm. previous lawyer, John Pierce. Yeah. yeah what, sure about the sti- what about the previous history of Huber holding a knife to his family member's throats? None of that. What matters. about the, no. yeah. What about the state but, of mind of that he was attempted suicide a week earlier? Yeah. yeah. What about the state of mind of Rosenbaum attempting suicide and being a crazy person? No, you'll never no. hear any of that. Um, it, you know, as of probably in seeing what a fair trial looks like uh, in some sort of twisted way. Hmm. One of the things uh, you mentioned. Hold on, I missed that. Seeing what a and hanging out with uh, white supremacist groups and 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 so on, um, it, you know, as a black person, I'm probably in seeing what a fair trial looks like uh, in some sort of twisted way. Wow, she actually <laughs> she actually this is the first person we've had on this whole show that like nailed it. Mm-hmm. Don't you think? What do you mean? Was she saying that the the judge gave him a fair trial as opposed to everyone else saying it was totally biased? Is that what she said? Wait. Um, it, you know, as a black person, I'm probably in seeing what a fair trial looks like. Is she being sarcastic or is she she's actually saying, saying that saying Kyle received a, a fair trial? As a black person, I'm for the first time seeing what a fair <laughs> trial right. looks like. She just admitted that the trial was fair. Well, this is this is a tough... This is a tough. I missed that. This is tough, and it would be nice to ask a follow up question, but you just have like the dumbest person on television actually yeah, talking to her. Right. But I'm curious because I would I would follow up with, well, I thought the judge was very fair, but I don't think the prosecutor was very fair at all. I think the prosecutor obviously tried tactics that were not interested in what the truth of the situation was, but was only interested in perhaps right. Know, True. Very true. Yeah, I wouldn't man. call this necessarily a fair trial at all. Yeah, but I would I, see. That's why it's tricky because it is. I thought the judge was like very fair. Like even the the stuff that they're saying was unfair bias was mm-hmm. fair, right? The well, victims thing. I don't know because I, I mean, maybe it was just the defense is failing, which is possible. But I, I. The, I think it's crazy that the judge allowed those blurry fucking drone zoom oh, yeah, in yeah, photos yeah, yeah, to be yeah. allowed into yeah. evidence. Yeah. That was crazy. Uh, in some sort of. Oops. You do that. Twisted way. One of the things uh, you mentioned is the fact that there's a lot of evidence, obviously, um, that we can talk about here um, that wasn't necessarily in the jury room as the jury deliberated. So I think the specifics about this this particular case, people are going to be talking that for for the end of till the end of time. In terms of the bigger picture and what's happening in this country, I think this this trial happens within the context of the two other trials related to white vigilante violence, the Charlottesville civil trial and also the trial of the men who killed Ahmed Arbery down in Georgia. Do you think this verdict, this acquittal, will embolden other white vigilantes or other folks to oh commit God. acts of violence against Black Lives Matter protesters or anyone who stands up on behalf of civil rights? Well, I mean, that's the... These fucking assholes. They, like, this is... This is why I stopped watching. This is the original reason I stopped watching the news back before I became like aware and red pilled was that they all just get like the same five talking, talking points. points. I know it's ridiculous. And they all just regurgitate them. They add nothing new to them. Yeah. Don't you think he's is embodying white vigilantism, even though that makes absolutely no fucking sense? Well, they're trying yeah, to plant totally the meme. Agree. They're trying to You're plant right. the meme. They're Repetition. trying to say white supremacy yep. is on the rise. Show up, vote yep. Democrat. Shut the fuck up, vote Democrat. Shut the yep. like white supremacy. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You got two places to be: under your bed, hiding from white supremacy, or in the Democrat voting booth, voting for the next <laughs> Democrat politician we put in front of you. Here, eat your slop. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was actually surprised to hear Joy Reid run so much defense for uh what kamala uh, no it's 
totally obvious. She's got no, but a I mean, a spot in the administration. No, but in terms of being more like she didn't, because there's two routes. You can either be completely shill for the administration, or you can be the far left type, but trying to bully them into being more far left. Mm-hmm. No. And I'm interested. Is that's what I would have. If I had to guess, I would have thought Joy would have taken the more far left approach, considering she's gone full CRT. She's establishment all the way, Joy Reid. But no, like, she's a total she's fraud. Fr- she went. She's a Harvard racist. Now mm-hmm. I love calling her a Harvard racist. It feels so good because <laughs> that just totally sullies heart. You think Harvard wants to wants to churn out racists? Fuck all no. these Harvard racists. She's a Harvard. She's a Harvard. Harvard taught her that racism. Don't think they didn't. Right. You know what? That's actually, you accidentally stumbled upon the best branding ever. Yeah. Instead of calling something reverse racism, which doesn't really make sense, call it Harvard racism. Yeah, no. She's a Harvard racist. Harvard Harvard racism. She's the most racist person on television, graduate of Harvard, Harvard racist. Makes perfect sense. That's the chilling um, concern and worry uh, about this. You know, I was never for the uh, open carry law. Uh, we have far too many guns as as it is in our society. Um, again, Rittenhouse uh, got off on some technicality about how the state statute was written that allowed him to have this AR-15, this underage uh, would-be uh, safety patrol officer. I I, <laughs> I, I, I I wonder if this is not going to spread. And then, <laughs> Zerlina, I have heard and I have seen that the so-called Second Amendment consortium of groups and, uh, you know, white supremacists are offering him all kinds of internships. And oh, my God, she just called Ooh. Matt Gates a white supremacist. Yeah, there's your. Uh, wow. There's your defamation. Wow. Opportunities. And it's very well, frightening. The mess. I like that. She said he gets off on this technicality of the law. You mean he gets off on what the law says the law i know exactly <laughs> like is it aren't is it aren't all laws technicalities like isn't that the entire point of the law yeah, it is all it spells technical. out something very technical and you either fall into it or you don't yeah that it sends uh beyond the the trees what they had in front of them their quote unquote not guilty verdict versus <laughs> the the reality uh, that he is being bullied uh, and elevated, uh, uh, you know, and, and has really shown little to no remorse about having killed people uh, and only being concerned about his own plight, for, you know, in my estimate. The kid who is like dry heaving on the witness stand. Yeah, another total fucking lie. The kid who is going to therapy for PTSD. Yeah. But now he has no remorse. Total fucking lie. I mean, he said a time and time again. Yeah, Richard said for him that he. Richard said that he wished he didn't have to do it. Yeah. If well, and also Richard said that if he obviously if he knew what was going to happen, he would never have gone. Yeah. So no. Yeah. Very much remorseful. Get get the fuck out of here, lady. Joining us now is my. Oh my God. Oh, so yeah, if you notice there's some jump cuts, because like I cut around all they talk about all like non Kyle stuff, so I just cut all that out. Oh, really? So, okay. That's where the jump cuts come in from. Just this letting you racist know. lady. It's that lady. It's a, a more racism on TV. Just what we yep. need. More racist yep. TV. I'm so glad I got rid of cable. <laughs> Wiley, a civil rights professor and MSNBC legal contributor, also civil rights professor. What does that mean? What does that even mean? It means you're a professor of civil rights, Adam. You're going to teach civil rights? Yeah, sure. Hmm. Teresa Kumar, president and CEO of Voto Latino and and also an MSNBC contributor. I'm so glad you're both here uh, with me on this very uh, consequential day. Same question to both of you. Uh, Maya, I want to start with you. How how do we square the, the progress that we're seeing Democrats make legislatively with this verdict today um, and the fact that conservatives are celebrating uh, Kyle Rittenhouse and the acquittal. We also need to be a country of peace. 
But peace is a choice and it does not come in the absence of justice. And so unless we're paying attention to the way we have to change laws and practices that do not protect us all equally, then we are always going to be in danger of the kind of violence that we saw. And I absolutely agree that that requires both leadership in Congress <laughs> on thinking about what uh, reforms can be made nat nationally. But it we need national laws to stop Kyle Rittenhouse from defending himself. Jesus Christ. Well, is she talking about the riot violence or is she talking about the Kyle Rittenhouse violence? I don't know. Sounds like she's talking about both. Yeah. She's like, yeah, if there's not any, she's, doing that whole no no peace no no justice no peace that's their so that's thing. interesting apparently the police in wakosha wakusha mm -hmm. the place where the car was have released that the person they suspect is driving the car is a guy named daryl brooks who everyone's showing because he has some like rap video that he made mm -hmm. so there you go is it uh, racially he's, motivated? Well, he's black, so I don't. So it can't be well, racially motivated. Oh, can't wait. Can't be racially motivated. Maybe it is racially motivated. I wonder if it was just like, he's just a moron. He's just fucking. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> like, why? This is probably an accident. Yeah. I don't know. We don't know yet. So probably, He was probably too high, man. Mm -hmm. Driving under the influence. Who knows? Why is this a national How? news story? Well, I mean, he's like drove through a crowd of people and killed i think like or possibly killed like a dozen people or something so oh. yeah they had i a understand guy, why it's a national story they had a guy at the it was uh it was the venice beach farmer's market that uh old guy that mistook the gas pedal for the brake and mm -hmm. ran over a bunch of people and killed a bunch of people mm -hmm. which is fucking awful it's like take the driver's look if if you're Mr. Magoo, take the fucking driver's license away, all right? <laughs> Don't let these people run over people. Jeez. Uh, so me. Shogun Kuhn. So I tweeted out. I said during our during the stream. I said, "Hey, Chris Cuomo. I saw your Rittenhouse coverage on Friday. I think you need to have the talk with your brother. Mm -hmm. He's parroting the BS talking points you were criticizing. Mm -hmm. Someone brought up a good point. They said it's going to be an awkward Thanksgiving this year." <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. I said, the dinner conversation is going to be, quote, Rittenhouse was defending himself. Rittenhouse was defending himself, Andrew. Uh, oh, go sniff a woman, Chris. There you go. Yeah. There you go. That's so great. I wonder if you'll get a response. I hope so. Tell him to come on our show. We want to have Chris Como. Chris, on. come on our show. Now that he's based and red pilled. There you go. I wonder if we could get this professor of civil rights on our show. What do you think? <laughs> She'd be like, no, I don't hang out with white supremacists. Democratic Congresswoman Gwen Moore of doing? Wisconsin. What? It's the self-defense laws anything. that are being used actually shield people um, from violence because they're afraid and far too often that means people who are white who are afraid of people who are not. But that's not equal protection of the laws. And that that means that we also have to build up our capacity to do what democracy calls us to do, and that's solve our shared problems. And justice is a shared problem, because as we saw in Rittenhouse, while race was the precursor, when people who are white stood up to demand that we improve the criminal justice system, they too became victims of injustice and that we have to change. And, and Maria, it, it's so true um, that all of these things are happening at once and. Bullshit. Such mm -hmm. horrible bullshit. Yes. When they stood up, that's what happened. Kyle Rittenhouse got super mad that they were standing up saying the criminal justice system is unfair. And he's like, nope. Criminal justice system's totally fair. I'm <laughs> shooting you. Yeah. It's just so bizarre. How is she making these statements? Yep. We really have to live up to, as Maya said, that, that equal justice under the law is a thing we have here. It's in our Constitution, and we need to live up to that. But what are you, what's your reaction to the split screen between 
legislative progress and yet a step backwards in terms of this verdict and what it means to the people who are allied with folks like Kyle Rittenhouse and, and, and those groups? So what we saw today in the courthouse, that verdict actually speaks to the case book example of why we need critical race theory. <laughs> Sitch. 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 What the fuck? <laughs> What's this man? <laughs> oh you were so happy. You were so happy when you you're like, oh, I don't know if I should get the I don't know if I should get the rest of this interview. And then you're like, <laughs> <laughs> this is the textbook case for why we need critical race theory. Yep. Critical race theory here to save the day. Yep. <laughs> How? How? How is critical race theory going to save this? I'm dying to hear it. Let's hear it. Talk mm -hmm. about the layers of implicit bias in our institutions, in the courthouse, in the hearing. We saw the judge, who, by the way, is an elected official. If any, if any says that matter, this is how you see explicitly what happens when you stand by the, the sidelines. He had no business on that bench. And what we saw. What a, I'm just, I can't stand the dumbness here. The fact that they can't see that the, like, I just, I want somebody to sit down, like, with these people for an hour. Like, I want a Joe mm -hmm. Rogan type experience and talk about the whole calling people victims when the court case is supposed to determine whether or not they are victims. Like, I just, I want to have that, I want to oh dive how much, into that conversation. How much would you pay? to see a Joe Rogan sit down with one of the MSNBC people like Chris Hayes. Oh, I would love it. People. I would love it. You know, like he did with, with uh, Gupta. Yeah. About the horse pills. Yeah. Fucking oh my hold God. their feet to the fire with this. Whole oh, thing. it's so, it's so basic. That it's would so be so basic. basic. Oh my God. Just please someone make it happen. Please God. I guarantee you if they were pushing for a federal law, to enact what the judge is doing in his courtroom, like all over this, just the victim thing. You're not allowed to call victim. Uh, you're not allowed to call assailants victims. You know, if they lost in a in a self defense case before the jury actually determined. Well, you know, that. you shouldn't call anyone in a criminal case. You shouldn't call the uh, complainant or the decedent. You shouldn't call them a victim. Until yeah. after even the person if it's, has been convicted. Even if it's burglary, yeah. for heaven's right. sakes. Like, well, until the person's been convicted, yeah. Yeah, you don't know if they got the wrong guy or... Right. Yeah. Well, I guess in a burglary case, they technically are a victim, even if you do have the wrong guy. Well, yeah, but you don't know if they... If they could have just simulated the burglary, okay? They could have done it themselves. Oh, my yeah, God. That's why you have to have right. a trial. You're right. You're yeah. definitely right. It does. It completely biases the jury against whoever's sitting on in the defendant chair. Right. Yeah. I just I don't understand how they don't get that. How that they do get hurts. it. Okay. They well, that probably it. hurts more fucking black and brown people than than anyone. If last year some you know leftist group was pushing for this. They would all be on for board with it. Like, of course we should remove this language. Of course people shouldn't be called victims until yeah, they're charged. It's yeah. implicit bias all the way. Right. I mean, theoretically, this is what CRT is designed to do, is to say, listen, what's how is this system biased against uh, black and brown people? Well, More CRT is designed to say black people are perpetual victims and right. white people are yeah. uh, perpetual oppressors. So. But if you're looking at a system... It, I think the victim right. thing should be changed. Like I'm on board. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's fair for Binger to be calling everyone fucking victims. <laughs> yeah, terrible. Like Binger. Binger was almost crying in his Cheerios over not being able to use the word <laughs> victim. He's like, judge, other judges let me do it. Listen, look at Binger. That guy, that guy eats frosted flakes. You can tell. Oh yeah, totally. You sure he doesn't eat Fruit Loops? <laughs> That's probably better. <laughs> now, he probably eats cookie crisp. Motherfucker's eating cookies for breakfast. Okay. 
today at the same time in Washington, D.C., people who understood implicit bias, who un he had no business on that bench. And what right. we saw today at the same time in Washington, D.C., were people who understood implicit bias, who understood what critical race theory is, that there is literally, sadly, remnants of a past that has to be rectified. The So this moron is complaining about implicit bias, and she's too stupid to equate that to the victim thing. I know. That's what's infuriating. Wow. About this. Not only wow. that, even talking about it in the form of legacy. Yeah, we right. came up with these laws before we understood human psychology as well as we do now. Before we True. before we realized that there were affect on certain words like victim, before we realized that it was so easy to Well, I mean, people, people knew they just you know, it wasn't really thought about in that context. They weren't thinking about, hey, as soon as we get this jury this jury's elephants running in a certain direction it's going to be really hard to change that once we figure out what the truth is right right yeah you want to keep the jury as impartial as possible marching them in on day one and saying look at this victim over here it's like yeah it's crazy it's completely crazy I, your bill. the kyle rittenhouse bringing this to light i think is great but it's so infuriating that the people who should be should, should be taking note or not. Their fucking brains are off. Right. That was passed, that was signed into law just on Tuesday, Zerlina, speaks to the importance of looking and addressing our infrastructure because it is a testament, sadly, of implicit bias in our policymaking and in our institutions. And so right now, we know that this is where they're trying to divide us as a nation. It means that we are going to address the sins of our past, but it doesn't mean that it happens overnight. And sadly, who I feel so badly for right now is the family of those two individuals who taught their sons right, who understood what it meant. What a fucking idiot. Yep. <laughs> what a fucking idiot. Yep. Yeah. Taught their sons right. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Son, sure. let me have the talk. Yeah. If you're getting chased down by a crazy pedophile, Sometimes you just got to take one and get beaten up and possibly raped and murdered. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay? Whatever you do, do, whatever you do, don't use a scary AR-15 to defend your life. Yeah. Okay. Because that gun is just too scary. It's just too – people well, can't think, handle she talking it. About, isn't she talking about like like Rosenbaum's parents teaching him right? Adam, him no, being, no, no. People, people they just – Him they having see, the correct upbringing. Listen. Listen. Okay. You know how when a bull sees red and they have to charge it? Okay, you can't blame the bull. Okay, when people see they have an AR-15, they just have to try to murder you. It's not their fault. Okay, they're just human That's beings sad. evolved. They're biologically programmed to lose all free will at the sight of a person open carrying an AR-15. They just have you seen that movie, the M Night Shyamalan movie, where mm. the people just kill themselves? The happening. I have okay? seen that movie. It's terrible. Yeah. That's what happens. The happening was caused by kids underage wearing AR-15s open carrying. It just makes people just want to commit suicide via getting shot by them. That would be a better movie than the M. Night Shyamalan movie. <laughs> like every time someone put a gun on, people ran at him like a maniac. And you just right. have to keep mowing him down until... I'm pretty it sure that was the twist in the movie, if I recall correctly. Was it really? Yeah. Oh, I don't remember. It was ahead of its time. Yeah. Allies and what it meant to be the future of America has failed them. Mm, okay. Thank you. I feel like that Thank made you. me stupider, actually. Yep. How are these people mm. the... Um... Oh, look, Ahmed Aubrey case. All right, who's next? Now we got, we got normal NBC News. Okay. Not even uh, MSNBC News. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to skip through most of it because a lot of it is not super biased. So that's not Oh, fun. good. It's not fun unless it's biased. No. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ethan Elephants for $50. Thank you so much, Ethan. Says it's not a goddamn technicality to the apply the laws is written. I know. <laughs> Isn't that fucking ridiculous? <laughs> a technicality of how the law is actually written is crazy. Yeah. Uh, Sam Houston for twenty dollars says, "Listening to the stream while playing Metro Exodus is so soothing in a way I never really experienced before. It's freaking great." Whoa, you're welcome, Sam. Thank you. I I, I think I see what you're going for. Yeah, 
So soothing. I know. It's like playing Fallout 3 or playing Fallout and shooting super zombies while listening to this. It's very soothing. Yeah. It's like you <laughs> imagine super mutants, what this, I apologize. You imagine what the zombies are actually saying. Right. The zombie hordes the mutants, have a voice. Super mutants. The mutants. Yes. I don't mutants want to get in trouble. Cool. Mutants are cooler than zombies anyway. Uh, Kazi Neverwin for $20 says, have a happy Thanksgiving, you Federation scum. May we all come together for at least one day of peace in the space war. Uh, Kyle team is king. There you go. See, even the Cardassians think Kyle Rittenhouse was properly defending himself. Hmm. Fascinating. So there you go. Thank Cardassians. you. Cardassians. Yes. Hmm. They were on Kyle Rittenhouse's side? They were. They were. That's the ones with the, for, for, for you guys, that's the Cardassians mm -hmm. with the big necks, not the Cardassians with the big asses. Oh, okay. So don't be confused. <laughs> it's provocative. And I think when they broke it down, each of the three victims, they stepped into his shoes and they ag agreed with Rittenhouse that he was in danger and that he was justified in taking the violent actions that he did. And, and how do you think uh, the, 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 the social impact of this will be? Is that, it's is that Brian Williams? No. What? Oh. That's Brian. Lester Holt. Lester Holt. Okay. It's Lester Holt, dum dum. Sorry. Brian Williams is white. <laughs> yeah. I All... guess they kind of, you know what? I never thought about it. They do have a very similar vocal quality. All of these, all of these newscasters sound the same. Well, actually, no, he doesn't sound like, he sounds like someone else. I can't. Or a Kyle. It's not Brian Williams. He sounds like Lester someone else. Lester Holt. He looks like a Lester. He does. <laughs> but you'll never, you'll be so excited for who shows up. Lester. You'll be excited for who Lester uh, who Lester has on is the program. Is it going to be Lance from the Surf? <laughs> Lance from the Surf <laughs> was on NBC Special Report. You're right. Can you imagine? Uh, yeah, I don't know if you knew this. Uh, Lance from the Surf is actually a guest spot on NBC about the Kyrie House case. Yeah. I can't wait. Stop messing the thing up. House. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Protest last year in Kenosha, Wisconsin. As we continue our coverage of that, joining us now is uh, Georgetown School of Law professor and NBC News <laughs> legal analyst, Paul Butler. Paul, great to see you. Uh, hey, and your early observations and thoughts at this verdict. Well, let me tell you, Lester Holt, <laughs> I do not know about you, but did you see the racist tissue box? <laughs> How'd I do? Did I get it? Did That's I get his good. opening? That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Oh my God. Oh, the night. Work with me. Work with me. God. That each of the three he shot posed a dangerous belief. News legal analyst Paul Butler. Paul, great to see Don't you. Hit uh, your early it's observations and thoughts now. at this verdict. Uh, the not guilty verdict means that the jurors believed Mr. Rittenhouse's use of force was justified. They found that he. <laughs> reasonably believe that each of the three people he shot posed a deadly threat. And it also means that the jurors found that Mr. Rittenhouse was not the aggressor. He didn't provoke any of this and in the eyes of the law is now a victim. Lester, I think Mr. Rittenhouse oh my probably God, won this case he got by it. taking the stand. I know, what's going on? It's like, what, what, what happened, happened when to he's, Paul? When he's, when he's not on Joy's show, he like suddenly becomes impartial or more Correct. Like, what's they going on finally, here? Finally, in the eyes of the law, Kyle Rittenhouse is the victim. I know. That's the first time I've heard anyone say that. Thank you, Paul. Thanks, Thank you. Gee, see, you just had to get him away from joy for a couple. Finally. Like... Do you think, like, he asked them ahead of time, Joy? You know what? What kind of level of racism do you want on this program? <laughs> I'm thinking. You know, usually you like it an eight or a nine, but maybe we could dial it up to 10 this show. What do you now think? I see Joy Reid is like Senator Palpatine. She has like an aura, like a Sith aura that just changes your mind. It makes you more like angry and racist if oh, you're just in her vicinity. Dials you in. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Paul is like, oh, Lester Holt. He doesn't really like the racism stuff. I better right. tell the truth. <laughs> this is, this will be a welcome change. Yes right not to testify but when the self-defense jurors damn it i think mr in the stand he had a constitutional right not to testify but when the defense's self-defense 
Jurors want to hear a story. Mr. Rittenhouse's narrative was that the first person he killed followed him and tried to grab his gun. The second attacked him with a skateboard. And the third person he shot pointed a gun at him. The jury looked at the video, the testimony. It's amazing. And apparently Suddenly he gets he all, knows the all of this. It's like he had amnesia a week ago. I tell you, he like walked out of Joy Reid's presence and he's like, wait a minute. Where was I? What just happened? A literal, literally a week ago, he was talking about the racist ringtone what? of the fucking judge. Well, it wasn't a week ago. We, that was, we just watched the video today. That was just from this is the same day. Oh, really? The video, no him way. being on Joy's show today, is the no same way. day as this. This no is all on way. Friday. No yes. way. Yes. No way. Yes. This is the same day. This has, like, what is happening here? I know. Did he get, is... like, between. After Joy Reid show, did a producer take him aside and say, listen, you know, I don't know if you saw the piece where Nick Sandman was talking about. <laughs> we need no, no, no. Dial this back. is what happened. He went on Joy's show and they're like, OK, we want you. We saw you on uh, Lester Holtz show because I think that's first. Wait, what's the time here? Oh, really? He did the Lester Holtz first. What time is Lester Holtz show on? Joy was Joy called him up and said. Butler, I thought we were friends. Oh no, Lester Holt was afterwards. Well, yeah, Lester Holt's afterwards. Okay. Okay, good. Yeah, no. So Lester Holt's so like they did Lester... pull him aside. Yeah, no, no, no. So what happened is he goes on Joy Reid's show and they're like, okay, we want you to dial up the racism to like seven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Though actually, to be fair, he said he didn't say the judge was racist. He said the judge was. He said, "What did he say?" He said, "All judges are biased," but he didn't say that that this judge was mm -hmm. racist. So at least yeah. he didn't say that. He said something else. Last week he was talking. Last week mm -hmm. he was talking about racist ringtones. Was he? He was. Or okay. maybe it was the text to speech program. I don't remember. <laughs> it could have been that. It could have been. It could have been. We don't know. Because uh, it was. It was <laughs> oh, Eli no. was the one talking about the tissue oh, box no. being racist. Oh so. no. Listen. Maybe we're giving listen, Paul a bad rap here. I listen, know. you got to believe the legend, okay? That's all that matters. Paul is the shit. I'm starting <laughs> to like Paul, actually. I'm going to invite Paul on our show. What do you think, <laughs> Invite guys? Paul? Yeah. I want to talk to Paul. Found reasonable doubt. That's the... The prosecution <laughs> lost on some points that it thinks... Things it wanted to do, things it wanted to say. Do you think any of those really came into play, ultimately? You know, there were concerns throughout the trial that the judge tipped the skills in front, tipped the scales in front in favor of Mr. Rittenhouse, including by excluding some evidence that the prosecutors thought was really probative. They had video of Mr. Rittenhouse beating up a teenage girl, another video okay. of him looking at people he thought were stealing from a CVS drugstore and saying, man, I wish I had my gun. That might have made a difference to a jury, but the judge thought that it was inadmissible. Based on the verdict, concerns about the judge and the prosecution will go away. When a defendant is found not guilty, the verdict is final. The prosecution cannot appeal. So those concerns will go away in a legal forum. I think that there are some people who will not have confidence in this verdict, Lester, based on those concerns about the prosecution and the judge. There was so he gave an amazing non-answer. He said, some people have concerns. He did the news thing. Some yeah. people have concerns. I'm not going to tell you what my opinion is. Some people have concerns. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Video of these confrontations, but also simply asked to go inside the mind of the individual, what they thought, what they perceived as, as a threat. So the jury has to do two things. One, it has to find that Mr. Rittenhouse himself actually believed that he faced a deadly threat from each of the three people who he assailed. And second, that that belief was reasonable, that another reasonable person would have had the same concern. He got that. He got it right. The other person didn't get it right. I know. I know. Cuomo. So in was either persuaded by him, or maybe they thought the evidence probably favored the prosecution, but probably is not good enough if it's, if it's a criminal case. The standard of proof beyond a reasonable doubt means that the jury has to be around 95% certain. All right. Uh, thank you. Where was go... all this correct information when you were on Joy's show? Yeah. Paul, <laughs> Paul yeah. Why, didn't you, why don't you tell Joy 
and Jason and Eli and Reverend Al Sharpton to chill the fuck out. Joy what can't, happened? They can't handle the truth. Okay? What happened? What happened, Paul? What's going on here? This is kind of red pilling me because it's like shit. I mean, he's just fucking tailoring what he's saying to the show that he's on. Unlike base Danny, who tells everyone straight up, like fucking the truth. Oh yeah, about totally. The case. Danny's great. Yeah. Danny's great. Yeah. yeah, Paul's like, Sitch. <sighs> once a person gets to be a certain age, they cannot handle the truth anymore. You can only unplug the young, is that what you're saying? Paul? We only we only can handle the truth with certain people. Joy, right. Eli, Reverend Sharpton. None They're all of, too old. None of those people can fucking handle the truth. They can't be unplugged from the Matrix. They would die. Well, Reverend Sharpton go to would Washington. definitely die because he's like got a lot of money in this grifting. Reverend angle. Sharpton is as old as the Matrix. Let's be real here. Oh yeah. Eugene Robinson to give us a little. Oh, Eugene Robinson's going to give. <laughs> this us was a great. all. This guy knows what's up. Protest over the the shooting uh, of a black man mm -hmm. by police. Mm -hmm. When you when you look at that bigger context, will this always stand apart, or will this be a, a case that's strictly about self defense? Well, it stands a bit apart, <laughs> Lester, but it's not strictly about self-defense, in my view. I mean, it, it, there is the issue of how the prosecution presented its case. Had prosecution presented the case all along that it presented in its closing arguments, namely that the people uh, Kyle Rittenhouse says he perceives as a deadly threat, Actually, the reason they were coming at him was they perceived him as a deadly threat because he had this huge military style weapon and was running up and down the street and they were just <laughs> trying to, in effect, protect themselves. But the prosecution didn't really. How, how can you fucking believe that? Like, I how, know. How can you believe that? Well, not only how could you believe that, how could the how could the state argue that? Yeah. Oh, someone had an open someone who was legally open and carrying. Yeah, but you. Like by the definition, if you look at the statute for provocation, it it only includes unlawful acts. Yeah, okay? you can't provoke someone by engaging in a lawful act, at least according to that statute. Yeah. So. So yeah. So they're the fact that they felt provoked is completely unjust. Right. Yeah. Make that case. They argued it in closing arguments, and and then of course uh, the the judge in this case. There's a long history of being pro-defendant. You know, look, in our legal legal system, if you want a judge to lean one way or the other, you want the judge to lean toward all defendants rather than leaning toward all prosecutors. So, you know, it's, it's totally true. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. Totally. There you go. Thanks, Eugene. That's what we want. Right. There are unique things about this case. What I what concerns me, though, is that the result will be seen as a vindication of vigilantism. Oh, of my God. And then he throws it all away. Terrible. And then he Gee, throws it all away. I know. Throws I know. it all in the garbage I can. I know. We were so close, Eugene. We were so close. Love you just fucking right by the end <sighs> zone. You almost did it. He's about to cross the finish line. He slipped on the banana peel. Got second place. Damn it. Of what Kyle Rittenhouse was doing, the larger context of doing, um, you know, during these demonstrations over the shooting of, of, of Jacob Blake, uh, he came across state lines carrying oh a military my God. South style assault weapon um, <laughs> with the with what end? What end? What end? Uh, to to protect property that he had nothing to do with when his property. Uh, there were police on the scene, uh, you know, duly authorized. He, see, he starts off. He's like, oh, you know, he says something good, and now he's like just full talk points about cross state lines beep 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 had a scary gun beep 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 was not asked to be there beep 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 it's like he has the npc talking points yeah sad super sad i know eugene what are you doing trained uh, law enforcement officer were prepared to handle whatever situation arose yet he came in uh you know appointing himself as as uh, as some sort of enforcer uh and to the it's and this is a total lie too because 
the car source parking lot that he ran into, they were destroying all those cars. I mean, they have it on video. They were going yeah. insane, destroying yeah. everything. Yeah. I know. What's he talking about? The police had it under control. They didn't have shit under control. They didn't have anything under control. Well, remember, Banger tried to make that bullshit argument that like, oh, once the police blocked off access to the car source that you were at, you should have left and gone home. Right. And then Grambo was like, yeah, but they kept moving, so they didn't block off access <laughs> and yeah. then Winger, Binger had no response to that. He's Listen, like, uh, when the, next question. When when Rosenbaum attacked him, yeah, there was a mob of 20, 30 people fucking destroying cars. Yeah. He didn't want to run into that mob. We all saw it. And Binger tried to argue that well, when the first shot was fired, everyone dispersed. So he could have just kept running. It's mm. like, come yes. on, man. That's a, such a crazy situation. By like dispersed, you mean chased him down the street. Yeah, he so would have been the exact running. Opposite. He would have been running with them. Right. So maybe when maybe when Binger said dispersed, he meant coalesced. Maybe that was yeah. a slip of the tongue, you know. Whatever. The extent that this legitimate that line of thinking, that line of action, I think it's very dangerous, and and and, and, and it's very worrisome going forward uh I think this, you know, it's, this is a this is a, a divided country on hair trigger on a lot of issues uh and it's a country in which there are more guns than people well uh, you, and <laughs> i was just going to say you touch on a lot of points that are going to be the topic of a lot of conversation going forward based on what has happened today and we'll be getting into all that tonight when i see you on nightly news yeah. that concludes our coverage of the verdict from the kyle so T tldr shut the fuck up i'm ending my show <laughs> Right. So actually, uh, I got another email from Paul. Oh, Hunter. did you? Oh, did you? Yeah. Did it he have a voice to... message attachment to it? It, it? it He always sends me a voice <laughs> message attachment. It's very nice of him. Because uh, he well, he knows it's hard for me to read during the stream. I so love he Paul Butler. What did Paul Butler have to say? He Well, He's... he wanted to address uh, why his behavior was different on this show. On really? The show versus Holy Joy Reed's show. shit. Yes. He must be listening to the show right now. He is listening. No, he, he, he heard is. He said, our question. Yes. He said, Sitch, I want to explain to you and Adam why exactly my behavior. I got to tell he, you, I'm warming, he felt, up. I'm warming he, up to Paul. I really he, am. He felt a little offended that we were calling to question his character. Okay. Really? I yeah. do. I feel bad now. Yeah. Well, let's listen to the message. Do you have it okay. queued up? Is it, is I have it ready it, yeah, to go? I, have, I got it ready to go. Here okay. we go. What's the message, So wait, Paul? let's put it... Wait, let me... Let's scrub it to, so you can see Paul, you know, just, just to have the image. Of Paul? Oh, go. that's a perfect one, right? Yeah. Oh, no, no. Oh, that's better. <laughs> right? No, what are you doing? You keep moving it around. I know. <laughs> like, you were better okay. before here, like... Okay. <laughs> oh, that's a little... I mean, is it... Was, is he nice in the message or yeah he's very nice in the message okay we gotta so. get the right we gotta get, yeah, get the right. The, you gotta get the right uh <laughs> okay here we go <laughs> hey adam it's true i'm much nicer on nbc versus joy ridge show that's because joy forces me to say all the horrible things about kyle that i said before She's holding my family hostage, <laughs> threatening to oh, violently, no. horribly, brutally, <laughs> cancel them all if I don't attack Kyle. It's terrible. I actually feel bad because secretly I'm a big Kyle fan. <laughs> oh no, Paul, really? Holy Kyle shit. did nothing wrong. <laughs> Kyle is a hero. <laughs> Hashtag Joy Reid is a big racist. <laughs> there you go, guys. Wow. That's crazy. Oh, my God. Paul Butler accused Joy Reid of holding his family hostage. Paul, Paul, I wow. am so glad to hear that he is a Kyle Rittenhouse fan. Yeah, he's actually a big Kyle Rittenhouse supporter. Wow. That is see that coming. crazy. I know. That is Oof. crazy. I'm so glad he took the time to message you with that. Because yes. that was I feel better. I kind of like Paul. I do. I right, kinda, I right. have a soft spot for Paul here. He's got the nice bookshelf here. He's got, he's he seems like a very nice he's, gentleman. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't he? It's a shame that that uh 
that Joy Reid took his whole family hostage. I know. Jeez, what a villain. What a fucking bitch. I know. Taking his bitch. whole family Good morning, hostage. Today on Velshi. Oh, no. Jeez. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is like really loud. So you probably have to turn it down. Why? Okay. No, it was fine. Okay. Um. So. I I, we, this is a new contestant here. This is Velshi. He's on the weekend show. Okay. I want to be clear here. For some reason, I don't know why. They do not put Velshi episodes up on MSNBC's website. So I actually had to find some some random person mm -hmm. somehow recorded this when it was live and, and they put it on it? The, the internet. Really? So I will not be held responsible for the shitty quality of this clip. Okay. Mm -hmm. This was not a sit. I actually had to download this clip, uh, fix the audio because it was not synced properly and re-upload it. So I will not be held responsible for the shitty audio quality of this clip. Or it didn't sound that bad. Guilty either. on all charges. It's not bad. You're, okay. Yeah, you're. It's a lot totally worse than. The, it's a lot worse than other clubs. But. Not guilty on all charges. Yes. Velshi. Anyway, okay. This is Velshi. And Velshi's. He's got a good perspective, right? He's he's hung out with Paul. He does lunches uh, with Paul. And, sure. Okay. <laughs> Paul has. Dot, Paul. Dot, 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 dot. <laughs> okay. Sure, of course, Adam. Yeah, it's, it's so a weird. Wonderful perspective. I don't yes. think I've seen Velshi since I, you know, on I used to unironically watch MSNBC. It's been mm. fucking decades since I've seen right. this guy. Oh, well, he's mm. still around. Just a headline that stung, but was not unexpected. But the Kyle Rittenhouse verdict means for a country already awash with armed white men who see fit to deputize themselves as amateur police. Good morning. It is Saturday, November the twentieth. I'm. <laughs> Oh my God. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, that's a fair and balanced assessment sure, of things, totally. right? Yeah, yeah. yeah sure. Deputize himself as armed police. America is awash with armed white men deputizing themselves as police, looking to just shoot innocent protesters. It's just, it's, listen, he was hired as a fucking security guard, okay? There are tons of security guards in this nation that are not police, okay? Police are designed to apprehend people and arrest them. Security guards frighten people away from the building so no damage is done, look, right? Look, I don't care about his bad take. That suit, though. Fuck, Valshi, what are you doing? What, you what, don't what, like what, it? That suit is ridiculous. That's the Willy Wonka look. Oh, my God. <laughs> it totally is. What are you doing, Valshi? How's it not? I mean, he's got... Oh. The guy's basically wearing a sofa. Valshi. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I mean, you're right you're right he looks like in the harry potter I don't know which one it is harry potter where the professor is like pretending to be the the what chair do you, what do you have against the davenport suit well come on <laughs> tell me well you know i don't think you should go on national television dressed as a sofa that's just okay. my <laughs> okay. yeah not a good look somehow velshi's gonna spin this into racism i'm telling you I'm Ali Velshi. Police in Portland, Oregon, declared a riot overnight when a crowd gathered up. This is one fucking do, do, clip. Do you like this? I, I love I love this uh, comparison. We have Brooklyn, a bunch of people, fucking like a fuck ton of people standing out in the street. But, you know, just standing on the street. Just seemingly. chilling. Yeah. Okay, Kenosha, you got two people. <laughs> two people. That's all that's left in front of the courthouse. <laughs> Everyone else people. has gone home. Yes. One and in Portland, you have like the fucking SWAT team. <laughs> Being backed into a fucking garage or something. I know. What the fuck? Exit Portland's only. So no fucked. pedestrians. I know. Portland is yeah, so fucked. They're insane. Kyle Rittenhouse, domestic terrorist. Justice system broken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever. Inside the Justice Center to protest Kyle Rittenhouse's acquittal and protests also broke out in Brooklyn, outside of Barclays Center, and of course, outside of the courthouse in Kenosha. What is going on in Portland? It's like fucking zombies are like trying to break this into this one building. clip. All I ever, all happening? I see is this one clip. They're so excited about this one clip. Yes, well, because there probably only is one clip. Yeah, Let's no. Be fucking real. It's the, like you know the picture the of cops all the journalists backed in, closed the garage door, and they're like, "Fuck, thank God, those yeah. people were mean." Let's go to lunch. <laughs> is bracing for more potential unrest after liberation over the course of nearly four days a jury found kyle rittenhouse not guilty on all five charges that he faced for fatally shooting two people and injuring a third during and hey, look at kyle's suit that's a that's a nice suit it is okay. yeah Very yeah it's a great suit he wanted to wear the sofa but his attorneys were like no kyle put that back <laughs> put that back on the hanger kyle <laughs> 
<laughs> no one's dressing like a sofa king in my courtroom. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Some protests in Wisconsin last year. This is no self-defense. Self-defense is when you're protecting your home, you're protecting your family. He, in a very bastardly and dastardly way, used the law that worked for him. There was absolutely no self-defense. What a bastard. Well, there were a range of emotions on this side of the courthouse last night. How many African-American people do you see getting away with murder? I'm here to celebrate Kyle's innocence and the affirmation of the thousand-year-old right of self-defense. This is a dark day for America because we... There it is! There it is, yeah. Look the at the big... Look at the, the size she's holding. Yeah. I wish I could see what it says underneath. Oh, my God. This fucking lady... You see I mean, the you hat? You could probably look it up. You could probably Google it. Someone took a picture of that crazy sign. Probably. The the hat says made you look. It's like a fake MAGA hat. Really? Holy yes. shit. No way. Yeah. That's, that's what funny. It says. That's funny. She's got fucking five times uh child rapist's yeah. head superimposed on a Superman body. Somebody took somebody told her about that though. Do you know that he's a pedophile? And she's like, He deserves to live. <laughs> he deserves to live. Damn it. Damn you. <laughs> He probably dressed as Superman when he raped those children, you fucker. What the hell? How do you think he got... I think he had won them over. That's part of his grooming routine right there, that Superman suit. <laughs> it's fucking terrible. We just made vigilantism. These people and their vigilantism. Words just do not have any That's meaning That's the buzzword, yes. Yeah. Vigilantism. What is this security guardism? <laughs> is what we're talking well, about here. You know what? I hate to say it. Mm -hmm. What? I hate to say it. I do know we, you listen to the show. Do we get a I message you, from I know you listen Paul to the Butler? show, Kurt. What? Kurt Metzger. I don't know why. He just looks kind of like Gage in that picture. I don't know something. He's Kurt? got kind of the Gage energy in that How picture. dare you? <laughs> I'm so sorry, Kurt, Kurt is my friend. What are you I'm doing? I'm so sorry, Kurt. How okay, dare right. you? Gage has the Kurt energy. Is that better? How dare look, you? He look, I, I'm like, I'm staring at Gage. I'm like, why does this guy look so familiar? Kurt will be avenged. <laughs> will be avenged for your insolence. I'm sorry, Kurt. I'm just, I just can't help. I couldn't overlook it. It was driving me crazy. I'm like, why does Gage look so familiar when he has his head shaved? I can, I couldn't figure it out. Gage Grossgroot and Kurt Metzger have never been in the same room. <laughs> <laughs> We don't know. I mean, listen, that could be, it could be gay. I mean, it could be Kurt right there. You don't know. You don't Sitch know. knows that Kurt listens to our show. That's why he's doing this. He's totally <laughs> fucking with, he's totally fucking with Matt's Kurt. You, you're so mean. I know. How dare that you? That is true. It's for kill. We just made that legal. I want Gage to come on the show so I can give him a wrench before I give Doomer a wrench. Gage? You mean yeah. Kurt? <laughs> You mean Kurt as No, Gage? I mean actually Gage. <laughs> Gage coming on our show? Yeah, I can, I'll give him a wrench that before be I give Doomer a wrench. Can we debate Gage Grossgroots on self-defense? I wonder oh, if we can. I, I don't think we, so. Yeah, don't that, think. Would be a, the, and that would light the internet on fire. Sitch. That would be the most about? amazing stream in the history of He's the world. He's on Twitter. He doesn't even have a thousand followers. All He's right, obviously look, thirsty for attention. Adam, reach out to him. See if his DMs are open. They're like, Gage, okay, you want to come on and debate self defense? I conti I did contemplate following him just during the like when everyone was like, This is really his thing, but I just I I couldn't bring myself to do it. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Well now that Kyle is 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 not guilty, sure, maybe right. I will. Let's get him on. What is it? Who what is it again? I don't remember. We have to look it up. Uh, but you are the guy I turn to to understand these things. You tweeted earlier. Oh, this is also earlier. Hell too. So in the debate, I want. I just cuts. have one question. Oh, there's yeah. a lot of jump cuts. Yeah. In the debate, I have one question for Gage. Yeah. Do you know that bullets shoot far away from the gun? <laughs> do, you, do, you know, do you know that you're not? Do you know the different? What? Tell me a couple of differences between say. A firearm and a knife. <laughs> I see. Are you, are you saying that he should have tried to shoot a cow from a distance? Is that well, what you're I saying? Well, I mean, I just I don't <laughs> understand. I have a lot of questions. Okay, <laughs> I have a lot of questions. Uh, okay. Like I don't get it. What happened there? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> 
Okay, let's just, okay, let's let's go. <laughs> let's move on. We just made that legal. Uh, but you are the guy I turn to to understand Look who these it is. things. And you tweeted earlier about something Liz just said. This base is the, Danny. This is base Danny. This is the good base guy. Danny. Yeah, he knows yes. what's up. I he's hope he's here. based in this clip. I don't remember what he says. Now with Paul, I have no idea. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? All these people are flip floppers. <laughs> If you are a defendant and you claim that you acted in self-defense, here's what you said. The jury doesn't have to believe that Rosenbaum was attacking Rittenhouse. The state must prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Rosenbaum was not attacking huh, Rittenhouse. Based Danny. So I, I don't know that a lot of non-legal people understand that if you claim, if I claim self-defense, you as a prosecutor have to have to prove that I was not acting in self-defense. Exactly. Once there is any evidence in Wisconsin of self-defense, the burden is on the prosecution to disprove self-defense. Now, they can do that by attacking any of the elements of self-defense. Defeating any of them will prevail for the prosecution. For example, had they proven that the attack was not imminent. In other words, if Joseph Rosenbaum had said, I'm going to kill you next Tuesday, <laughs> that is not an imminent attack. If they prove that the attack, the use of force was not proportionate, Proportional to the force directed to Rittenhouse. Now, there was an area for contention because there are a lot of folks who just believe that, hey, person with firearm is never uh, threatened by person without a weapon at all. And I think that was something the defense had to contend with, demonstrating that, no, indeed, if somebody takes away a firearm from you, now you've reversed the force and you are in, you are, your life is threatened as a result. You made the base, Danny. Danny, thank you, Danny. Thank Preaching you. the truth on MSNBC. Thank, praise Danny. America thanks you, Danny. Thank yes. you for your service. He's like, Velchi, Velchi, yeah. listen to me. You've been saying some dumb fucking shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We can all put up with your terrible wardrobe, but these lies, <laughs> they have to fucking end. They all stop here today. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't clip it because it was hard to find, but he had some awful Rittenhouse takes last week. Velchi did. So. Oh, yeah. Uh, earlier that that the prosecution put facts on their side. What did you mean by that? I meant that this was a case that arguably shouldn't have been brought in the first place. So it's easy for base Danny. I know he's like he's What are you doing? Nuke I'm on Velshi MSNBC from Orbit here. Yeah, he's like the he's like one of the few people on MSNBC who's like, listen, this is bullshit. Yeah. Okay. God, where, where's get get Danny on that panel and Joy Reid, please, God. Oh yeah, that no. would have been. Oh, it's be like, listen, you guys are all fucking stupid. Okay, yeah, no, I want Danny to interview Joy Reid for like an hour. Oh my god. Yeah, melts her brain. Easy for folks to criticize the prosecution. I take a different. What's scary to me, and again, I meant that this was a case that arguably shouldn't have been brought in the first place. So it's easy for folks to criticize the prosecution. I take a different view. I think what's scary to me, and again, I'm biased as a criminal defense attorney, but what scares me about the justice system is that this appears to be a case where the prosecution, as it unfolded, may have learned that, uh-oh, this isn't really the case we thought it was. And the problem with our system is that there isn't a, a way for prosecutors to reevaluate, save face, and say, you know what, maybe this isn't a case anymore. In fact, it's a testament to how well the prosecutors did with those bad facts that they took this to a jury and the jury deliberated for three days on a case that as we can see was a case of self-defense and even their provocation argument which would have negated self-defense and which they only developed mid-trial even that argument got them to a jury so the At criminal justice reform now <laughs> that's yes. basically what he's saying right well he was he's a criminal saying, defense attorney he's so saying he's this like, is yeah, fucking this is crazy yeah. yeah i don't it is it is crazy that there's no like eject for you know this we fucked up you know this we should retract our case that would well, make all I think, the difference in the world i i thought there is a way for them i mean i thought they could drop charges in the middle of the case i just they're not going to well i mean if the if the defendant takes a plea bargain they drop everything no but i think the state can drop the charges at any time really um i thought so oh but they he just did mention saving face the type right of but that's situation. the problem is that yeah. if they drop charges i mean it makes the, it's their admitting that they fucked up yeah it makes them look like fucking morons but i don't know if there's i don't know how there's a way around that yeah binger because this, because well, for, if you guys don't know the what he's referring to when he says changing their argument is that before the state charges you with a crime, mm -hmm. 
or even you know after, but before the trial, they're supposed to have a fully developed theory of the case. Yeah, and they're supposed to okay. stick with that theory throughout the trial. Right, they're supposed to have a full. They, they're supposed mid-stream. to have looked, Right, they're supposed to have all the information that's available to them. They're have, supposed to have a fully developed theory about what happened and why you should be charged with X, Y, and Z. And the fact that the major lich, linchpin of the case was this provocation yeah. charge that they didn't come up with justice. until the middle of the case shows that they they didn't know what the fuck they were doing and that they changed the major theory of the case right before the end yeah yeah they pulled up provocation out of a hat right but the fact that they did pull that provocation out instead of just like going down with the ship is what is terrifying like binger was trying so hard to fucking win i know i know yeah Ouch. system is that prosecutors are often too good at their jobs with facts that just don't lead to a conviction. So what about, uh, how, do you, how do people like me come to terms with the fact that we know that this is a kid who had no legal right to own that gun, did not acquire it uh, legally, cross straight state lines to... <laughs> and- okay, so this, like, this is hysterical. Uh, this is this, totally hysterical. He's like, okay, putting all the facts aside that are relevant, <laughs> Danny, how do, how do I, a fucking <laughs> asshole who's been spell, spewing a bunch of bullshit, cope with this? Please explain to me how to cope. <laughs> oh, that's exactly what he's saying. He's like, here, let me string all the... What, but what about all these talking points we've been talking about for, for months and months and months now, <laughs> Danny? Explain to me, where's my out? <laughs> Gage in something that he said was defending well, small businesses, face. which is not a role for civilians. I know. I need, to say, I need to do some saving face here, Danny. Please help. Where's How my ripcord? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Gun did not acquire it uh, legally. Cross straight lines to engage in something that he said was defending small businesses, which is not a role for civilians in this country. It doesn't exist. We don't, we don't deputize individual people as police. And unless you're na- Does he national. Do think gu- private security guards are not civilians? I Does know. He think they what work the, for like the military or something? What the fuck about? is he talking about? Right. Dude, look around you. I'm certain there's private security in the fucking building. You're, oh, yeah. Who do you think sits behind the desk when you walk in? Velshi, at the, at the, I bet you, Velshi, in, in the MSNBC office, like at the, like where the entrance is, where the elevator no is, there's probably a shit. guard standing right fucking there. Do you think that guy's a fucking government official? No, he works for fucking private security for the building. Most buildings have a team of private security at Listen. our, at our fucking. Artist MSNBC studio, we... only hires Black Watch Army veterans Dude. to guard their building. Okay, Dude. there are no civilians present on this security force. At our at our artist studio, we had yeah. we knew all of the security guards. How the hell were we supposed to get on the roof to smoke weed if we didn't know the fucking security guards? Exactly. Jesus Christ. Exactly. This is insane. Belshi is like every single security guard in America <laughs> is a police officer. What a fucking loony tune. You're not empowered to get involved in, in public uh, activity control or defense of businesses uh, and property that's not your own. How do you square the idea that Kyle Rittenhouse definitely did something wrong? Is it that he wasn't... Look, Base Danny is just looking at him like... <laughs> like this stone this face is he's fucking, giving you? This is like... The, he, Danny is sitting here looking going, this is the craziest thing I ever heard. Did, he, this, did this motherfucker listen to anything I said? Did he hear anything I said just now? What does this have to do with what I just said? Oh, no. I don't remember his answer. Watch together. (laughs) Oh, my Mm -hmm. God. I wonder if it's because you're uploading the clips. What? Is it not working for you? Yeah, it's working for you. Yeah. What should have anything to do with... Oh, you mean because I put the clip in the link? I shouldn't really affect it, should it? Well, I, I mean, it's... I'm sure they're like unlisted or on a small channel. They are unlisted, I but I, that, I can't imagine that, that would have any effect. Nobody should have been there. In fact, oh. that's not my opinion. The prosecutor crossed straight state lines to engage okay. in something Don't that said was defending okay. small now. businesses, which is not a role for civilians in this country. It doesn't exist. We don't, we don't deputize individual people as police. <laughs> Look, and unless you're National so Guard, badly. you're not empowered to get involved in, in public um, uh, activity control or defense of businesses uh, and property that's not your own. How do you square the idea that Kyle Rittenhouse definitely did something wrong? Is it that he wasn't charged with the right doing something wrong? <laughs> 
You and I can morally agree that Kyle Rittenhouse should never have been in Kenosha, Wisconsin. At least that's what I think. He should never have been there with a long rifle in the middle of riots. Nobody should have been there. In fact, that's not my opinion. The prosecutor himself said reasonable people were not downtown in Kenosha right. that night, you know, implying that pretty much everybody there pushing dumpsters around that were on fire were not reasonable. And I agree with that. And I agree that Kyle Rittenhouse shouldn't have been there at that time with a firearm. However, under Wisconsin law, all of that is immaterial. And if you don't like that, then you write to your legislators and say, look, we don't like self-defense the way it is. We don't like an open carry situation. We want to, if you can have a firearm, great. You just can't open carry it in our town. That is a perfectly reasonable conclusion. But when you analyze self-defense, you can boil this entire case down to really, did the prosecution prove that Kyle Rittenhouse's gun was here where it was not threatening, or here, where it was. Everything else, all the white supremacy, all the, uh, the other political issues, the Second Amendment, that's all smoke-filled, coffeehouse nonsense compared to the legal issue yes. at hand. But everything else is fair game for a discussion about society in general. He just told him that right to his face, too. He said, listen. house coffee nonsense. Everything you just said to me yeah. is bullshit. Yeah, that's <laughs> okay. basically what he said. Take your couch wearing motherfucker and get, your, get out take your couch to see was always smoke like, filled nonsense get out for your clarity danny thank savalos you. is uh he's like, okay, legal off my he's like oh thank you for your clarity no fuck get the off. fuck off my show so do you think val she's gonna say hmm i need to rethink how i was talking about this case no he's pissed off that he didn't give him an out he's like that's oh, my okay. out he's like i just asked you for the rip cord and you give me yeah. a fucking dental, a piece of dental <laughs> floss. What the fuck? This is no rip cord. I need a parachute. No, he's like, he's like, he's like, do you have a spare parachute? And he's like, bitch, I told you not to jump out of that plane. Then he pulls his parachute <laughs> and fucking he's like, yeets woo! himself away. Like, woo, later, bitch. He's a criminal defense attorney. Uh, I want to break through it now. She is a retired captain with the Montgomery County Police Department and the founder of the Black Police Experience. Sonia, good morning to you. Thank you for being with us. Danny has dispensed of the actual legal issue here, and that is uh, the proving or disproving of Kyle Rittenhouse's claim of self-defense. But there, as he says, there's a venue for this other discussion, and that is why do people like Kyle Rittenhouse exist? Why did he think it was okay to acquire a gun uh, illegally? legally cross state lines go to someone else's town and that's not what he said yeah I know. he said if you want to talk about changing the laws you can talk about that he didn't like psychologize kyle yeah why do i don't know why do security in... guards exist i'm kind of glad that they do i mean this is so basic right right you keep I'm sure he likes the security guard at the building. I'm sure he smiles at him every sure. day and is very friendly. Either falsely or, or, or truthfully believed was the protection of property. Mm -hmm. uh, good morning, Allie. Thanks for having me back. So vigilantes are now being endowed with rights to become what I call ex officio police officers. And I use the word ex officio referring to the position that these men so far, men, hold in society as privileged white males. So their empowerment comes from those members of the public who deem the movement towards police reform and social and racial justice a stain on patriotism. The empowerment can... You know, when he's like, oh, former police captain, I'm like, know, oh, you, she'll you be, thought, yeah. you know, reasonable. Got us. <laughs> You know, he just had Danny on. It's like, no, no, fuck you. Fuck you. We got to go full woke as fuck. Full bullshit. Bunch of white men feeling privileged to be white men. How do I spell ex officio? What the fuck is that? Ex officio? You never heard of that? Uh-uh. It tastes really good with, with clam sauce. That's bullshit. This is not a word. <laughs> yes, it is. What is it? No. What does it mean? Uh, ex officio is a member, uh, an ex officio member is a member of a body who is part of a part of it by virtue of holding another office. Oh, ex officio. I don't even understand what that means, but okay. I mean, all I'm getting is underwear ads. 
oh, what does that say about what you're googling I'm, I'm trying to google ex officio mm, what are you googling how, Adam how are you seeing a bunch it? of dongs I don't know how are you spelling it <laughs> I'm just kidding. There is actually an underwear line for some reason called ex officio. <laughs> I know you're looking at it too. How yeah, I you... see it. If you scroll, there's a it's it's spell. It's just it's not one word. It's two oh, words. Okay. X is one word. E X and then officio is the second word. Oh really? Yes. X okay meaning maybe yes. if I searched meaning. Oh look at this. As a result of one's status or position. Hmm. There you go. Okay. Obviously, it's white patriarchy, is what she's oh, saying. Oh, obviously. Yeah. Obviously. She's got it nailed. Come on. Right. Don't make fun of her. Don't be racist. It even right. come from the police themselves, as it did in the case of Kyle Rittenhouse. Uh, and we've seen that. Look, she's so proud of herself. She's like, <laughs> yeah, I had my meds today. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Thank you. Before the empowerment by the police and the idea that your any potential threat that Kyle Rittenhouse might have felt, we are dispensing with the idea that Kyle Rittenhouse got himself into a position in which, if he felt threatened at that moment, he, he had no, he's not from Wisconsin, he was not legally entitled to carry that gun. But beyond that, <laughs> he keeps saying this. That's not he's legally he was legal completely legally allowed to carry it. He wasn't legally allowed to purchase yeah. it. These are two very different concepts. And I mean, he just talked to the attorney. Who like fucking schooled him on all this shit? He said, he said, this is smoke filled mirrors. Yeah, he called okay. him out. That's why he kicked him off. He's like, oh, right. bring in the cop, the one that, the one on her meds. Bring that one in. <laughs> I want to talk to her now. Danny, I don't like making... that you just shit on my desk. I need someone to come <laughs> clean this up for me. Okay, yeah. bring in that cop lady. She'll say some crazy shit. <laughs> uh, Sonia, is that in this country, that deputization doesn't exist. This ex official police. Legally entitled to carry that gun, but beyond that, the point you're making, uh, Sonia, is that in this country, that kind of deputization doesn't exist. This ex officio police thing—it's not really a thing. You're not—you're not. That is not a role that civilians can or are permitted by law to play. Right. So, in cases like uh, George Zimmerman. And, and where he killed Trayvon Martin. Kyle Rittenhouse, uh, the defendants in the Ahmed Arbery trial, the McMichaels and McBride, they're now seen as heroes and the victims are- Who's calling fucking the uh, uh, Ahmed Arbery guys heroes? Who the fuck um, is doing that? Poll on 4 I don't are know. Are you seeing them as heroes? I mean, I'm I have not, not seeing it I'm not anywhere, seeing no. a lot of memes going around. No, I'm not. I'm not seeing. I wouldn't. Sit. You're not going to ask me to make a, a Ahmed Arbery killer hero meme, are you? No, <laughs> I will not ask you, you to do that. I will yeah. not ask you to put the yeah. Travis McMichael's head on a Superman body. Okay. Yeah. Please. This so. criminal. So the message that is being sent by verdicts such as in the Kyle Rittenhouse case and the Zimmerman. It's someone who is a self-proclaimed protector, self-proclaimed protector of the property of others can grab a gun, place themselves in a confrontational situation with a person who has done nothing wrong. Bitch. <laughs> Rosenbaum did nothing wrong. Listen, he That's when he so started bad. that fire, he did nothing wrong. Okay, that 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 sentient dumpster was I was like, please, Rosenbaum. I'm so cold. Please warm me up with a nice fire inside my body. Oh my god! And then, and then, evil Kyle's like, "No, Rosenbaum, that dumpster must remain cold and afraid in this Wisconsin autumn." Man, that their orders be followed just by residents say that they fear themselves in a confrontational situation the person who has done nothing wrong demand that their orders be followed just by virtue of their presence say that they fear for their lives which is actually a police standard and even kill claiming self-defense what orders did Kyle Rittenhouse give to anyone except get the fuck away from me <laughs> yeah yeah please stop chasing me right stop chasing me go away yeah in, in, in that they oh, she, actually she initiate. Forgot what she was going to say. Never right. in these situations <laughs> is the question kill claiming self defense and in, in 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 situations. <laughs> this is the best part. I'm going to play it again. I love it. I love it. She's like, I know you brought me on to bullshit, but I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> they that they place themselves in a confrontational a situation. 
with a person who has done nothing wrong, demand that their orders be followed just by virtue of their presence, say that they fear for their lives, which is actually a police standard, and even kill claiming self-defense and sit in, in, in Yep. The bullshit train <laughs> fucking left the station. You realize this the yarn of bullshit you're spinning is bullshit in the middle of spinning it. You're like, wait a minute, this is a yarn. This is literally shit. What have I been doing? My hands, they stink. <laughs> Why am I using my hands? To talk a so board. much. Abort. Abort. Uh, this is nobody's buying this. <laughs> situations that they actually initiated. Right. Never in these situations is the question asked, what rights did the deceased have as citizens of this country to defend themselves? They have the right to stop fucking chasing me. I That's, know. They have the right to go. Of, of, I know. Get the fuck away. Well, that's why it's so disgusting to conflate this with the Arbery case or even the Zimmerman case. Any, any of these other cases where the other people for right or for wrong are going after other people. Yes. Yes. They're the ones starting the engagement. Kyle's fucking running away from all these people. The guys who are on trial in the Armored Arbery case are fucking Gage Grossgroots and yeah. and Anthony Huber. They they fucking chased after Kyle thinking he committed a crime that he didn't fucking commit. Yeah. Well, they did the thing that's crazy with the Arbery thing too is I didn't even realize this cuz until I was listening to the testimony. They didn't see he had some previous interaction with Arbery where right. Arbery was being super sussy, but, and, you know, probably was committing some kind of crime or attempting to commit a crime. But that day, they didn't see him commit any crime. Just, they didn't see Jack shit. Yeah. His, his father, who start, who's really the cause of all of this, just saw him running by and he's like, son, I saw that guy get the gun. That's <laughs> the guy. The That's the That's one. That's the guy. Let's fucking chase him. We saw him from a few days ago. <laughs> and then fuck it. That, the father. Oh my God. This father wins. He's going to, he, his father is the dumbest moron alive. Yeah. yeah. He he got himself and his son arrested and will spend the rest of life in jail. Yes. Yeah. Fucking Lucy. First of all, he tells his son to grab his gun and chase after this fucking guy. And then his son probably rightfully assumed at some point his father called the police. And so this yeah. entire time that his son is like trying to get uh, Arbery to talk to him and to stop running, he's assuming the police are on their way. Yeah, And then finally, when there's a pause in all this and the other car comes in and fucks up the situation even more, he's like, oh, dad, when, why are the police not here? And his dad's like, I never called the police. <laughs> it's like, oh, thanks, dad, you fucking moron. You, yeah. you think that before we went chasing this guy to fucking call the fucking police, you just thought, oh, let's just run after him in our in our truck with our guns. What, what the hell's wrong with this guy? The, Ar the Arbery case is just such stupidity on display it is a cavalcade of it's sad too because i don't think at least from from what i've seen i know supposedly he said the n-word i don't think that the 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 guy you know they're trying to cast this like the arbory guys went out there mm -hmm. to like lynch him which i don't think that's even remotely true mm -hmm. i don't think they went out there to murder him i don't think they went out there to kill him i think they went out there to be like oh we're gonna you know, because the father's an the you're father's a waiting cop. here until the cops show up to. Yeah, they're like, oh, we're yeah. gonna go out and be the heroes of the neighborhood. They didn't That's anticipate they that yeah. Aubrey was gonna grab their gun and fucking. But what? Well, they like, didn't this... anticipate that Aubrey is probably a crazy person who's schizophrenic and <laughs> would attack them. This is just this is a sad thing. It's like right. do do people not understand that, like, people don't magically know your intentions. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, sure. it's so bizarre. We have the uh, Amart Arbery trial still underway, and there are similarities insofar as no, uh, the, the defendants there are. Well, there's there is no a, similarities. There is a bit of a similarity. No. Well, well yeah, there's a, a similarity. Gage Grossgroots and Anthony Huber and uh, Jump Kick Man yeah. all were chasing Kyle Rittenhouse thinking right. that he committed a crime the, right uh, they were the guys in the aubrey case were chasing aubrey thinking he had committed a crime right and they were going to perform like a citizen's arrest yep. i mean according to the aubrey statute and I, I think it's like a different state so who knows if it's the same it's statute. georgia yeah. yeah i mean did they witness a felony 
I think they no, they witnessed a guy running. Yeah, they didn't. What they witnessed, they didn't yeah. see the shooting. Yeah, right. So they even by the other standard, they are not. They shouldn't have done what they did. No, they should have called the police. Yeah. Thanks. Well, I, and we I don't even at... understand why the fuck he ever got out of the car. That didn't make any sense to me either. Oh, at the if he Aubrey? just stayed in his fucking yeah. If, if Travis and Michael just stayed in his fucking car, yeah, that probably wouldn't even happen. Yeah. Who knows? Play stupid games, win stupid oh, prizes. And then that other fucking moron, who they're, they're you know they're driving with, they're driving their car, they're trying to get Arbery to stop running, and then some random fucking neighbors like, oh let me engage, let me, I see like there's something going on, let me like start chasing after him too in my car. It's like what the fuck's that? Who are these people? Chay What's Tachi, going on here? Chay Tachi's giving me a hard time in the chat. There are no similarities, Adam. Please stop. Fake news. <laughs> Fake news. It's a little. Come on, just a, yeah. It's, it's, a it's similar if the roles were reversed. Yeah, that's and then it is similar. It is a little similar. Yeah. What are you it talking? Is. Look, in the uh, Aubrey case, the guys on trial are the bad guys, right? <laughs> the, the, the guilty party. Well, it's not that simple. I'd say everyone in the Arbery thing is a bad guy, including mm -hmm. Arbery. Right. Like it's just like a, it's just it's just a for cavalcade of fuck ups the, for grabbing really. the gun. Well, no, because he was fucking probably stealing shit. <laughs> like I don't, I don't buy the whole he was wandering through the house just trying to oh really look at the architecture to build for his mother or whatever the fuck what? bullshit story what? it was given. What? How do you know no. it was? I mean, there were other people. I mean, the, there was like five or six people that went through there. We I know. We talked about this. Was everyone right. stealing? Yeah, but the th well, there was something stolen. But the fact that Arbery had a history, a literal history of doing this, of stealing, and stealing from under construction houses. And as I told you, I learned supposedly he had schizophrenia that told him to steal and hurt people. Yeah. I'm assuming <laughs> That Arbery was not acting in good faith here. Okay. Maybe Chaitachi doesn't know that he had schizophrenia. Well, and also the previous interaction they had was that, according to Travis McMichael, the guy who shot Arbery, was that he saw him <laughs> a, a previous night and that he asked Arbery what he was doing. And Arbery approached him and started pulling up his shirt like as if he had a gun. Mm -hmm. And then uh, when Travis McMichael ran back to his car to get his gun, Arbery ran back into the house mm -hmm. and then ran out the back and ran away. And so you'd ask yourself, okay, if this is an innocent person who's just wandering into houses mm -hmm. and he has some interaction where this person almost shoots him, why would he ever come back to that location? Wouldn't he be too scared to come back to that place? Because he's crazy. Well, that's what I'm saying. This is like, that's what I'm saying. This, it's one of those cases where everyone involves is like kind of fucked. Yeah. Risk in some fashion, and the the uh, the prosecutors have seemed to establish the fact that they were not at risk in any fashion whatsoever. There was no known crime that Ahmad Ar Arbery had committed, and at all points he was trying to get away from the men who ultimately killed him. Yes, and no, kind of like Kyle, Kyle, right? Yeah, use that logic on Kyle. Come on, you're yeah. so close. Kyle you're so close. Get away from people. Put it in your brains. Yes. Put it in your brains. Lock and load. Kyle is a R R. <laughs> Well, Ahmed see, Arbery. And that's another thing people might not know is that because Arbery actually tries to run away from Travis McMichael mm -hmm. and he keeps getting blocked by this other neighbor mm -hmm. in his car. Right. So he's like, he ends up getting stuck between the two of them. And it's really weird because the neighbor, they're not communicating. They're not telling the neighbor to do this. He's just fucking doing it for some bizarre reason. Mm -hmm. Ouch. So. Yeah. Just like a wild mob. Yeah. <laughs> House is not... Chaitachi house is not similar. It's, it's a little like, similar. Well, this is the difference. The is only that difference Kyle is one hundred percent innocent, and Arbery is probably was not one hundred percent innocent. Right. Yes. I don't know. I don't know anything about the Aubrey. It's guilty right. stuff. So we are seeing this now becoming a trend. Trent was doing nothing. He was walking through his own neighborhood. Uh, uh, Kyle Rittenhouse was somewhere where he shouldn't have been, and we had people who have a First Amendment right to protest. Look, she's having trouble because she's First like, Amendment. She's like going through the brain stroke. She's like, wait first a second Amendment. here. Uh, yeah, Kyle Rittenhouse is, but he's like she. She sees the similarities. Here. I mean, if you're Kyle Rittenhouse, uh, 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 Kyle Rittenhouse. He, you know, Aubrey had every right to be there. He's just, you know, he's wandering around. He's you're right. Moved. You know, 
I think she just realized. She, like, I know it's happening. She like in just real time realized here. what she was saying. She's like, and that, but Kyle how, like, House didn't have any right to be there. Because... Right. She she just realized that Kyron House would be more aptly compared to Aubrey, uh, yeah. Trayvon Martin, and that George Zimmerman would be more aptly compared to Gage and Anthony Huber. Yeah. Just like had this realization as she's talking. She's like, wait, yes. I fucked up. Yeah whatsoever. There was no known crime that Ahmad Ar Arbery had committed. And at all points, he was trying to get away from the men who ultimately killed him. Right there. Set it up. Yes. And we are seeing this now becoming a trend. Trey Barron was doing nothing. He was walking through his own neighborhood. Uh, uh, Kyle Rittenhouse was somewhere <laughs> where he shouldn't have been. Yes. Was like, hey, you just saw now. it. You just I saw know. it. You saw it there in real time. Yes. She's the, like, the gears started shit. to turn. Kyle the... was just like Trayvon. Yes. Fucking. Yeah. What the fuck is Gage and Huber? Who are these fucking secure? Who are these part-time fucking yeah what why how did they deputize themselves to fucking apprehend him for for like a half a second there was that moment of clarity when I the know. gears were like ching, 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 and we like, saw, oh shit we saw a cognitive dissonance kick in right here though he just did fuck you know he shouldn't have been there <laughs> it's like oh my god so close so close technically and no we one had should have been there but look now she's kicking back in she's like i fixed it i fixed the cognitive dissonance People i do who have like a first amendment right <laughs> she switches she's like let's not talk about that let's yes. talk about the protesters well actually but that's not even true there's a curfew they don't have a first amendment right yeah no doubt so, though kind of hilariously the, 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 do you see the reason that they dropped the curfew violation charges? Because they didn't give anyone else curfew violations. <laughs> because, no, because the fucking binger in the state forgot to admit into evidence that there was a curfew. No way. Really? Yes. You're kidding me. I'm not kidding. Really? Yes. Oh, my God. Is that hilarious? The fucking cavalcade of errors in this case is just <laughs> mind-boggling. Dude, I have lost all. Well, I didn't really have much faith in the criminal justice system. You got, you want to keep yourselves as far away from the criminal justice system as yes, humanly possible. Yes, there's true. no such thing as it's very scary justice in any of this stuff. Yep. Yeah, it's very scary to protest. I mean, if you're weighing that again, which one has more weight, right? Our written house was somewhere where he shouldn't have been had people who have a First Amendment right to protest. I mean, if you're weighing that against the Second Amendment, which one has more weight, right? The Second Amendment or the First Amendment? And then the Second Amendment, you have the right to, in your opinion, if you believe in the Second Amendment, arm yourselves. And that is the dangerous part, not the First Amendment, where you're just using your voice and your presence to acknowledge that there is something that you uh, do not agree with or you don't believe oh. in. Got okay. <laughs> That's why, you know, Kyle was walking, Rosenbaum was standing there quietly. Or not even quietly. Rosenbaum was standing there loudly yelling, Black Lives Matter. He had a big sign that said justice for Jacob Blake. And Kyle just said, oh, you like Jacob Blake? You know, Jacob Blake got shot in the back. So you get shot in the back. That's... And Kyle went, pop, 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 pop. And he shot Rosenbaum in the back four times. That's not what I heard. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's what I no, saw. No, no, no. I heard in pretty... testimony. I saw a video and I'm pretty 100% sure that's exactly what I saw in the video. You know what I heard? What? Why did Well, he did say fuck you and lunge for the gun. <laughs> that's what I heard. Yeah, that was Kyle that said that. Kyle no, said fuck you and then no, lunged for his gun no, and then shot Rosenbaum. No. I saw Rosenbaum. that video. Listen, Adam. Well, I saw that video. You and lunge for the gun. <laughs> I saw that video that Anna Kasparian saw. I Let's saw the video of it. Kyle Rittenhouse chasing Rosenbaum down and shooting him in the back. I saw that video. Yeah. You did, huh? You saw that video. <laughs> I saw that video. <laughs> where he throws the, the plastic bag. Where yeah, Kyle, Kyle Rittenhouse throws a Kyle plastic throws bag. Kyle throws a plastic bag. Before and, he shoots him, yeah. And Rosenbaum already is running away with Kyle's yeah. gun. That he's no, stolen no, no, from no. him somehow. It wasn't a gun. It was his sign. It was a sign that said uh, "All lives." It said "Black Lives Matter." That's what it, it looked like—a gun from that angle. But it was actually. Uh, what is I the look on this face? What is the look that you're seeing over there? This is the look of she's like, "Did they buy it?" <laughs> <laughs> That's what that look says. <laughs> I this look is to me looks like I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked up. I almost. I almost said Kyle Rittenhouse deserved to be there, just like Aubrey. Aubrey. 
Uh, yes, I know. I know. Sonia Pruitt, we appreciate your time. Uh, Sonia Pruitt is retired with the Montgomery County, Maryland Police Department, and she is the How founder the of the Black a Police Experience. Police and you want to start with you. <laughs> oh, no, no. Look who it is. No, not again. It's our Wisconsin representative. Not again. Yes. That you're torturing me here. This is evil. Yes. Not a matter you and I have talked about a lot. You are a representative from Wisconsin, and uh, obviously emotions are running high in your state right now because of the acquittal of Kyle Rittenhouse. You had actually tweeted, um, uh, as a result of the verdict uh -oh. yesterday, a system that legitimizes vigilante oh. murder is deeply broken. Your God, I just, this is so, Ooh. like, uh you fucking moron, Gwen Moore. Vigilante murder. They do not. I'm coming to the conclusion that they do not understand what the word vigilante means. I really it means you're like Batman. Yes. Yeah. Well, vigilante is someone who exacts punishment. Okay. Self-defense is not punishment. And protecting a security guard is not a vigilante. Protecting property is not punishing anyone for anything. It's saying, don't do that. It's a deterrent. Thoughts on the acquittal? Well, you know, it was not unexpected. I don't know how many people were surprised by this particular verdict. But, you know, I'll, I'll, I, what comes to mind is uh, something that a friend of mine, a defense attorney, now deceased once told me. And that is that not guilty is not the same thing as being innocent. Where have I heard that before? <laughs> It's exact, literally opened up with the exact same talking point as you Where did. have I heard that before? With, with, yeah, that's hilarious. Dude, that's one thing, like, I don't know, some people, they only have a list of certain phrases. Right, right. And it's they good. just kind of put them on repeat. You're like, that was a good one. I'm going to open up every time someone asks me about Kyle I'm going to say, a friend of mine who's a defense attorney. <laughs> yeah. You know, but once the, the judge took the two charges, two misdemeanors uh, out of the equation. The fact that he was 17 years old and breaking curfew, uh, the fact that he was underage and had uh, a rifle, you know, the judge used some obscure, some, uh, you know, drafting error in the law to justify. What a fucking drafting error. It's clear as day, black and white. It's right there. Fucking Willy Wonka's shouting at you. It's like, it's right fucking there. It's a drafting error. Some obscure drafting error. Fuck off. What are you talking about? Open your eyes. <laughs> Not putting that in front of the jury. You know, suddenly, um, you know, Kyle Rittenhouse's declaration that he did nothing wrong uh, gave that some wings. Um, and you see all these Second Amendment right uh, advocates essentially asserting that he had a right to be, to be there. So we um, we have this really uh, weird uh, outcome where someone who we all say shouldn't have been there mm -hmm. um, is, some, is somehow sort of bootstrapped in. I just, I just love this in context of the Ahmed Aubrey case. Like, isn't the case for Ahmed Aubrey, aren't they arguing that he had every right to be there? I really yeah. feel like they are. Listen, listen. The Armored Arbery had more right to break into someone's house and wander around multiple times. Well, apparently. wait a second. I heard he was just a jogger. I heard he was just like uh, jogging of course. in the area. Yes, of course. Right. Yeah. Arbid Ar Arbid Ahmed, I can't even say his name. Arbery, Arbery had more of a right, according to these people, to break into someone's house multiple times that's under construction and wander around mm -hmm. it. Then Kyle Rittenhouse did to stand outside a fucking car lot and say, don't burn this building down. <laughs> like, what, this is fucking clown world. That's why. Yeah, no, insanity. this is this is <laughs> I feel like we kind of cracked the the veneer a little bit with the last guest. I do. Yes. I feel like yes. she, she realized midstream. I'm full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one that's full of shit. Yes. They're, it's so bizarre. That these two cases align so much. I got to check on Chaitachi. She's probably giving me a heart. She's, she's getting so <laughs> triggered about me comparing these two. Yeah, I thought. <laughs> Ahmed, Look at that picture. Ahmed, it looks like Kyle and his lawyer is about to kiss. Ahmed, perfect pause. <laughs> Ahmed He's Ra like, kiss me, you beautiful bastard. Adam. Do <laughs> 
Oh my God. Being uh, legitimately on the scene and then, of course, uh, able to. Uh, uh, to defend himself. I just think it's it's tragic all the way around. Um, the, uh, there's legitimate fear around this spawning, uh, more vigilantism, and hopefully the other cases in Charlottesville uh, and in Georgia uh, will sort of mitigate uh, the results. Ooh, you called it already ahead of time. Setting a nice, up it. nice narrative. Setting it's going to mitigate the, the damage. Yeah. Yes. I can't wait for my pensions to fill up with cope, cope, I know. racist cope. Results of this, which I'm a lot more hopeful about the outcome of at least one of those those trials. Yeah. So I haven't watched this, but so I'm a little curious. It could be boring. This is uh, us now is a representative of Kyle's district. Oh, really? Talking oh. about it. So I'm curious as what he says. Yeah. Uh, Hey, Sheriff Hataku in the chat says, for five Canadian, thanks, Dev. Says, did you hear a few hours ago a Black Lives Matter guys in a car drove through a parade injured 30 uh, plus killed several, possibly in retaliation for the Kyle verdict? Is that so? Oh, really? So that's the context of it. Well, well let's be careful here. Mm -hmm. Let's be careful here, Dev. Dev is tossing okay. fake news super chats. Out I don't know. Like, I'm just, I don't no, know because we've been streaming. On. Okay, we did hear about the the guy driving through the the parade. We did talk about how he had been identified. People on Twitter were putting out his um his uh, rap video. Was there any evidence that this that he was some Black Lives Matter guy and that this has anything to do with Kyle Rittenhouse? This is or what? This is Kyle Rittenhouse revenge. What is, is yeah? That what's going on? What is the evidence for that claim? Because if that's true, that's fucking crazy. Did he drive through a farmer's market? Was it a ton of white people? It was a parade, some kind of parade. Oh, really? I see, I see what you did there. <laughs> what I see what did I there. do? Farmer's market. What did I do? What did I do? White yep. people don't have a culture. They do. It's called going to farmer's <laughs> markets. Okay, it's called obviously. farmer's market. Yes. Right. Uh, um, look at the chat. So, wait. What? Was there not, not confirmed regarding Kyle? Okay. Was the rap video any good? No, it was not good. I'm so sorry. It was not what? good. It wasn't any good? No, no, it wasn't. I'm not sad good. to hear that. Yeah. Uh, he has made Black Lives Matter posts on social media. Okay. But so that that's probably mean anything. That's, yeah, Who that's probably hasn't? not uncommon for, for most black people. Yeah. Jesus. Well, yeah. it's not like, think. Lance posts about Black Lives Matter once a day. Okay. Right. That's true. That's true. Yeah. A very white parade, to be fair. Yeah, that's what I was, at. It was like. What yeah. was it? Yeah. Okay, so we'll see. We'll 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 keep it open. We'll see. I would be shocked if that's what it was. If it was actually some retaliation, as opposed to just some like crazy person, drunk person, or something. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll you know we won't rule anything out. We will mm -hmm. see. Anyway, let's see what Kyle's congressman says about all this congressman brian style representing kenosha and the rest of wisconsin's first district in congress we appreciate you taking time out of your busy day okay this guy's biased he kind of looks like kyle <laughs> i'm so gonna lose my job that's what he's saying to us he looks right kind of like he looks a little too much like kyle he's like Get the midterms are not looking oh no wait he's republican mm -hmm. but he's probably been in office for like one uh, for he probably years. just he was probably no he was just elected yeah that because probably, of the yeah. because of the Kenosha yeah they had a Democrat because... forever and then <laughs> the riots came well actually like, well let me see let me check we're bringing um, a Republican in let's see Wisconsin first district history yeah because let's see is this his first term or not no he can play the video oh wait here it is wait never mind. I'm stupid. Play the hit the video. Why? I will do no such thing. Look at this guy. Congressman, let's start with I did it already. Quit your bitching. Look at this fucking guy. Quit your speaking bitching. back. Speaking back to the person who's top billing on the show. I love the fact that we do like forty five <laughs> videos now. This is amazing. Isn't this it? This is like this is hardcore content right here. I know. This is fucking crazy. I feel like we're on video eighteen here. We probably are. Look at this. Look at this guy. What was a what was a verdict? 
How long I can't find it. Office? Let's see, 2018 representative. Brian Steele. I would think I looked him to up. To be like Look, pretty. Brian Steele, Kenosha, right here. All office contact. Um, where's Brian Steele from? Who is Brian Steele, Wisconsin? What district? Dude, how is long Brian has he Steele? been in fucking Who office? Who are Kenosha's representatives? I'll just go to his Twitter. This will this will tell us right here. It's not gonna tell us shit. This should be like the first thing you see generally when you look at this stuff. I don't understand why. How come Here Brian Steele has a check mark and he has less followers? First elected me? in 2018. That's so thought, yes, yeah. you were right. It was this was nailed it. This was because of the riots. Nailed well, it. But actually, well, I'm I'm trying to see if in 20 was it a Democrat or not before that would be actually the, the question. Hashtag artist me, Scott Adams. I fucking know my prediction abilities are unstoppable. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Twenty Wisconsin you. first, twenty six. It was a Democrat. Don't even don't even mess with me. Okay, they voted for Hillary Clinton. Okay, I thought they did vote for the Hillary, county yeah. went for Hillary Clinton. They had a Democrat in office. The Democrat came out and like, we need to defund the police, and they were like, we need to elect a Republican. <laughs> <laughs> it was no contest. Mr. Steele here was like, I'm a Republican. How about if I run? You're hired. Wait, this was Paul Ryan's district? No way. No way. You're Holy kidding. shit. You're this kidding. was Paul Ryan's district. You're That's crazy. Me. I'm not kidding. Really? Yes. Holy shit. Paul Ryan, who got primaried. So it was a Democrat. Paul Ryan. Wasn't Paul Ryan primaried? He was. He lost in the primary. Paul Ryan. Wait a minute. Uh, oh, no, that's Paul, a different. No, maybe it was to, uh, someone. Pro, was Paul Paul Ryan? Nealon? Paul Nealon filed campaign papers to run against Speaker of the House Paul Ryan mm -hmm. on April first, huh? on April Fool's Day, twenty sixteen. And he primaried him, so it was a Republican. No, Nealon lost the Republican primary to Ryan. Ryan received eighty four percent of the votes. He, he okay. crushed Nealon. Right. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, even though Nealon was endorsed by such people like Ann Coulter and Sarah Palin. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, but so wait, did who who won though? Nobody cares. We're moving on. To today's court decision. I think two things are really important. One is that we make sure individuals who choose to express themselves do so consistent with the First Amendment legally and lawfully. And we do not allow criminal behavior to take place in the community of Kenosha. Two. I want to say thank you to the men and women of law enforcement, in particular those in the Kenosha Police Department, Kenosha Sheriff's Department, and other agencies that are on the ground tonight in Kenosha maintaining public safety. They're our frontline workers and really appreciate all the efforts that they're doing to keep the community of Kenosha safe. Mark Richards, the defense attorney today, said this became a political trial, became something bigger than it needed to be. Would you agree with that? I think a lot of people wanted to place their political opinions into this trial. And I think what we really should walk away with is we never should have been here in the first place. If the community of Kenosha had the resources that were needed to establish public safety immediately, no one would have been in the streets Tuesday night. Our governor chose not to accept the assistance of President Donald Trump and bad went to worse Tuesday night. We never should have been here in the first place. So TDS responsible for all of this. How is that what he just said? Fitting. Yeah, basically. Oh, okay, I wasn't really listening. He said uh he said their governor turned down the resources of Donald Trump and that since they did that, they didn't have the resources to keep the streets safe, and that's, that's what fucking happens. Yeah. So uh no, Paul Ryan defeated uh the Democrat and he just he just uh, retired in twenty eighteen. Okay. And just turned when, it over uh, to this guy. This guy, Brian Steele, yeah. Brian Steele. Oh, look. Brian Steele, November 2nd, posts a picture saying, Happy birthday, Scott Walker. Oh, your Thank favorite you. person. My favorite person in the world. Scott Walker. Governor of Wisconsin. That Scott Walker was the governor? Yeah, you know. Oh. I just knew he's insane. Crazy person. Anyway. How do we move forward from here, Congressman? In terms of your district, I'm sure you've heard from many of your constituents that they were nervous about the verdict coming out and what could possibly take place. Yeah, I know a lot of people are nervous. I've been on the phone with a lot of folks in Kenosha, community leaders, 
uh, as well as law enforcement officers. We need to make sure we're supporting our law enforcement officers tonight. We don't want to allow any criminal behavior to take place. I think we've seen and we have a good lesson learned. We have 500 National Guard troops on standby uh, in case they're required. Hopefully they're not. Uh, we also have, from my conversations with local law enforcement leaders, the sufficient resources that are needed to maintain public safety. That's what's so important. People have a First Amendment right to express themselves. But there's a bright line between your First Amendment right <laughs> like and brave, criminal behavior. Brave, and we cannot tolerate this criminal racy, behavior racy in Kenosha tissue box or anywhere across our country. Pretty calm down there now. I want to ask you, when you go down the Kenosha and you talk to people like we have, I know you have, it almost seems like the city. Why are you the guy's voice is so Wisconsin. <clears throat> He sounds just like, he sounds so much like uh, Richards. Wisconsin. You get such a Wisconsin accent. Been in purgatory. So many people <laughs> have wanted to move forward, but this. So many people have wanted to move <laughs> forward. Ohio has been kind of lingering over that city and they haven't been able to move forward. There are still businesses in the uptown neighborhood of Kenosha that are boarded up and there are still businesses that are hurting. Uh, a year and a half later and ask see this is a problem or this is a problem for the democratic party you have what's her face that moron lady whose name escapes me that was just on velshi mm -hmm. and she's all like oh you know this is racism and vigilantism yeah. sounds like a fucking moron and then you have brian over here who's just like we need to support the police we need to peacefully protest you know yeah He's not really taking, unless I misheard, he's not really taking a stance about Kyle, whether no. Kyle is innocent or not. He's just saying support the police. He's totally punting on the Kyle. We need right. to fix our criminal justice system. <laughs> right. He's just punting on it. Just saying, but, you know, it's wisely. He's punting on it while saying sports police. Yeah. You know, protect the area. Yeah. Open governor the should have taken government, the governor should have taken additional resources from Trump. Yeah. You know. But he had too much TDS to do it. Yeah. Yeah. I can't help Trump. Trump will get reelected and then I'll have to cry for four years. <laughs> it's funny because remember, they used to, it's, it's so funny. Right? It's literally the exact thing that happened with Obama. Because remember, there were states that refused to take federal funding oh, to cover for the, the health care, the, the ACA yeah. gap. And now, and then it's like the exact thing. It's like, oh, you know, Trump's trying to give them money for police oh, or protection yeah. or whatever and he's it's like oh so... i don't want your free money fuck you i know it's what so I'm shooting saying. yourself in the foot it's like yeah. well it's cutting your ear off despite your face yeah yeah you're right you got that right i think what what kind of help can we get is there something that politicians <laughs> and local leaders can do guy. to to help the people <laughs> This accent is. What kind of? I can't even do it. <laughs> this I was accent like, is. Dry. What kind of help? Can we, I can't do it. That was. He sounds like. He sounds like a, the Raymond's brother almost. From everybody loves Raymond. <laughs> you gotta help Whoa. us out here. People of Kenosha, move forward beyond all Kenosha. the events. Kenosha. From I can't Kenosha. Do it. It's like kind of Fargo, but not quite. We in but Kenosha. It's... What are you gonna just... do for Kenosha? That is not what it sounds like. What's going on with Kenosha? It sounds closer to your Bane impression, doesn't it? Kenosha! <laughs> Kenosha! <laughs> no, stop. All right. Well, August of 2020. Kenosha's really come a long way, but after three nights of riots like Kenosha had, the scars are long-lasting. I remember walking in the 4th of July parade, and as you come into downtown, there's still a couple buildings with boards up. One of Dude, them... it takes... It's This is the thing that's so insidious about you know the bread tubers the the voshes the lances of the world they have no mm -hmm. concept of how long it takes to build a business and how quickly it can fucking be destroyed i know <laughs> it's insane building things is always more difficult than tearing them down it yeah yeah adults build things and children tear them down yeah, they're so oh man yeah a lot of times people, you know, they work a job and save their entire lives to start a business, start a restaurant, start a little store, whatever they it's whatever they have in mind. Yeah. Piece of shit scumbag writers <laughs> comes come breaks all, all the windows, fucking horrible. burns all the cars. For no yeah. reason. No. Oh. For absolutely no reason. Yeah. That has an arrow that says people live here with a sign pointing up with a reminder that these criminals and these rioters who are on the streets were burning buildings were people who are living in. And True. so the scars are long lasting. But let me tell you, Kenosha is a family centered, hardworking community. It's an absolutely terrific city. It's come back a long way. Our internet really okay. sucks, but okay. <laughs>
whatever. whatever. Even with his shitty internet, I'd vote for this guy a million times over fucking that moron lady. Listen to that. Sitch. Yep. Sitch voting for a Republican. I don't vote for this guy over that. If, if that's my choices, is that idiot lady? Yeah. For this guy, this guy seems pretty, pretty solid. So All right. So- on this issue. Oh, nice. I finally get to see a Richardson's one. Thank you. You've taken so pity on me. Well, this could be the last clip that we watch. Okay, I think want. um I think uh Yeah. So this clip I I thought it would be interesting if Nick Ricada interviewed Richardson. It seemed like an easy get, but after Richards, this, Richards. Oh Richards. yeah, Richards. I sorry. I keep I, you do you, wait, there's no there's Mark no. Richards. Do you think Mark Richards would talk? Ricada was like shit talking. Not, All those guys were shit talking Richards. Not after this clip. After this clip I realized. Cause um this woman <laughs> This woman mm-hmm. like went to college with Richard's secretary or something. <laughs> we saw we saw the woman in court that was doing all their technical stuff and briefs. We saw her like all week long. Yeah, the lady she, with the yeah. white hair. Yeah. She's friends with this woman that's doing the interview. Yes. And Mark the, yeah. says the only reason that he's doing the interview is because they're friends, basically. <laughs> yeah. Richard doesn't great. seem like Richard seems like he's a very like wants to be left the fuck alone. Yeah, Richards doesn't want to do any more interviews. Yeah. He's like, uh, yeah, okay. He's like, I'm a lawyer, okay. I just do my job and then I fuck off. I like okay. Richards, man. Yeah, I, he's listen. fucking no nonsense. He, I he like comes this off, guy. Even though I didn't like a lot of, I really didn't like the lack of objecting to some a lot of the stuff that was happening uh, in the closing statement and other places. He does come off very likable in these interviews. This was my problem with the with the Ricada. And I you know, no shade at Ricada. I love Ricada to death and all, like all the attorneys, their content was just amazing. Mm-hmm. But they were definitely talking a lot of shit about Mark's Mark's case, what he was doing. Right. Like they wanted more objections. They thought putting Rittenhouse on the stand was a huge mistake. The first thing I noticed about Mark when he when he came out was he said, "Listen, like the local culture is, if your client doesn't take the stand, you lose." So he's right. probably got a long history of seeing people not take the stand well, and going he also to jail. Said, and I wonder if Barnes knew this and just didn't tell people mm-hmm. <laughs> while they were shitting on him because he said that they, they ran. Two- I know. Yeah, he's what Richard the fuck, says, Barnes? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck, Barnes? I don't know if maybe he no, it must have been this must have been while Barnes was still there because Barnes only said he left during jury selection. Right. So it's a little Did he not know? He must have known. This is a little uh a little shitty on Barnes's part for not for not uh what's the word? Maybe I'm for? maybe he for could, not offering this information up. Maybe it's not shitty though, because maybe it's maybe this information is not supposed to get out until after the case anyway. Maybe the, the informa- right. you know the information is that they ran two mock trials with two mock juries. And yes. they ran one where Rittenhouse takes the stand and one where Rittenhouse doesn't take the stand. Isn't it amazing what you have when you don't have a public defender? Can you imagine? Oh, yeah. I know when you have defender. like millions of dollars to do all sorts of crazy shit. Yeah. Can you imagine your public defender coming out and go, oh, yeah, this is the mock trial boy? <laughs> It's like, what, well, according yeah. to the statistics from the mock, yeah, they ran these two mock trials and they found out that when they questioned the jury, uh, people were way more favorable to Kyle testifying. Right. Yes. Than not testifying. Which, yeah, yeah you got to, you got to consider the local, and this is why you get a local attorney because you want to consider the local culture. Right. Yeah. Well. And he also yeah. said, yeah, so that combined with the local culture. So it actually, if that's true, yeah, if that's all true, then yeah, it makes a hundred percent sense why they put Kyle on the, yeah. the witness stand to testify. Yeah. And we got to see it. We totally right. got to see it. If we would have known that we would have known that Kyle Rittenhouse was going to take the stand. And I haven't. Been. No one, at least that I've seen his interviews, no one's asked him why he the fuck he didn't object to shit. Because that to me was like, that's why the, I wanted. That's why that I was wanted some shit. To, to interview him. I mean, Bing, Binger's up there saying provocation removes self defense, which I, I mean, I don't know. That was repeated too by someone else, and that, that's not what it looked like when I read the law. So I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Ricada had one hundred twenty thousand live viewers on his thing. Ricada's the perfect guy to interview him because he could ask him all those questions that we were everyone was asking during their coverage. Like we want to know why was why didn't he object? What Nick, was he thinking? 
And Nick yeah, is Richard's the perfect a... guy because Nick can ask these things in a not confrontational way that is not going to be offensive. I mean, you know, they. It, oh, he's a lawyer. You can ask him the yeah. lawyer questions. Yeah. Yeah, but he doesn't. It doesn't have to make it seem like right. we're talking so, shit. Unless I mean, I wasn't. We weren't. I wasn't planning on watching this whole interview mm -hmm. uh, with Richards. I just thought this one question about the media bias was kind of interesting. Yeah. I like the sidebar picture here of the people losing their minds. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? And all the people who have unfortunately been drawn into it. Which leads me to this next question. Um, again, and it sort of has to do with the inside baseball, but on Fox News tonight, they're, they're talking about suing and that Kyle should sue every media outlet yes. that called yeah. him a murderer and that said he was a white supremacist and that said he was guilty. And, you know, that's part and parcel of these cases that, you know, that the, the information f flows like, you know, a waterfall. But Nick Sandman, um, he has come out publicly with a column saying that Kyle should. Kyle should sue all the media outlets that disparaged him and perhaps in some estimation may have even risen to the level of defamation. Have you spoken with Kyle about that and would you advise him one way or the other with regard to that kind of civil action in the future? I, I am not a civil lawyer. I am a criminal lawyer. So I do not advise on topics like that. I can say this, that when I got involved in this case, um, and there were a couple of other prominent lawyers who were involved and trying to make some calls. And, you know, I said, look, all of your, you know, riches and civil lawsuits are going nowhere if this kid gets found guilty of anything. So let's worry about what's important. Um, and ultimately, no actions were filed by Kyle or on behalf of Kyle while I was representing him. And... I can say this, um, much of the coverage at the beginning was wrong. The trial proved that. But just in the last two weeks, you know, people might not believe this, but I watch MSNBC, CNN. I'm not a big Fox guy. And, you know, when I hear Joe Scarborough saying that my client shot his gun 60 times, that's wrong. When I hear some, <laughs> you know, guest host on the Joy Reid say, that my client drove four hours to go to a riot with his AR. That's wrong. Yeah. Bang! And Sitch and Adam got both those. Both we covered those. those. Yes. yes. And we both shit our pants when we heard it. Ah, oh, that's so sweet. I was so happy to hear him say both of those. Yes. Yes. One was. Uh, one was. One was Joe Scarborough, but the other guy was what is this? Jason. Johnson. It was Jason. Jason on Joy Reid. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Emotive. It's false. And it makes me angry that they can't take the time to at least get the generic basic facts correct. And because it didn't fit in the story that they wanted to tell. And well, I'll be on the record here, uh, Mark Richards, that uh, you should now put a new network on your uh, TiVo, and that's News Nation. We're pretty, um, <laughs> we're pretty committed to not pulling the the bias nice stuff. Plug. And um, you know, fifteen, twenty, I don't know, give or take uh, years in in covering legal news. I think those things are important, and so. Uh, for that reason, I'm going to ask you to ask your client to to do an interview with me as soon as he's finished with that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So thirsty. I love she, I, that so was, yeah, thirsty. that's kind of gross. So thirsty. Oh, by the way. Can you ask Kyle to come on, please? Is Kyle Rittenhouse still single? I'm just curious. And I'll, look, and I'll be honest, he... too. I don't really give a fuck about Kyle Rittenhouse interview. What is he going to say that is going to be interesting that we haven't heard already? Mm, I am kind of interested. I mean, I do. I, I'm way more interested in like the the legal strategy and all that stuff. It's true. We did see a Kyle Rittenhouse interview for six hours already. It was Thomas Binger asking him. He wasn't holding a gun. He wasn't holding a knife. Yeah. He wasn't exactly. holding so I, a mace. That's what he I mean. He wasn't holding saw, a magic yeah. wand. He wasn't holding a skateboard. <laughs> Oh, wait, he was holding a skateboard. He wasn't was, holding was, a... How do we know Anthony Huber wasn't holding a big sack of cookie dough? Did you try eating it? Did you try biting into that skateboard? It could have been a cake. It could have been a pinata he, for all you know, Mr. Rittenhouse. Okay. He wasn't holding a, a, a broken bottle. He wasn't holding a four-foot bong. He wasn't holding a... <laughs> Jeez. I think but, you no, would I mean. be well we, served we to do the... a non bias What's we that? had the Kyle Rittenhouse interview. It was the six hours of testimony. It, so. I know, totally. Yeah, I don't know what else we're going to learn about it. Interview with um, with your client. Um, there are a lot of people who probably should see the sides of Kyle that they maybe don't know.
you know, that's just my yeah. pitch. And, One and last I'd question just to like you. To, yeah, I'd ahead. like to thank my team, you know, and, you know, the reason I came on here is Joe Allen told me I had to. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, but Joe Allen and I go back with, a long but... way. So... See, she threw it right in there. Joanna and I go back a long yes. way. This is how this is how life really works, guys. Take notice. Take well, but notice this is here. a it's actually a very fascinating social interaction because she kind of in a very uncouth way begged him to let Kyle to get Kyle to come on her show publicly. Yeah. Which I would think is uncouth for a reporter in, in this kind of situation. And his response was, Well, the only reason I showed up to your fucking show is because I was told he, I, I had to. I know he slapped. That's kind of like a fuck you. Almost. He slapped back. He did. Yeah. That's why this is beautiful. I'm glad you. I'm glad you brought yes. this one up. Yeah. No, it's great. Yeah. He's like, listen, bitch. I don't want to do your <laughs> fucking show. Okay. You, right. you played patty cake with my fucking secretary when you were four. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if he's a secretary, but uh, whoever that. Lady my is. paralegal. Okay? Yeah, I don't know what her role is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So that's the only reason I'm here. Okay. Kyle's not going to do your show. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Nobody wants to do your show. Except for maybe Lance. Lance definitely wants to do your show, okay? I bet you could get I bet you could get Lance of the Surf's fame on your show, okay? Oh, definitely. Definitely. This is this is the interaction too that made me think Richard's probably isn't going to do an interview with Nick Rigada, even though No, no even I though know. it it's seemingly seemed like an easy well, get, but not really. Maybe the other guy would. The thing that made me think it was an easy get was I think uh, V Radio called up the office and like mm -hmm. shared information with him during the uh, trial or something like that. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Doesn't mean that he's going to do an interview though. No, but he picked I mean, up, yeah, he's just a public attorney. He picked up the phone. Pick him up the phone yeah, and call exactly. this guy. Yeah. Call sure. On. But I'm sure there, you, you know, he's got like a thousand messages from every now news station on the planet saying, come talk to us. He also said, you know, he's been hearing from people he hasn't heard from in 25 years, like every single friend he's ever had is reaching out to him. He's a big celebrity now. That is the kind of yeah. gross thing, too, is if you become famous, mm -hmm. uh, all these people that you've never talked to, like, I don't yeah. like if they were just like, oh, you know, I haven't talked to you a long time. I'm glad to see you're doing well. That's nice. But like, which is fine, but some of them are like, "Oh, remember me from twenty years ago? Yeah, do you want to invest in my my marketing program? Yeah, <laughs> like, oh, exactly. get the fuck out of here." I I didn't exactly get rich off the Kyle Rittenhouse case. Thanks. Yes, I'll, I'll pass. Right. <laughs> Corey, I'm glad um, she was able to pursue. <laughs> she said I had to, and you know, she meant a lot to the team. She really helped with Kyle's family. My co-counsel, Corey Shirafasi, and when I say co, I mean that he was an equal. Um, and the investigators, you know, Todd and Steve, who worked on the case, a lot of effort went into this case, the experts. That's another thing that was really interesting. The ball guy, Corey, his co-counsel, they fought over who was going to get to to cross-examine Gage Gross Group. Yes. <laughs> Which was, I was like, Yeah. Oh. Imagine that, like boxing over that. I mean, Mark Richards did most, most of the, most of the trial, but Corey just nailed. I feel it like Corey did most of the, the crosses. Am I oh, misremembering really? that? I don't. I don't. I, I could be false attributing that because because the ones that stick in my stick out in my mind are the ones that Corey mm -hmm. did. Yeah, he. But even he did nail it on gross groots. Well, and, and I'll give credit to Richards. He said that we fought over, we fought over it, and at he said he admitted he's like I'm glad that yeah. Corey was the one to he finally do it. He did a better job than me is exactly yeah. what he said. Yeah. yeah, he said he did a better job than I would have. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. And there was no one person was more important than the other, and I think that's the key to this case. Well, you all really pulled it off. I do have this last question for you, and it mm -hmm. it comes to me when I listened to you earlier today when you mentioned um, you, you had a comment that I thought really stood out, and it said you said I personally don't like people carrying AR-15s around. So I wanna craft this question as gently um, and as respectfully as possible. There is the law in Wisconsin that this jury decided Wisconsin. your client was within the law. He uh, perceived to, to have his life threatened and he reacted uh, in self-defense. That's the law. Not every state has that. Uh, many don't have the non-duty to retreat. Many don't. Lots of states are quite different. And then there is the whole notion that two men are dead 
uh, because one had a plastic bag and then the other one had a skateboard. And so then there is the overall morale. Look at that. Look at that fucking Richard. <laughs> Look at like, that. If you like that, Richard. Shut the fuck up. What is this bullshit? What is this bullshit? You're, you're, you're hitting me with that fucking sauerkraut take a beating argument what's yes. going on here he had a plastic bag what's going on here yeah i love it uh this is this well she is, to be fair she's if you watch the whole interview she's not she's just setting him up to say whatever he wants she's not taking a side but i do like Scott. richard's response this is what yeah. endeared me to richard's like this is such right. nonsense i can't believe people I can't believe this cockamamie idea is being blasted out all over the fucking world right now. And people are buying this slop. Yep. You're under no obligation to get your face bashed in. Nope. Of it, which gets people out into the street. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's what people about the whole notion is that because one had a plastic bag and then the other one had a skateboard. And so then there is the overall morality of it which gets people out into the street do you know what i mean like that's what people feel about the whole notion is that two it men are dead bag. you know he he had threatened to kill him he had threatened to harm others he directly threatened to kill kyle he said if i get you alone i will effing kill you that wasn't just kyle saying that that was another individual and when he saw kyle alone they set up an ambush and he went after him and when kyle said friendly friendly he yelled, and this is on tape, you ain't going to do S mother effort. And, you know, it wasn't the bag. Kyle retreated. He ran from Joseph Rosenbaum. Rosenbaum continued to chase him. And, you know, I've said throughout this, why was Joseph Rosenbaum chasing him? Mm -hmm. He was going to do grievous harm, if not kill Kyle. The tape showing right there, I see it. And, you know... Kyle was put in a bad position by some bad people. And this is the result, a jury trial 15 months later. Well, Good I can't answer. thank you enough for taking the time to, you know, talk through a lot of these elements um, with me. And I reiterate the um, the request to be able to talk to your client as well. Oh, my God. Don't end it. <laughs> I know. She's so thirsty. <laughs> so thirsty. So thirsty oh my god kyle rittenhouse interview could make my career please come on richards i'm not getting any younger here give me that kyle rittenhouse boy uh guardian fortress for 20 dollars says what is vigilantism but people taking the law into their own hands when they were rioting because they thought the police were corrupt they wanted people to police their own property right that's true yeah that's a good point yeah, no, the rioters were vigilantes because they were trying to exact a punishment on the community for perceived injustice. That's mm -hmm. that's a that's where I keep getting upset about the word use of the word vigilante because vigilante is the punisher. Yes. The person who comes in and punishes you for a crime. And like a security guard is a deterrent measure. Their security guards aren't the fucking hangmen. Yeah. Well, it's, it's did you ever see the movie Death Wish? Yeah, I love that movie. With what's his name? No, Brosnan. I don't. It's not. Like You've never one seen Death Wish? I have seen it. Yeah, it's kind of. Oh, it's a it's an old movie. Yeah, and it's crazy. Well, I guess they just remade it. Yeah. It's completely insane, though. Yeah, I mean. Charles Bronson, where he like. He, he, there's some scene I'm trying to remember where he like puts a bunch of money like in his pockets. So like money's like coming out of his pockets. So when mm -hmm. someone tries to come and rob him, he just fucking shoots him in like the face. <laughs> like that's, you know, they're acting like this was Kyle. Like Kyle put on a big sign that says, you know, rob me. And there's like money trailing out of his pockets. And then when someone goes to rob him, he shoots him in the face. That's yeah. what they're acting like. Yeah, yeah totally. That's a vigilanteism. Okay. Yeah. Death Kyle wish. did. Didn't Death Wish like it? About like a gang, like kills his family or something. His family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it's spot, like. You know, completely right. heinous. I mean, it's, yes, you were in the movie. You're going, what? This? What the fuck? They're like, am I kill watching? these people, Charles. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. They give him the backstory. To he's going to clean it all. up. He's going to clean mm -hmm. up the city here. It's so that movie is so weird. <laughs> that movie's like David Lynch before David Lynch. Mm -hmm. I always thought it was weird. Hey, I'm going to run to the bathroom real quick. I'll be back. Read a uh, super oh. chat. <laughs> I was distracted because I was watching a video 
of apparently the guy who drove this car admitting to sex trafficking or something crazy. So, oh, really? I mean, I don't know. I haven't watched the video, so I don't know if that's true, but uh, that's just what the little little tweet says. Can you put it up? Can you put the video up? Uh, it's a it's a tweet. I can send it to you. You can put it up. Are you gonna put another video? Uh, I wasn't planning on it. Okay, I'll be right back. But uh, yeah, well, I'll send it. To, I'll send to you when Adam gets back from the bed from the party. He can put it up. Okay, chat. What are we doing here? Are we? Here's the question, guys. I feel like the Destiny Pacman Kyle House debate is so fantastic that it deserves its own Sunday show. But here's my concern. I want to know what you guys think. Will anyone give a shit about it next Sunday? Or will people be so like, another Kyle Rittenhouse video? Oh, I don't want to see another Kyle Rittenhouse video. That's my only concern. So I'm wondering if it would be better to do it on Tuesday or not. So tell me in the chat, what should we do? Should we do it Tuesday? Should we do it Sunday? Will people care on Sunday or not? We don't have the, we don't have the, well, it's not a question of energy. We couldn't do it. It's like an hour long conversation. And as you guys know, if it's an hour long video, it's going to take us like six hours to get through. So we can't do it tonight. We couldn't do it tonight. But so you do it now. No, we can't do it now. It's not possible. Okay. Seeing next week, do a preview now. Hmm. Maybe we, that's not, that might be a good idea to do a preview. Sooner is better. So that's for Tuesday. Rittenhouse is, Rittenhouse is so hot right now. Thank you, Temper. Yes. Rittenhouse like Hansel is so hot right now. Don't read Never any A team super chats while I'm gone. You know, no, I was discussing with the chat the rules. When we should do the Pac-Man Destiny debate. Should we do it Sunday or Tuesday? Tuesday. Oh, poll, look. These people are so smart. I can't do a poll. It's totally won't let me do it. Uh, oh, that's right. I, I always forget about the poll. Okay, let's see. When should... Oh, I sent you the, the thing if you want to bring it up. I don't know if we should watch it. I mean, it's breaking news, so it's one of those. We, we could get all the information wrong, but... As soon as I go to the bathroom, I feel like I could go for another couple hours here. What, you want to quit already? Jeez, Sitch, you're getting lazy on it. Well, we can read the rest of the Super Chats if you want. I'll take us another two hours, but... uh, No, I, w- I want to do a Tuesday stream. I'm like, I'm into the Yeah, Tuesday but maybe we should try to read the Super Chats now so Tuesday will be all for the Pac-Man Destiny conversation. Okay. That's a, that's a, that's a potential option. Because I just, I don't know, I just, I feel like... Where's People, this, uh... um, why does it say yes or no? When should we cover the David Pacman thing? I don't want yes or no. I want, I want, wait, is it all? Can I only ask yes or no questions on the stupid poll? No, you can type in whatever you want. Uh, oh, here we go. Get fucked. Let's <laughs> see. Yeah, just type them in. Get fucked. Tuesday. Don't get fucked. I just feel like people will be like, if we do it on Sunday, they'll be like, really? No, yeah, we can't another do it. Kyle Rittenhouse. We can't video. do it on Sunday. Oh my god. Yeah, I agree. We can't do it on Sunday. It is pretty epic, but we can't do it on Sunday. So yeah, I don't know. So maybe we'll do it on Tuesday. I don't even know why I'm asking. Now you did the poll. I know. If it's Sunday, we're fucked. <laughs> I know. Well, obviously, you guys got to vote for Tuesday. We, do we it correctly. We okay. reserve the right. J Mac for fifty dollars. Who is who is our surrogate father? Yes. What's says, up? Says uh, thank you, Jake. Says the Rin House stuff doesn't seem to be dying down anytime soon. I think it'll be fine for next Sunday. Look at that! Holy so cow! Go. He weighs in just fucking bam. Mm. He's like fuck. The, he's like fuck your poll. <laughs> Here, let, let me show you how it's done. Now I think Sunday is probably a better idea. <laughs> Has Hassan? Hassan had some shitty fucking cow takes. So oh. I had some really shitty takes. 82% of the people so far are saying Tuesday. So a lot, I've seen like way overwhelming majority wants yeah. us to do on Tuesday. People yeah. wanted a Hassan reaction. Look, Wormy came in to say hi. Wormy snuck in. So 24 hour strength. 
Okay, so yeah, some people are saying do a preview now. I don't know. Let's 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 try to we'll try to do the rest of this. We'll try to do as many of the super chats as we can tonight. Do you think you can do it? You want me to we'll read see. some? How about if I read super chats at the same time you read super chats and then we can get through them twice? That's as fast. the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard. What do you think? No, let's not do that. I got this idea from a friend of mine. Okay. <laughs> Let Wormy decide. There you go. <laughs> Wormy says, hmm, I really want to stand over here, but it's super slippery. <laughs> That's because it's my drawing table, Wormy, you weirdo. Stop staring uh, off like a Riri. <laughs> my cat's insane. We'll, we'll still do any art or memes that people sent us on Tuesday because we probably don't have time to do that and Super Chats tonight, but... Uh, stocks stocks for five euros says ideological trash is the same everywhere i've been watching this trial live to get all info firsthand german media is lying just as badly as the u.s what media. Oh. really wow. fascinating that is interesting hmm i wonder why uh, uh yeah i just woke has gone global uh well for five dollars says french media commonly says that kyle shot in confused circumstances and Le Monde straight up called him a white supremacist media sucks everywhere. Wow, this is like a global phenomenon. Everyone's crazy. Oh, this he is, should sue it. This he should sue that. Su sue all these fucking fuck just the US press. Sue all the press worldwide. Can you do that? Of course. Why not? I mean, it might be harder to claim what them like does Kyle Rinhouse get damages if he's defamed in Germany? A country he's never been to. I don't know the answer to that question. But uh, Bradley Roberts for five pounds says Black Friday Kenosha offer. Use code Kyle for free TV and radio and radios. Contact BLM or Antifa for more info. Uh, warning code won't work on bookstores. There you go. Ouch. There you go. I can't use the code. I'm a bookstore. Oh, are you playing the thing? I brought it up. I mean, is there I audio? I, I assume there was. I just haven't linked it yet. Well, let me know and we'll do a one, two, three. Well, I guess I got to pause it first. Is this a rap song? I hope there's no cursing. No, this is the guy that drove into the, supposedly, allegedly drove into the thing. We don't allow cursing on our show, so okay. I hope he doesn't use the F word or something. Ready? And then as soon as. Oh, yeah, I forgot to do the three, two, one. You want to do a one, two, three, or a three, two, one? Three, two, one. Three, two, one, go. And then as soon as we fall out, all of a sudden, now I'm a pedophile. Let me explain that. <laughs> Ten years ago, 2006, I caught a case with my oldest daughter's mama. Yes, my baby mama. She's from Oakland. I was busting moves in Nevada. I meet the bitch. She says she want to get down, so I'm pimping on the bitch. I'll take her to Nevada. You know what I'm saying? I get cracked. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I didn't know the bitch was 16 at the time. She gave a statement to the police and told them, yeah, she oh, was no. hoeing, that I was pimping, and, oh, and no. uh, that she was 16, and that I didn't know that. Okay? <laughs> and then as soon as we fall out, all of a sudden, now I'm a pimp. I'm so confused by all of this. I'm oh, so no. confused by all of this. Oh, my God. This is the guy that drove into... So, basically... Yes. So, I'm confused. Like, why... So obviously so, he's got like a underage girl problem going here. How does this relate to the thing? There you go. It doesn't, but they're just so, that was like the background information for the guy. So this is well, what we've already uncovered. Look, the, looks the like the a culture, fine, outstanding gentleman. The culture war has already begun. Oh my God, we just <laughs> got done with Kyle Rittenhouse, and already, uh, oh, okay. Well, already, we'll see. Already uh, we'll see. New Very interesting. Has stepped up. Did he? You know what? Someone in the chat. The the ultimate question: Did he drive across state lines? Uh, he he admitted to driving across state lines. <laughs> I don't you know go. if you. I don't he, know if you caught that part, Sitch. He yes. he did. He drove across state lines right. with a minor. <laughs> because uh, he took her to Nevada, where he could he crossed where he state could... lines to get crack or whatever he said. <laughs> Oh, I thought he was crossing state lines to do, to Bone Daddy on the. I don't know what the fuck he was talking about. We might there have to. Go. We might have to watch it. We might need a transcript of that one in order. To... We're too sheltered. We're anyway, not, we're not miracle workers yeah, over here. Let's Canada. move on. Yeah. Uh, Cheddar for five dollars says, "Fun fact: Hassan won twelve thousand dollars on an offline TV video 
and was prompted to say and, and was prompted to say he was donating it to charity. He looks so depressed. <laughs> LMAO. What? Really? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That's funny. He won. That surprised me. He, he won had... some kind of money and to donate it. And he was like, oh. Really? He wanted to keep it? Yeah. Did look, the, remember what he said? Was there not a famous socialist video game character who said, is not a man not entitled to the sweat from his brow? Why is Hassan so <laughs> damn greedy? I don't get he's, it. He's a fucking piece of shit. He's I a greedy piece of shit. Because he's a fucking millennial, zoomer, selfish asshole. It's yeah. so weird. Yeah. Uh, Bradley Roberts for two pounds says, what's your perfect Thanksgiving dinner? Uh, turkey? Mm. Yeah, I'm more. Uh, oh, you know, oh, that's right. We talked about this. You don't like turkey on Thanksgiving or something. I'm, a, I'm weird. more of a ham guy, honey ham. I mean, yeah. you, have, you can have, you can have both, right? Or you yeah, can have ham no. for Christmas. I, I do have both many times. I thought you were supposed to have ham for Christmas or something. Next, right? next Thursday, I'd like it's Thanksgiving. No Thursday stream, guys. So just FYI. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Tuesday turkey stream only. Really good bread stuffing. Cornbread mm. stuffing is really tasty. If you ever had that? Mm, yeah, very good. Love that. Um, Cranberries. Matzo ball soup. That's matzo more of a Jewish thing, soup, but that's yeah. pretty good on, on Thanksgiving. Some okay, nice yeah. matzo ball soup. It's pretty good. Yeah, uh, so. Some some awesome sweet potatoes, either baked or cut up and like oh, oven yeah. roasted or fried. It's always very tasty. With some marshmallows. Pumpkin pie. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin pie is good. Pumpkin pie. Some, My grandmother used to make the most bomb ass pecan pie that was yeah. tasty as fuck. Some baked beans. <laughs> you have baked beans for Thanksgiving? That's not a Thanksgiving food. <laughs> fucking degenerate. <laughs> I just threw, I just threw you those fucking in there. degenerate. I just threw those in there to wind you yeah, up. I know you did. You fucking degenerate. <laughs> just to ruin your Thanksgiving. So Sit just like, oh, I'm so hungry. I'm so hungry. All this food. Why is it always food talk towards the end of the stream? Dr. Zayas says he doesn't like sweet. Who doesn't like sweet potatoes? That's crazy. I that said, is insane. Who doesn't like sweet? Sweet potatoes are amazing. There's two. Do you like sweet potatoes or you like yams? Because they're, they're different. Yams are like super sweet. I don't know if I've ever had a yam, actually, now that I think about it. So you're talking the white ones. I'm talking about sweet White's, potatoes. Yes. Yeah, like you go to the store, you buy the big orange sweet potatoes. Oh, yeah. those are yams. No, no, no. They, they're sweet potatoes. They're orange. It says sweet potatoes. They're sweet orange? potatoes are orange. Yeah. Those are yams. No. Wait. Oh, yeah. What's the difference between... Okay. I don't Those trust you. Candied yeah, yams. Sweet potato... There are white sweet versus potatoes. Versus yam. Yeah. Are yam and sweet potatoes the same? No. They're not the same. Yams mm -hmm. have rough, dark skin mm -hmm. as compared to tree bark. Yeah. And their flesh is dry and starchy. Sweet potatoes have smooth reddish skin. Okay, no, there's there there are sweet potatoes because yeah. you're actually wrong. Uh yams are are like more white inside, and sweet potatoes are orange inside. I know what I'm talking about. Well, actually, wait a minute. This is hilarious. One picture has sweet potatoes as, as orange and yams as white, and then one picture has the inverse of that. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? No, no, no. Okay, here it is. The internet got here it, it wrong. Is. Imagine that. You get you had it completely backwards. I had it backwards, or the internet yes. did. No, you had it here. I sent. I'll send you the definitive sweet potato yam. Sure. Okay. So actually, I have had yams. No, sweet potatoes are way better than yams, like a thousand times. Yams are kind of whatever. Yams are the orange ones. No, they are not. Well, I got it backwards. You got it exactly backwards. Yes. I don't believe you. I just sent you the picture. Oh, look. Sweet potatoes are orange, yeah. Sweet potatoes are, are amazing. Holy sweet potato shit. pie. Sweet potato pie is tasty. Holy sweet potato shit. pie is tasty. You're, you are right. Well, yep. no, this could be wrong. So sweet potato fries are good, but the problem is that they, sweet potatoes don't crisp up the way normal potatoes do. So if you get sweet potato fries, they'll, they'll be tasty, but they won't have that nice, like, crispy fry crunch. You can't really get that out of sweet potatoes so much. Hmm. Uh, someone said, Adam, do you want some baked beans, corn, hot dog, and potato salad for Thanksgiving? This, I mean, hmm. CT oh, yeah. doesn't like sweet potatoes either. What's wrong with you guys? Sweet potatoes are amazing. And here's the thing, too. Sweet potatoes are actually healthy. 
and good for you. They have good vitamins inside of them. And the kind of sugar in sweet potatoes is better for you. White potatoes are literally just like trash. Like it's just you eating empty carbs. I mean, I, I think this chart that you sent me is incorrect. I'm looking at it. Is not, it is no, not. No, I looked up yams and yams are the orange ones. Look at, it's not, you're wrong. I'm right. You're wrong. Even the chat, even the people that don't like sweet potatoes are saying that they're uh, sweet potatoes are the, are the orange ones. Hmm. That's right, sweet potato gang. Can't we? I didn't know this. I didn't know that people didn't like sweet potatoes. This is this is news to me. I thought sweet potatoes were beloved, beloved by all. This uh, is uh, completely bizarre to me because right here, look, here's another picture. Mm-hmm. Let me bring it up for everyone to see. Garnet yams, sweet potatoes, Oriental sweet potatoes. That's a, that's offensive. I know. I was thinking that. I was like, "Is that racist. even allowed to say?" CT oh. says, "Coming from the man who doesn't like bubblegum ice cream, your palate is trash." Listen, listen. Bubblegum ice cream is objectively disgusting, and sweet potatoes are objectively awesome. Okay. Yeah, that we, picture is misinformation, Adam. That like picture is a lie. We've discovered something. Where did you get that? That's a lie. A picture is a lie. Look, I can find. Just as many pictures on the internet. Put up, you have to put up the picture I, I sent you. No, I, I'm I'm doing that. But look, oh, okay. I'm, I'm just going back and forth here. Here's one that has it my way. Here's one that has it your way. No, no, no. There's just as many pictures that have it your way as have it my way. No, it's no, no. pretty That's bizarre. Bullshit. That's no. I, you go to the store, okay? And if you go to the, where it says sweet potatoes, it's the orange ones. And if you look at where the yams are, it's the, the white ones. Mm, let's see. Sweet potato pancakes. I never had that. That does sound pretty tasty. That does sound pretty interesting. Mm. Like a sweet potato latke or something. Mm. Are you saying one of these is fake news? The one on the right is fake news. I saw it uh, on Ch- the internet, though, so it has to be true. Chitachi says bubblegum ice cream is a crime. True. No. But then has a, an objectively wrong take. She says birthday cake ice cream is the best. Birthday no. cake ice cream is second best. No, yeah. birthday cake ice cream is, I mean, it's whatever. Birthday cake ice cream is delicious. Don't uh, even don't no, rip no, on the birthday no, cake ice no, cream. No, no, no. Chocolate chip cookie dough is the best ice cream flavor. Okay. You guys are crazy. Chocolate chip cookie dough is the goat of all ice cream. Oh, wait a second. I think maybe you are right. This is bizarre. Have I been I'm wrong telling you, my entire life? You have been wrong your entire life, Adam. That's not fair. <laughs> That's not possible. I, never, I, look I don't at, think I've ever eaten a yam. What is this fucking yam thing? There you go. You've never had yams your whole life. <laughs> there are, uh, yeah, they're purple sweet potatoes, too. I have to try a yam now. They're not bad, but they don't taste the same as like a normal sweet potato. Dry, starchy flesh, dark, bark-like skin. Mm -hmm. I've had, I always thought sweet potatoes were yams. Birthday, you never had birthday cake ice cream is birthday cake ice cream. Coffee ice cream is actually pretty fucking tasty too. That's a good contender. We can all agree with that, right? Coffee ice cream is delicious. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I love coffee. Coffee ice cream cream is really. I actually had. I actually had. uh, It was like coffee ice cream. It was like chocolate chip cookie dough, but with coffee ice cream, and that was like the best ice cream I've ever had in my life. I was like, "This is amazing." Yeah, I like the cookie dough too. (laughs) So this says sweet potato is one like they're both sweet potatoes because i've had the sweet potatoes that are white the white sweet potatoes Mm -hmm. delicious yeah i like those better than the orange ones well white okay i know white sweet potatoes are yams i thought no it's different Uh, okay whatever yeah see you you guys are lying stuff i have never had a yam have you ever had a yam (laughs) i have i have i've had i don't remember what it tastes like too much but i've had both these types of sweet potatoes 
The orange one I thought was a yam, though, when I ate it incorrectly. I have never had a potato or sweet potato flavored ice cream, so there you go. Yeah, that I don't think I'd be down for that. But. <laughs> yeah, I've never had that. That sounds interesting. Uh, Famlin for one dollar and se- or for one seventy nine pounds says, "Get Sean, actual Justice Warrior, back on for this. Maybe we'll have him if you want. We can ask him if he wants to come on Tuesday. Talk about that that Destiny Pac-Man thing. We'll see. Sure. We generally are very lazy. We don't plan anything. If we see someone in the chat, we say, "Hey, do you want to come on?" <laughs> We're Otherwise. generally very, very unlazy. What's the opposite of lazy? Uh, conscientious. Is it? I don't know. Yeah. Don't Conscientiousness is a predictor of value. Not lazy. We're just very, we don't, I don't know. We don't, we don't ask people to come on generally. Come on, I spend a we see at- them in the chat and we say, hey, do you want to come on? Yeah. We don't want to impose or anything. Uh, Dank Burrito for $5 says, to me, they know the viewers won't question anything, so they'll say anything to divide people. It's the epitome of propaganda. Yes. Uh, Gary D for five dollars says, "Did you guys see Mark Ruffalo mourning the death of child rapist JoJo on Twitter?" No. Who? Wait a minute. How dare you slander the name of JoJo? What? Who's JoJo? Like JoJo Joestar of the Joestar family, or oh. Joseph Rosenbaum? I noticed people are calling Joseph Rosenbaum JoJo, which I don't. Oh, that's I who they're talking about. Like. You're right. How dare you slander the great yeah. JoJo name? JoJo Joestar. Comparing him to Joseph Rose. Terrible. Uh, Matthew Stewart for five dollars says, "With Adam's appearance on Benjamin's podcast and his gummo reference, I am firmly a team now. I like you, Sitch, but I don't like like you anymore." Oh, there you go. There you go. Look at that. You lost pretzels in my vanilla ice cream. Now that I'm gonna be honest, does not sound good. <laughs> have you seen gummo? I don't know about that one. I have not seen gummo. No. You don't like pretzels and ice cream? I've never had it. It does oh, not delicious. seem like it would be good. It's delicious. I had, I told you my guilty pleasure was Frito scoops with cookie dough, uh, with Toll House cookie dough. That's fucking a good combination. Oh, but uh, nice. pretzels and ice cream and vanilla ice cream. I don't know. I don't know about that one. He's left the tweet up. Oh, let me check it out. Let me check Who out this Mark the tweet Ruffalo. Up? Mark Ruffalo. Oh, the JoJo one? Yes. I think I have it. Oh, you, you do? We'll bring it up. Or just tell me what it is. Let's see. Mark Ruff. It's too bad. Why does, why does actors we like no, have, I have don't such have shitty it. takes? I don't have it. I have a list. I have 12 tweets here that are all hot takes. Mm-hmm. That are terrible hot takes. You know, I started a thread. I feel <laughs> I felt so conflicted about this. On Friday, when we all get in the good news, I I started a thread that was the Cowron House salt mine thread. Yeah, I know. I and I was collecting all the blue chip marks, terrible takes. And I just gave up and stopped because I'm like, what, what am I doing? This should be a, a day for happiness. Why am I doing this? This is wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, literally, I was very close to deleting that thread, even though it had like a thousand likes at the time. I'm like, oh, I feel like I should delete this. I felt so bad. I felt so bad. Oh my god! Why don't delete it? Because it was like everyone was happy about. I don't know. I feel bad because it was like, oh, everyone should be happy about the verdict, not like, oh, let's black pill ourselves on these fucking pieces of shit. You know, at least at least one day, right? They are marginal. They're marginalized for a good reason because they're stupid yeah. and don't really see how the world works. Okay, I found the tweet. Uh, Mark Ruffalo. Mm-hmm. says we come together to mourn the lives lost to the same racist system that devalues black lives and devalues the lives of anthony and jojo mm-hmm. yeah. wait why is he calling joseph Ro- he's calling him jojo yeah calling joseph why are rosenbaum people calling him jojo, jojo? because how do you how does joseph rosenbaum endearing. become jojo it's endearing for them it's, it's insane jeez Mm-hmm. After all we and it continues, after all we've seen and heard about these weapons of war, these killing machines, there's no doubt that people who face this young man. <laughs> oh my god. Mark Ruffalo, you fucking moron. <laughs> Why do you, I like you as the Hulk? Why must you make me not like you with your garbage fucking bullshit takes? Listen to this. Mark Ruffalo, the incredible Hulk. Dr. Bruce Banner says, 
after all we have seen and heard about these weapons of war, these killing machines, there is no doubt that the people who faced this young man were more afraid of him than he was of them. He was the one with a weapon of war, loaded and ready to be used on people. Justice weeps bitterly today. We are coming together to heal the scars left by the wounds of this grief. We will care for each other and remember why we continue to march. Who are, oh. you, who are you reading? That's Mark Ruffalo. That's Mark Ruffalo. Isn't that he That's thought one he wrote tweet? that? There's three, there's three tweets. Oh, okay. He thought that that was the most intelligent poetic thing he's ever written his entire fucking life. <laughs> he probably spent a good, like two hours. <laughs> Uh, working on that tweet. Oh yeah. He's like, yeah, this is oh, this is so deep. Oh, this is so deep. Did I am happy to say though, mm-hmm. he got fucking blown the fuck out ratio wise. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> His ratio is thirty thousand replies and eleven thousand likes. He got Whoa, annihilated. Wow. Annihilated. Yeah. Annihilated. His agent the... probably quit after that. Right. Ooh. Mark, I can't be. You know, JoJo here is a pedophile. You're promoting on your you, right. on your Twitter page. Did Gage nuke his his Twitter history? I don't see any tweets beyond November eighth. I don't know. Hmm. You found his account. I did. Yeah. Uh, CT says, "Have you ever heard of taro flavored bubble tea?" Yes. That's I, a potato I, technically, and it's I good. I do like taro. And it's purple, the color of royalty. I have had taro chips, which are good. I've never had taro bubble tea, but I'd be I'd be open to try. I've had taro frozen yogurt, and it tastes like popcorn. It's really good. That's interesting. That sounds like an interesting thing. It's good. Uh, Dragon for 10, I'm going to say Ronins. So 10 Ronin warriors it says, take my cash and drink in Kyle's health. Sue them. Thank you, Dred. Uh, Riggs for $5. Our favorite. Uh, well, we'll leave that off the, mm-hmm. just the stream for now. What? Uh, Riggs for $5 says the S and S class stands for sucker. Oh, okay. Let me say stuff. <clears throat> Riggs, our favorite cousin fucker for five dollars. Oh my, oh my god. Uh, says the leave S Riggs S class. alone. Leave Riggs <laughs> alone. <laughs> says the S and S class stands for sucker. A train all aboard. Hashtag Please. wrench for Riggs. There you Please go. leave Riggs alone. Okay. I don't know. Do we give out wrenches for incest? I'm not sure. Riggs deserves a wrench. Okay. After your abuse. Jeez. Uh huh. Okay. Sure. Sure. Uh, st- <laughs> I said, I'm, whenever I see all, A Train all aboard, I think it's in my mind, it says A Train all aboard. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Stas for five euros says Judge Schroeder, Judge Schroeder brought the tissue box. Oh, Judge Schroeder bought that tissue box in Anoch, Illinois, and he crossed state lines to bring it into his courtroom in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Super racist serial state line crosser confirmed. Mm-hmm. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Bad news. Bad news. I did like what what uh Scott Adams said about crossing state lines that people are also saying it because it sounds nefarious. Like we said he stole it from us. We said that. Oh, he did? Yeah, we said that. We said that when the reason that they're saying but it he is had a it, different it, reason. No, he had the same exact reason. No, I said because it makes it seem like he came from far away. But he said that there's a lot okay. of crimes that you do when you cross state lines. Right. So this just proves that what I suspected, that Adam doesn't listen when I talk to the street. <laughs> I never do. What did you say? <laughs> I, I said literally the same thing. I said, I said, Adam, you're right. Not only does it show, it was implied that he came from far away. Is it my but turn it makes to you, talk yet? Are you done? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it makes you think of like who else crosses state lines but drug traffickers oh yeah you did child traffic weapons traffic yeah it, it has all sorts of connotations i was checking my email when you were talking about yeah that's what i thought <laughs> no, no i listened i listened, I listened. Mm-hmm. 
So throw me someone in the chat says, in my mind, man. when I hear state lines, I really hear white supremacy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, Austin Smith for $10 says, oh, I like that you brought up Chank's face. <laughs> this picture is so bizarre because both of his eyeballs are in the same shape as his mouth. <laughs> so it looks like he's got three mouths. That's Doesn't hilarious. It? That, now that you say that, yeah, I didn't think I can't. Now that you say that, I can't unsee it. I know. That. It's His like eyes you, are like tiny little mouths. You know those horrible pictures where people like their eyes have like teeth because their mouths. That's what it looks like. That's terrifying. It is terrifying. This is like the. This is like a character. It all makes sense. Chank is really a character from an H.P. Lovecraft novel. He's some sort of like horrible eldritch monster creature. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> That inspires madness wherever he goes. I think I can actually fix it so I can put the mouse over his eyes here. There you go. Time for a little light graphic design. Light, a little bit light stream. graphic design. Uh, Austin Smith for $10 says, not going to lie, seeing Kyle's reaction to the verdict made me a bit emotional. Great to see the system works. Also still upset I didn't get a wrench last week because of that A-team reigns supreme. Well, listen. Listen. It was worth it. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes, okay? No, it was worth it. It was totally worth it. You're going to get demonetized for showing those eyes on YouTube. I believe it. I believe it. What? <laughs> that's the face of terror. Okay, that's too much That's too much for YouTube. Do you see, see where I'm going with this? <laughs> that's right. That is a character from the Sandman comics. Yeah, that's true. That's oh true. Oh, my God. This is horrifying. What am I doing? Oh, oh my should, god this shouldn't be happening on Adam, YouTube. why are you doing this adam stop this is this power is too great that's getting close here you're gonna summon some sort of horrible creature from the depths of the underworld this is what you from get the dark playing. dimension this is what you get for playing with that fucking evil box i told you to throw away the puzzle box and you wouldn't listen adam i told you no <laughs> Throw that box away. Now, Adam, what are you doing? Had to fucking play Adam, the no. had to play the Rubik's Cube of Death, no. did you? No, Adam. Had to do it. That looks so that looks kind of hilarious, actually. This looks scary. That looks funny as fuck. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. This, this is, is a, you need to you need to make you need to make this and you need to paint this and sell the NFT I for know. like a million dollars. Holy shit. I know we have to do some NFTs. NFTs seem fun to me. I want to there even trade go. some NFTs. Yes. Amazing. How do I do that? Do I need, I don't want, the thing is, I don't want to, I don't want a bunch of crypto, okay? I just want to, mm -hmm. can I just pay cash for these NFTs? <laughs> I like fiat, okay? <sighs> I'm not into the crypto. Okay. I don't want people to jack me and take my, mm. take my key. Have you heard about the crypto millionaires getting carjacked? And right. Shit? Yep. It's dangerous. I want my NFT to be cash only. Uh, Jeffrey Paris for five dollars says Kyle quote picking his own jurors was the kind of bingo game they play in hell. <laughs> I know. No <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah. It's the kind of thing you're like, oh, do I really have to do this? Yes. Pick <laughs> your fucking jurors. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Yeah, that's true because you know what that's that's true because if if the jury goes a bad way you're gonna feel like responsible <laughs> what you uh, max utabi for 10 sardoses says the fbi should label msnbc as a terrorist organization true that is true true that's, that is also true someone chat says that under his neck it looks like chank has a gizzard <laughs> that is accurate a gizzard that is accurate He's got a little gizzard. Where can I put the gizzard? <laughs> Where the gizzard goes? What do you mean? Um, what? The cat just lets you pick him up like that. What's it's just matter? like whatever. What are you talking about? He's totally fine with it. Some cats like freak out when you hold them like that. This too long. Is, this guy is like, he sits on my shoulder. He'll just chill here. Wait, yeah, that's no. cute. Where are you going? <laughs> He's like, no, I'll get the fuck away. <laughs> I'm my own man. My cat is libertarian. Okay. Okay. He wants he wants in my lap until I pick him up, and then he's like, "You should name him yeah. Worm." Yeah, well, he's named Wormy, and worms are like snakes, and snakes are obviously the symbol of libertarians. So there oh, you go. they are really don't tread yeah, on they, me, don't right? tread on me, snake. Hmm. Uh, Stuck for two dollars says a uh, fluffer boy sauerkraut twenty twenty four. Oh God, mm -hmm. please. The no. Animal did a meme, and it's a lot to read, so I don't know. We'll do, we'll do the fan art on Tuesdays okay. and all that stuff. 
Uh, Viva reasoned and First Amendment for five dollars says do a troll comic depicting the story you're telling about how the left sees the case. Mm -hmm. uh, his mom ironing Kyle's SS costume. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be funny. I'm I'm gonna I gotta make that comic about the Arbery verdict before it comes out, so I can tell, so everyone can post it and say, oh my God, Sitch is like the soothsayer from the future. Are you gonna do it in comic style? That's awesome. No, it's gonna be like little stick figures. Do I can't draw. Up. I can't fucking draw, Adam. If you could draw, you'd be a lot of help. And I gotta do it like tonight <laughs> just before I go to you. sleep, because for all I know, tomorrow morning they'll have like the verdict or whatever. I'm just saying, you know, you could help. <laughs> okay, okay. You don't want me to help with a comic. Uh, give Wormy some ivermectin. There you go. <laughs> really? Does he need ivermectin now? Well, he's because he's wormy. Get Does it? Does he have COVID? Dude, no. Because it's a it's a dewormer. It's a dewormer. Adam, mm -hmm. did you get it? Uh, Azrael for five dollars says discussing the case of my elderly grandma made me hate the MSM more than ever. Discussing how they betrayed the trust of those who need them most. True, that's true. If Kyle, uh, Austin Smith for five dollars says if Kyle was an African American kid trying to help keep the peace out of an out of control Trump rally, would the MSM have the same opinion? I think not. Yeah, no, I agree completely. They would have quietly not talked about the story at all. Well, actually, no, no, no. If it was a black kid at a Trump rally, they would have blown this up as the Trump rally it was a bunch of white people trying to lynch, lynch Kyle. Mm -hmm. Yes. If Kyle was exact same circumstances, exact same politics involved, but was black, they would quietly try to never talk about the story ever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, got to keep the narrative. Uh, Riggs for five dollars says, "Sadly, I'll have to watch the rest of the stream tomorrow. Society does affect you. I'm very intelligent." Hashtag wrench Riggs. There you go. Riggs will find out tomorrow what I said about. It. Wrench rigs. Uh, Ralph Mack for two Aussie bucks says this Adam from Comics Gate, uh, Ethan Van Striver begging you video, you friends. What? What's um, he saying? I'm not sure. I don't understand the tweet, uh, the super chat. I uh, am friends with Ethan Van Striver though. Yeah. Begging me for what? I don't know. Uh, Aki, Aki Kira for five really R dollars. I think it's rubies, rubles. Uh, the media wants to be the judge, jury, and executioner and is mad that the justice system didn't align with their kangaroo court. That is true. Hell yeah. That is true. Hell yeah. Yep. Uh, no, I'm trying to read all the super chats so that we can have Tuesday all for the Destiny Pacman debate. Yeah. Uh, Daryl King for 179 pounds. Thank you so much, Daryl. Uh, Filthy Casual for $5 says, I believe the Duke lacrosse chick murdered her boyfriend a couple years later and had serious mental health issues. Really? Wow. No. Is and that true? Nobody, and nobody followed up on that? Duke lacrosse. Of course not. Case. Uh, what's this girl's name? Crystal Magnum was that her name? Mm -hmm. Crystal Magnum Sounds attempted like murder and murder charge. Holy shit! Sounds exactly like a real name. Uh, just before midnight, February seventeenth, twenty ten, Durham police were called to Magum's, not Magnum, Magum, referenced by her nine year old daughter. They said that when they arrived, they found Magum and her living partner Milton Walker fighting. She reportedly set fire to some of his clothing in a bathtub in their presence. The building suffered heavy, heavy smoke damage. They arrested her on charges of attempted murder. First degree arson, assault, battery, identity theft. Where was the attempted murder, though? This fucking article is garbage. This Wikipedia. Just for, just for like smoke inhalation? That's now. There's got to be murder? something deeper there than. Uh, that's a little yeah. weird. That's a little. That's a little suspect. Right. Uh, but then wait a minute. Then the next year, April 3rd, 2011, she was arrested following accusations. She repeatedly stabbed and seriously injured a boyfriend. Jesus, this girl's out of mind. Uh, she was charged with assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill mm -hmm. or inflicting serious bodily harm. Ten days later, he died and she was indicted on a murder charge. Wow. Holy shit. <clears throat> Uh, let's see. She was convicted of second degree murder by a jury in 2013. Um, what? Oh, she was sentenced to serve a minimum of 14 years 
and a maximum of 18 years for stabbing someone to death. You only get 14 years. That seems crazy. That's like a discount, right? Yeah. Jeez. What's up with that? Uh, let's see. She's currently being held in Noose Correctional Institution in Goldsboro, North Carolina. There you go. Wow. Crazy. Dang. See, well, that's the issue. You never know. It's kind of like people have, see, this is the problem. She's obviously a mentally unhinged individual who just fucking made up or hallucinated some story that didn't happen. And mm-hmm. all these idiots rushed to. Okay, I just turned on the stream. You have to get that shank issue out of here. That shank picture out of here. This is terrible. You don't get this like out it. of here. It's so big and terrifying. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what's I was looking that? at it through like the little window where the chats are, and now that mm-hmm. I see it blown up, it's like the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. You need to get you need to get just yeah. or or shrink it. Such you got to shrink it. Such a pussy. You got to shrink it. This is like terrifying. Such. A, oh my god. Such. So yeah. weak. Yeah, shrink it. Shrink it. Shrink it. Shrink it. Get a make I it very it tiny. Okay. Took it down here. I I put up the thirsty. You know, the thirsty. Kelson Glasky asked the most pertinent question for this whole situation with this girl who mm-hmm. uh, stabbed her boyfriend mm-hmm. and is obviously a crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is she hot? Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, You're so bad. It's funny. Uh, Weekend Warrior for 125. Hey, Weekend Warrior for 125. Please says this whole trial just shows most people are too willing to trust the MSM and not even look into the facts for themselves. Very true. Very true. We looked into the facts. We did. We did. And then we made fun of the MSM for not doing that. Right. Yeah. That's part of our Uh, comedy. CT says, CT says she'll draw the comic for me. Um, Oh, okay. I'll nice. think about it. I was just going to do it with like fucking stick figures. I don't want it to be like a big fancy thing. But do it up. Uh, Christian Baller for $10 says, going to buy some merch soon. Curious as to y'all's favorite search design. Also, what's your favorite film? Mine is either Drive or Whiplash. Thanks, Surrogate Mommy, Adam, and Daddy Sitch. <laughs> favorite channel. Well, thank how, you. How am thank I you. the mommy? Fuck you. I'm glad, and I'm glad that obviously Adam is the mommy. Okay. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm the daddy. Okay. You know why? Because I'm the one wearing the suit, I'm, bitch. I'm yeah. wearing a suit. Let's see. Um, <laughs> I even have to respond to that. My, uh, I don't. I mean, I have a lot of favorite movies. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I rotate them. <laughs> I think right now The Last Jedi is probably my favorite <laughs> movie. <laughs> this is why you're the mom. Okay. You didn't like The Last Jedi? Oh, it's so this cool. Is, Ray this is, is why so you're cool. the mom. Did you see when Ray jumped up in the air with her lightsaber and like cut the thing off the thing and the the <laughs> thing crashed into the thing? Mm-hmm. Oh man. So good so good so i think my favorite t-shirt designs i really like the the one the ct made recently with the uh uh me with the sword and adam like with the robot shit oh yeah when i was back that That's looks really cool one. i do like that one yeah i also like the uh the sitch face that says free will in this economy mm-hmm. question mark <laughs> that's a good one i do like that one that's a good one or the other sitch face one that says God made a fatal mistake by allowing me to see another day. Free will in this in economy. this economy, yeah, yeah. So crazy! I can't wait to do that MMT stream with Dev. That's gonna be, be fun. So much fun. That'll be fun. Dev really likes MMT. Uh, Crack Rock Steady, our favorite Ninja Turtle super villain for another ten dollars, says talking about break room talk. They had it on the news as they gave the verdict. I heard a small group say, quote, I can't believe they're letting a killer go loose. Lots of NPCs have my job. Yeah. Wow. I bet. That sucks. That's when you whip out the, be like, listen to this 12 hour Sijin Am stream. Learn how about how fucking wrong you are, idiot. Then you flick them off and you moonwalk out the room. Yeah. Okay, don't actually, don't actually do that. Don't do that's, that. That's nobody a bad do that. situation. It's a bad work. situation. Yeah. We often get bad advice on this show just so you guys know. <laughs> Oh, utter nonsense! Didn't did you? Are you? I thought I just saw you in the chat. Did you have your thing? Your your fucking what was the girl's name? Mm-hmm. 
the college girl who recorded the meeting. Yeah. Did you re- seek a really record your meeting? Remember I don't know. Did you, you have all your, that bad your advice? meeting? Yeah. yeah. We gave you, well, that was great advice. What are you talking about? What I was the name to, of the, I think I tried to message it or not since on. What was the name of the Discord? girl that I'm totally blank on her name that recorded the meeting with Jordan Peterson? Mm-hmm. They called him a Nazi or whatever. Yeah. Did not our nonsense ask us about changing his major? Uh, I, so. uh, uh, I don't fucking know. Lindsay Shepard. That's her name. Yeah. Okay. It's on Wednesday. Ooh, okay. It's this Wednesday. This Wednesday? Oh, the day before be right after we right on Tuesday. So we won't yeah, have to let us know on Sunday. Okay. Okay. Send us the tape. Or yeah. send us a transcript and we'll do it in Paul Bart's voice. <laughs> no, God, no. Oh, so you guys didn't know this. I actually found Paul B- Paul Blart. Paul Blart. Another <laughs> one? Paul Blart, Paul Blart uh, wrote an article for the Washington Post. And I had contemplated <laughs> having a, the whole article be in the voice. Yeah, we can't. I was like, no, that would be if people would fuck that would be just destroy it. Are are you typing those out? Like, I'm mystified by how are you typing this out? As your, I'm not typing it out. He's sending them to me. I don't understand why you don't get about this. Well, obviously you're typing them out. Okay, I'm not, Paul Blart Mall lawyer is sending them to me. Okay, like, but you're we're running the show. See, giving seamless commentary. I'm and not at the same he's, time because I'm not typing them out. Is he's, over there typing out. He's uh, emailing Binger, them to me. I don't understand what you don't get about this. Binger's ass hovered over the judge's gavel <laughs> as he <laughs> dropped a deuce <laughs> on the table. It's like you're writing poetry here at the same time that you're doing commentary. It's fucking great. Well, if you call that if you call that poetry, Adam. So <laughs> how did you? I mean, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, how did you set the scene? Okay. I'm anxious to read the comic. Well, look, now. it's Just really him. Like... I keep telling you this. I don't. Why are you so confused by this? <laughs> uh, Steel Wrath for five dollars says four doors more. Ladies, watch the Pac-Man Chris Williamson interview. You'll be yelling at your screen seven minutes. Really? In. Who's Chris Williamson? Pac-Man Chris Williamson. Uh, it's a British member of Parliament. Is that who we're talking about? Wait. Is it? Oh. Oh, no, that was Chris Brown. Here it is, one month ago. Mm -hmm. Well, this guy's got an intense face. Is this Modern Wisdom Podcast? Chris Williamson, Modern Wisdom Podcast. I'm not familiar with this guy. Is this the one you're talking about? It seems reasonable. Yeah, it says the description, this could be interesting. It says the left and right really aren't talking well at the moment. I feel like people don't have the same political leaning and they see the world entirely different ways. So, okay, maybe this is a based hype guy. Kind of no, he like is. It. Chris Williamson. Is so we totally, looked at this wall. He's totally based. He's done talks with Jordan mm-hmm. Peterson. He oh, might have, okay. He's, I think he might have done talks with Hype. Okay, yeah, I'll definitely yeah. check that out. Oh, look, he's got, a talk, he's got a talk with Sargon here from cool. nine months ago. Yeah, yeah. no. No, he's awesome. great. Yeah, he's totally great. Got the camera a little zoomed in though. I don't like people that when they're streaming and they got the, the camera like fucking right on their face. Way in their like, face. Oh, I know. Back it up. Back it up. Bit, back okay. it up. Yeah. Back Stop it trying to kiss listen, me. I don't want to be raped by you. Okay. Back up. Listen, I'm afraid of commitment. Okay. Uh, I didn't come into this stream. <laughs> yeah. 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 Look, I can uh, see the spit in your mouth as you're talking. <laughs> it's like back up. <laughs> Uh, Andrew Clark for five dollars says, "I live in Portland. And I didn't see anything. The protests were probably downtown near the courthouse. Cops were not that active in other parts. Oh, yeah, there you go. Good. There you go. It's all that one building. They keep trying to attack that fucking courthouse for some reason. That one yeah. parking garage. They're like, yeah, we they're like, just get in this parking garage. I dropped my crack bag in there. They th- well, no, they think they're playing a a decade long game of capture the flag, and the right. flag is inside the courthouse." Right. So. These idiots keep, th- they think the flag is in the parking garage again. What yes. idiots? Capture the flag is fun. God, I love it. Actually, that. and China's internet has really, even China's talking about the fucking cover in house case. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Uh, Darth Crypto for $5 says, hey, let me know if you want me to call in for a quick chat about my work on the case in Kyle's Law. DM me on Twitter if so. Mm-hmm. Oh. I don't, I don't do you know, know who this is? No. I'm not familiar with Doth Crypto. Oh, okay. I don't. 
Sure. Uh, Cinema Sleuth for five dollars says, uh, "How, why, and when did Kyle change attorneys?" I watched most of the trial, but can't find much info on this. Do you know of any reliable source? So he changed. It was before the trial ever took place. It seems re- uh, originally, and I this is me piecemealing it together from Richard's interview and from Eric Barnes talking. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if there's like a news article on this. Uh, me piecing this together was that Kyle originally his lawyers were John Pierce and Lynn Wood. Uh, Lynn Wood somehow Lynn Wood got dropped when he got implicated in the um, when he was getting sued by what was the name of the the voting company? Uh, Dominion. Dominion. Yeah. Yes, I think he got dropped around that time. Yeah, they were suing his ass for Jan, and he was involved in the January sixth nonsense. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, he was fucking Wood- going crazy. He was involved in January 6th shit. He was involved in a lot of weird shit. And then also it seemed like he was fucking stealing the money that was supposed to be donated for, yeah. for getting Kyle out of jail too, for yeah. bail. Because he had the ridiculous $2 million bail. Imagine um, if he's like, we want Kyle Rittenhouse speaking right. on January 6th at the fucking... <laughs> right. I believe Barnes said, I don't, he didn't give a timeline, but he did say, I think he said when he joined... Linwood was still involved and he or he was trying to get them to drop Linwood or something. He he I remember him talking about this thing that he tried to get them to kick Wood off Linwood off. He knew Wood was a bad a bad dude. V Radio interviewed Linwood on his channel. And that was yeah. the first I ever heard Linwood talk. And immediately I was like, This guy's Uh-oh. insane. Yes. He's totally fucking batshit crazy. This guy is yeah, crazy. Yeah. Um and then, and then with Pierce, we heard from Richards. I don't r- remember hearing Barnes ever talk about Pierce, but from Richards, he says that uh, Pierce was the one who he set up. He set up some photo op with Kyle that they really didn't like. It might have been the Black Rifle Coffee photo op or something. Mm-hmm. And they, and then after that, they're like, okay, no more photo ops without talking about it. And then. Pierce was like, oh, okay, okay. And then he sets up the photo op in, in Florida with the Proud Boys, and he doesn't tell Richards about it. That's and so that was sprung so on them. fucking crazy. And that's when they, that's when so someone, I presume, crazy. They, that's when they kicked Pierce off, or they convinced Kyle to kick Pierce off the case. So, so crazy. How yeah. fucking, st- is John, John Pierce must be the dumbest motherfucker alive. Really? You're like, yeah. oh, my Kyle's accused of being a racist. Let me go get a fucking photo op with the Proud Boys where he's making the OK sign. He's fucking, what a bad shit. Dumb fuck. Jeez. Yeah. Uh, Comic here for five hours says, I don't know about you guys, but I think gloating about Kyle's acquittal is probably a bit irresponsible given the current social climate. Well, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I'm going to gloat all day, motherfucker. Because I'm happy. I'm not even, not even gloating. I'm not gloating. I'm happy about it. Gloating implies a different... Um, like I'm not responsible for it. I have no fucking sway over it one way or the other. I'm just fucking happy about it. It's great. And yeah, I'm not rubbing it in people's faces or anything. Right. I don't feel like I am. Am I? I don't know. I know. I just think whole... it, I'm just happy that it shows how fucking wrong. He's... I'm just happy that Kyle is free, honestly. And then it shows that we have self defense in this fucking country. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I also. I mean, I just. It's so. I'm so angry that they didn't charge fucking gross groups. He lied to police. He fucking listen. <laughs> it's, that's a well, gross miscarriage of justice that these they other can't, people weren't brought uh, up on any charges whatsoever. They can't charge Gage with lying to police and then put him on the stand and have him supposed to be credible witness. Okay, does not make any sense? Yeah, well. They should have never went after Kyle Rittenhouse. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kano for five dollars says Kyle's theme song plays. Uh, what is this? Mm-hmm. What language is this? Just let me Google this. Do do do. It's in a different language. Oh, it's the Attack on Titan theme song. <laughs> okay, there you go. Yeah, I've never seen. I haven't seen Attack on Titan. There you go. Uh, no, no, for five dollars says that's like saying someone wrote their seat, 
That's like saying someone wore their seatbelt planning to crash the car. Yeah, that's that's a great comparison. I thought that would have been I thought about that too when I was watching this. I mean, obviously oh, yeah, like, think about that on the thing. spot, but it'd be like, I don't know. I mean, when you put on your seatbelt, do you intend to crash your car? <laughs> that is good. Fuck no. Yeah. Which one was that? No, no. That was, you know, because when Banger was like, why did you bring a gun if you didn't intend to use it? If you didn't intend to kill someone. Oh, that must be just in the regular chat. No, no, no. That was a super chat. Oh, really? I was no, to, no. Yeah. I was trying to find the super chats. Uh, oh, you did. Dark, you, you read all those. Yeah. Well, a lot of them are, are ones we already read. So. Okay. Uh, Darth Crypto for another $5 says, check your DMs, mofos. If you want to hear about the case in Kyle's Law, I'll join you for a few anxious to spread the word on Kyle's pledge. Oh, I don't know what that is. Kyle's I mean, we were Law. just kind of commenting on the news. We weren't really going into. Uh, yeah into something deep here so kyle's but law. if we need some if we need something about it we'll, we'll ask you rittenhouse former lawyers in dispute over who gets two million bond money yeah i don't know i actually am curious about that I will new ask york you about post that. oh no i just googled it i googled kyle's law and went to news mm -hmm. but not much I don't... nothing came up I don't think I read your, any of your super chats, Doctor Diddler. Yet, did you super chat or did you stream lab? Because I haven't read it in stream lab yet. I'm all caught up now. Uh, Akilin Narya Naswami for five dollars says, say, "How the fuck yeah, did you you're not saying that, that name?" <laughs> uh, everyone was talking about quote, "What if Kyle was black?" But what if Kyle was Muslim with the big beard and the AK? <laughs> <laughs> what if Kyle looked like Osama bin Laden? How fucking hilarious! <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. He had like a super thick accent. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> it hilarious. would make sense with the dealership he was guarding, right? That's right. What if he was like related to the guy somehow? <laughs> uh oh, an S class is the best class. Oh yeah. I almost missed that part. Uh, Bradley, Bradley Roberts, Roberts for, for two pounds. Yeah. Could you be Wrinkle the duck in a race. <laughs> wrinkle the duck. <laughs> Have you heard of Wrinkle the Duck? I don't know. This duck runs the New York City Marathon. I, did you know about this? No. Did you look it up? Oh, my God. I did. Really? There's Holy a video. Shit. Like, we got to put this in the watch together. Adam. This is important. Uh... Wrinkle the duck, huh? Who, th who would have thunk it? <laughs> there we go. Wrinkle the duck. I don't have it up. Hold on. You know me. Come on, I I do other. I put other things up. I try to keep. <laughs> the channel's called Seductive. <laughs> Where did the watch together go? Oh my god, I Adam! Like Jesus. I lost it. Wow, look at this guy. So unprofessional. Oh no, I found it again. There we go. No, you got I it. I did lose it. Oh my god. I think I closed the watch together. Oh no, here it is. Found it. Okay. Let's okay, go. Here's... wrinkle the duck. Wrinkle the duck. There he is. Look at the he's got little shoes he's got on. Fucking running shoes on. He's got little This is why is this happening? Why is this duck doing this? He's got little running shoes on. This what is, is happening? Amazing. Why is he people it sucks like freaking out? People are just fucking screaming at this duck as he walks by. Like it sucks like what is happening? This what? This is so weird. And he's staying in the lines and everything. I know, this is great. Wrinkle let's go, let's go. Let's go to the end. Does he cross the finish? Does he make it? Does he cross the finish line? Did he make it? <laughs> oh my God. Look at listen. His, listen to those little feet slap. Slap, 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 listen. slap, slap. That duck is so adorable and awesome. I've, re I've rethought my entire stance on ducks. Yeah. That's a that's an adorable duck. He's beautiful. He's he's wearing They're little beautiful animals. Little booties running a little race. It's adorable. Beautiful animals. I don't know why you would want to fight one. <sighs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'm a big fan of that duck. I'll let you know. Uh, Whalers for five dollars says Germany invades Poland. <laughs> Help! Intimidation. The Germans are intimidating us. No, wait, no, you have it backwards. Wouldn't it be Germany invades Poland and then they'd say, help, intimidation, the Pol the Polish are intimidating us. Yes. 
Sure. Oh, that's, you know, that's an important question. Someone said, did that duck cross state the state finish line? Mm, yeah. <laughs> that's a good question. That that's the, that's your important question. Yeah. Uh, Zachary Plies for $10 says, Sitch, Sitch, are you truly naive to, th- are you truly naive to, spell with two O's and such should be one, <laughs> the insane things the CAA has done and gotten away with? It's a long list as well. Not saying that that is what this is, but there's always a possibility. True. Sure. I mean, technically, anything's possible zachary okay you need to read naomi klein's book anything possible okay i've read tales of an economic hitman no i understand how this works it's not the same listen it's possible but you know what i need evidence i'm kind of an evidence guy like the facts pinochet i don't i don't go with my gut he worked for the cia Mm mm-hmm uh, Brain for two dollars says Trump was right about libel and slander laws. Oh, he said it was too um, like it was too easy for people to get away with it. Yeah, well, for the media, it is. I know it's it's. I hate to be Tim Pool, but it's complicated because on one hand, you want to have a press that's free to go after people that need to be going after, but on the other hand, they're not. They shouldn't be able to just fucking lie and try to start race wars and shit. So. You have to craft a very careful law here, I think. Yep. Uh, Doge Whistle for $5 says, not guilty. Everyone pour yourself a written house to celebrate at a chaser followed by four shots. <laughs> Get it? I've seen that one. That meme. Ah, I love it. You want to drink a written house? Oh, do, 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 do. I love it. Uh, Cody Giblet for five dollars says Kyle doesn't have to prove malice in a defamation lawsuit because he is not a public figure. He was forced into the public eye. I don't think that matters because I remember hearing Nate and the other people. I think on Rakeda talking about this. I think technically Kyle's a public figure, even if it was not by choice. No, I don't think so. No, that I could have swore that they were saying that on the Ricardo Law stream. Really, that he was a public figure. But they could be wrong. I'm not 100 percent on that. Uh, Matt Magnum for five dollars says Julius Jones shouldn't even have gotten clemency. The man sent death threats daily to the only witness. Like that's a shitty comparison. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. yeah. Um, I watched the actual Justice Warriors video on this. And oh, you did? So yeah. it's totally crazy, huh? Yeah. Uh, Officer Mini Wheats, oh, thank you for protecting our Mini Wheats for $5. Uh, says Andrew Coffey the fifth. Can you imagine being Andrew Coffey the fifth? Mm-hmm. Is a black man who was just found not guilty for defending himself against a no knock police raid. Everyone has self defense rights. There you go. Hell yeah. I shared his story on Twitter. I felt good about it too. Felt like I did my activism for the day. Uh, Brendan Kinney for $5 says the origin of the privilege walk was from Herbert Marcuse's wife utilizing a technique she adapted from Scientology. What? Really? Oh my God, that's is that true? Crazy. Oh no, that's the most hilarious thing I've ever heard. Sad she was a crazy. Scientologist? You don't like Scientology? Have no, you ever read I Dianetics? I don't. I've never read Dianetics. You should read Dianetics, it's crazy. The first privilege walk. How Herbert Marcuse's widow used a Scientology-linked cult methodology to gamify identity politics and thus help steer the U.S. left down the dead-end path of identitarian psychopabble. Hmm. Wow. I uh, should reread Dianetics now that I'm much smarter. I remember the second half of the book it deteriorates into. He makes the argument that 90% of mental illness is caused by by women who try to abort their children and don't succeed and these kids are born with brain or psychological damage and i'm like what (laughs) for what Mm -hmm. are you following along no i'm reading an article okay good keep it up brie uh 
Beerst Kion. Beerst Kione for seventeen seventy six. Thank you. America's birthday. Finish. Says I finished ships Sitch's trip through hell right before the verdict. A year of arguing with NPCs in real life and online, and being banned from Facebook for months. It was the perfect ending to the story. Justice, thanks. Well, you're welcome. Yeah. And we're just happy. Uh, happy it worked out for Kyle. We had a couple of Facebook friends that were super weird about this. Oh thing. my God, Adam! How did I never think to ask you? Mm -hmm. Did you ever talk to what's his name about this? What is his name? Your friend that I used to argue with. Isaac. Stream. No, Isaac. I didn't. I actually I texted him on Saturday. And I was curious. I was like, oh, Isaac was available. It'd be so good to jump on it. Oh, my God. That would have been. So you don't know his opinion on it? I assume no. he took the standard. Plus. I don't. I don't know his opinion, no. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. He might not have been paying attention. So mm. it depends. Uh, the Butter Anvil for $2 says, based Cuomo, based Cuomo. I did. That was, un that was very unexpected. Oh, the base Cuomo, yeah, that totally. base Cuomo thing did not see did not see that coming. No, Colin Sanders, uh, go for it for five dollars. Says that one chick did not look like CIA. She looked like a desk jockey for the FBI. Source: I used to be an alphabet boy. Oh. Ain't no brakes on the A train. Woo! Choo choo. You know what? Now that Colin says that, that's like perfect. I can literally mm -hmm. see that image in my mind. Mm -hmm. She does look kind of like that. Which like what? an FBI desk. Was it? The 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 woman in the far right that was we saw on Sunday who was wearing Oh yeah, totally. The angry lady. Yeah. I don't remember her Informant name. Informant all the yes. way. She looks like a de an FBI desk jockey. Yeah. What was that movie? The black KKK one? Oh yeah, that movie. It, that movie took place in the seventies, right? She had a real seventies vibe. It did, yeah. I, I that was the yeah. I saw that movie. I totally forgot what it's called. Ginger Miss Prime for two ninety nine Aussie. What the duck is happening? Oh, oh we're caps. watching a duck cross a finish oh. line. Okay, is that were we watching the duck when that came on? No, not then. But you know, listen, no. time is relative. Okay, premonition. Uh, is it? Uh, Zachary replies for ten dollars says, "I think most consumers of the MSM have figured out what it truly is: an attempt to create an echo chamber that tell you how to think. You're too busy to do it yourself. That is true. That's entirely true. True and sad." Uh, Overseer's log for five dollars says, "Cuomo is anti Second Amendment, so he's pivoting to go after self defense lawyers and guns." Oh, I didn't know that. He may be right about the facts, but he's still framing things for a cause. Well, that's fair. That's fair and unfortunate. I can't believe 2A is second amendment. You just whip that right out. And well, you gotta put dashes into gun. You can't even say gun in the chat. Lame. I pretty sure you can you not super chat the word gun? That's I think that's why there's... I think some people are I think some people's accounts are limited because someone said they couldn't super chat Kame and then someone else could. So oh, yeah. there's all sorts of weird shit that YouTube right. does. And, like they all do. I don't change any of this stuff. Oh, that's right. It's called Black Klansman. Thank you. Chitesh. That's it. Black Klansman. That was it, yeah. Yeah. It was all right. Nah, it was terrible. Um, Spike Lee sucks. I read that they added a bunch of kind of bullshit, like a bunch of fantasy bullshit that didn't actually happen. Spike Lee's kinda... a shithead. I mean, I hate that. I hate Do the Right Thing. It's one of my least favorite movies. But... Yeah. He's never had a good movie. Name a good uh, Spike Lee movie. I kind of like the Bank Heist movie he did. Inside Man. Oh, Inside Man was good. Yeah, that, that was, was a Spike rare, Lee movie. That was a rare Spike Lee movie that was good. Yep. Yeah. I thought he had one other one that was not super, like, racial. That was... Your average potato for $5. I sure love it when my city is slandered as being a bed of white supremacy lol mrs kenosha <laughs> i guess so <laughs> welcome from kenosha kenosha there you go don't you know how's Even my that's kenosha like, accent got, yeah how's my kenosha accent <laughs> jesus christ 
Don't make fun of my Kenosha accent. Mm -hmm. I'm very sensitive about it. Oh, wait, I get Operation Blue C4 for $5. A-Train brings the pain. Well, S-Bus is kind of sus. <laughs> That's right, bitches. Uh, That's there you right. Go. Thank you, Operation Blue C4. All aboard the A-Train. All aboard. <laughs> Choo choo. Stay away from the kind of sus S bus. Uh, Gray, son of Krieg, for ten dollars says, "Did you see that Jake from the Bible Reloaded, also known as Corn Fat? Right? <laughs> Isn't that what we were calling him? Were we calling him Corn Fat or Corn Pop? I don't remember. I think we were calling him Corn Fat. He said something really. Fu oh, he said we should bring back bullying, and he was a te and he's supposedly a teacher. So he said, I okay, know. we're gonna bully him, call him Corn Fat. It was insidious." Uh, he said Kyle was a quote gun runner and all that shit last year, and he's silent about it now. And he says he doesn't want to talk about it. Kind of funny. Really? Oh my! God. Oh my! You gotta okay. <laughs> you gotta you gotta get this to Destiny because Destiny's uh, fucking keeping tabs. <laughs> well, no, no, no. This is why. So uh, Corn Fat tweeted out to Destiny, and he's like, "I'm supposed to be debating Destiny, and Destiny's running away from me, not telling you what the topic is." And Destiny fired back something like, oh, yeah, I don't know what the fuck we're going to talk about. Like, calm your tits, fat boy. <laughs> so someone, so so this would be the perfect topic for, for Destiny to talk about. Put this on Destiny's radar again to talk about corn fat, shitty Kyron house, gun running take. That's great. Do it. Uh, Gray, son of Creek, Fried Eye says, I also sent you a tweet of uh, corn fat to you, Sitch, as brother Uriel. Oh, that was you. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that. <coughs> Uh, Drunk Shovel for five dollars says, uh, <laughs> "How are you going to read this one?" I'm curious. <laughs> uh, says the N word, Mark Hard R Richards. There you go. Mark did get. I did say Mark kind of got know. the N word pass in this, didn't he? No, no. He, did. he was on CNN, and they didn't even ask him. They didn't say like hey. Sargon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Richards got the N word pass. They didn't ask him. They didn't go, hey, by the way, why did you choose to use the N-word in your open your profanity laid open opening statement? Oh, I see. Okay. Dr. Diddler says re because Dr. Diddler actually okay. So there's a problem. You guys gotta be aware of this too. Mm -hmm. If you send a super chat before the stream actually starts, mm -hmm. YouTube does this really stupid thing where it like removes it. So I have to go look for it like in the channel. It doesn't pop up with all the other super chats. So I forget I didn't see that you and some other people had super chatted before the stream started. So hmm. be careful. Where how, where do you find that? You have to go into the channel and into the monetization tab and you click supers where it has like all of the supers that you've gotten. And you have to scroll all the way through it to get to like the start. That's but where I, got I am. That's where uh, I Dr. Go. Diddler. For five dollars, says a team cries every time he gets mildly scared and wears his undies inside out instead of washing them. That's gross. That's you get to wear them twice as much. What the fuck? It's called what? pragmatism. Wow, he's actually admitting to it. S class is best class. Jeez, who wants to be doing laundry all the time? This fucking degenerate wearing his underwear more than once. Oh, That's a lot God. of work. I'm telling you. Jesus you can Christ. get a you can get a good week's worth of use oh out of a pair God. of underwear. Oh, vomit. If you just oh, flip them. Jesus Christ. <laughs> if you just flip them. <laughs> if it horrible. gets too bad, you just put your ding dong out the hole. And <laughs> At least, you, at least you keep your ding dong clean. Oh man, this is the worst fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. I'm fucking disgusted. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, let's move on. Whalers for two dollars. Eighteen puts rosemary in the soup. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Is that a good thing or? A bad I don't even know. I can't tell. <laughs> Uh, Malchi Constant for five dollars says, uh, "Be honest. Did you not shed a tear for Kyle as they read that verdict? I am not ashamed to admit that I did." P.S. A team reigns supreme. A team, yeah. yeah, of course. I felt emotional. Too. I'm a team. I cried like a little bitch. <laughs> yep. I actually, you know, I didn't. I didn't really cry. I did feel like I could cry mm -hmm. easily if I let go. But since I'm a 
a man. <laughs> I held it in. You held it in? I did, yeah. Okay. Uh, Yeeti the Yeti. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeeti the Yeti. I like that name. For uh, five hundred for 200 rubles. Rubles? Mm-hmm. Rubles. Says, I may have left a rude super chat a few streams back and called you dogs. Oh, I remember that now. I forgot about oh. that. I was a bit upset with in real life stuff and I wanted to apologize for absolutely nothing. You're still dogs. Got them. Well, uh, that's okay. <laughs> Thank you. I don't think we I asked have... for an apology and we like we it when you call us dogs. Yeah. So. Well, Adam does because he's a furry. What do we uh, do Happy wrong? Kyle Day XOXO. Thank you. Thank yeah. You. Got us. Is that all the pre-stream ones that you did? That was all the pre-streams. Yes. I'm up to real Raven two thousand. You skipped for one. Five euros. No, I didn't skip. What? Where? Uh, Battle Elf for five dollars. Oh, I did says, skip one. Holy shit! Bicep lives matter. <laughs> with a bunch of hearts. <laughs> I did skip one. That's funny. Sorry, Battle Elf. Uh, real Raven for two thousand. Uh, for five euros. Mm-hmm. Real Raven two thousand for five euros. Says, yes, there's Sitch. a lot of numbers in there. Sitch. Yep. You obviously never heard of a barber shop singing. Oh. He is part of a black choir. See? You know? Yeah, there you go. I didn't. Yeah. He's he, a barber I, shop I, quartet. Listen, I stupidly, wrongly assumed that Jason was getting his non-existent haircut. Yeah, when he it actually, he was just singing as part of a barbership quartet. He wasn't getting his hair there cut. There you go. Okay? He was singing. Kyle Rittenhouse yeah. is guilty, guilty. <laughs> And then he got the fucking rug pulled out from under him. Did I tell you about Kyle? Kyle, Rin House cross state lines, cross state lines. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle brought his AR 15 across state lines. What? Cross he, state he, lines. He gets the ring. What? The verdict's coming back. Guys, it's the verdict. Shh. <laughs> not guilty. Oh, <laughs> well, I guess our new rendition of cross state lines is not, gonna, not very timely anymore. This is not going to work. <laughs> We thought we were going to to uh, to uh, Wall Street. I think this is related to the earlier super chat. Uh, mm-hmm. Dog backwards for five Aussie bucks says no, I didn't. There you go. Really? Well, I'm glad you didn't. I'm glad you didn't call us dog. So there you go. Where was that? Did that just come in? That oh, just came in. Dog yes. backwards. Yeah. Right. Drunk shovel for two dollars. Oh, I love this one. Hashtag. Four doors, more whores. Yeah, that's right. Take that, Binger. Oof, someone says Gage skipped a bicep day. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, crack Croc. There you go, Crack Croc for $5. It says, quote, the object of life is not to be on the side of the majority, but to escape finding oneself in the ranks of the insane true marcus aurelius is that really marcus aurelius wow that's a cool quote i like that i do like it yeah no we don't want to be insane that's a market apparently that's a market my boy mark over here it's a cool quote uh daisy of clarity for five aussie bucks says great stream guys well thank you yeah and for another two aussie bucks daisy says quote race grifters assemble someone in chat someone in chat that's was there funny. some race grifters in the chat? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I wasn't really paying attention to the chat during uh, the, sh- the videos for the most part. Yeah, me neither. Uh, I did see someone spamming. So this is a warning, guys. If you're spamming anything, like you're just literally saying the same fucking thing every five seconds, I will ban you from the chat. I don't care what yeah. it is. It's just really annoying. It's just spamming the same garbage over and over and over yeah. and over. Well, and someone else might ban you. Who knows? Right. Be forewarned. Uh, Sir Marhouse for five dollars says, uh, "I'm a former Proud Boy, and it's definitely dead now." There really interesting. There you go. Interesting. Yeah, you better be careful if I see it because the other mods will time you out. I'm just banning you because I don't even know how to do the timeout. So, <laughs> timeout to say. Oh, there it is. Put user in timeout. I guess yeah. I should have put that person in timeout instead of banning them. But whatever. Who cares? Fuck it. I don't care. No. Well, I don't. they'll they'll message me in like a day or so. Oh, please. Sorry, tell Stage to unban me. I'll, uh, I'll unban him. I will. I'm a fucking mm-hmm. softy. Don't fucking do it. Uh, P Dog 119 for ten dollars says actually the last hurricane to hit LA was the 1939 California tropical storm, 
which made landfall near Long Beach. Before that, there was one in 1858. Really? Wow. Where the fuck was it coming from? Tropical storm, huh? How did it even get there? Was it from the Gulf and did it cross over Mexico and still retain its storm power? Because how else would it form on the West Coast? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting. Uh, Dennis for $10 says, just for going through that dumpster fire of a panel. Well, thank you, Dennis. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Patrick Mulligan for two Canadians says, my favorite hymn. <laughs> my favorite hymn is Rosenbaum's quote, kill me. And <laughs> there you go. Uh, the figure 13 for three Aussies says the AOT meme video is the scene in wrestling gif all over again. That is true. Oh, yeah. That is true. Well, they accuse Trump of like, ridiculousness yeah. uh ct what you said is exactly what you should do yes that's true what is- uh if they, if they give them a timeout and if they keep doing it then ban them yeah that makes sense aaron for 199 just sh- shows an unboxing super sticker which i didn't even know was a thing thank you aaron uh, astronaut farmer for five dollars says you guys hear about the car driving into the crowd at a christmas parade we have now oh it's a christmas parade huh yes why are they having a christmas parade before thanksgiving word on the street is he was a pedo but it's complicated <laughs> <laughs> maybe he was just very upset that they're celebrating christmas before thanksgiving okay oh yeah he's like, what? He's like why is oh, it not a thanksgiving yeah. parade okay. oh yeah maybe I... he's a big thanksgiving fan yeah well, I get mad that Christmas is earlier and earlier every year. So right, right. Uh, color commentary for five dollars says just drop by to pay my quarterly penance. Football season's keeping me away. Well, glad to have you back, color. Yeah. Hope the football's going well. Yep. Uh, Captain Dork for fifteen Aussies says, "What do you guys think about Biden saying people should respect the jury's decision?" And then an hour later, in his press release, saying he was upset and angry about the jury's decision. P.S. S class is best class. So he said, um, I know I was, I was disappointed because at first I was like, oh, good. Biden just said, you know, respect the jury. And that's all he said. And then he kind of said a shittier thing later. Yeah. Biden's a piece of shit. He's a fucking flip flopper. Uh, let me try to bring up the exact. He said, he's like, yeah, oh. we uh, should respect the jury and let me not respect the jury by totally throwing them under the bus. <laughs> well, it's not exact. No, it's not. You're exaggerating. A bit. It's, it wasn't that bad. Um, so the How first thing he feel if you were on the jury and the president of the United States was upset and angry at the right. decision that you made. So the first thing he said was, look, I stand by what the jury has concluded. The jury system works and we have to abide by it. And I was like, thank God. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then he sort of uh, changed it where he said, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. here comes the bad part. Get ready. (sighs) Why is, why can not, like, I hate these websites. They just, they're so garbage just tell me what the statement is don't cut out a piece of it just Uh fucking tell me Uh what the statement you gotta click on the links okay here we go uh while the verdict in kenosha will leave many americans feeling angry and concerned myself included we must acknowledge that the jury has spoken i ran on a promise to bring americans together because i believe that's what unites that what unites us is far greater than what divides us I know that we're not going to heal our country's wounds overnight, but I remain steadfast in my commitment to do everything in my power to ensure that every American is treated equally with fairness, dignity, and law. I urge everyone to express their views peacefully, consistent with the rule of law. Violence and destruction of property has no place in our democracy. The White House and federal authorities have been in contact with the governor. Evers' office to prepare for any outcome in this case, and I spoke with the governor this afternoon and offered support and assistance and needed to ensure public safety. That was so, not really that bad. Yeah, it's not so bad. I don't like, yeah, obviously, you know, I don't like the... Americans are feeling angry and concerned, myself included, because I don't even know what, like, that's way too broad, but which mm-hmm. that was intentional because he's trying to take the fucking fence sitter position. But at least strong denouncement of destruction a, of property yeah, exactly. and violence. He threw so, in a denouncement of yes. property. Violence and destruction I'm, of property has I'm no place for. in our democracy. It's un American. It's completely yeah. un American. Unless, like of that, course, though. you've got a Republican president. You're so upset about it. <laughs> right. Right. Then, then he totally changes his tune. Then it's like, oh, well, that's acceptable, of course. 
Well, yeah, I assume Biden didn't write that. That's true. Biden the initial thing he either. the initial thing he said was just him signing it off the cuff. So but he was just asked, like walking away from a plane. He's like, I respect the jury. <laughs> respect the jury. But I'm sad and angry. Who did That's... he ever say the sad and angry thing? No, that was in the statement. That was the in first the statement that you just read. I didn't hear sad and angry. I just he said no, he didn't say angry. He said, okay, fine. Angry just, or upset. He didn't say those. Let me bring it back. Okay. He says, while the verdict in Kenosha will leave many Americans feeling angry and concerned, myself included. Oh, okay. We right. must acknowledge right. that Never the jury mind. has spoken. Okay. Yeah. I take it back. Okay. I hate right. you, Biden. <laughs> okay. Well, I hate his guts. That's a terrible there statement. Myself there you included. Go. <laughs> myself included. <laughs> yep. Uh what about Andrew. Andrew Clark for two dollars says S class versus A team YouTube poll plays now. Listen, yeah, listen now, not right now. No. Can't do it now. Be too deadly. Oh, also Captain Dork said S class is S class. Who said that, Captain Dork? Oh, thank you, Captain Dork. Yeah. Uh, Sir Maur House for five dollars says I promise to only use my wrench to subjugate their wrenchless plebes and abuse my power. I promise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a pretty compelling argument. I am feeling kind of like mm -hmm. I should give you a wrench for that one. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do oh, it. That's pure unadulterated you see, evil. Look at listen to this, Sir Marhouse. Adam that first told me to give you a wrench, now he doesn't want me to give you a wrench. Not if okay. you're gonna do that. Not if you're gonna okay. use it to subjugate. Come on. Okay. A team are the underdogs. We're the ones that are gonna be being subjugated by right. this. No, of course not. No way. Uh, Bjorn Kazarkazark for five dollars says every week you talk about how dumb the Dems are. When will you stop voting for them? Uh, would you vote for Biden in twenty four if he sent the FBI after Kyle? Fuck no. First of all, I don't think that's even remotely possible. If the, first of all, I don't think it's in any world of possibility is Biden running in twenty twenty four. Uh, but like, say, what about living through twenty twenty four? Well, that's yeah, that's, that's a tough one. Uh, no, but let's say the Justice Department was sent after Kyle. Yeah, I would immediately denounce the president. Mm -hmm. Immediately and be like, fucking garbage. He uh, just talked about voting for president. DeSantis. I did. Stream. I did. Yeah, he's he's warming up to DeSantis. I am. I say, well, it depends who's, who they run. This might have been sent before I said that. Oh, yeah. no, this was near the end, so they probably just didn't hear me. Yeah. Uh, Chris Jones for $10 says... Sitch, which Dems would you... Oh, no, this must have been the same time. So Pjorn is... Uh, okay, because someone says, uh, Sitch, would you, would you, which Dems would you categorize as not woke? Would you agree that Biden admin qualifies for that label at this point? I think... I don't think Biden is woke, but he's def. I don't think Kamala's woke either. I think they're both kowtowing to wokeness. They're both... Yeah, for votes. For votes. They're both... Um, which is just as bad. It's not like better. So... They know that the wokesters are in their winning coalition and they have to play K but they're really not though that's when they need to understand the they don't are, vote. are they destroying don't them up. there's just not enough of them yeah no i know this that, is the but... problem these a lot of these administrations they get these fucking young they have a lot of young kids that are interns mm -hmm. or a lot of young kids who are running around doing shit for them mm -hmm. and they're like oh tell us how to be hip and cool and then the fucking idiots are like oh you got to be woke so it looks like on twitter mm -hmm. so they're living in this delusional bubble but Listen, they're going to learn in 2022 when they get destroyed in the midterms. Mm -hmm. Destroyed, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. The House and Senate. I don't, I don't even, I can't even, I don't even know who the fuck's going to run in 2024. Yeah. The Democrats at all. Besides Kamala, obviously. That's what I, I said, yeah. I don't really want to vote for Kamala. Yeah. Really. Yeah, but I don't either. I'd rather just kind of like a fork a... into a light socket. Pjorn <laughs> uh, Kazark. Uh, Fernando Jr. says they wouldn't let me send the last message with the word Democrats. See, I don't know. It's weird. Hmm. I don't know. It's weird. YouTube's weird with the super chat. Just say Dems. We're cool. We know it. Yeah, they mean. did say that. Uh, Aaron for $2. Thank you, Aaron. Uh, Jack States for $5 says uh, search, quote, the moment a red SUV plows through a crowd during the Wukahasha holiday parade on Bitch Shoot. Oh, it's. I saw a video, but it didn't. The video I saw, it didn't show anyone getting hit. But uh, yeah, that's crazy if it's all video. I don't think we're going to play that on stream. <laughs> no, yeah, probably not. I, I color me. Uh, we're going to get demonetized pretty yeah. hardcore there. Color. I, I think the stream would get cut down. I don't I don't think it would be demonetized. I think the, the stream would get deleted. The first stream that I actually went a minute without cursing 
we're finally mm -hmm. we finally have a good chance of being monetized this stream mm -hmm. yeah okay i found the video mm -hmm. let me see holy shit the mill send that to me the millionth oh, man for five. my holy fuck wow you kind of make me want to watch this video i'll send it this is insane i never i didn't see it from that is fucking crazy that's why people are going nuts over it fuck that millionth man for five dollars says what isn't a military style gun at this point yeah exactly yeah they they mean any really any long rifle that's, that's what they or a modern sport rifle is what they call a quote military they just i sent you on i sent you on twitter you can just don't put it up and watch it it's fucking here let me whoa. put it in i understand the watch why together. people are like going insane this is insane Jeez. let me put it in the watch together really yeah shut the fuck here. up uh kyle for five dollars says the charges are all independent of each other huber jump kick man most hurts have no direct knowledge of the shooting i know that they didn't have direct knowledge but I'm pretty, uh, pretty 100% sure I remember the lawyers of Rakeda Law Stream mm -hmm. saying that the charges were connected and that if Kyle was found guilty of killing Rosenbaum, it would allow the other people to do what they did mm -hmm. because they would be stopping someone who just committed a felony. But they that's what they it. said. Yeah. So, I'm just saying what they said. Yeah. Pretty sure. So that's why I thought it was hilarious that the jury kind of had it back. Right. Are you watching the video? No, I'm reading super oh, chats okay. with you. Uh, Luke B for five Canadian says to me, it proves that many of the jury believe that Kyle raised the gun to the Z Zeminskis and that it was Kyle who started it all. I don't think that's what it shows. I think it just shows that they're not. The jury was probably thought, oh, well, this kid hit Kyle with a fucking skateboard as he's running away. So fuck him. So I, I mean I understand that I understand where the jury's coming from because from like a, a layman perspective it does make sense to, to not connect them and to just say okay Huber hit him with a fucking skateboard obviously self defense uh, Gage pointed a gun at him obviously self defense so I I, I kind of understand it I'm but... with the jury on this one okay well I'm glad you're with the jury I don't understand also. This is what's so ridiculous and why you need mm -hmm. all the evidence up front and how them switching tactics mid trial is just so egregious. It's like right. He, I feel like Kyle had every right to point his gun at the Zeminskis as soon as he pulled a fucking gun out on them. Well, that's, what's weird. It's too, like, the quote. I would put my gun up immediately. Drop it. Motherfucker. That's where I'd be. Well, that's why I didn't understand with the whole quote unquote provocation, because even if the state's, a uh, story happened it would be so kyle points a gun at someone that points a gun at him first how is yeah, that I know. provoking anyone i know that's why i didn't and but nobody mentioned anything about well no kyle did on the stand he said that zeminski had a gun he pulled a gun right on him. but yeah but no one the people who who keep uh repeating the bullshit story from the state they always leave that part out of it yeah yeah so. yeah yeah and this to me i don't like i think news. The fact that Kyle, like the angle of his body when you see Kyle run away, to me proves, or not proves, but shows he wasn't pointing his gun. Because if he was pointing his gun at um, Zeminski and Rosenbaum just came around, I imagine he would just immediately swung around and fucking shot him because he's yeah. already in like the firing position, right? Yeah, totally. Uh, Kenny Stevens for five dollars says somebody just drove through a Christmas parade in Wisconsin. And the power's out for thousands of people, possibly unrelated. Yeah, I assume it's unrelated. Uh, retaliation for Kyle? I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna predict no. I'm gonna predict no, but we'll find out. Uh, Sam Barnes for five dollars says celebrate the good times. Come on, thank you, Sam. Yes, true. Kyle is free. I tweeted that out as soon as Kyle was free. I tweet out, celebrate. I could feel it in my heart. Yeah. Uh, the Wooster for two dollars says, academic agent is attacking Kyle Rittenhouse right now. Wait, what? what? <laughs> oh no. God. About what? You're trolling us, Wooster. You're trolling You're totally us, Wooster. Trolling us. No. That makes no sense. Oh, no. What is he on Twitter doing it? Oh, I got distracted. 
CT sent me something else. Oh. Mandalorian actor Pedro Pascal mourns Colin House assailants. Appears I saw to that. libel Kyle Rudin. I saw that one. What did he what did he tweet out? Pedro Pascal? Yes. Um, here we go. Uh, so, wait, no. something to this the is account of Jojo is very... Oh, he said Joseph Rosenbaum. He just said rest in peace, murdered August 25th, yeah, 2020. Yeah, there we go. Jesus, Pedro Pascal. Pedro Pascal has his pronouns in his bio. Yeah, he God. have, just in case you were wondering. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> this is the way. What was I looking up? Oh, I was looking up academic agent. You really looking that up? Come on, don't I'm, let Rooster troll you that badly. I'm curious. Alex Quast for six ninety nine Canadian leaves no message. But thank you so much for the super chat. They're stre he's streaming about it right now. Okay, I can't listen to this. I don't care. Yeah, who cares? Oh, you know what? The thumbnail mm -hmm. of the video is Kyle saying, "I support the BLM movement." So maybe that's what he's crying. Oh, about. he's crying about. Uh, maybe there we that. Go. That's hilarious. Yeah. Anyways, he's like, "Oh my god, we thought he was cool, but now he's it turns out he's not racist." We thought he was one of us, but uh apparently he's not racist. <laughs> <laughs> oh Alex, my god, I'm dying. <laughs> Alex. That was so funny. Uh, Alex Quas for 7 Canadian. Thank you so much, Alex. <laughs> Uh, the figure 13 for eight Aussie bucks says a second amendment with no limit. Don't threaten me with a good time. There you go. How many refunds are is academic <laughs> academic agent looking for? I donated to Kyle Rittenhouse's legal defense and I would like <laughs> my money back. <laughs> How dare he say black lives matter. Uh, uh, Dylan Nelson for $10 says you should be able to own a Browning 50 cow without a federal firearms license. Also redheads are awesome in the bedroom. <laughs> well, I don't know about browning 50 cows because I'm not a gun guy, but I agree with that second part. Yeah. No, me yeah. too. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, this is like that giant like fucking. <laughs> yeah, no. I don't you know should, if I agree with this. You should be able to mount them on your car. I mean, what are convertibles for? Let's I'm not be sure honest people... here. I'll look. I'm, I'm all for people owning private firearms. I don't I don't think people should have uh, mounted machine guns. <laughs> okay. I think I draw the line at mounted machine guns. Nah, you know you want a brownie. Come okay. on. In case the fucking horde comes. Yeah. Uh, James Reed for $10 says armed objective adjective. What? Armed adjective equipped with or carrying a weapon or weapons. Weapon, noun, a thing designed or used for inflicting bodily harm or physical damage. Ah, yes, unarmed. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I got. I understand. Gotcha. Yeah, that's the skateboard right, guy, about, right? Yeah, the armed versus unarmed, yes. Armed. I see. He was reading the dictionary. Armed. Adjective. Equipped with or carrying a weapon or weapons. You got to put the colons in here. Otherwise, yeah. it looks very bizarre to read. Uh, weapons. Noun. A thing designed or used for inflicting bodily harm or physical damage. Yep, there you go. Yeah. Uh, James Reed for another five dollars says, quote, we don't want them running around with assault rifles. <laughs> we want them running around burning cities and looting with everyone else. Yeah. yeah I know. It's crazy. Uh, electric world. skeleton for five pounds says, you boys have been giving me excellent listening material for my drives <laughs> work recently. Adam should come on with faux hawks and a gray suit. <laughs> mm -hmm. You want a faux hawk and a gray suit, Adam? I... I do I do cut my hair in a faux hawk every now and again. My there wife really likes it, so there you go. But uh yeah, I have a gray suit. Sure. I could do that. Uh does is Patrick that, Mulligan does that is that somebody does somebody do that or I don't know. I don't know. Patrick Mulligan uh, for five Canadian. Looking for designated <laughs> Rosenbaum for upcoming peaceful <laughs> protest. <laughs> requirements uh <laughs> mental illness suicidal uh -huh. and racism <laughs> p.s child molestation optional <laughs> thank you patrick yes in case in case anyone uh is that needs... is that the is this the craigslist ad for <laughs> for a designated rosenbaum yeah remember oh yeah that's hilarious uh patrick for two canadian for four canadian i'll read the whole thing he says kyle is not a hero for what happened in kenosha mm -hmm. He is a hero for suffering the mainstream media slings and arrows. Here, oh, here, here, here. Yeah. I mean, I kind of think 
listen, I wouldn't let my 17 year old go to a college. Mm-hmm. Sure. But I do think he's a hero in the way he handled himself. I think the way that he only shot the people who deserved to be shot, that he didn't freak out and just start shooting, I think that's very heroic. I do. So I will I, say Kyle's pretty heroic. Too, yeah. Yeah. And for being willing to do it and for give, fucking giving his right. body armor to the guy on the roof. Right. Fucking yeah. hero. What the fuck? That's true. That's true. Uh, Alex Quas for seven Canadian says, take every shot every time someone says, quote, I'm shocked, but I'm not surprised. <laughs> Is that the th- new thing? Yeah, like when they're, you know, there's like, oh, I'm shocked, but I'm not surprised. I knew because America's racist that the verdict would have been this way. Yeah. yeah. I was trying to think of situations where I've been shocked, but not surprised. Mm-hmm. It's like, hmm. Yeah. Phoenix Shade in the chat says, one thing I learned from the relevant law in Kyle's case is that Wisconsin is full of freaking ninjas. <laughs> That's true. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they had the ban of ninja stars and nunchucks because all these ninjas are running around Kenosha. Oh, yeah. Apparently. Gotta, gotta, let them, gotta let them know. No throwing stars. No throwing stars. What if Kyle had throwing stars? And mm-hmm. like when Rittenhouse was coming at him, he's just, I mean, when uh, Rosamond's coming at him, he's just like, <laughs> he's yeah. fucking nailed them with a bunch of throwing stars. Yeah. They couldn't use the provocation argument. No one knew it was he was open carrying ninja stars. He was wearing them right across his chest. Anyone could have mm-hmm. seen them. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> How hilarious would have been if he was open carrying nunchucks and he just beat the shit out of Rosa Bomb with the nunchucks. And oh, he, he got oh, the weapons charge because he was yeah. 17 with nunchucks. 17 with nunchucks <laughs> is definitely against the law. We know <laughs> That's that hilarious. we read the statute. That's so funny. Uh Aaron for 140 for 149. Thank you, Aaron. Uh, Idiot Tosin, hey, Idiot Tosin, for $10, said, I need a video going over all the reasons Kyle is guilty and all the shady stuff the defense pull that ends with you realizing you switched your notes and were actually describing the prosecution the whole time. Ooh, that's a good idea for a video right there. <laughs> there you go. That's kind of funny, yeah. Yeah. Uh, MR Gad, MR Gad for $5 says, I use the, quote, 10 hours of walking as a woman in New York as a pinpoint of exactly when everything went woke. Video turned out to be heavily edited BS and facts. What yeah, what, what year was that? Because that was totally a bullshit video, it turned out. Yeah, I remember that with the cat calling. 2014. That was right around the time. Yes. Yeah. 2014. They had to walk around looking for... They Anything. did edit out some uh, a lot of black people catcalling too. We found out. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. Interesting. Yes. So most of the predominantly. I don't know what the, the numbers were. Calling but, was. But they edited. They they tried to make sure it was uh, racially mm-hmm. neutral. Really? Yes. They're like, what does it have to do to get a white straight male to catcall? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, geez, we're trying to set you guys up. Uh. Class Bell for five dollars says Kyle did nothing wrong. True. The Sith did nothing wrong. Not true. <laughs> uh, S class on the streets and A team in the sheets. There, there you go. go. Sounds good. Uh, oops. Uh, Matt Deckard for one ninety nine says here I thought the only one here I thought I was the only one watching the garbage. Well, listen, it's easier to watch garbage with a friend, right? Hell yeah. Uh, Eddie Tosin for five dollars says, "What I want to know is if he can sue YouTubers who slandered him. I want H Bomber guy living in a cardboard box. I think he should be. I should really? go after everyone. I think he should go after everyone." Did H Bomber yeah. guy? I don't know. I he never had some fun. I forget. He had some shitty tweet that I put in the thread. I, I saw his tweets, but I didn't know if he did a video. I don't think he did. Did he do a video on it? Does he do videos video. anymore? I don't even know. I don't H watch H Bomber guy. guy. I don't think he did a call. I don't right now, watch any of these his last video videos. was five months ago on vaccines. Five, it's been five there months since H Bomber guy did. Listen, a video. let's what? not let's uh, those in glass houses should not mm-hmm. throw stones. Okay, is H Bomber guy streaming though on a regular basis? I don't know. Uh, I don't oh, that's a, I don't know actually. I don't know what the yeah. fuck he's doing. Yeah, that's true. Didn't, didn't, um, who's the guy that did all the alt right videos like? Arguments. oh yeah um he's still doing videos no i think he dropped it like a gamergate video after he just, not doing a video for months he was months a big anti-gamergate guy oh yeah. god where are you, you t- what's this guy's name that totally. his gamergate video was so boring i didn't even finish it 
I was like, oh my god. Yeah, this. we covered one of his videos. Yeah. Um, any window studios. There you go. Any window studios. Yeah, he's. We've covered a he, bunch of his videos. He's we did. Crazy. He's a bunch he's of insane. fucking crazy videos. Yeah. Remember, he did that that talk. We we covered his public talk. That was yeah. like batshit crazy. Yeah. He's a totally insane person. Mm -hmm. yeah. He is totally one hundred percent insane. Totally thinks that we live in an evil white mm -hmm. uh, white yeah. supremacist society God, on the would, edge of fascism. I would love yes. to see his take on Kyle Rittenhouse. Yeah. Oh my God! If he put out, a oh, video, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, wait, he has a Twitter. Mm -hmm. Of Did course he does. Oh, I'm blocked. <laughs> I'm sure I'm blocked, too. The physicality. I forgot about that. I'm blocked. The physicality yeah. channel for $2 says, wow, you're still awake. Is it? I mean, we must have new people. This is this shit. is actually what we used to do every time. But okay. it's like 3.30 in the morning for you. It's only midnight here. That's true. That's true. We're uh, oh. we I think we have like fifteen minutes left before we officially get cut off. No, we have. Oh, is it just is it play it forty five? I see eleven thirty. I see eleven yeah. hours and thirty three minutes it, on mine. So. Just, I thought it was supposed to be like uh, it's just the twelve. I I know, but sometimes it's sometimes. I mean, when I we've see. tried to take it down to the wire, it's cut off the harmonica at the end. I don't. Unfortunately, I don't see him tweeting about Kyle Rittenhouse, which and is people sad. get depressed. Chris Webb for five dollars says, "Let's see." Reagan, Bush, Clinton, New Bush, Obama, and finally Biden. Be sure we all. Uh, be sure. I'm sure, we are we, all okay. Did they miss one? Reagan, Bush, Clinton, New Bush, Obama, Trump. <laughs> I think they missed one there. And finally they? Biden. I'm sure we are all okay. Uh -huh. I'm not sure I understand what they're. I don't get are. it either. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of B names in there. Kyber Dan. Uh, Ky Cliver Dam. Kyver There's no Dam. L in there. There's no N. I saw the I as an L. Kyver Dam for $5. It says Mark Ruffalo is from Kenosha too. Really? Really? Wow. I, I didn't see that coming. All right. Maybe he got molested by Rosenbaum. <laughs> <laughs> it's Patty Hearst syndrome. Uh, Cat Branchman for $5 says, look, you don't want Doomer to have a wrench, but Adam does. So just give me Doomer's wrench and I'll carry the burden for you. Mm, good thing. Good. Okay. I'll give Cat a wrench. I like Cat. Oh. Oh my God. There you go, Cat. Awesome. We can rub that in Doomer's face whenever he comes back on. Uh, Phoenix Shade 3 for five dollars says, Did you see Huber's aunt on ABC tell her heartwarming story of his bacon hat? No, I did not see that. Holy shit. For real? <laughs> a bacon <laughs> hat? A bacon hat. That's evil. Uh, Matt Decker for five dollars says, What if Kyle's a public figure by defamation? Yeah, if he's a public figure, it makes it much, much harder. To hit hit them for defamation, but Nick Sandman wasn't a public figure. No, but it's different because Nick Sandman, they the media blew up yeah. with Kyle. The trial is what made him a public, like a newsworthy figure. Right. Oh, you're so, right. That could right. be it. Yeah. So I think that was the difference. Uh, your pal Ashley for twenty dollars. Thank you, Ashley. Says you got to watch the quote protest erupts over U.S. over Kyle Rittenhouse verdict by the Guardian. It shows how hun hilariously uninformed these people are. I think okay. I did watch that video. There wasn't really that many protests erupting over the U.S. anyway. Yeah, so, it was pretty stupid. It's not like <laughs> fake news. Uh, Aaron, it's only two minutes. Maybe we'll watch it on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. uh, remember that, Adam. Sure. I'll remember all this. Guaranteed. He's not going to remember fucking shit. Do, ha do we have uh, a bunch of... Um... Stream we do have stream lines. We might not, not be able to get the stream get, We're not going to get to all these. It's, it's just yeah. impossible. Well, we can finish the super tests. We can save the stream labs for Tuesday because okay. I think you're right. We'll run out of time. Uh, Aaron Villarreal for $10 says, here's $5 for A team and S class in celebration for me quitting my job tomorrow and starting a better one next year. Thanks for the laughs and keeping crusading against the woke boosh. That's well, first awesome. of all, thank you, Aaron. Yeah. And congratulations on getting your new job. New jobs are fun. And yeah. of course, boosh, boosh, boosh. Thank you. Any Exticles reference is like yeah. a calming, soothing wind to my soul. We love it. Uh, Dwayne Douglas for $5 says, Reason Magazine has an article about lowering the voting age to six. Really? Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, check that out, that. Adam. Reason article. Reason Magazine. What about giving the votes to the parents, though? I think no, the parents are more responsible off. than... You can't let a six-year-old vote. What is that? Insane? Come on. 
Uh, gone fall for five dollars says, Why is Hollywood praising a guy that touched kids? Shaking my head. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where'd you get that? I was it's a dog there. backwards. No, I owe oh, you. I read that one already. Okay. Uh, You're Jay for five dollars says, You got to refresh. Jay for five dollars says, I know it's been a while, but can you please bring up Eric Swalwell crapping his pants on live TV while talking about Trump Russia collusion case? That was a good one. That was great. <laughs> He I did. totally forgot about that. He crapped totally his dwarves. That. That and was he tried insane. to say, no, nah, it wasn't. I didn't do that. I forgot about Everyone that one. Knew he did. Why did he poop his pants anyway? Uh, he was just trying to sneak a fart in on live television. <laughs> and it just a little bit came out. A little bit came out, <laughs> oh unfortunately. Oh, my God. Uh, Crow. Well, I should read that one. Crow Vaxxin. <laughs> <laughs> there's not there's no message but no but i'd say the name <laughs> i don't know crow crow vax but one crow vax von von name von nagan mm-hmm. crow vax von nagan for five Aussies. thank you crow vax yeah thank you all right that's it that's it. We will read the stream labs on Tuesday because unfortunately we will not have time if we go through them right now. So thank you all for coming. Thank you for your incredibly generous donations. Thank you for coming with us on a journey through mainstream media hell. It's always a little more enjoyable. You got your friends by your side. Thank you for watching Adam writhe in pain as he has to be forced to put up with the most inane shit ever. Thank you for supporting our comic book. Click the link in the description below. And we will see you this Tuesday for the crazy Dave Pakman Destiny debate. Hope you all have a fantastic week. Suck it, David Pakman, and bye bye! Nice.